Hi guys. I would like to invite you to the audiobook service where we upload more than 300 hours of different audiobooks a week, link in details in the video description. Chapter 1. Is this my limit? Although based on physical fitness, Sun Chakra can be improved in the future, and it may be infinitely close to the shadow level, but the gap with those geniuses is still too big. I saw a young man wearing a black t-shirt with the Uchiha clan emblem, lying on the ground breathing heavily and sweating profusely. At this time, he felt extremely disappointed in his heart. It has been twenty years since Yugen Uchiha came to this world from Earth. Knowing the dangers of this world, he lived very carefully, without exposing his own specialness, and without waiting for the system he hoped for. Therefore, I cultivated extremely hard and wanted to have the power to protect myself. However, he has been practicing hard for so long, but found that there is still a huge gap between himself and the real genius. Now he has been overtaken by Uchiha Shirsue. But the night of genocide was approaching, and there was no time for him to wait any longer. He wants to save the Uchiha. He really has no interest in persuading the brainless high-level officials of Kanoha. Only absolute strength can save everything, but now it seems that he does not have such talent. Then, the only way is to find a way and gather the strength of everyone in Uchiha to face this dangerous possibility. Ding! The copy system is activated. Chaotic world please become king in the world of one piece, become a great pirate bounty of 500 million, or become a Shichibukai, time limit, 3 months, mission reward, bloodline awakening. Just when Uchiha Tamaki was about to get up and go to the current cowardly clan leader Uchiha Fugaku to explain things clearly, the voice in his head made him freeze up. Ha ha ha. After figuring out what happened, Uchiha Tamaki laughed without hesitation. The sound scared away the birds in the forest and started chirping in midair. Who didn't rest in the evening and was screaming here to scare them? The real world. It will not be erased. It is different from the infinite world. It is a stable world. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he directly entered the copy through the system's ability. This dungeon can be entered and exited at any time. It does not mean that you need to complete tasks before you can leave after entering. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen confirmed that he could bring people in without restrictions. As long as he could pass through the 2 meter diameter vortex transmission channel, he could reach the great channel. There's no time, let's make a name for ourselves. It is better to let Uchiha wither in Kanoha than to be famous in another world. Uchiha Tamaki made his own decision. That night, he found Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Shirsue. One is the person who can decide the future of Uchiha, and the other is the traitor who can prevent this matter from being exposed to Kanoha. The place where we met was the Uchiha Ancestral Hall. What is the important thing, Yushuan? The situation over Shirsue is very complicated. If it's really troublesome, it's better to tell me directly. Uchiha Fugaku, sitting cross-legged on the tatami, said to Uchiha Tamaki with a serious face. Although Uchiha Yugen thinks that he is not good, he can be regarded as one of the strongest among Uchiha now. If Uchiha Shirsue hadn't suddenly appeared, Uchiha Yugen would have occupied the title of the strongest genius in Uchiha. As for the future of Uchiha, Chirsue must be present. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Fugaku and said seriously. He wanted to transfer Uchiha to the Great Channel. Breaking away from the stronghold of Kanoha, relying on the strength of the Uchiha clan, it is possible to have a prosperous life on the sea, and there is no need to suffer like this. Although there are still risks, it is better than staying in a place like Kanoha and waiting for the genocide. To complete this matter safely, Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Shirsue are indispensable. Now that you said so, okay. Seeing this, Uchiha Fugaku continued to calm down. Thinking about what this young man is going to do. I was upset thinking about it for a moment. After all, during this period, it was almost visible to the naked eye that Uchiha was being ostracized by the village. The conflict started with the Ninetales Rebellion and became more and more intense. Although he had backed down several times, Kanoha kept pushing forward and the rumors grew more and more. Kanoha did not stop them at all. When members of the police force walked on the street, they could hear Kanoha villagers openly pointing at them and yelling at them. It has reached a point where it can no longer be tolerated. 
Before Uchiha Fugaku could figure out what was going on, Chirsui finally appeared. The Patriarch, Brother Yushuan. After Jisue came in, he was a little surprised to find that there were only three people including him. After all, clan members at least Jounin level would arrive at every meeting, but this time there were only three of them, which made him wonder what they were discussing this time. He couldn't help but feel a little wary, after all, he knew what he was doing. Itachi is a double agent, but he is not. He only thinks about Kanoha, but the ultimate goal is to realize the coexistence of Uchiha and Kanoha. The people are here, Yushuan, you can say it. Fugaku said to Yushien, who was writing and drawing on the side, as if he was drawing some kind of map. He had taken a look just now, but he couldn't understand what it was. Those place names were unheard of and were not addresses in the ninja world at all. So he didn't ask any more questions, but waited until Shursui arrived. The conflict between Uchiha and the village is beyond adjustment. Unless all the top leaders of Kanoha of this generation are replaced, or someone from Uchiha ascends to the position of Hokage, Kanoha and Uchiha cannot coexist. One of them will definitely disappear, just like the Senju clan. The one who disappeared must be the Uchiha clan, so it's time to change. I want to take Uchiha and escape from Kanoha. Uchiha Yugen did not hesitate or exaggerate the facts. Just put everything directly in front of the two of them and tell them what the current situation is like. Don't have any hope for those high-level people in Kanoha, they are just dying slowly. At the same time, speak directly about what you want to do. Uchiha Tamaki's words instantly silenced the scene. Shirsue's pupils contracted violently. He wondered if the clan leader and brother Yushuan had guessed that he was working for Kanoha. And Fugaku was thinking, had the situation really reached such a desperate situation, that he was forced to find a way to escape from Kanoha? Chapter 2 The third Hokage will not sit back and let this happen. If Uchiha and Kanoha fight, it will only seriously damage Kanoha's vitality. The Sandame will definitely find a way to reconcile. As a dove, Shirsue spoke quickly. He didn't want the situation to get bigger. If Brother Yushuan really wanted to take the Uchiha clan to escape, even if it was only part of it, the conflict would expand even more. He didn't want to see this situation. The hope of escaping Kanoha is too slim. Even if we do escape, there may not be much left of Uchiha, which is no different from total annihilation. Fugaku, on the other hand, seriously thought about the possibility mentioned by Uchiha Tamaki. Then he judged very calmly. The success rate is too low. When being chased by Kanoha, there will definitely be countless casualties along the way, and in the end, only dozens or even a dozen people may be able to escape. In this case, is Uchiha still Uchiha? The person who instigated this incident was the third Hokage. For the sake of the stability of Kanoha, during the Nine Tails Rebellion, he should have helped Uchiha get rid of the suspicion, instead of acquiescing to Danzo and pouring dirty water on Uchiha. It's just that he didn't expect that the situation would turn out like this. There was no suitable manpower to take over as Hokage, and Danzo's power increased sharply. For the sake of stability, he could only watch Danzo fan the flames, acquiesce to this matter and prepare to use Uchiha as the mediator of conflicts in the village. Sacrifice They want to take back the losses of the various clans in the Ninetales Rebellion from the Uchiha, just like these people sucked the blood from the Senju clan back then. If Uchiha doesn't take any measures, he will die even worse than the Senju clan. Uchiha Tamaki didn't hesitate to break Shirsue's illusions. That is the truth. The people who died the most in the war were the Thousand Hands clan. But the three families that have become stronger recently are the Sarutobi clan, the Shimura clan, and their follower Ino Shikacho. Kanoha was originally Senju, Uchiha and Hinata. But now, the Senju clan has disappeared, Uchiha has been squeezed out, and Hinata has become a tool. Several families attached to Kanoha began to grow. Is it really because their background is stronger? No. It's just that the body of the Thousand Hands clan has absorbed enough nutrients. Otherwise, why would Tsunade leave Kanoha angrily? How come? Shirsue's face showed disbelief. But he also felt that Uchiha Yugen was not lying. What he said was indeed going on like this. 
what he couldn't accept the most was that the Sandame actually played the role of acquiescence, rather than a referee who wanted to mediate the conflicts between the two parties. Have we reached this point yet? Uchiha Fugaku had already thought about this possibility. But now that Uchiha Tamaki has exposed this matter clearly, he also knows this matter and can no longer escape. Those greedy guys will not give up the fat Uchiha. If you continue not to resist, Uchiha will only perish. As the leader of the clan, he naturally doesn't want to see this scene, but if a fight really breaks out, it depends on who is more ruthless and willing to make sacrifices. There is no way back. The higher-ups in Kanoha want to see peace, so they deceived you and asked you to serve as an undercover agent for the Uchiha clan and provide them with information. But after all this time, have they made any easing measures? Just watching the situation develop, and Danzo is secretly pushing the village to be hostile to Uchiha. Give up that boring fantasy, Shirsue. Uchiha Yugen did not hesitate to reveal Shirsue's identity. This time we came here to negotiate, and we called Uchiha Fugaku to suppress the water. However, Uchiha Yugen still hopes that Shirsue can stand with Uchiha. After all, his strength can help the family and himself a lot. Have you known this for a long time? Brother Yushuan. Shirsue looked at Uchiha Tamaki with a complicated expression. However, he had no intention of taking action immediately. Fugaku on the side looked at Shirsue in shock. He was obviously shocked by Shirsue's true identity. He never thought that he would be an undercover agent of Kanoha's top brass. Since you also want Uchiha and the village to coexist, I won't take action against you. I'm not interested in taking action against the village. I just want to leave with my clan members. Are you willing to help me? Uchiha Yugen directly stated his attitude. If Shirsue vetoes it, then he will join forces with Fugaku and take action against Shirsue. He also has the Mangeki Sharingan. But Uchiha Yugen himself knew very well what the strength of Mangekyo was, it was only at the Kage level. It is simply not enough to change everything. It's easy to run away by yourself, but it's still far from taking the entire Uchiha with you. Shirsue, have you activated the Mangeki Sharingan? Fugaku was shocked again. He felt as if he, the leader of the clan, knew nothing at all. On the contrary, each of these young people is more powerful than the other. My heart is very complicated at this time. Yes. My kaleidoscope by technique, called Other Gods, can modify other people's memories. Originally, I planned to use this ability to mediate the conflicts between the villages. If I use it on the Sandame and let him mediate the conflicts, is that okay? Shirsue nodded and continued talking about his fantasy. Madness. Tell these high-level officials of Kanoha about this ability, and they will be unable to sleep every night, for fear that you will take action against them. Only when this kind of ability is completely in their own hands will they feel at ease. It seems that Danzo will take action against you soon. There is not much time left, Shirsue. We must answer today to help Uchiha leave and avoid war with Kanoha. Or should we continue to hold this stupid idea, which will lead to the destruction of Uchiha? Uchiha Tamaki scolded without hesitation. Uchiha Yugen is not too clear about the specific timeline. He also tried to change the situation, but Uchiha's identity was too troublesome and he couldn't get close to the fourth generation at all. Kaleidoscope had only awakened not long ago, and on the night of the Ninetales Rebellion, he could only watch. Finally the opportunity came, and he would not miss this opportunity to save Uchiha. I. Shirsue's face was troubled. He also has fantasies. Chapter, 3. Fugaku spoke several times on the side, but always closed his mouth. He felt as if he couldn't resist the responsibility of saving Uchiha. He was indeed weak. Brother Yushuan, can your method be successful? Shirsue was still hesitant. He is the kind of person who likes movies to have a happy ending. What I want most is a perfect ending. However, this kind of thing is difficult to achieve in reality. Uchiha, it's still a village. After you make a choice, I will tell you my way. Uchiha Yugen looked directly at Shirsue. At the same time, he opened his Mangeki Sharingan without hesitation. The three Magatama rotated rapidly, 
and finally transformed into three asymmetrical wall dama like Manjiki Sharingan. At the same time, three long black pillars appeared, connecting the pupils and dividing the three wall dama. Wall a kind of wall with a hole in the center. Jade. Manjiki Sharingan, even you. Fugaku was shocked. He felt that each of these young people was more powerful than the other. Shusui, family is more important than the village. And he has no intention of going against the village. Uchiha just wants to save himself. But at this time, Fugaku did not hesitate any longer. He saw the reason why Uchiha Tamaki only called him and Shusui this time. At this time, he must support Uchiha Tamaki. Without hesitation, he opened his Manjiki Sharingan and looked directly at Shusui. Clan leader, Brother Yushuan, you guys. Shusui was a little shocked. He originally thought that he was the only one with the Mangekyo Sharingan. But unexpectedly, two people in the family already owned it. Uchiha are not afraid of war, Shusui. However, I don't want to see the loss of my own people, unlike those high-ranking officials in Kanoha who have no conscience at this time. This is your last chance, Shusui, help me take my people away safely, or do you continue to have unrealistic ideas and see the village ignited with war? Uchiha Yugen finally said. If Shusui still hesitates, he will not hesitate, but will choose to take action. Although he has a good relationship with Shusui, what he is facing at this time is the lives of more tribesmen. He grew up as an orphan and received help not from the village, but from his family. Therefore, he wants to save Uchiha. If I just want to take Uchiha out of Kanoha, I am willing to help Uchiha. Jisue gritted his teeth and finally spoke. Now in the fight, no matter how you look at it, both Kanoha and Uchiha will be hurt. This result was not what he wanted to see. But he also felt that the village would not just let the Uchiha clan leave willingly. But now, he only has this choice and no other way. At this time, he no longer trusts Kanoha's higher-ups. As a price for what you have done before, before you leave Kanoha smoothly, your left eye needs to be kept in my hands. The clan should have extra Sharingan eyes that can be given to you as a backup. I will return it to you after I successfully escape from Kanoha. Uchiha Yugen said very coldly. With such power, one must be on guard, let alone a dove like Shusui. Who knows if he will betray himself at a critical moment. Hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Shusui's face turned ugly. But he knew that what the other party said was fine, and the price of betrayal would naturally have to be paid. Fugaku tried to open his mouth several times, but finally closed it. Good. Shusui took a deep breath, and then answered decisively. What is the escape plan? I want to be able to judge its success. However, Shusui also made his own demands. If there is little hope, he still prefers to solve it through dialogue. Although Uchiha is responsible for the security of the village, there are basically ANBU surveillance near the entrance of the village. It is very unlikely to lead a large number of people to escape. Fugaku made his judgment based on his many years of experience. If there was such a possibility, he would have wanted to lead people to escape, but it was too low. Basically, he would have to be chased by Kanoha's ninjas all the way to escape, which was not suitable at all. The eye technique of my Manjiki Sharingan can open a door to another world. I have gone to investigate in the past two days. The environment there is suitable for human survival and there is a normal human society. I have found a suitable island, enough to accommodate all the current Uchiha clan members. Now we just need to gather all the clan members and let them pass through the gate of this other world so that they can leave safely. Uchiha Yugen described the copy gate as his kaleidoscope ability. This is easier for people to accept. It is easier to gain trust by directly telling the system that it is a bit too stupid and that it is your own unique kaleidoscope ability. What? And this ability? Shusui and Fugaku were both shocked. Obviously he didn't expect that Uchiha Tamaki's method would be this. That's it, look. Uchiha Yugen controlled his kaleidoscope to rotate rapidly. Secretly open the system and let the system open the passage to the Pirate King. A door to another world appeared directly in front of the two of them. Shusui and Uchiha Fugaku looked at each other. 
let's go and take a look. Uchiha Tamaki said, and then walked through the door first. Then Fugaku and Shirsue followed without hesitation and passed through the gate that exuded a faint white light. It's actually true. After passing through the dungeon gate, Fugaku and Shirsue arrived on a desert island. Jumping up directly, Sharingan glanced around and found the boundless sea without any human beings at all. Shirsue also tried to use Genjutsu and Solution to confirm that he had not fallen under the Genjutsu. This is the first place I have chosen in the past two days. There are human towns hundreds of kilometers away from here. Uchiha is strong enough to survive safely in this world. In the future, it is not impossible to return to the ninja world. What do you think of this plan? Uchiha Tamaki told the two of them his plan. I support this plan. Uchiha Fugaku said without hesitation. The success rate and survival rate increased rapidly, and he had no other choice. Since the current Uchiha environment is already so dangerous, why do you still think so much? Me too. Snort. Shirsue said directly. At the same time, he showed his determination and without hesitation, he dug out his left eye, wrapped it in chakra, and handed it to Uchiha Yugen. Then, the Uchiha evacuation plan will start today and evacuate Kanoha in one week. Uchiha Tamaki said calmly. At the same time, he patted the wrist guard of his left hand with his right hand, took out the test tube with the preservation solution that had been placed in the psychic scroll, opened it, and let Shirsue put the Sharingan in. Fugaku looked at this scene, although he felt a little numb. But I also feel that such talents are reliable. Chapter, 4 You mean, Shirsue lost contact? Sarutobi Hiruzen frowned and asked the ANBU who was kneeling in front of him. During this period of time, Uchiha Shirsue basically monitored Uchiha wholeheartedly. All outbound missions were blocked by him. Uchiha Shirsue would contact him every day and pass information to the Umbu, but yesterday he didn't get any news from the other party, and even lost contact. Hiruzen, I told you that Uchiha people are unreliable. This guy Shirsue should have chosen Uchiha. We should have taken him down long ago and taken away his Mengekyo. Now that Shirsue is gone, who knows if the power of this kaleidoscope will fall on you. Danzo sneered directly from the side. But it was also what he said from his heart. He never believed in Uchiha. In two days, he was planning to take action to seize Shirsue's Manjiki. Now that he got this news, he couldn't help but feel angry. Maybe Shirsue was discovered by the Uchiha people and used a trick to catch him. It seems that the conflict is unavoidable. Prepare for war. Recall half of the ANBU on the front line. The village begins to fully monitor Uchiha. Sarutobi Hiruzen still pretended to stop and defended himself. But what Danzo said about Shirsue Manjiki's ability still made him feel a little numb. If the memory is really rewritten, it will be a big trouble. He decided to arrange for an ANBU to pretend to be him during this period, and he himself would hide in the dark and not appear. There will still be war. Hiruzen, your sensitivity is much lower than before. Don't hesitate this time. Danzo was a little excited here. It was finally time to take action against the Uchiha. The Sharingan he needs can also be collected in large quantities. However, the risk is too great, and Kanoha may be seriously injured. But secretly, he had prepared a lot and was confident that he could quickly deal with the Uchiha and minimize the losses. Be prepared for the worst. Sarutobi Hiruzen no longer hesitated at this time. After all, it was Shirsue who lost contact, and those eyes made him feel very afraid. According to Shirsue's previous performance, it is almost impossible to betray him, so there is only one possibility. Shirsue was discovered by the Uchiha clan and took action against him. Do we need to contact other families to take action together? Turning to Xiaochun's side, he said without mercy. Since you have chosen to take action, you must do it to the best of your ability. Over the years, a tacit understanding has been formed with some families, mainly those families that draw nutrients from the Thousand Hands clan. These families have long been unable to break away from Kanoha and have become pawns in their hands. Be more discreet. Sarutobi Hiruzen said without hesitation. 
hey, let's resolve this matter as soon as possible and release some false news to the outside world to dissuade the other five major villages. Mito Kadoyan sighed, and then said. Such a huge change would easily arouse the greed of other ninja villages and choose to attack Kanoha. After all, Kanoha occupies the most fertile land in the ninja world. Less than eight years have passed since the previous war. Kanoha lost the San Nin, the Fourth Hokage, and the Nine Tails Rebellion, which can be said to be a heavy loss. We can no longer afford a new war. As soon as possible, avoid a fight with Uchiha before taking action. Sarutobi Hiruzen also had a dark face. He also knew that a war with the Uchiha would be the worst outcome. Originally, he was planning to cause civil strife in the Uchiha and gradually devour them. But now it seems that there is no such opportunity. The village is originally hostile to Uchiha, so there are not many Uchiha who are out on missions. They have been notified by Uchiha's ninja beasts to rush back. Fugaku said to Uchiha Tamaki in the Kanoha police building. If you want to take all the Uchiha clan members away, naturally no one can be left out. However, thanks to Danzo's targeting of Uchiha, since the Nine Tails Rebellion, very few members of the Uchiha clan have gone on missions. Recently it has been even more disapproved. Otherwise, how could Abito and Itachi have wiped out the Uchiha so easily? After all, there were hundreds of pigs running around, and it would be difficult for ordinary ninjas to kill them, let alone the elite of the Uchiha clan, who was almost killed by two people without any defense. Without Kanoha's support, this would be impossible. A few old guys, I have convinced them. Next, make full preparations for retreat. At night five days later, we will take action directly and let the police force evacuate directly, and the elite will be responsible for the rear. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then said to Fugaku. There are also hawks in the Uchiha clan. These people want to fight to the end and are not timid at all. However, Uchiha Tamaki taught him a little lesson and revealed the power of the kaleidoscope. He also gave them a blueprint of the Great Waterway, indicating that Uchiha would stand on a bigger stage. It's not impossible to return to the ninja world in the future. It took less than half a day to convince these people. Currently, no more than ten people know about the specific plan, but the members of the police force are more or less aware of the situation, and all of them are very excited. Understood. After hearing that Uchiha Yugen had dealt with those old guys, he was relieved. Next, it's time for the Uchiha to unite and work together. These days, I have started to collect money, and I am planning to spend it all on the last day of my departure to buy a lot of supplies. After all, many things will be unavailable in a short period of time. Fortunately, because of the power of the police force, Uchiha has stored a lot of supplies. Most of what he plans to buy this time is medicine, and there is not much shortage of weapons and the like. Itachi, I will explain the situation personally. If he doesn't cooperate, I will imprison him. Uchiha Tamaki said to Fugaku. I see. If he resists too fiercely, it doesn't matter if he is cruel. Fugaku already knew that his son was a double agent. Now that the Uchiha clan had hope, he gave a decisive answer. Run away from this and avoid all risks. With the hope of survival, there is no need to sacrifice a large number of clan members to fight with Kanoha. With such an opportunity, even his son has to make a decision at this time. After Itachi loses contact, Kanoha should be even more agitated and ready to make a full retreat at any time. Members of the police force can be informed in advance that if an accident occurs, let them know that the evacuation location is the ancestral hall. The place of retreat at that time will not be the ancestral hall, but if there is a sudden attack on Kanoha, the retreat point will be the ancestral hall. Uchiha Itachi was also an unstable factor. However, he was a little simpler than Shirsue, and in the end he chose to deal with Uchiha. Uchiha Yugen was not sure whether it was because Shirsue used other gods on him at the end. Because of this possibility, Uchiha Yugen asked to put away the kaleidoscope of Shirsue Betsutenjin. I can't afford to gamble on this matter. Good. Fugaku nodded steadily. My hands are somewhat numb, because this matter is indeed too important. There are various requests for new books, and two updates will be released steadily every day. Please support. Chapter, 
5. Onison, you haven't had time to practice the shuriken technique with me recently. 7-year-old Sasuke is still very dependent on Uchiha Itachi. Although he also felt tremendous pressure from this brother, he still relied on him very much. Forgive me, Sasuke. Definitely next time. Itachi's finger poked Sasuke's head. Uchiha Itachi was preparing to go to the night shift. Recently, ANBU started targeting Uchiha, and he had already felt it. Tonight, Jen's leader Danzo asked him to meet. He said he had to attend the meeting because he wanted to talk about Shursui and Uchiha. Although he learned from his father that Shursui was fine and was doing a secret mission, he still felt unexpected. There are almost no secrets between Shursui and himself. If he really wanted to do a secret mission, he would definitely contact him. But there was no news from Kanoha. Instead, his father told him, which made him feel something was wrong. It hurts. Sasuke covered his head and pouted with a look of dissatisfaction. Obviously very unhappy, he still doesn't know what being pigeon means, but he is very unhappy. Definitely next time. Already many times. I am leaving. Seeing his stupid brother, Itachi rarely smiled. This is the most relaxed moment for him. But when he opened the door, his smile quickly disappeared. Itachi, I have something to talk to you about. Uchiha Tamaki appeared in the courtyard of Itachi's house, near the door. An invitation was extended directly to Itachi. Although Itachi didn't have a kaleidoscope, solving it was not that easy. However, the possibility of convincing Itachi is relatively high, and it should be easier than a guy like Shursui who is completely poisoned by the will of fire. Um. The feeling of being approached made Itachi very unhappy. Especially in front of Sasuke, it made him even angrier. He was not very familiar with Uchiha Yugen, and knew that this was the most famous genius in Uchiha before Shursui. However, after the Kyubi Rebellion, he quickly disappeared and joined the police force, appearing very ordinary. After he joined ANBU, he was asked to investigate the information about Uchiha Tamaki, so he learned more about it and found that Uchiha Tamaki's life was very regular and he had been practicing hard. But he didn't mean to show off. After judging that Uchiha Yugen's strength reached the level of an elite jonin, his mission was over. Unexpectedly, this person would suddenly come to the door, and Shursui lost contact, which made Uchiha Itachi feel that something was wrong. Nisan. Sasuke, on his side, looked at Uchiha Tamaki with some fear. Don't worry, it will be over soon. Uchiha Tamaki wanted to go over and rub Sasuke's dog's head, but finally gave up. After all, the biggest breeder was right next to him. After saying that, he immediately left because he knew Itachi would definitely follow. I'm going to work. I will definitely practice shuriken techniques with you next time. Itachi comforted the author, and then immediately followed him. Chasing after Yu Xian, he soon stopped at the ancestral hall. There was no one else around, just the two of them. Uchiha's territory has begun to clean up Kanoha's spies, in order to ensure the smooth progress of the plan. What do you want from me, Uchiha Tamaki? Itachi asked Yu Xian with serious eyes. At this time, his whole body was tense, ready to take action at any time. Village or family, make your choice. Uchiha has decided to evacuate Kanoha, which side do you choose to be on? Uchiha Yugen directly questioned Itachi. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, Itachi's pupils shrank, and he immediately knew that the other party knew that he was a double agent. At the same time, he immediately thought about how to fool him. Of course I choose to side with the family. But now, Uchiha Itachi naturally won't say anything else, he can only support Uchiha. He couldn't tell whether the other party was deceiving him or whether he really had evidence. Before the other party could produce clear evidence, he naturally had to pretend to support Uchiha. But in his heart, he didn't know which side it was better to help at this time. Shursui has chosen a family, and there are very important plans to be carried out next. So, you are the only one left in Uchiha who still has nothing to do with Kanoha. Don't fool me with such perfunctory words. Now that Uchiha wants to evacuate Kanoha and is not planning to go to war with Kanoha, which side will you choose? 
Uchiha Yugen directly exposed Itachi's lies and spoke directly. After all, Uchiha is not good at brainwashing, but is easily brainwashed by others. For example, Black Zetsu, Senju Hashirama, and Uzumaki Naruto. These three really deceived the strong men of the Uchiha clan, and they were completely deceived by these people's verbal escape. Did Shirsue choose his family? Uchiha Itachi was a little shocked. At the same time, he was also shocked by the plan Uchiha was preparing this time. He had been inquiring about it these days, but he couldn't understand what it was. He knew that he was being guarded by his family, but he didn't expect that Shirsue, who had lost contact, would actually choose to help the family. As a friend of Jidue, I am willing to make the same choice as him. I choose to help the family. Uchiha Itachi didn't hesitate and said directly. He believed in Shirsue. If this is really the choice Shirsue makes, then he will support it without reservation. Then, next, I will seal you and wait for the plan to begin. Uchiha Tamaki said directly. Uncertainty factors, eliminate him as soon as possible. There must still be people within the Uchiha who have been poisoned by the will of fire, but there is no time to find them. Anyway, only a part of the final plan knew about it. On the night of execution, they would choose to start and let members of the police force lead the Uchiha clan to retreat. By then it will be too late for them to cause trouble. Uchiha Itachi was the culprit who killed the Uchiha clan. For such a guy, Uchiha Tamaki chose to ban him, which was the most stable. Shirsue is there. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, Itachi hesitated. Then he asked decisively. He wanted to confirm that this was really Shirsue's choice. Come out. Uchiha Yugen said calmly. Jisue instantly appeared between the two of them. Uchiha Itachi opened his Sharingan and confirmed the true identity of the person in front of him. He was relieved to see that it was really Shirsue. This plan will work, Itachi. Believe in Brother Yushuan. Shirsue also started to persuade Uchiha Itachi. He didn't know why Uchiha Tamaki took Itachi so seriously and was even harsher than him. However, this plan cannot go wrong, so we can only do what Uchiha Yugen said. Good. Uchiha Itachi looked at Shirsue seriously, then nodded, took off the ANBU short blade and ninja tool bag behind him, and placed them on the ground. Then he signaled Uchiha Tamaki to start sealing his chakra. Chapter, 6 Seal of Thunder Uchiha Tamaki didn't hesitate, and directly put his hand on Uchiha Itachi's neck, leaving a seal on it. This seal can absorb the chakra in Uchiha Itachi's body into the seal. If someone lifts it without authorization, the chakra will be detonated to form a powerful current that will penetrate the sealer's body. Itachi looked a little uncomfortable. After all, the chakra's circulation route was suddenly changed, and his body's strength disappeared a lot, making him feel uncomfortable. That's enough. Shusui felt a little sorry for his good friend. He originally wanted Itachi to help him and be responsible for covering the Uchiha clan's retreat. Unexpectedly, Uchiha Yugen forced Itachi to be sealed. There's one more, and this is the last one. Genjutsu Sharingan. Uchiha Yugen said. At the same time, use Genjutsu directly on Itachi to deliver the message to him. Shusue was shocked, but felt that if Uchiha Yugen really wanted to kill Itachi, there seemed to be no need to do so. In less than five seconds, Itachi woke up. A look of shock appeared on his face. It turns out that Uchiha Tamaki just told Uchiha Itachi about the next plan through illusion. Uchiha Itachi knew that Uchiha Tamaki was actually preparing to take his clan members to another world, and was shocked by this amazing idea. Next, I will place you in a prepared stronghold in another world. Although you have no chakra, your ability to rely on physical skills is enough to survive there. The plan will be carried out in three days. The Uchiha clan will move there. You should go there first to confirm the situation and ensure safety. After saying that, Uchiha Yugen directly opened the transmission channel to the world of One Piece. Then, under Uchiha Shirsue's dull gaze, he threw Itachi directly to the other side of the transmission channel, and then closed the channel directly. Is Itachi really that dangerous? Does it need to go to this point? 
Shisui could see that Uchiha Yugen was trying to completely eliminate the unstable factor Uchiha Itachi. He felt insulted. He had activated the Manjiki Sharingan, but he had not been treated like this. But Itachi was being targeted so seriously, and he felt very puzzled. Continue your mission and make sure your plans are carried out safely. If we make a mistake, Uchiha and Kanoha will go to war directly, and I don't know how many people will be killed or injured. Uchiha Yugen had no explanation. Are you telling him that if this continues, Uchiha Itachi's hands will be stained with the blood of the Uchiha clan? The people of Kanoha are human, but the Uchiha clan is not human. Understood. Hearing Uchiha Yugen's words, Shursui calmed down. Although he was a little unhappy, Itachi was definitely safe, so forget it. The mission of retreat is more important. Uchiha Itachi has also lost contact. Danzo frowned. Today Uchiha Itachi did not arrive as promised, which made him very angry. At this time, he couldn't tell whether Shursui and Uchiha Itachi had been discovered by the Uchiha clan, or whether they had switched sides and chosen the Uchiha side. Danzo-sama, the Uchiha clan seems to be purchasing medical and food supplies. The amount purchased is quite huge. But there is no movement regarding the ninja tools. The person in charge of monitoring Uchiha reported to Danzo. These days, it can be said that Umbu and Jen have almost no time to rest, and almost all of Kanoha. Except for the Uchiha clan, which is really unable to break through, other places are basically covered by ANBU. While dealing with Uchiha, Danzo will not forget to target other families, such as the Hyuga clan. The last time the Senju clan's meat was divided, Hinata and Uchiha were both excluded. The main targets of their generation are the three Senju Uchiha Hyuga families. Not long ago, because of the incident involving the envoy from Kumogakure village, they forced the younger brother of the current Hyuga clan leader, Hyuga Hizashi, to death, Hyuga Hizashi. The relationship between Kanoha and the Hyuga clan is not very good now. So beware of them too. What are these Uchiha guys going to do? Danzo was now annoyed. The two undercover agents lost contact, causing him to completely lose control of the Uchiha. The rejection of Uchiha is too great, so now there are few people in the Uchiha clan who are theirs, and it is difficult to understand the situation now. Arrange manpower to conduct an honest and fair investigation within the Uchiha clan. Danzo finally ordered. Doing so will further arouse conflicts. But now he doesn't even understand Uchiha's situation, and he can't plan the next step. Although he also wished that Uchiha would die immediately, it was best not to fight if he could avoid it. After all, if a war really breaks out, Kanoha will suffer heavy losses, and the hyenas surrounding it will bite off a lot of meat from Kanoha. At that time, the benefits obtained from Uchiha may not be able to make up for the losses. Yes. More than a dozen people around him immediately responded. Then he disappeared in front of Danzo and started to do what Danzo arranged. Kakashi, come to Uchiha now, there seems to be some trouble. Metkai frowned and said to Kakashi. Even someone like him, who is relatively slow to react to these things, has sensed the recent conflict between the village and Uchiha. He didn't know why Kakashi asked him to go to the Uchiha clan to worship Abito today. Sai, I don't know if this kind of opportunity will ever come again. Kakashi said with a complicated expression. His team is mainly responsible for external tasks. The same is true for the original responsibilities of ANBU, which is responsible for external tasks and the police force is responsible for internal tasks. Only the roots are special. They are responsible both internally and externally, and the things they do are very hidden. However, a large number of ANBU had been transferred back to Kanoha recently, and his subordinate Itachi Uchiha had lost contact. He knew that something must have happened in the village including the mission they received yesterday, asking them to try their best to investigate what is going on inside Uchiha. He knew that there would probably be a battle between the village and Uchiha, but the bond with Abito made him have complicated feelings about this family. Hurry up and finish your worship and leave I feel like no one here is happy with us. Metkai said here. He didn't know so many things, this matter was only circulated among the ANBU. Kai, I love you very much. But at this time, 
someone suddenly spoke. When Metkai heard this familiar figure, his face immediately became happy. Yushuan, why are you here? Metkai turned around and saw Achiha Tamaki, and immediately greeted him warmly. Yu Xian was in the same class as them. Although he was a year younger, at that time, the war was honest, and almost all ninjas who had just graduated from Jenin would go to the battlefield. The classification is not as clear as Naruto and others later. So Yu Xian and Kakashi Metkai are very familiar with them. This is the first time someone has started tipping, and I feel like this wave is stable. After it is put on the shelves, there will be more updates. Chapter, 7 I'm on patrol. You are here to worship Abito, I'll take you there. Uchiha Yugen said. In fact, he and Shursue have been patrolling the Uchiha clan's territory these days. Responsible for getting rid of the ANBU that sneaked in. But in order not to cause conflicts, I just used illusions to knock out these Umbu, and then threw them outside the Uchiha clan. The ANBU people themselves were responsible for taking away these ANBU who failed to infiltrate. Then I'm sorry to bother you, everyone around us seems to hate us. Metkai nodded quickly, and then said to Uchiha Tamaki in a very low voice. Kakashi's face was stiff. After all, in addition to paying homage to Abito, he was also responsible for collecting intelligence. But in front of his friends, he couldn't stand up. I'll take you with me, it'll be okay. Uchiha Tamaki smiled, then patted Kai on the shoulder. He has the best relationship with Kai, and Kakashi can only have some friendship with others of the same generation. Everyone in his group had already sacrificed their lives and died on the battlefield. Although he had practiced very hard at that time, his strength was almost the same as Kakashi's. If you don't cheat, why should you catch up with these geniuses? The group of people then quickly arrived at the cemetery near the Uchiha clan ancestral hall where members of the Uchiha clan were buried. Metkai and Kakashi were very serious when worshipping Abito. It didn't take much time to leave. But before leaving, Kakashi looked at Uchiha Tamaki with complicated eyes. Can the Uchiha live in peace with the village? Kakashi couldn't help but ask Uchiha Tamaki, who was watching the sunset. You should ask Kanoha about this matter. Why are you targeting Uchiha like this? Uchiha doesn't want to end up like the Senju clan. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Kakashi and said to him calmly. Kakashi's face froze, he smiled bitterly, and said nothing more. Protect your eyes, and after you can be in the same situation as me, I will tell you a secret, the truth about the death of Abito and Lin. Uchiha Yugen suddenly opened the Mangekyo Sharingan, and then said to Kakashi. He also felt that Kanoha's actions were getting closer and closer recently, so he wanted to give them a little shock to make them fear and worry. One more day of delay is enough. Basically, the collection of supplies has been completed. At the same time, the team leader of the police force has already grasped the general situation. Just a little time. You. The truth about Abito and Lin's death, what is that? Kakashi, on his side, was shocked to see Mangekyo. But the attention immediately focused on the truth behind Abito and Rin's death. This is the pain of his life. You have been decadent for so long, and you are not strong enough to understand this. But the death of Lin and Abito was planned by someone. I will tell you the truth after you master the Manjiki Sharingan. Uchiha Tamaki said directly. Then no matter how much Kakashi pressed, he didn't say anything. Metkai wanted to ask something on the side, but he held it back in the end. He knew that Yushuan would never be able to ask what he didn't want to say. In the end, after Uchiha Yugen sent the two people out of the Uchiha clan, he disappeared in front of them. Kakashi said goodbye to Metkai with a heavy face, and then went back to submit the report. What on earth is the Uchiha going to do? Is there really going to be a war? Sarutobi Hiruzen said with a dark face. He didn't expect that Uchiha would really dare to have such an idea. What he was worried about at this time was that one third of the manpower had not been transferred back, because it was not that simple to switch defenses on the front line. We need to retreat gradually, and other ninja villages cannot take the opportunity to invade. It is not easy to deal with Uchiha in one go, so a large number of manpower is needed. 
do you want to strike first? Take the initiative and catch Uchiha off guard. This can reduce a lot of damage. Danzo spoke. In fact, he was almost ready, and at the same time, he threatened the patriarchs of some small families and asked them to take action together. No, if Kanoha takes action first, the families in the village will become afraid of us, which will be bad for the future. Furthermore, Kakashi reported that the former genius of the Uchiha clan, named Uchiha Yugen, also possesses the Mangekyo Sharingan, and his ability is unknown. Saratobi Hiruzen shook his head. Uchiha Yugen's plan still succeeded. Whether those families in the village were afraid or not, Saratobi Hiruzen actually didn't care too much. But he was still quite afraid of the Manjiki Sharingan's ability. After all, with Shirsui in front of him, who knew what the Manjiki's ability was? He wanted to get more information and make sure it was safe before taking action. After all, the first generation and the ninjas after Madara Uchiha no longer have hard steel, and intelligence warfare is more important. What, the Uchiha clan has another kaleidoscope owner? Danzo was also surprised. He knew Uchiha very well. In recent years, they have deliberately controlled the Uchiha clan's missions, so that they have less contact with battles and prevent the kaleidoscope from appearing. Unexpectedly, two young people of this generation both possess the Manjiki Sharingan. Let's wait until we have more people. However, we must monitor Uchiha more closely to confirm any information they have done after leaving the Uchiha clan. Those umbu who were possessed by illusions look very much like Shirsue's handiwork. He may have chosen Uchiha. Sarutobi Hiruzen has already treated this matter as a war. Moreover, we must win without too many casualties. And he didn't take action right away, except for Uchiha Yugen and Shirsue. Those umbu who were affected by the illusion were quickly analyzed and it was possible that Shirsue had done it. After all, in ANBU, it was easy to analyze the information about the enemies captured after Shirsue performed the illusion. The two kaleidoscopes were what Sarutobi Hiruzen was afraid of. Kanoha Year 56, Autumn The tasks have been distributed, and many people don't understand. But after I demonstrated my kaleidoscope ability, they no longer had any doubts. Uchiha Fugaku said to Uchiha Tamaki. At five o'clock tomorrow morning, we will do it directly. Population is the most important thing. If you can't take it, don't give it up. What we have lost, we will get back twice as much when we come back. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then spoke. The time was not chosen at midnight, but at dawn. It's because this time is the time for ANBU to change shifts, and it's also the time when the sky is getting slightly brighter. After going through the dark night without any movement, no one would think that they would take action before dawn. Clear. Don't you need to talk to Shirsue about this? Fugaku nodded, then hesitated. There can be no mistakes, this is about the lives of nearly a thousand Uchiha people. The faster this action is, the better. The opening of the passage will be in the center, so that everyone can come over in the shortest time. Uchiha Yugen shook his head. People who have been in trouble can no longer be trusted absolutely. This time, even if it is a certificate of recognition. Uchiha Fugaku nodded heavily, and then went directly to make arrangements. Before it is put on the shelves, please open it more and read the influence recommendations. Once it is put on the shelves, please read it in the bookstore. Thank you everyone. Chapter, 8 What's the truth about Lin and Ibito's death? Is it Kirigakure or Iwagakure? For the past two days, Kakashi had been completely mentally exhausted by Uchiha Tamekian's words and had been thinking about this matter. In the case of the kaleidoscope, he saw that it was Uchiha Tamekian who asked him to pass the news to Kanoha. Although there was only an 80% chance, he still uploaded the report. Since then, he has been responsible for monitoring the situation in the Uchiha clan, but his mind was always thinking about Abido and Lin. Captain, you are not in good spirits these days. Do you want to take a break while I continue to work? Kakashi's men said to him. In the past two days, they also discovered that Kakashi seemed to be in poor spirits, but he couldn't give up on the recent mission, and he had to go to work even if he was injured. It doesn't matter, it will be dawn soon. There won't be any big problems during the day. Kakashi shook his head. 
he came here to change shifts. As the captain, he naturally cannot be lazy. And it's this critical moment. Although it is hard to believe that the Uchiha clan will go to war with the village, but if there is this possibility, we have to guard against it. After all, the lives of tens of thousands of people in Kanoha are in their hands. Yes. Seeing this, the ANBU stopped trying to persuade him. Although the surveillance has been very tight recently, there is no danger as long as you don't step into the Uchiha clan's territory. Both sides maintained restraint and did not provoke conflicts. Could it be that the deaths of Abito and Lin have anything to do with Kanoha? Otherwise, why didn't Yushuan tell me? Kakashi's head is really about to explode. Finally, I guessed that the reason why Yu Xian didn't tell him was that Kanoha was involved. The thought of this possibility made him unable to accept it. Chirp. But suddenly, a high-pitched cry similar to that of a bird sounded. Kakashi, who was still immersed in thinking, was suddenly awakened. Could it be that? Kakashi was shocked. This is a signal of comprehensive preparations for war. And the sound was very close, so it seemed to be related to the Uchiha clan. Kakashi didn't hesitate and instantly entered fighting mode, pulling up his forehead protector, revealing his blood-red blood eye. This is the barrier. Kakashi discovered that the Uchiha clan's territory was suddenly covered by a barrier. As a result, the information his Sharingan can see is instantly reduced. The one who issued the warning was a ninja from the Hyuga clan in Nene. Although the Hyuga clan was not involved in this matter, there were still ninjas from the Hyuga clan. Every ten minutes, he would use his Byakugan to observe the situation in the Uchiha clan, but suddenly he found that a barrier appeared, blocking the distance that his Byakugan could penetrate. Byakugan, who was originally able to see through two kilometers, was instantly suppressed to only a few dozen meters away. All ANBU tensed up, preparing for the battle. But within the Uchiha clan, members of the police force were dispatched instantly. A large number of shadow clones were separated and rushed directly to the location where ordinary tribesmen lived, preparing to evacuate everyone to the center. Has it started yet? Shusui, on his side, was alone inside the Uchiha clan, watching the situation outside. He knew the evacuation was starting when he heard the noise. He was only told that it was today, but he didn't expect it to be in the early morning of today. He felt excluded, but he was not dissatisfied. I hope Kanoha can live a better life in the future. But today, I will fight for Uchiha. After Shirsui finished speaking, he opened his eyes, and the blood-red three Magatama Sharingan appeared directly. He is responsible for intercepting all ANBU that enter the Uchiha clan. Helping him were twenty elites from the police force. Just spread out and prepare to contain the incoming ANBU. The retreat time is only fifteen minutes, so we must make a quick decision. Get out, this is the moment of Uchiha's survival. Uchiha Fugaku is the person in charge of leading the elite police force. To be specific, during the meeting this morning, he used the transfer seal to perform illusions on these people. The illusion was automatically activated half an hour ago, informing them of the specific combat situation. All specific situations were suppressed until the end and were revealed. The elites of the police force roared directly. Then he immediately dispersed and went to the borders of the Uchiha clan to take charge of containing the ANBU. Within the Uchiha clan, everyone immediately took action. Many members looked at the shimmering door in the center of the clan in shock. Put ordinary people through this light door, quickly. Beside this gate, stood several elders of the Uchiha clan. They didn't have so many ideas at this time, they just wanted to leave with more tribesmen. A large number of ordinary people from the Uchiha clan were pushed behind this light gate. More than 90% of the people don't know what's going on, but they believe that their tribe will not deceive them. Are you here already? Uchiha Yugen is responsible for guarding the portal. But he has also seen that there is fire at the front. The explosions of the detonating talisman and the vibrations of the fire escape have begun to appear one after another. You mean, the Uchiha haven't attacked Kanoha yet? but only used the barrier to isolate the Byakugan's exploration. Sarutobi Hiruzen arrived near the Uchiha clan within a few minutes. However, in order to prevent Shirsue's kaleidoscope ability, he hid in a base secretly dug underground. 
Yes, it's just a barrier that isolates detection and perception. Now the Umbu have rushed in and encountered resistance from the Uchiha clan. Nara Shikaku nodded and said directly. On the side, Yamanaka Kaichi used his mental power to connect to Nara Shikaku, allowing him to sense the situation on the front line and let him explain the situation. How long will it take for the barrier to be broken? Sarutobi Hiruzen turned his head and asked the ANBU beside him. It can be broken within a minute. The person in charge of ANBU spoke directly and told the specific time. Sarutobi Hiruzen nodded, then took out the crystal ball and used the telescope technique to observe. I found the situation to be really weird. What on earth are the Uchiha clan doing inside the barrier? He had never felt so tortured for a minute. Suddenly, the crystal ball picture became clear, and the situation inside the Uchiha clan could be clearly seen. The telescope technique can only work in Kanoha village, and it mainly relies on the defensive barrier covering Kanoha to obtain information. Only Kanoha has such an arm in the entire five major villages. That is. Sarutobi Hiruzen opened his hands and flicked his fingers quickly to expand the picture on the crystal ball. He saw a scene that shocked him. A large number of Uchiha clan members passed through the distant gate that emitted white light and disappeared directly into Kanoha. The art of time and space. Uchiha does not want war, but escape. How can we repair it? We've been fooled. Seeing this scene, Sarutobi Hiruzen still didn't know what was going on. He stood up and said angrily. Chapter, 9. Go out with all our troops and annihilate the Uchiha, leaving no one alive. Let Danzo find a way to find out who released the time and space ninjutsu, find the location where the Uchiha clan escaped, and pursue them. Sarutobi Hiruzen stood up directly and gave the order very decisively. If Uchiha stayed inside Kanoha, he would be a captive husky, and he could do anything he wanted at any time. But for Uchiha to leave Kanoha, some hungry wolves may bite off a large piece of meat from Kanoha at any time. The Uchiha clan fled, which was something he absolutely could not accept. This will bring an enemy to Kanoha that we must always be on guard against. Nara Shikaku was also shocked and he heard Sarutobi Hiruzen's words. But quickly, through Yamanaka Haichi's ninjutsu, the news was passed directly to the Umbu and Danzo on the front line. The Umbu who received the news were all very surprised. Because they also felt that the Uchiha side did not seem to have much fighting intention, but more just to contain them. Therefore, the ANBU actually didn't attack too hard, but more to obtain information and to find out what was going on. At this time, they received the order from the third generation, and naturally they could not continue fishing. After joining ANBU, they knew what they would face. Although they didn't know why they did this to Uchiha, they still did it. Has the barrier been broken? There are still ten minutes left for the retreat. More than four hundred people have been brought in, and there are still half of them. Time is tight. Uchiha Yugen stood on the roof, opening his Sharingan to observe the situation outside. He knew that the next step would be the most difficult time to get through. The portal cannot be hidden at all, and it can be easily found if the Byakugan is there, so from the beginning, Uchiha Yugen chose to place the portal in the most convenient location for escape. You've become more ruthless. Are you going to wipe out all Uchiha? Then you don't blame me. Uchiha Yugen soon discovered that the battle at the front line became very fierce. Ninjutsu and detonating charms exploded one after another. He knew that this was the choice Sarutobi Hiruzen made, and he didn't want to let them leave. If Kanoha chooses to give up the pursuit this time after knowing Uchiha's purpose, there will be no chance for peace in the future. But now, Uchiha Tamaki doesn't have any hesitation. Directly remotely detonated Kanoha prison. There are fewer prisoners here than before, but there are also a large number of rebellious ninjas in Kanoha locked inside. At this time, Uchiha Yugen did not hesitate to choose to release them. Genjutsu Sharingan Shusui, who was at the forefront, also discovered these ANBU and began to attack fiercely. His heart sank immediately, knowing that Kanoha chose not to let them leave, which made Shusui a little disappointed. He originally thought that if Kanoha knew that Uchiha was leaving Kanoha and did not want a war with Kanoha, Kanoha would agree to this. 
but now it seems that he thinks too much. So Shirsue's attacks began to become heavier and he no longer held back. Like the god of death, he used extremely fast teleportation techniques to quickly appear among the ANBU and eliminate them. However, he still deliberately spared their lives and did not kill them, but this also made it very difficult for him. Detonate the first layer of defense. Uchiha Fugaku ordered directly. Kanoha has been on guard, Uchiha will arrange something in the village. The layout was arranged, but it was all arranged inside the Uchiha. This time, a large number of detonating talismans were used. All these houses were blown up, and they were not even left to Kanoha. Let Kanoha only get a piece of debris. Detonating it at this time can also make it more difficult for ANBU to invade. After all, Uchiha only needs to delay the time. When evacuating, they just started evacuating from the outermost periphery, so there is no one on the periphery. Bang bang bang. The shock of the explosion of the detonating talisman almost woke up the entire residence of Kanoha. It was less than half an hour before dawn, when most people were asleep. This sudden shock reminded the villagers of Kanoha of the tragic night of the Ninetales Rebellion, and they ran out of the house in panic, trying to escape. Are we still fighting? Will it be the Hyuga clan's turn next? Hinata and Hayashi were not asleep. He had a sullen face and used his Byakugan to observe the situation in the village. Naturally, we also discovered that there were more than a dozen ANBU hidden around the Hyuga clan in order to prevent them from backstabbing. Seeing these Umbu, Hinata and Hinata were very unhappy. He knew that those guys at the top of Kanoha never believed in their Hyuga clan. After losing the two targets of Senju and Uchiha, he suspected that the next one might be the Hyuga clan. So this is Uchiha's plan. It is indeed the evil Uchiha. Mobilize those ninjas, all go to the front line, and tell them that killing an Uchiha ninja will be the A-level mission reward. Danzo also learned about the Uchiha clan's plan to use time and space ninjutsu to retreat through the ninjas of the Hyuga clan. This made him furious. I feel that it was Saratobi Hiruzen who was too hesitant that caused this scene to happen. If we had taken action earlier, maybe this situation would not have happened at all. The five people kneeling on the ground around them immediately left to mobilize more ninjas. Prepare to deploy joint ninjutsu and destroy the time and space ninjutsu as soon as possible. We cannot let it continue to exist. Danzo continued to order. Just relying on force to get in, he felt that the day lily was cold. It's not that no one wants to rush in, but in this darkest time before dawn, the visibility is very poor, but it has almost no impact on the Uchiha clan. Coupled with the large number of traps deployed, the Umbu were unable to quickly break through the defense line. Even if he gets close, he will be blocked by the Uchiha next to the transmission channel. So Danzo is preparing to use a super large long-range attack combined with ninjutsu to destroy what he thinks is the time and space ninjutsu. However, before Danzo took action, Uchiha Yugen also used the last resort he had arranged. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Uchiha Mia released three powerful fireball techniques one after another, releasing them in three directions in the sky. Since there is no one attacking, naturally no one can stop this ninjutsu. Under Kanoha's strict surveillance, it's very troublesome to do anything. But the weather, as expected, still hasn't been discovered. Gather the Kirin developed by Sasuke and create a weather ninjutsu with a wider range. Let Kanoha experience what pain is. Electricity appeared in Uchiha Yugen's right hand. But his eyes have turned into kaleidoscopes. In the past two days, many rain clouds have gathered in the sky, and no one has noticed them at all. This is Uchiha Yugen. The lake water slowly evaporates every day, and the cumulonimbus slowly forms before yesterday evening, it almost directly evaporated a lake in the Uchiha clan. The ninjas of Kanoha were not aware of this at all. Chapter 10. This technique is very lethal. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to use it at first, but just made preparations. But at this time, the Umbu on the front line were treating it as a war. It was impossible for Uchiha to be soft-hearted at this time and allow them to attack the Uchiha clan without any scruples. Listen to the roar of thousands of thunders. God's punishment. Uchiha Mie raised his hand, 
and the electric arc in his hand shot directly into the sky and directly into the rain clouds. This arc was naturally discovered, but many people still couldn't figure it out. Boom! At the forefront, a huge green figure emerged. Uchiha Shirsue really couldn't stand it anymore. There were too many Umbu who besieged him. After judging that he was absolutely unable to dodge the attack, he used Susanoo without hesitation. This green figure quickly attracted the attention of a large number of ANBU, who surrounded him. As expected, you betrayed Kanoha, Shirsue. Evil Uchiha. Danzo, on his side, confirmed the situation on the battlefield through the subordinates of the Hyuga clan around him. He had the same worries as Sarutobi Hiruzen. He was afraid that Shirsue would use other gods on him, so he kept hiding in the prepared safe house. Now that Shirsue's location was confirmed, he finally breathed a sigh of relief and cursed the traitor angrily. Similarly, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was hiding in the dark, also locked onto Shirsue's position and also felt light all over. He immediately chose to bring his manpower, prepare to attack from the other side of Shirsue's location, and lead the team directly in. Boom! But at this time, thunder suddenly came from the sky. The moonlight was almost obscured by the dark clouds, but the dark clouds exploded with thunder, and the light emitted made Kanoha look like daylight for a moment. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was about to attack with manpower, suddenly stopped at his feet. Then he raised his head in disbelief and looked at the rain clouds in the sky. Feels bad. Sarutobi Hiruzen felt a huge threat. This kind of creepy feeling was only experienced during several ninja wars and that night of the Ninetales Rebellion. Achiha. Sarutobi Hiruzen gritted his teeth. There is no doubt that this must be Achiha's handiwork. He didn't know who specifically did it, but this method was definitely Achiha. But there was no time for him to think too much. The first thunderbolt fell directly, an indiscriminate attack inside Kanoha. Directly hitting the lightning rod on the Hokage building. It didn't cause much damage. But immediately, another lightning struck, this time hitting ordinary trees and setting them on fire. Then four thunderbolts landed in total. The Kanoha villagers who were fleeing outside were all frightened and didn't know what to do. In less than 30 seconds, more than 30 thunderbolts landed together, and the entire Kanoha could be said to be bathed in a sea of thunder. Achiha. Danzo and Hiruzen Sarutobi's eyes were about to burst. Wind escape big breakthrough. On Danzo's side, he quickly used wind release to blow away the rain clouds in the sky. However, rain clouds are usually about a thousand meters away from the ground. If ordinary wind blows them up, it will basically not have much effect. It only blew out a small hole and had no effect on the entire situation. Shikaku, let all ninjas who can use wind release use wind release in the air. Sarutobi Hiruzen also gave up on continuing the attack and chose to clear the troublesome rain clouds in the sky first. If left alone, Kanoha may be directly destroyed. He couldn't accept this result. Yamanaka Kaichi, who had been in contact with Sarutobi Hiruzen through spirit, passed the news to Nara Shikaku, and then passed Nara Shikaku's words directly to the frontline ANBU and the entire Kanoha ninjas. Soon, the Uchiha ninjas who were resisting the defense immediately felt relaxed. Because many ANBU gave up attacking and chose to target the cumulonimbus clouds in the sky. Oh, there is really no need to commemorate it. Uchiha Fugaku saw the dense thunder falling in the sky and sighed helplessly. At the same time, his eyes became firm and he directly opened the Manjiki Sharingan. This is what Uchiha Yugen told him in advance. If this move is used, it proves that Kanoha has no intention of letting their Uchiha leave. Then, Kanoha is the enemy, there is no need to be timid. Let them experience the pain. A Susanoo emitting brown light rose directly from the ground. Then Susanoo directly raised his right hand, and three rotating Magatama immediately appeared in the palm of his hand. Amaterasu. Then Uchiha Fugaku attached the immortal flame Amaterasu directly on the Magatama. The jet black flame, under the rapid rotation of the three Magatama, floated in Susanoo's palm like a fireball. The Umbu who were leaning around also felt that Uchiha Fugaku was about to do something big. But their ninjutsu couldn't break through Susanoo's defense. 
Now in Kanoha, only Saratobi Hiruzen is the only one with Kage level strength, and Danzo is still far behind. Not to mention the ANBU. The only one who can reach this level is Metkai who has opened the seventh gate, but at this time he is still evacuating ordinary people and is not participating in the war. So no one can stop Uchiha Fugaku at this time. Yasaka Magatama Uchiha Fugaku controlled Susano without hesitation and threw the Magatama that was spinning rapidly in his hand in the direction of the Hokage building. The power of this move is definitely not inferior to the ordinary tailed beast jade. It may not be comparable to the tailed beast accumulated by the nine tails, but it is enough to cause huge damage. Kakaka All objects in front of Yasaka Magatama were directly destroyed. Many Umbu used earth flow walls to try to stop it, but to no avail. Five seconds later, Yasaka Magatama hit the Hokage building. The bright light brought by the impact shot directly into the sky, like a mushroom cloud. Then, the flames of Amaterasu were directly blown away by the impact, covering the surrounding housing environment. That flame is the flame of Amaterasu that cannot be extinguished. If we don't deal with it, the whole of Kanoha will soon fall into a sea of fire, waiting for Kanoha to perish. Uchiha Fugaku, on his side, threatened directly. This was done more to involve Kanoha's energy than to kill them. This news was quickly conveyed to Saratobi Hiruzen through Yamanaka Haichi's ability. How can it be repaired? Order people to seal the flames and prevent them from spreading. Saratobi Hiruzen also used the mental power of Yamanaka Haichi to see the black flames at the ruins of the Hokage building. It was indeed continuing to burn in the sparse rain falling in the sky, and was not affected by anything at all. Influence. In order to avoid greater losses, he had to do this. Chapter, 11. Clan Leader. Shusui also discovered what Uchiha Fugaku was doing in the distance. This was a little hard for him to accept. After all, this matter has affected ordinary villagers in Kanoha. It was also speculated that Shusui might become the Holy Mother, so Uchiha Tamaki decided to let Fugaku do it. But at this time, he had no other choice. He just wanted to delay the ANBU and keep them here instead of attacking his own people. Although he has been in captivity for so many years, Uchiha's strength is still nothing to say. The strength of most people in ANBU is actually at the level of Chunin, especially Jounin who is enough to serve as team leader. A Jounin can be in charge of several teams. And an elite Jounin like Kakashi is enough to serve as the deputy of the entire ANBU. For the Uchiha clan, the Sharingan was opened directly. After practicing for several years, their strength has almost reached the Chunin level. The Sharingan of the three Magatama is powerful enough to rival a Jonin. However, the difficulty of opening eyes is much more difficult than that of the Hyuga clan, but there are still close to a hundred people. These tribesmen with open eyes are the main force responsible for the retreat. There were still many Umbu who broke through the defense line but their purpose was more to prevent the time and space channels from continuing to operate, so they did not interfere too much with the people who led the ordinary Uchiha clan to retreat. All point directly in the direction of the space-time channel. But this is also the defensive position second only to the front line. At the same time, Uchiha Tamaki is in charge here. He had already killed five ANBU who were rushing towards him. Fifteen minutes have passed, and there are still more than a hundred tribesmen who have not retreated. The cumulonimbus clouds are almost gone as well, and soon the ANBU manpower pressure will return. Uchiha Yugen had a cold face. At this time, 80% of the planned number of tribesmen had fled. But Uchiha Yugen wants more people to escape. Five minutes, hold on for five minutes, then retreat. Uchiha Yugen finally decided. This matter was requested by him, so he hoped to take as many Uchiha clan members away as possible. No one is left behind. The Sharingan with three Magatama eyes rotates rapidly and turns into the Mangekyo Sharingan. Then Uchiha Tamaki jumps directly into the air. Doing so would expose himself to everyone. Normal ninjas would not do this unless they were ninjas with the ability to fly. Boom! A black and red Susanoo skeleton directly covered Uchiha Yugen. Jingle Bell Clang 
At the same time, the Kanai shurikens and other weapons flying towards Uchiha Yugen were like hitting armor and could not hurt Uchiha Yugen at all. Tamajin, he also has the Mangekyo Sharingan. After Uchiha Yugen used Susanoo, all the members of the Uchiha clan who saw this scene felt happy. Except for a few people who knew about this plan in advance, the rest of the Uchiha clan did not know that he possessed the Mangekyo Sharingan. This black and red Susanoo was directly raised with his right hand. A spear appeared directly in the palm of Susanoo's right hand. Zitsizi. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen directly attached thunder release to this spear. Find a way to stop that attack. Sarutobi Hiruzen, on his side, said angrily. This is also the reason why he has never started a war with Uchiha. Because if there was a fight in the village, not only Uchiha would suffer, but Kanoha would as well. He already knew in advance that Uchiha Yugen and Uchiha Shirsue had kaleidoscopes, but there was an additional Uchiha Fugaku who turned on the kaleidoscope, which he never expected. The two Susanus and members of the police force blocked nearly a hundred ANBU. If the two Susanus were not contained, he would not be able to bear the possibility of the Hokage building being bombed again. Unexpectedly, Uchiha Yugen stood up at this time. On Uchiha Tamaki's side, he didn't care what the Kanoha ninja thought. He had already chosen the target, and he jumped to hit the target better. The Sarutobi clan's territory is locked. Whoosh! Uchiha Yugen was ready to let Sarutobi Hirozen experience the feeling of having his home destroyed. The black-red spear wrapped in thunder and lightning instantly broke through the sound barrier and flew out like a real spear of the god of thunder. In the eyes of many people, the image of a long blue trail streaking through the air was left. The ape demon king transforms. Sarutobi Hirozen immediately understood where the target of this attack was. This made him furious, and he directly controlled his psychic beast, turning him into a stick, hoping to extend the stick to block the attack. But the speed is too slow. When the ape demon completed its transformation, the mushroom cloud had already risen. The entire Kanoha shook, and many old houses collapsed due to the shaking of the ground. Uchiha, I want you to die. Rui stick, long. Sarutobi Hiruzen was furious. Susanu directly aimed the stick at Uchiha Tamaki in mid-air, and his length instantly increased, and his speed almost reached the speed of sound. In less than a breath, he was in front of Uchiha Yugen. However, Uchiha Tamaki had no intention of resisting, and directly lifted the Susanu. The stick hit the air directly, and flew directly over Uchiha Tamaki's head. How can it be repaired? How can it be repaired? Arrange manpower to rescue the Sarutobi clan. When Sarutobi Hiruzen saw that he had missed, his eyes almost turned on his Sharingan, as if they were about to bleed. However, he still maintained his composure and quickly passed on the order through Yamanaka Haichi's mental power. It's only one person who can be saved. His Sarutobi clan cannot be destroyed. Shanjong Hai's face was also earthy. After all, his mental power, through the barrier, covers almost the entire Kanoha. Naturally, he saw the miserable state of the Sarutobi clan's clan. Chirp. At the same time, Uchiha Tamaki landed on the ground, and then blew a sharp whistle, which was very harsh. In this environment with constant explosions, people can still hear it clearly. This is the signal to prepare to retreat, and the time is five minutes. Hearing this signal, Uchiha Fugaku felt happy. There were already many injured men around, and they could not hold on for long. They had already retreated hundreds of meters, and the distance from where they retreated was actually less than a thousand meters. The brutal attack left him no time to calculate how long it would take. Now that he heard the retreat signal, he couldn't help but feel shocked. You retreat, I will take charge of the rear. Uchiha Shirsue also knew this signal, and his face also showed joy. After all, he didn't want the two sides to continue fighting, which would only make it more painful directly call on the surrounding Uchihas to retreat. Everyone below the strength of a jonin must retreat. At the same time, at the portal, Uchiha Yugen also gave a direct order. The more people left behind, the more trouble there will be. There won't be so much trouble next time. It's just about guarding this door. You don't need so many people. 
Chapter, 12 There was no barrier at this time, and Saratobi Hiruzen could clearly see Uchiha's every move. All Umbu, attack with all your strength, the first target is to destroy the time and space ninjutsu. Sarutobi Hiruzen continued to give orders. Although he wanted Uchiha to die, he knew that destroying this space-time ninjutsu was the most important thing. But now, he feels like he has failed this time. Most of the Uchiha clan have left Kanoha. If he wanted to pursue him in the future, he didn't know how much manpower and material resources would be spent, and a very threatening enemy would appear. At this time, he couldn't help but feel regretful. If he had chosen to negotiate peacefully with the Uchiha, would the outcome have been better? Uchiha Shirsui, let's capture him without mercy. Shirsui was surrounded by more than a dozen roots. Danzo is hiding in the dark. He had his eyes on this prey and naturally didn't want to let it go. He wanted to keep these perfect pairs of Manjiki Sharingan in his pocket. At the current situation, he already knew that it was impossible to catch all Uchiha, so he gave up on killing Uchiha and focused on Shirsui. Drink. Shirsui gasped for air. A blood-red trace formed from the blood and tears in the corner of his right eye. With the green Susanoo skeleton attached to his body, he consumes a lot of energy and cannot maintain the full form of Susanoo. He stopped a large number of enemies and asked his people to leave. However, the main reason for his huge consumption was that he was unwilling to miss the Kanoha ninja, so the consumption was much greater than killing the opponent directly. Why, why don't you let Uchiha go? We just want to leave, and we don't want to be enemies of Kanoha. Shirsui, on his side, was staring at the person in ANBU uniform in the distance. Although Danzo had hidden something, he was still discovered by Shirsui. But this is just a shadow clone. Danzo is very afraid of other gods, so how can he expose his true body so easily? Uchiha are born evil and do not deserve to live in this world. Death is the only destination for Uchiha. Shirsui, you have lived up to my expectations. If you had listened to us carefully, things would never have come to this. The shadow clone on Danzo's side no longer hid, stood up directly and looked at Shirsui, and said very coldly. At this time, Jisue was surrounded by more than a dozen roots. He was secretly waiting with four elites. Jisue had no way to escape. Choose to stop me instead of chasing others. The target is my eyes, right? It's such a pity that the kaleidoscope you wanted from another god is no longer with me. Shirsui said with a smile on his face. But what Shirsui said made Danzo instantly furious. Sharingan. Danzo's shadow clone opened the Sharingan without hesitation and locked Shirsui's eyes directly. It was discovered that only the eye on the right was really a kaleidoscope, and the other one was the same three Magatama Sharingan as him. Where did you hide my Manjiki Sharingan? Danzo couldn't bear the anger in his heart and asked Shirsui directly. Sure enough, everything is as Brother Yushuan said. You have betrayed the trust of our ancestors, the Hokages, and used Kanoha as a force to strengthen your family. After seeing Danzo's Sharingan, Shirsui also became angry. At this moment, he couldn't believe that he would actually believe such a person not long ago. If Uchiha Tamaki had not come to him, it seems that he would have been killed by this guy in front of him, and the Uchiha clan would have been destroyed. Catch him, don't kill him, ask where the other Manjiki Sharingan is. Danzo saw this and knew that Shirsui would not say it directly. But he really wanted the Manjiki Sharingan, so he wanted to capture it alive and slowly press him about it. Danzo, only you. I will never let it go. Shirsui stared at Danzo's shadow clone. Earth escape swamp. Thunder escape thunder net. Bang bang bang. But the surrounding roots have already taken the lead. Release restrictive ninjutsu, use nets, wires, etc. To catch Shirsui. But they just missed it. The name Shunshin Shirsui didn't come for nothing. Amaterasu. Uchiha Fugaku's eyes were filled with tears of blood. The power of the kaleidoscope that he had always hidden was now used without reservation, and he just wanted to take away more clan members. He wanted to use the flames of Amaterasu to leave a solid wall for his people to retreat. 
At a glance, the streets that were very familiar in the past were completely covered in black flames. Many umbu who wanted to rush over could only stop themselves. After all, there were more than a dozen umbu who had been attacked, and there was no way to extinguish the flames. We could only watch them being burned to death. All retreat. After releasing Amaterasu, Fugaku felt that his body was hollowed out. But he continued to hold on and gave the order directly. Captain, let's go together. The people of the Uchiha clan around him were basically all injured, and no one was in good health. Come on, don't waste time, you leave so I can leave. Fugaku said very angry. Seeing this, these people could only run towards the portal without looking back. About ten seconds later. Puff puff. The ANBU dug holes into the ground to avoid direct contact with the flames of Amaterasu, but the ANBU still broke through the defense line. Fire escape, fire is extinguished. Uchiha Fugaku no longer hesitated. After spitting out a powerful burst of fire that directly set the surrounding houses on fire, he retreated without hesitation. Now that they are leaving, these houses are of little use. At this time, the waste is used to block Kanoha's manpower. 925,926. Uchiha Yugen stood at the door of the portal, counting how many clan members entered the portal. Still about 20 away from everyone. Here we come, everyone from the clan leader's side is here. Uchiha, who was responsible for perception, said to Uchiha Tamaki. Cover. Uchiha Yugen ordered. There were five San Magatama clan members left around him, all of whom were among the best in strength among the Jonin. After hearing Uchiha Yugen's order, they took action without hesitation, using Uchiha's best fire escape, igniting the surrounding houses, creating obstacles, and covering the retreat of others. Everyone enters this portal. Uchiha Yugen also took action, throwing a dozen kunai very quickly. The next three seals directly triggered the thunder release, forming a power grid to block the ANBU's pursuit. He was relieved when he saw Uchiha Fugaku appear. Earth Escape Earth Flood River But at this time, Sarutobi Hiruzen also rushed over. Directly use Earth Escape, aiming directly at the portal. Chapter, 13 Raisingan Without any hesitation, Uchiha Tamaki condensed a Raisingan and blasted it on the ground in front of him. Directly intercept the huge river of earth flowing in like a huge wave that broke a dam. This move can penetrate almost all of Hokage's city. After all, the Muji practice method is firmly recorded in everyone's mind. Raisingan, how could you? Sarutobi Hiruzen was shocked. Obviously he didn't understand why the fourth Hokage's original ninjutsu was used by this evil Uchiha. Clang clang clang. But at the same time, the ANBU around them threw Kanai shurikens over as if they were free of charge. However, they were all blocked by Susanoo's skeleton that rose directly from Fugaku, including Uchiha Tamaki. How many people haven't arrived yet? Uchiha Fugaku gasped for air while controlling the skeletal Susanoo, constantly raising the chakra sword in his hand and waving it around to drive away all the ANBU who wanted to get close. Twenty people. But it should be a sacrifice. The people on Jisue's side have withdrawn, but Jisue hasn't come back yet. Uchiha Yugen said in a low tone, without stopping with his hands, he kept throwing kunai shurikens and other weapons. The ninja tools in the ninja tool bag were being consumed quickly. Retreat, the result this time is already perfect. Fugaku's face felt uncomfortable, but he still said decisively. On the battlefield, there is no time for hesitation. If you continue to stay here and wait, the casualties will be greater by then. There is still movement over Jisue, I'm going to take a look. If you all leave, I don't have to stay here. They can't stop me. Uchiha Tamaki said. His feelings for Shirsue are very complicated, but since the other person is not dead, Uchiha Tamaki is still not ready to give up. After all, this time, he did not give up on his people, but fought to the end. And since he still had the strength to try, he naturally didn't want to give up. With a kaleidoscope, it is very easy to escape, plus he also has a portal that can be activated at any time. You are more important. If that doesn't work, just retreat. Uchiha Fugaku didn't say much. 
Now is not the time for nonsense. Everyone evacuates. Then he gave the order directly. Then, the power of Susanu in him exploded again. The complete Susanu appeared in front of everyone again. He raised the long sword in his hand and struck directly at Saratobi Hiruzen, whom he had almost tried to please in the past. A powerful slash tore a hole in the ground, as if it was going to swallow everything in front of it. Earth Escape Earth Flow Wall Saratobi Hiruzen summoned the Earth Flow Wall with just three seals, which was at least three times larger than Kakashi's dog-headed wall. But it was still split open by the slash released by Uchiha Fugaku. However, Saratobi Hiruzen's side also disappeared in the collapse of the Earth Current Wall. But at the same time, the surrounding ANBU also released dense ninjutsu, all of which hit Susanu. Susanu was not invincible, and there were many cracks on the brown armor. However, the Uchiha clan ninjas on the scene also retreated behind the portal. Before leaving, they released all their remaining chakra to fire escape. They want to completely turn this land into a sea of fire. No, just leave quickly. Magnetic storm. Uchiha Fugaku said finally. Then he used another pupil technique of his kaleidoscope to control metal. He directly gathered all the kanai, shuriken and other metals on the field together, and then quickly rotated around him. A metal tornado was formed, along with the surrounding flames, forming a black and red tornado. Standing at the eye of the storm in the center were only Uchiha Tamekian and Fugaku, as well as the portal. How can it be repaired? Saratobi Hiruzen had just found an opportunity to get close. However, he was forced back by this move and retreated from his hidden position. After releasing this move, Uchiha Fugaku was almost exhausted. The Susanoo bones on his body disappeared immediately, his vision went dark, and he was about to faint. Uchiha Yugen's face tightened, he pushed him directly behind the portal, and then closed the portal directly. Without the control of Uchiha Fugaku's power, the metal tornado quickly became slow and was about to disappear at any time. Two seconds later, the magnetic storm ended. Ding 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 ding. A pile of kunai and shuriken fell from the sky, and the sound of falling to the ground was very clear. That time and space ninjutsu is yours, right? Where did the Uchiha clan escape to? Sarutobi Hiruzen was surrounded by ANBU. But his eyes were firmly fixed on Uchiha Tamaki. He remembered this Uchiha very clearly, the strongest genius in Uchiha before Shirsue. His efforts to win over him were unsuccessful, and he chose to join the police force and get in touch with the fourth generation. However, after the Nine Tails Rebellion, there was no movement. The day before yesterday, he only took it seriously after Kakashi told him that this person had the Manjiki Sharingan. But now it seems that he still underestimated this guy. Thunder Release Cell Activation 8 Gate Duinjia Formation Shin Gate, open. Open the injury door. Duman Kai. But Uchiha Yugen did not answer Sarutobi Hiruzen's intention. Instead, he opened a buff for himself. The Thunder Dungeon activated his own cells and at the same time opened the fifth gate of the eight gates dungeon armor to strengthen all aspects of the body's condition. He has both thunder and fire attributes. After discovering that he was not dead, he could only rely on himself, so he learned the eight-door dungeon from Metkai's father, and at the same time, he and Kakashi developed the Chidori. Carefully think of ways to acquire everything that can strengthen your abilities. At this point, it's time to show it off. The muscles all over Uchiha Yugen's body collapsed, arcs of electricity were constantly beating on his body, and his blood-red eyes made many people present feel tremendous pressure. Catch him alive. Sarutobi Hiruzen was angry. But he also knew that the guy in front of him had the Manjiku Sharingan. After knowing Shirsue's ability, he was extremely wary of these things. Before he was sure what this guy's kaleidoscope ability was, he was not going to put himself in danger, and was going to let the ANBU test the opponent's strength first. Although the ANBU members are not as slave-like as Jen, they are basically killing weapons that obey orders. Obey Sarutobi Hiruzen's orders to the end. Kakashi, get out of here. Uchiha Tamaki finally spoke, but he was talking to Kakashi in the ANBU. Kakashi's face was complicated. 
he obviously didn't want to be an enemy of Uchiha Tamaki. However, he will not retreat. Swish swish. Meanwhile, ANBU launched an attack. The Kanai Shuriken was the first to strike because it was fast and concealed enough. So fast. But everyone on the field was immediately shocked. In their eyes, they could almost only see a blue-white light passing through, and only Kakashi, who had the blood chakra eye, could see the afterimage. All attacks missed directly and did not hit Uchiha Tamaki at all. Chapter 14 Side To Shiribi However, Kakashi still reacted, and while calling to the surrounding ninjas, he quickly formed seals on his hands to release ninjutsu. Directly use the earth flow wall on the side of Sarutobi Hiruzen to block Uchiha Yugen's attack route. Water escape water formation wall. Sarutobi Hiruzen was not slow either. When the earth flow wall was formed, he also used defensive ninjutsu on himself. But this earth flow wall was directly broken by Uchiha Tamaki's punch. The dark parts on the side all flew around like they were hit by a locomotive. Surrounded by water, Sarutobi Hiruzen felt something was wrong and wanted to use an earth clone to hide himself in the earth. But it was still a step slow. Purgatory. Uchiha Yugen used his kaleidoscope by technique. Although Sarutobi Hiruzen was mentally furious and resisted, he was still hit. Lost consciousness for the entire moment. But at the same time, Morambu surrounded him. I have known for a long time that you have been guarding Shirsui's other gods. Although my eye technique does not require you to look at each other, the range of it needs to be within 10 meters. Experience the pain of hell. Kakashi, if this old guy is not treated in time, his mental strength will be damaged, and he will probably become dementia in the future. Sarutobi Hiruzen froze on the spot and stopped moving, but Kakashi and other Umbu instantly blocked him. On Uchiha Yugen's side, one person was as fierce as a tiger, intimidating nearly 30 people. They were all frightened by the sudden loss of consciousness by the third Hokage. After all, this was Athena they were guarding. If something happened, there would be no point in fighting her. Leaving these words behind, Uchiha Yugen rushed directly towards Shirsui. Although I really wanted to kill the hypocrite Sarutobi Hiruzen, it was more important to save Shirsui, so I chose to use the pupil technique to make everyone present feel intimidated. Sarutobi Hiruzen was the best choice. Moreover, this pupil technique cannot cause real fatal injuries to a shadow level powerhouse. Kakashi's kidney deficiency condition was able to survive the Tsukuyumi attack. Sarutobi Hiruzen's current condition is a bit difficult to solve with just a pupil technique. It was more important to save Shirsui. Captain Kakashi. The umbu around him focused their attention on Kakashi. If the biggest one falls, then the person with the biggest position on the field will naturally take charge. Kakashi hesitated for less than three seconds. Cough cough cough. Sarutobi Hiruzen quickly woke up. His face was very ugly and he looked listless. Kakashi, lead someone to pursue him. Leave ten people here to clean up the fire and arrange for the medical ninja to come over. Sarutobi Hiruzen ordered. He could see that the other party couldn't attack Kakashi, so he had to let Kakashi chase the other party. At the same time, he also felt that the loss of his combat effectiveness was too serious, and in this situation, it was too difficult to catch the opponent. So he had some regrets and was not prepared to continue to take risks. He chose to use manpower to slowly capture this guy, but he felt that the success rate was too low. The ANBU around him immediately obeyed the order. Kakashi was in a complicated mood, but he still led the people to chase him. More than half of the chakra has been consumed, and the mental damage is also serious. The side effects of an ordinary kaleidoscope are indeed too great. If there is a chance, we have to get the perfect first-generation cells from Orochimaru to eliminate the side effects of the kaleidoscope. Uchiha Yugen relied on his extreme speed to easily break through the layers of siege nets. Ordinary ninjas couldn't stop him at all. Coupled with the super dynamic vision brought by the Sharingan and the rapid improvement in body control after opening the eight gates, he was at the peak of his physical condition. In less than 30 seconds, Uchiha Tamaki arrived at Shirsue's side of the battlefield. Very tragic. 
Shusui's body had a large number of wounds from Kanai shurikens. Danzo! Get out of here! Shusui roared. His blood-red eyes searched for the existence of Danzo's true form among the fallen people around him. Surrounded by Shusui's roots, he was supposed to be a ruthless murder weapon without any emotions. But they were all shocked by the current Shusui, and they still felt afraid of death. Kanoha Tornado Seeing that Shusui was still alive, Uchiha Tamaki didn't hesitate and directly used Mekai's starting move. Of the seven roots still standing around, only two of them escaped with the substitute technique. The other five were directly kicked away by Uchiha Tamaki, flying around like cannonballs. Uchiha Tamakian appears, Danzo-sama. There are also men chasing after the ANBU. Danzo is hidden underground, just like Jen's base. He was more than 300 meters away from Danzo, and was still hidden 5 meters underground. The Sharingan is also unable to see through, so Shursui naturally cannot find Danzo's location. What is that Saratobi guy doing? Have you allowed these evil Uchiha to escape, and even have the strength left to rescue Uchiha Shursui? Don't hold back anymore. This Uchiha Yugen also has the Manjiki Sharingan, so there is no need for Shursui to continue to live. You all come together and attack with all your strength. Danzo's face looked ugly. He didn't want his plan to be exposed, so he wanted to take action quickly to deal with these two evil Uchihas. The four Genri elites who were still following Danzo rushed out, preparing to destroy the Uchiha. Shursui, prepare to evacuate. Uchiha Yushuan was beside Shursui. Where's Danzo, I'm going to kill him. But Shursui seems to have fallen into darkness. His face was cold, and he didn't care at all about what Uchiha Tamaki said. Uchiha Yugen also felt that Shursui would attack him at any time, as if he had lost control. Therefore, Uchiha Yugen was not prepared to coddle Shursui. Before Shursui paid much attention to him, he went up and punched him in the stomach. Shursui looked at Uchiha Tamaki in disbelief, as if to say that I didn't expect you to betray me. We'll talk about it when you wake up. Uchiha Yugen said a little speechlessly, and at the same time added a hand sword. Shusui was hit hard by the sword in the stomach and had no time to resist. He fainted and fell to the ground at the feet of Uchiha Tamaki. Escape from Earth, Quagmire Although everyone else on the field was also shocked by this Uchiha's own internal strife. However, the elites who rushed over from Danzo were very decisive and directly used limiting ninjutsu, preparing to trap the two of them first. Uchiha Yugen hooked his right foot, directly lifted Shursui up, and then put him on his shoulder. Thunder escape lighting thunder. Wind release lawn ren. Art fire escape ho fireball. At the same time, several other umbu also released ninjutsu and attacked Uchiha Yugen. The ground under his feet instantly became like a swamp, trapping Uchiha Tamaki's feet. The dark red Susanoo skeleton directly wrapped Uchiha Yugen, blocking all ninjutsu. Kakashi also rushed to the scene with a dozen umbu. Chapter, 15 Danzo, you are targeting Shursui's Mangekyo Sharingan to control the Ninetales Jinchuriki. Secretly colluded with Orochimaru, helped him conduct human experiments, and obtained the cells of the first Hokage to strengthen himself. Only with this body can he withstand the power of the Sharingan. The purpose is to control the Ninetales Jinchuriki and become the new Hokage, right? Before Kakashi could take action, Uchiha Tamaki released electricity from his feet, forcing the swamp back, and at the same time shouted loudly. Everyone on the scene was stunned when they heard this information. Obviously this information made them a little unbelievable, and for a while the ANBU forgot to take action immediately. The death of the fourth Hokage has nothing to do with you, right? You were very dissatisfied when Sarutobi Hiruzen passed the throne of Hokage to him. On the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion, Captain Fugaku obviously wanted to help, but was stopped by your leadership. Instead of helping the Yandame Hokage, you tried your best to stop the Uchiha and didn't even go to rescue him. At that time, Captain Fugaku already had the Mangekyo Sharingan. If he had taken action, the Nine Tails Rebellion would not have reached such a tragic situation. Danzo, what is your relationship with that Uchiha? Uchiha Yugen continued to question loudly. 
the person with a strong hand continued to speed up, releasing various ninjutsu. But they are basically B-level ninjutsu. After all, the really powerful moves cannot be learned by ordinary people. Some of the more special ninjutsu cannot escape the gaze of the kaleidoscope, let alone break through Susanoo's defense. Yushuan, what you said is true. Kakashi waved his hand and directly stopped the ANBU who was about to take action. The canthus of both eyes is about to burst. Apart from Abito and Rin, Minato-sensei was what he cared about the most. This is the situation, there is no need to lie to you. If Uchiha really rebelled, Kanoha wouldn't be like this on the night of the Nine Tails Rebellion. Your father, the three ninjas, all left Kanoha, causing Kanoha to be in decline, which is why we are in this situation now. No one can stop Captain Fugaku and Shursue. Uchiha Tamaki was originally planning to say that your father's death had nothing to do with Danzo, the old Inbi. But he still didn't want to harm Kakashi, knowing too much, Sarutobi Hiruzen and Danzo would definitely kill him. At the same time, he said these words to delay time. The portal leading to the pirate world has been opened behind him. It takes three seconds to open, so Uchiha Yugen delayed for a while. By the way, disrupting the situation in Kanoha and causing them to fight among themselves would make Uchiha Tamaki even happier. Danzo. Kakashi gritted his teeth. He couldn't accept this fact. The surrounding Umbu were also a little at a loss at this time. They felt that this matter was true, and many people regarded the fourth Hokage as their idol. Because Minato was born a commoner. But now, knowing that the Hokage's death was closely related to the Hokage assisting Danzo, this makes it difficult for them to accept it. Uchiha will never follow in the footsteps of the Senju clan and perish in the ninja world. Now that the Uchiha has left, Hinata will be next. The next time Uchiha comes back, it will be when Kanoha Ninja Village disappears from the ninja world. Uchiha Yugen did not continue to wander. Jen's attack was quite ruthless, focusing on one position and hitting Susanoo, cracks had already appeared. After leaving these words, Uchiha Tamaki directly carried the unconscious Shursue and slowly walked backwards towards the portal. And Sarutobi Hiruzen also hurried over in the end, his face looking very ugly. After arriving, he only had time to see half of his body already entering the portal, Uchiha Tamaki, looking at him with a cold face. At the same time, he said to him through lip language, I want you to experience the other kaleidoscope's pupil technique as well. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who read this lip language, was instantly shocked. Thunder Tribulation Uchiha Yugen's eye kaleidoscope spun rapidly. Lock the eye power on Sarutobi Hiruzen. A deafening thunderbolt fell directly from the sky and hit Hiruzen Sarutobi. Many people raised their heads and found that at some point, there were a lot of cumulonimbus clouds in the sky. It turns out that these cumulonimbus clouds were accumulated again by Kanoha ninjas using water escape in order to extinguish fires, mainly to deal with Amaterasu and the raging fires inside the Kanoha tribe. Sandame. Others on the field exclaimed. Ahem. But they immediately breathed a sigh of relief. They saw Sarutobi Hiruzen slowly emerging from the ground beside them, coughing dryly. The one struck by lightning was just an earth clone. But immediately, there was another lightning strike. Although Sarutobi Hiruzen is old, he is not slow in forming seals. But the lightning strikes faster. This time, he was slightly affected, and his entire left foot was burned. Nine times in total, take your time and experience it. Uchiha Yugen left these words, with blood and tears in his eyes, and disappeared behind the portal. Then Susanu disappeared, and the portal slowly shrank. The thunder falling in the sky continued to lock on Sarutobi Hiruzen and continued to fall. The roar lasted about a minute before it ended. There were seven or eight umbu surrounding him, lying on the side covered in charred black bodies. These were all sacrificed to save Sarutobi Hiruzen. At the same time, Sarutobi Hiruzen's entire left foot turned black. The medical ninja on the side was using the palm senjutsu with all his strength, trying to save the leg. If this lightning disaster were released directly, Sarutobi Hiruzen alone would be enough to withstand it. However, this technique has room for expansion. 
In conjunction with the cumulonimbus clouds in the sky, it can explode with stronger power. This is the reason why Saratobi Hiruzen is in such a panic. Da da da. Light rain began to fall from the sky. Kakashi raised his head, bathing in the rain, feeling a little confused in life. Have you always lived in a place like this? It is indeed the evil Uchiha. However, with Saratobi like this, he probably won't be able to continue to hold the position of Hokage. Danzo left the safe house after Uchiha to make him left. At the same time, another thought came into my mind. I have been jealous of the position of Hokage for a long time. This time seems to be the best opportunity. The next one is Hinata. Hinata and Hinashi were sitting on the tufts on their knees, with a gloomy expression on their face. Although he didn't leave, there were still people under him outside. Remote monitoring is not as convenient as that of the Hyuga clan. He easily learned what Uchiha Yugen left when he left. However, Kanoha was more panic-stricken at this time. Although they did not deliberately deal with ordinary people, the two attacks by Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Tamaki still caused a lot of damage. Amaterasu, in particular, spent a lot of manpower to get the situation under control only after discovering that the sealing technique was effective against the immortal flame. Uchiha Tamaki's divine punishment also caused a lot of damage, but after the wind blew it away, there was no unnecessary danger. For these things, Uchiha Tamaki doesn't feel any guilt. Because the Uchiha clan did not bully these ordinary people, they were just acting fairly, but they were treated with hostility by these ordinary people, completely breaking Uchiha's last inner defense line. Is this the kind of person you usually protect? Therefore, Uchiha Tamaki doesn't feel any pressure if it affects ordinary people. Since you all think we are bad people, then we are bad people. The news of Uchiha's defection spread throughout the shinobi world in an instant a week later. Except for Kirigakure village, people from the other three major villages are looking for the Uchiha clan. They are trying to recruit them, but most of them are just like Kanoha and want to swallow up the Uchiha clan. However, after searching for half a year, no trace was found, which puzzled many people. Open at more times every day, new books for you to read, put on the shelves in the fattening bar, thank you all. Chapter, 16 You're awake. Shirsue felt pain all over his body. At the same time, my head felt like it was going to explode. At the same time, I felt that my vision was very blurry, and I felt like I was almost blind. Did the plan succeed here? Shirsue was silent for a while, and quickly realized what was going on. In a hoarse voice, he asked. According to statistics, 18 people died, 13 police members and 5 tribesmen. A prayer ceremony was held yesterday. Uchiha Yugen said in a somewhat low tone. Although the number of casualties was lower than expected, it was still somewhat disappointing. The most important thing is that Kanoha's gaze is too tight, otherwise it would be completely possible to escape with zero casualties. Ahem, it's already pretty good. Shirsue coughed dryly, then forced a smile and said. You are seriously injured, and there are not very powerful medical ninjas in the clan. After all, Kanoha has always restricted you, so you only know a healing technique. But fortunately Danzo didn't use poison this time, so you can survive. You just need to rest for a while. By the way, your kaleidoscope was already replaced when you were unconscious. Uchiha Yugen said to Shirsue. Three days have passed since the day of running away. Uchiha's morale is somewhat low, but because everyone has to do a lot of things, such as building houses, hunting, etc. They don't have much time to think about these things. I was wrong. If I had believed in my tribe from the beginning, Uchiha might not have to go to this point. Shirsue said seriously to Uchiha Tamaki. Although he agreed to the evacuation plan, he actually still had illusions about Kanoha. But now it seems that he thought too well. Kanoha is indeed as dark as Uchiha Tamaki said. What was it that blinded me before? There is no time for you to feel sorry for yourself in secret. What Uchiha needs now is help. In three days, I will take people out to sea. Although Uchiha can survive on this island alone, it is too primitive. I brought you here, not to survive in the wilderness. I want to make Uchiha stronger, 
and then fight back to the ninja world. Uchiha Yugen had no intention of comforting him. But he said it very directly. Ten days have passed since the task time given by the system, a total of three months, and there are still eighty days left. Within this time, he must become a Shichibukai, or a great pirate with a bounty of more than five hundred million. At the same time, there are nearly a thousand members of the Uchiha clan, and they cannot live here like the savages. They need to get in touch with current society and conduct trade exchanges. This is what needs to be done right now. I understand, I will give everything to help the Uchiha clan. Jisue gritted his teeth and spoke directly. It is our duty to rebuild the glory of Uchiha. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then looked at Shirsue with a very expressive expression. Jisue's face moved, his lips trembled slightly, but he didn't say anything. Uchiha is still easy to fool. Uchiha Yugen was speechless. But he definitely didn't say this. By the way, Itachi has also activated the Manjiki Sharingan. When I brought you back that day, you were knocked unconscious by me and you were covered in blood. Itachi was in charge of responding at the teleportation gate. When he saw you like this, I said you were dead. Then he turned on the kaleidoscope and broke through the seal. Uchiha Tamaki stood up and was about to leave, but he remembered something he had forgotten to say, so he finished speaking, then pushed open the wooden door of the two-day-old wooden house and left. The wooden door slowly closed and made a creaking sound. Shirsue, on the other hand, was lying on the mattress, looking dumbfounded. Three days later. In a training ground opened on this isolated island. More than one-third of the Uchiha clan gathered here. Here today, I will pass on the position of Uchiha clan leader to Uchiha Yugen. From now on, he will lead the Uchiha clan to glory. Coming up is Uchiha Fugaku, transferring the position of clan leader. After this incident, he also found that he had too many worries in doing things and was far less decisive than young people. Moreover, the courage and strength shown by Uchiha Yugen are what the Uchiha clan needs most now. It is my duty to rebuild the glory of Uchiha. Uchiha Tamaki stood next to Fugaku with a serious look on his face and made a solemn promise to the clansmen standing in the row below. Standing in the crowd, Shirsue felt slightly uncomfortable for some reason. However, he was still the first to applaud and congratulate. A lot of applause soon broke out. On the night of their escape, they also saw the help this new clan leader brought to everyone. Next is the first step for Uchiha to return to the top. Formally integrate into this world, communicate, and understand the specific information of this world, as well as the current position of the Uchiha clan, etc. Uchiha Yugen raised his hand to signal the applause to stop, and then he spoke. At the same time, someone on the side pushed a blackboard about three meters long and one and a half meters wide. The most powerful force in the world is called the world government, and it manages more than 170 allies. Uchiha Yugen began to explain the situation to everyone. When I heard that the world government is in charge of 170 countries. Everyone in the audience exclaimed with shock. Even Fugaku and Shirsue knew this news for the first time. Of course, each of these countries cannot be as big as the five major countries. Countries as big as the country of grass and the country of rain are the most numerous, but there are also countries that are almost the same as the five major countries. And under the power of this world government, there are four forces that they use to manage these countries, namely the navy, army, air force, and intelligence organizations. Among these four forces, the strongest is the navy. They have more than five people who can rival the strength of the Hokage. They are three admirals, a marshal, a lieutenant general, and dozens of others. In the army of ten thousand, there are more than a hundred elite jounin, and the strength of jounin and chunin cannot be calculated. When Uchiha Yugen explained the power of the navy in detail, Uchiha, who had been relatively excited before, suddenly fell silent. After all, this power is indeed too powerful in their eyes. This time, only the weak Kanoha has forced itself into this situation. Can the Uchiha clan really return to glory under this kind of power? This was still the case when Uchiha Tamaki had deliberately weakened the navy. After all, the strength of the three generals can compete with the super shadow level, that is, the first living generation, Uchiha Madara. 
With the strength of Tsunade and Hiruzen Sarutobi, there is no way they can fight. Chapter, 17 Don't worry, everyone. After all, he is not our enemy, and we don't have to fight them. And Uchiha's strength is far beyond what everyone thinks. As long as he reaches Uchiha Madara's strength, he can occupy a place in this world and become a powerful force. Uchiha Tamaki comforted him a little. But this is a fact, and it's okay if they don't accept it. After hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words, many people breathed a sigh of relief. Many people's faces were tense just now, as if they were about to start a fight at any time. Of course, the power of this world government cannot be the same as that of the navy. The strength of the army and air force cannot be compared with the navy. They probably don't have shadow level strength. There should be an intelligence organization, but this organization is too secret and cannot be understood. The world government is the most powerful force in the world. It's okay for everyone to understand this. Uchiha Tamaki continued. When they heard that the strength of the air force and army was incomparable to that of the navy, everyone heaved a sigh of relief. They are really afraid of this world, with Kaga level strength everywhere, how can the Uchiha clan survive? The force explained next is the force that opposes the world government, called the Revolutionary Army. The leader of this force is capable of fighting against the strongest in the navy, but the rest cannot be enemies of the navy. It is considered a relatively strong force. Then there is the third force that can compete with the navy, the pirates. The pirates are a chaotic force, not a unified force. But such pirates can compete with the navy because there are existences among the pirates called the Yanko, the four emperors of the sea. They are the Big Mom Pirates, the Red-Haired Pirates, the Beasts Pirates, and the Whitebeard Pirates. Among them, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Edward Newgate, is recognized as the strongest man in the world. The captains of the other three Yanko Pirates are also capable of rivaling generals and even marshals. There is also the Shichibukai, which is used by the world government to fight against the pirate forces recruited by the four emperors, but the real power combined can rival at most one of the four emperor's pirates. Uchiha Tamaki continued to explain. The people below listened very seriously. They were very curious about this strange world, and at the same time they were amazed. They didn't expect that there were so many powerful people in this world. What I want to talk about next is very important. It is the abilities used by people in this world to fight. I use slides and illusions to tell you the situation in detail. Explanations alone are more complicated. Uchiha Tamaki almost said the slides. Don't resist, everyone. I can use illusions on up to a hundred people at a time. Those who have received the message will pass it on to other tribesmen. Uchiha Yugen spoke here. Everyone nodded quickly, and some who opened their Sharingan in order to see more clearly also quickly closed their Sharingan. Genjutsu Sharingan Uchiha Yugen directly used Genjutsu to convey information to the people in the front row. He consumed a lot of chakra and his face quickly turned pale. The strongest Uchiha Fugaku, Shursue, Itachi, and several team captains woke up first, with shocked expressions on their faces. Then the same goes for other people who have received the illusion. Quickly, use illusions on me. Don't stand there stupidly, I don't know yet. Fire, what are you doing? Many people behind him started urging him. The people who had received the illusion in the front began to transmit the message. Shursue and Itachi worked the hardest. After about ten minutes, hundreds of people had finished receiving the message, with different expressions on their faces. The six styles of the navy can be dealt with by us, including swordsmanship, etc. Under the observation of Sharingan, as long as the body can react, we can try to deal with them. But the ability of the devil fruit is the biggest difference between this world and the ninja world. In addition to the five types of escape techniques and other natural fruits, there are also very special abilities that are similar to those of blood successors, such as superhuman and animal types. The animal type is about enhancing physical fitness. A small number of fantasy beast species have special abilities. The superhuman type is the most troublesome because the judgment ability is more complicated. But these enemies are in the same situation when facing us. Ninjas have various fighting methods. 
it is not easy for them to quickly eliminate us before they can figure out our capabilities. So, when you encounter someone with devil fruit abilities, you either have to kill them with one strike, and use the ninja method to kill them as quickly as possible. Otherwise, just miss a single hit and escape far away. Don't waste time with them. Most of them escape into the sea, and they will be helpless. 99% of devil fruit users cannot overcome the sea and sea water. The two shortcomings of the building in stone. Uchiha Yugen opened his mouth to explain. Although this information was contained in a genjutsu just now, Uchiha Yugen was afraid that these people would be suppressed by the devil fruit's ability, so he did not think about these things. After all, it is possible to encounter ninjas with blood inheritance limits everywhere. This is the most difficult place. And don't be discouraged, because the Uchiha of this world has just begun, and we can also gain such power. Armed hockey is the way this world uses to deal with devil fruit users. By the way, using illusions on people in this world is ineffective because they don't have chakra in their bodies. If you want to interfere with them, you can only use mental power. The clan will give priority to developing this aspect. Also, from now on, the clan's ninjutsu is no longer restricted by merit. As long as the strength is reached, you can practice it. Uchiha Yugen said finally. Give everyone some confidence, and tell the truth. As long as you can learn hockey and deal with devil fruit users, you won't have that much trouble. Unless there is a real difference in strength. According to the classification of strength in this world, a strong man below the strength of a lieutenant general, although physically very strong, can still be killed if he is chopped in the neck. Tomorrow, organize 80 people to go to sea. The main tasks are to obtain funds, purchase supplies, translate texts, and obtain intelligence, etc. Those who want to participate, please sign up with your captain. We will select people tonight and set off at noon tomorrow. Uchiha Yugen added. Many people below are tempted. After all, they were imprisoned in Kanoha in the past. Many people have ideas that cannot be realized at all. But now, with this opportunity to become stronger, they naturally don't want to miss it. The sooner they come into contact with the new world, they will definitely be the ones who become stronger the fastest. Chapter, 18 After the general meeting, we will have a small meeting immediately. Eleven people in total. Three elders. Four kaleidoscopes. The rest are squad leaders. What I just talked about is general intelligence and some common sense, etc. And what follows is something more pure. Don't resist, I'll tell you using illusion. Uchiha Yugen said to several people in the recently built house. Everyone nodded and gave up resistance to the illusion. Although it is impossible to use illusions on people in the pirate world, the method of transmitting information is indeed very fast and specific. The gap at the top is so huge. After waking up from the Jinjutsu, Uchiha Fugaku's face looked very heavy. Because Uchiha Tamekian said before that the navy has five Hokage level strength, he also feels that the Uchiha clan can actually be a little tougher, after all, there are already four Manjiki. But the five Hokage mentioned here are super shadow level like the second generation, not the old Hokage like the third generation. The strongest one can even fight the first Hokage. This is an opponent that the Uchiha clan cannot defeat now. The captain of the Yonko pirates also has this kind of strength. This world is indeed not simple. Uchiha should be cautious at the beginning and absorb the world's ways of becoming stronger. We will be able to reach this level one day. Everyone also spoke one after another. Although they feel great pressure, these people are also the most confident among the Uchiha clan. They all felt a sense of challenge, feeling that if the Uchiha clan had such an opportunity, they would definitely be stronger than them. The Uchiha clan did not come to this world to live in seclusion, so sooner or later we will be exposed to the eyes of these forces. I don't want the situation in Kanoha to happen again. Uchiha needs a suitable identity now. I decided to become a Shichibukai and use the power of the Shichibukai to protect the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then told his plan. Apart from system reasons, Shichibukai's identity is indeed more suitable. Otherwise, if Uchiha becomes an illegal force, he will have to fight with the navy, which will be very troublesome. 
Uchiha Tamaki doesn't want the clan to waste time on this. Becoming a Shichibukai can solve many problems, such as identity, power, and even origin, etc. The Shichibukai is indeed a good choice. Fugaku nodded and acknowledged this. Others naturally have no objections, because the Shichibukai is relatively independent. Although it is under the world government, it does not usually have to obey the orders of the navy. It would be very uncomfortable to directly join the world government and become a member of it. With the experience of Kanoha, Uchiha no longer wants to hand over his lifeblood to others. When I go out for the first time, I need to take away most of the combat power. The nearest country is the city of Queen of Spring, which is a small country. After collecting some intelligence, I will arrange for someone to come back first with a batch of supplies. There is a communication tool called a telephone bug in this world. When the time comes, someone will bring it back. I may not be able to come back in a short time. I will ask Captain Fugaku to guard this place. Also, this scroll contains the cultivation methods of the Eight Door Dungeon Formation and the Raisingan. These two techniques require everyone to practice them as soon as possible. One can improve physical fitness, and the other can have the ability to attack with single point power. Uchiha Tamaki arranged, and at the same time took out a scroll and gave it to Uchiha Fugaku. When he came in for the first time, he spent some time confirming the specific location before choosing this location. Now this isolated island is close to the windless zone and does not have much fresh water resources, so it is uninhabited. But for the Uchiha clan, it is not a problem at all. Ninjas can tread water, and the Neptunes who appear from time to time are also restrained by the Sharingan. As long as the Sharingan of the three Magatama can intimidate these sea kings, they can make them flee in fear. Don't worry, leave this to me. Fugaku nodded. He also wanted to repeat Uchiha glory. At the same time, he was surprised that Uchiha Tamaki actually obtained the training methods of these two techniques. After all, one was a forbidden technique pioneered by the second generation. Later, Matt Dai kicked four of the seven ninja swordsmen to death and became famous in one fell swoop. The other one is a ninjutsu created by the fourth Hokage. However, these two techniques are indeed very useful for the current Uchiha. When we go out this time, Itachi, Yashiro, Inari, Tiehua, and Izumi, you all want to go. Uchiha Yugen then arranged. I can do it too. The injuries on my body are just superficial wounds. If I fight, I'll be fine. When Jisue heard that his name was not there, he quickly spoke up. But in fact, he was seriously injured and basically lost much fighting ability within a month. Shirsue, you stay here to recover. And we need someone to protect us here. Now I also have the Manjiki Sharingan, which can protect everyone. Itachi said quickly. He cared very much about this good friend, otherwise he wouldn't have heard the news of his death and just turned on the kaleidoscope. Uchiha Izumi on the side stared at Shirsue faintly. She felt that this man did seem to be better looking than her. Is it because of this that Itachi was so good to Shirsue? Izumi Itachi's generation, a genius second only to Itachi, opened the three Magatama Sharingan at the age of thirteen, reaching the level of a jonin. I betrayed my family before, but now I just want to repay more. Shirsue shook his head and said seriously. Itachi found that Shirsue's eyes had completely lost their previous optimism. To put it simply, they had lost their light. Since you think it's okay, let's go together. The purpose this time is mainly to collect intelligence and obtain supplies. The risk is not high. Yashiro, go arrange the manpower and prepare to leave tomorrow. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then arranged for several squad captains of the police force. Yashiro and others immediately left the house and went to find the clan members outside who were impatiently waiting to sign up. One night, the entire island was busy. I still brought back a lot of supplies from Kanoha. I left with my ninja tools this time, but I left all the food and other things behind. As for water resources, you can use water escape to condense the water vapor out, so it's not necessary. For food, we can only eat some seafood first. The ability of the ninja is very useful for survival in the wilderness. Early the next morning, the five boats were basically full of people. 
the shipbuilding technology is not very good. It can be said that it is almost made of wood, but it has little impact on them. This is just a place for resting. Once you reach the town, you will get a new ship. Bang! The magnetic field in this world is weird and the compass is ineffective, but the magnetic field that animals use to find direction is still fine. Now use these psychic crows to record the location, and then later change the world's direction finding pointer. Uchiha Yugen channeled some crows and gave them to Shirsue, Itachi, Yashiro and others. Then, under the watchful eyes of the islanders, the five ships left the shore directly and headed towards the sea. Chapter, 19 This technique seems good, but it still requires a certain level of mental strength to use. Three Magatama should be the most basic requirement. Uchiha Tamaki stood at the bow of the boat, together with Shirsue. The two looked at the Poseidon who was watching the tracker on the bow of the ship. This Neptune creature, controlled by Shirsue's newly developed genjutsu that utilizes the release of mental power, was working in vain, pulling the boat and swimming quickly, tirelessly. The consumption is indeed a bit high. In the past, the chakra chaos in the enemy's body was mobilized to create illusions. Using illusions itself did not cost much. But now, it basically relies on mental support, but it can still be optimized to reduce consumption, but it will have to be replenished multiple times in the future. Shirsue nodded and said. Being injured, he couldn't do much except develop some genjutsu suitable for the current use of the Sharingan. This is what he wanted to do in return for Uchiha, so he worked very hard. Don't worry, there's still time. This technique should also be useful for humans in this world but the stronger the person, the better the resistance effect will be. Uchiha Yugen said. But actually, he was still a little anxious inside. I want to complete the first task of the system as soon as possible and improve my own strength. Bloodline awakens. At this glance, I feel that it is very useful. Uchiha Yugen has three guesses. The most likely one is that he can reach the level of Indra after awakening his bloodline. That is to say, directly reach the level of the eternal kaleidoscope, so that the kaleidoscope loses its side effects, and at the same time, Susanoo can reach the level of the ultimate body, which is the level before Uchiha Madara's death. What is very unlikely is that after awakening his bloodline, he will directly reach the level of Atsutsuki Hagoromo and have the physique to open the samsara eye. It is almost impossible to reach full level directly, to have the level of Atsutsuki Kagaya, to have the pure Atsutsuki bloodline, to have the power of the Samsara Eye and the Reincarnation Eye. No matter which one it is, it can greatly improve the strength and give Uchiha the strength to truly have a say in this world. Clan Leader, during the past two days of observation, I found that the physical fitness of the clansmen who do eat food from this world has slightly improved after exercising. Many people were basically unable to go any further before, but now they feel the effect of more or less increased strength. Itachi also came to Uchiha Yugen from the ship he was responsible for. At the same time, he opened his mouth to report the test results proposed by Uchiha Tamaki. It seems that the physical fitness of humans in this world is so strong, and it is inseparable from food. After all, many creatures here have huge bodies, but the genes of Uchiha and humans here are definitely different. Eating these foods will improve them, but they probably won't be the same as the people here. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then spoke. Let everyone change their food, and then exercise every day, and at the same time practice the eight gate armor formation. At least let me open the second gate. Pass this news back through the psychic beast and ask Captain Fugaku to start making arrangements. Uchiha Yugen arranged. Itachi nodded and left quickly. In the evening of that day, Uchiha and his party finally arrived at the city of Spring Queen. The Neptune type pulling the boat was let go immediately. Izumi, take five people here to guard the two ships, and take care of Yashiro and the others at the same time. Others will follow me to the island. First, find a few people to read the memories and obtain the language and text information of this world, and then start collecting intelligence. In a hidden location under the cliff, there were two very shabby boats parked. On the shore, Uchiha Yugen directly began to assign tasks. Everyone had no objections and immediately divided into two pairs and started setting off. 
Itachi took the twenty people to disperse, while Uchiha Tamaki took Shirsue and eleven clan members to another direction. In about twenty minutes, we found the town. In the evening, you can still see many people on the street. The rest of the Uchiha clan looked very curious, after all, this was a human from another world. However, everyone was still quick and found a few lone guys and started reading the memories. There are no spells in the minds of people here, so reading memories will only make people tired, but the impact is not very big. One of the stronger ones was taken in turn to read the memory. When he woke up, his face was pale and he felt a little empty. Here, although no one knows us, we Uchiha are not indiscriminate killings. Do you understand? It's best if you can find the prisoner with the reward. If you can't find it, just take the money directly from the wealthy businessmen and nobles who are considered by everyone to be unkind. Disperse. Uchiha Yugen warned everyone. He was afraid that without restrictions, these tribesmen who had just experienced the evacuation of Kanoha would become murderous. Killing at will in a world where no one knows them. This is not the reason why he led everyone to run away. A person must have a bottom line. Yes. Everyone's hearts tightened, and many people indeed had such thoughts. Under Uchiha Yugen's warning, he endured this feeling and then dispersed directly to collect information, obtain funds, etc. Come on Shirsue, let's experience the feeling of another world. Uchiha Yugen said to Shirsue. Shirsue was very fond of Uchiha Tamaki's actions in warning the clan members just now. The originally somewhat closed heart recognized Uchiha Tamaki even more. I feel that such a person is the leader who can lead Uchiha to glory. After exchanging a small piece of gold bar from the gold shop, Uchiha Tamaki took Shirsue around with money in hand. Although the mission is very urgent, with less than 70 days left, Uchiha Yugen is still very interested in the new world. Just like when he first came to the ninja world, he had a tourist attitude at first. In the end, the two of them sat in a bar, drinking rum and eating barbecue. Uchiha Tamaki was reading the latest newspapers in the store, and listening to the hustle and bustle of the surrounding drinkers to obtain information. Seven days ago, the Judiciary Island incident. Uchiha Yugen found what he was looking for. Found the location where the main line of this world takes place. Did you find anything? Shirsue saw a smile on Uchiha Tamaki's face and couldn't help but wonder. A suitable target has been found. I'll talk to you later. Uchiha Tamaki said. Once you find what you want, there is no need to stay. The two left the tavern, preparing to gather others before going back. But while walking on the road, Uchiha Yugen discovered the characters in the plot. Kaku, did that person look at us? Kalifa frowned slightly, pushed up her glasses, and asked Kaku beside her. The two of them had just finished their work and were about to return to their base. CP9 Line After the defeat of Judiciary Island, he happened to live in this country. Chapter 20 Except for the Navy, ordinary people probably don't know our identities. Perhaps you are too attractive, so that man took a second look at you. Kaku shrugged and then spoke. After all, the opponent's body doesn't look very strong. Even in the navy, he is a weakling in the navy, and he is not afraid of the opponent. Khalifa didn't say much, but kept watching as Uchiha Tamaki and Shirsue disappeared in front of her. After returning to her residence, she kept thinking about it. Is there anything weird about those two people? After the two of them reached a remote place, Shirsue asked. I came across targets suitable for combat effectiveness testing, and I was wondering if I need to practice on them first. Uchiha Yugen also said very directly. After all, everything is his own judgment. He has no accurate data and has never fought against anyone in this world. It doesn't make any sense to ordinary people. But the current CP9 is very valuable, and Rob Lucci's strength should be at the level of a lieutenant general. Kaku, the number two figure, is also close to a lieutenant general in strength those two people just now. It feels really sharp to me. Shirsue nodded and said. Unlike Kaku and others who judge strength by looking at the opponent's size, the Uchiha clan has excellent eyesight. Coupled with so many years of ninja training, he is still very professional in how to judge whether a target has the ability to resist. 
Let's talk tomorrow. The basic situation has been confirmed today. The next step will be to collect supplies tomorrow. Then the two of them were in scattered locations, waiting for the others to come back. At three o'clock in the morning, everyone came back. At the same time, Uchiha Izumi also sent people to notify the other three ships that they had arrived. Together we returned to the stronghold hidden under the cliff. Clan leader, the total is about 35 million belly. Itachi counted the cash everyone got. I didn't take the treasure or anything because it would be a waste of time to get rid of it. The first time was mainly to collect a wave of material replenishment. Later, there would be other ways to collect funds, such as precious metals and so on. The Uchiha clan still had some stocks. These are enough. We will buy supplies tomorrow and go directly to the port to buy new ships. After the supplies are purchased, Tiehua, Inawo, and Izumi, you will take 60 people back, and Yashiro will take the remaining people with us. Uchiha Tamaki arranged it directly. Going out to sea to do big things doesn't require so many people. After all, it's not about destroying the country. The main purpose is to target pirates and earn some bounty, and secondly, to complete Uchiha Tamakian's mission. It's enough to bring the elite there. Normal ninjas can just run a cargo ship to transport goods. After the situation stabilizes, we can expand the number of people who can go out. Everyone absolutely obeyed Uchiha Yugen's words and had no objections. At 4.30 in the morning, Uchiha Tamaki went out alone, ran to the naval base stationed in this country, and directly searched it. However, the things taken away were not very conspicuous and would be difficult to find unless you were looking carefully. The thing taken away was the Sea Tower Stone Handcuffs, a torture instrument used to imprison those with devil fruit abilities. There are also a bunch of bounty orders, which are everywhere in the naval base. And some permanent pointers, this is somewhat necessary. Sea Stone Handcuffs and permanent pointers are both troublesome things to get. It seems like there are a lot of strangers today. Califa went out to buy food. Along the way, I discovered that there were many more people here in the market than I had seen a few days ago. And they basically have black hair and black eyes, which makes them a little eye-catching in the crowd, and they look like they are purchasing supplies on a large scale. It's very guarded, and it feels like a spy organization, but they didn't pay attention to us. Rob Lucci also frowned slightly. He felt a similar aura. However, the surrounding Uchiha clan members ignored them and concentrated on purchasing. The main purchases are spices, cloth, medicines and other things. As for meat, seafood can solve most of the protein. We also bought oranges, etc. Including wine. The first purchase is for urgent needs, and subsequent purchases will be based on the situation. It doesn't look like pirates, forget it, we are on the run now, don't worry so much, let's buy supplies first. Califa spoke here. She found that these people were relatively mysterious, and now she didn't want to cause conflicts. After all, they are still wanted by the world government. Rob Lucci glanced around, memorized the locations of these people, and then followed Califa away. This is a phone bug, but you can only buy two-way phone bugs here. More advanced ones are not sold here. But it's enough. It's just for me to communicate with Captain Fugaku. I'll keep the extra pair for you to use to communicate with Captain Fugaku. Uchiha Yugen also went shopping, and what he bought was a phone bug. Itachi and Izumi looked at this thing with great curiosity. They couldn't understand that it could actually communicate with someone thousands of miles away. When contacting, try to use secret messages, because the world government can monitor these phone bugs. Except for some special encrypted phone bugs that cannot monitor, almost all other phone bugs can be caught by a special phone bug of the world government. Signal Monitoring Izumi, go summon Yashiro and the others to come over. There is a real battle. You can observe and understand the strength of human beings in this world. Uchiha Yugen continued. Izumi nodded and quickly went to find Yashiro and others. Not long after, Yashiro and others came over. Uchiha Tamaki led them directly to CP9's location. This is where Uchiha Yugen used his Sharingan to control a mouse last night and easily tracked them to their location. 
Uchiha Yugen and others were aboveboard, and Kaku and others who stayed in the house immediately discovered a few people standing outside the door. The pursuers of the world government. Not the navy. A member of the espionage organization. However, being so aboveboard is a bit too stupid. Kaku, Gabra, Owl and others didn't pay any attention to the group of Uchiha standing outside. After all, the opponent didn't have any guns on them, and only a few of them had daggers on their backs. What was there to care about? Let me knock them down. Gabra said with a smile on his face. He also felt itchy in his hands these days. He had been performing arts for a living, which made him feel a little unfamiliar with fighting. After saying that, he climbed over the window and jumped to the first floor. The world government shouldn't give up yet. And you are too young, you are all young people, haven't you heard of our names? Gala said carelessly. He looked like he was going to teach the newcomers a lesson. But immediately, the hair on his body stood up. Because, he found that the eyes of the seven people in front of him suddenly turned blood red and looked straight at him. Chapter, 21 His strength is probably at the level of a jonin, but basically it's all about close combat. When fighting these people, try not to engage in close combat unless you have a clear understanding of the situation or are sure to deliver a fatal blow. Uchiha Yugen began to explain directly in front of Gabra. The painting style suddenly became a little weird. Gabra's face couldn't stand it, and the other person didn't take him seriously when he spoke, as if he was teaching, which made him very angry. At the same time, he also felt ashamed that he had been frightened by the change in the other person's eyes just now. You pissed me off, you brat. Gabra said angrily. Then he used Xiao without hesitation and rushed directly towards Uchiha Tamaki. He saw that this guy was the leader of these people, so he would get rid of him first and shock these young people. If you dare to use them as elites in the CP organization as guidance, you will regret it. So fast. The pupils of Kaku and the others who were watching from the window on the second floor shrank instantly. Because they discovered that those people disappeared instantly and directly avoided Gabra's attack. What? Gabra was naturally the most surprised. But there was no time to surprise him, because he saw a huge fireball, rushing directly towards him. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Uchiha Tamaki didn't know when he appeared next to Gabra. He released Fire Escape from four seals and attacked Gabra. However, Gabra still had time to use Shave and directly avoided the flames. He jumped directly upwards, because there were streets on both sides and there was no extra place to hide. Fomsian Fire Claw Red Uchiha Tamaki threw five shurikens, and then spit out five small fireballs from his mouth, wrapped around the shurikens, took on the shape of a claw, and rushed towards Gabra in the air in several directions. Inu Dog Fruit Wolf Form Gabra sensed trouble and didn't hesitate to use the Devil Fruit's power. Really turned into a wolf. Quan Mei stood on the roof nearby, looking at these people in surprise. Others also had surprise on their faces. Although they knew about it, the feeling of seeing it with their own eyes was still different. Iron Block Wolf Hunt Claws in All Directions Gabra quickly waved his hands and used his claws to make a slash similar to Lan's foot, which directly chopped up the impatience claw red. But at the same time, his eyes also caught sight of something spinning around him. Squeak, squeak, squeak. It was the steel wire carried by the shuriken, spinning around Gabra's body. When he reached the appropriate direction, Uchiha Yugen pulled directly. The wire shrinks quickly. Gabra felt something was wrong and wanted to use Moon Step to leave. However, Yuabu's speed was relatively slow, and at the same time, he had just swung a slash and his body had no time to escape. In the end, the right foot was still pulled by the wire. Gabra was about to wave his right hand and cut off the wire. Thunder Escape Uchiha Yugen released electric current in his right hand, and the electric arc instantly flew to Gabra's body along the steel wire. Sizzle. Gabra's whole body was gleaming with electricity, his body was out of control, and he fell straight into the air. The battle ended sooner than expected. Itachi and the others felt like they had just taken off their pants. Kaku and others also appeared from the house and stood directly in front of Gabra who fell to the ground. 
he looked at Uchiha Tamaki not far away with great vigilance. Fire, thunder and lightning. What kind of devil fruit ability user is this? This is what Kaku and others are most confused about at this time. Itachi, I leave the long nose to you, Izumi, you deal with the horns, the painted face and the fat man, Yashiro, I leave it to you. Uchiha Tamaki arranged it directly. It's hard to find a suitable opponent. Uchiha Yugen just showed how to deal with the enemies of this world. This world is basically full of heavy tanks, but ninjas are assassins and mages, so just use the style of play that suits you best. Even if you can't beat him, the ninja's running is still pretty good. After experiencing actual combat, Itachi and the others can adapt better. Itachi and the others also looked a little eager to try. When did the world government get a group of people like this? Kaku has a headache. The feeling that the other party didn't take them seriously at all made them even more angry. Who are you calling fat? The owl was very angry. But Itachi and the others didn't waste any time and started taking action directly. The starting hands are Kanai and Shuriken. Although they are basically down in strength, it is best to consume less chakra. I can fight too. Shusue said to Uchiha Tamaki. There are some awesome guys out there, so don't worry. Watch here first. If there is danger, take action immediately, especially Quan Mei. She has the least actual combat experience. It was naturally arranged by Uchiha Tamaki for Izumi to be a squad leader. Thirteen-year-old San Magadama is full of potential. There are nearly twenty older San Magadama and Uchiha. But the only ones under the age of eighteen were Itachi and Uchiha Izumi, so Uchiha Tamaki planned to train them. Um. Hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Shusue had no objection. At the same time, he began to observe the battlefield carefully. Why are there so many devil fruit users, and they all use fire? Kaku had a headache from being tortured by Itachi. It was also discovered that these people would release flames. This shocked him. Some people don't understand what is going on. Everyone is slippery, don't run away if you can, fight me head on. The most angry owl is here. Being called fat made him very angry, and the opponent he met was even more slippery and impossible to touch. The shave that was very effective in the past was actually unable to catch up with the opponent. And from time to time, it would disappear right in front of his eyes, making him unable to find it at all, and then appear from nowhere, just for a moment. I'm almost bored to death. Ahem. The paralysis on Gabra's body was lifted, and he coughed twice just after doing it. Before the steel wire on his body was broken, Uchiha Tamaki released his thunder release again, and the electric current was instantly transmitted to Gabra through the steel wire. Gabra immediately twitched and fell to the ground, his long wolf mouth drooling uncontrollably. Normally, this kind of lightning escape is enough to kill people, but he is a devil fruit animal type ability user, and his body is also very powerful. To confirm whether they are dead, directly piercing the eyeball with a kunai is the fastest way. Uchiha Yugen said to Shusue. Shusue nodded silently. Some of his past experiences were useless, but practical experience could still be used in this world. It's Kaku and his friends. Problem occurs. At the same time, Rob Lucci, who was on the street, discovered the sound of fighting. Looking in the direction, his face immediately darkened, he greeted Khalifa, and hurried back. Chapter, 22 Where do these monsters come from? Kaku is in a tough fight here. The most important thing is that these enemies will not collide with him head-on, and the tricks he has learned in the past cannot pose any threat to them. The only long-range attack is Lan Jiao. He couldn't hit the opponent at all, and he was dazzled from time to time. He kicked a wooden stake and turned it into stone again. Just the slightest contact and the arm was almost numb. Sure enough, close combat is not a suitable option. Itachi, on his part, was also fully focused. The battle between ninjas and these CP9S is similar to the battle between the Survey Corps and the Titans in Attack on Titan. The Survey Corps is very flexible and has the opportunity to kill the giant, but it must not make mistakes. If you make one mistake, you may be killed directly by the giant. 
try the new technique Shirsui developed. Itachi also understood the situation and had no intention of continuing to fight. There are only a few tricks the opponent has coming and going. Except for turning into a giraffe and becoming stronger in all aspects of the body, there are not many normal tricks. This battle has shown that he understands the fighting ability of people in this world. Itachi feels that there is no need to continue. The data has been firmly memorized by the Sharingan. He was turning his head to look for Kaku, who didn't know where Itachi was hiding, when he suddenly lost his focus and thought of the days when he was training in the CP9 base. At this time, Itachi had already flashed in front of Kaku, holding up his dagger, ready to stab Kaku in the abdomen. Bang! But before he was about to stab him, Rob Lucci appeared and kicked Itachi, sending him flying. He crashed into the nearby house and was covered in rubble. What are you doing, Kaku? Rob Lucci looked at Kaku with a gloomy expression. But Kaku, who didn't have Itachi's continuous mental power output, woke up immediately and instantly understood what happened. This guy used strange moves. Kaku quickly defended. At the same time, he was relieved to see Rob Lucci back. These enemies were too difficult, and there were two men watching eagerly, so he couldn't concentrate at all. Itachi. Izumi, who was on the side, noticed that Itachi was knocked away. She couldn't help but be distracted and worried directly. Flaw. Bruno pressed directly against Izumi, his fist thrust out like a bullet. But immediately, he felt numb all over. He lowered his head and saw that it was a kunai with electric current stabbing his right calf. Don't be distracted, Izumi. Uchiha Yugen said coldly. Izumi was shocked. As for Bruno, his body has recovered. After all, his physical fitness is completely different from that of people in the ninja world. Not one shot of kunai with electric current can directly make him lose his combat effectiveness. He continued to raise his hand and punched Izumi. Well? Bruno couldn't help but be stunned when he saw the Izumi in front of him turning into smoke. Swish swish. The barbed wire immediately collapsed from the ground, trapping Bruno directly. Izumi on the side was pulling the thread in a hidden corner. It was a trap prepared just now, but it was true that he was distracted by Itachi. Dragon Fire Technique Izumi directly uses fire release. A fire dragon rushed directly along the silk thread towards Bruno. Bruno wanted to use his ability to escape, but the time required to open the space was simply not enough. Before the fire dragon was about to hit him, a stream of bubbles blocked him. But the bubble was able to withstand the fire escape with its changed nature, and directly penetrated the bubble. The fire dragon directly ignited Bruno, but its power was also weakened a lot. Who are you? Rob Lucci looked at Uchiha Tamaki and Shirsue with an unkind expression. He actually wanted to save Bruno just now, but as soon as his body moved, he felt danger. It came from two people not far in front of me. Retreat, come and gather. However, Uchiha Yugen ignored Rob Lucci and summoned him directly. Upon hearing the order, Yashiro, Izumi and others immediately gave up the fight and returned behind Uchiha Tamaki. Owl and others hesitated for a while and chose to stand next to Rob Lucci. At the same time, Itachi also crawled out of the ruins without any injuries because he used Susanoo. But I had just opened my eyes and was not very skilled, so I was still injured. But soon, the faces of Rob Lucci and others became angry. Because they saw Khalifa being strangled and walked out of the alley. But they were stunned immediately because they found that the person holding Khalifa's neck was exactly the same as the person standing not far in front of them giving orders. This is a devil fruit user whose abilities have been restricted by the Sea Tower Stone. They have almost no ability to resist. Bang! Uchiha Tamaki said. At the same time, the Shadow Clone was released. He kept a Shadow Clone secretly, and when he discovered that Khalifa had just rescued Bruno, he easily sneaked up to her side and cuffed her with seafloor stone handcuffs. Marco, the little brother, couldn't stand it even if he was restrained. A user like Khalifa, who had just eaten the devil fruit, was unable to resist. She was completely powerless and was easily subdued by the shadow clone. Khalifa looked unwilling, but there was nothing she could do. 
What is the purpose? Tell me. Rob Lucci asked directly with a cold face. He felt that the people in front of him were not from the world government, otherwise there would be no need to waste so much time. Moreover, the world government issued a death order to them, so there was no need to arrest Khalifa. I want to find you as a sparring partner. Shirsui, are you feeling well? Uchiha Tamaki said directly, and then asked Shirsui on the side. Rob Lucci's strength is probably around the level of six gate Kai. It is not a problem at all to stop water in perfect condition. But now that he is injured and cannot show as much strength, it is uncertain. But Rob Lucci was also injured, so Uchiha Tamaki asked Shirsui, both sides were not at their peak strength. No problem. Shirsui nodded. Itachi looked at Shirsui with some concern, while Izumi looked at the blood spilling from Itachi's mouth with concern. When you do this kind of thing, don't you consider that if you miss it, you will all die here. Rob Lucci also has his own pride. How could he not be angry when he was looked down upon and treated as a sparring partner? Losing to Luffy once has already made him about to explode. Now these ignorant guys actually dare to challenge him. If you beat him, I'll let him go. Uchiha Yugen said succinctly without any nonsense. Calmness is the first element of a ninja. Asking for death. Rob Lucci was angry. But he was not careless. He didn't know the information about the people in front of him, so he entered the human animal form as soon as he came up. The body directly transformed into half human and half beast. Then used the shaver directly and rushed towards Shirsui. So fast. Itachi, Izumi, and others were all shocked. It was discovered that the movement speed of this person and the enemy they just dealt with were not at the same level at all. Chapter 23 But Shunshin Shirsui is no joke. At close range, Shirsui's teleportation technique can be ranked among the top three in the ninja world. This is the teleportation technique on par with his best illusion technique. Rob Lucci directly missed. This surprised him. After all, he was prepared to end the battle instantly and not waste time. Therefore, directly transforming into human animal form is his strongest mode. But you can't even touch the hem of that man's clothes. Iron. Rob Lucci heard a sound breaking through the air. It sounded like a bullet. Although I didn't hear the gunfire, I didn't feel it was a big threat. Moreover, he was in the stagnant time after using Shao. He felt that if he continued to use Shao to leave, he might be hit, so he stood there and used the iron block directly. The shuriken that broke through the air hit Rob Lucci with a clanging sound, making a crisp sound. Rob Lucci pounced in the direction in which the shurikens were flying, but missed again. The two competed in speed, and the roofs and lanes were all their afterimages. What kind of monster is this? Kaku looked solemn on his side. Others also found it very difficult. Fortunately, the other party is not from the world government, otherwise they would be in real trouble this time. You only know how to run away. Coward. Rob Lucci became a little angry. Because he has never been able to catch the other person, or even touch him. This was somewhat unacceptable to him. What kind of fighting method is this? Do you want to consume yourself to death like this? Jisue stopped and threw a smoke bomb, and the smoke instantly filled the narrow alleyway. Rob Lucci frowned and waved his right hand vigorously, easily dispersing the smoke. Aren't you ready to escape? Rob Lucci looked at Shirsui standing in the corner of the dead alley with a smile on his face. Although he was still bandaged, he felt like he could take out this guy's heart with one claw. But Shirsui remained silent and took out his short blade. The red flame is directly attached to the short blade. Sword Leap Flame Shirsui directly used Shunshin and rushed towards Rob Lucci. Halfway through, he slashed out a flame and attacked Rob Lucci. With an excited look on his face, Rob Lucci used the iron claw in his right hand, and then directly tore the flame into pieces. Shirsui had already come to his left side and slashed out flames again. Almost at the same time, he slashed out the same flames on his right side. Form a triangle to kill. Caught you. But Rob Lucci had a smile on his face. 
Then, ignoring the two flames, he thrust his right hand directly towards Shirsui's abdomen. His right hand passed directly through the enemy's abdomen just as he expected, which made him very satisfied. But immediately, he was stunned. Bang! Because this person turned into smoke directly before his eyes. This made Rob Lucci's pupils shrink, remembering the way Khalifa looked when she was brought over by that man just now. You've fallen into a trap. Click. But he was not given a chance to come back. Helushi handcuffs were placed on his hands. It turns out that Shirsue used the transformation technique to turn into a sword, letting the shadow clone control it, and deceived Rob Lucci with a feint. Appear next to Rob Lucci in the least risky way. At the same time as the shadow clone was released, he also released the transformation technique, and the sea floor stone handcuffs were cuffed on his wrists. Mean. Luo Bulucci's eyes were about to burst. He felt that he was completely weak and could no longer resist. At this time, he was full of anger, and his human animal form quickly weakened and disappeared, turning into a human appearance. If he fought with all his strength and lost to the opponent, then he would admit it. Just like losing to Straw Hat Luffy. But now. He is not convinced. But there is no use being unconvinced. Jisue took out the steel wire, tied him up directly, and then pulled him out of the alleyway. Kaku and others looked at this scene dumbfounded. This was not the ending they wanted to see. How's the injury? Uchiha Yugen asked. This result is not surprising. There are indeed too many ninja tricks. Unless you can't break the defense, you can try them all. Not to mention that Devil Fruit users have such a huge vulnerability to sea stone and sea water. There was some bleeding, but it's not a major problem. Shirsue replied. Rob Lucci looked at Shirsue in surprise, obviously he didn't expect that the one fighting him was actually just a wounded person. What to do now, Khalifa and Lucci are both in their hands. Owl asked very quietly. Without Rob Lucci, it was Kaku who made the decision. Let's negotiate. It seems they don't seem to be from the world government. Kaku frowned. We have fulfilled your request, can we let them go? Then Kaku immediately spoke. Rob Lucci did not speak at this time, but waited for the result. If that doesn't work, he will immediately speak up and let Kaku and others escape. You are wanted by the world government, but you are just members of the spy organization. I don't want to deal with them. But this guy just now also made a direct attack and wanted to take out the intestines of my companions. This makes it impossible for me to let you go directly. Uchiha Tamaki answered. He looked hesitant. Kaku couldn't help but want to go up and punch Uchiha Tamaki. The people of the Uchiha clan naturally look up to Uchiha Yugen. We can give you something in return, whatever you want. But it was impossible for Kaku to give up just like that. He could only hold back the anger in his heart and continue to speak. It's easy to kill you, but there happens to be something dangerous to do and we need manpower. Your leader will serve as a hostage. After completing this task for me, I will let you go. Uchiha Tamaki didn't delay and stated his request directly. Hearing this, Kaku's face was still ugly, but he felt relieved. At least everyone's lives were saved. At the same time, he was also surprised that this person knew their specific identities. Although they are wanted by the world government, their identities will definitely not be revealed. Kaku did not answer, but looked at Rob Lucci. What are you going to do? Rob Lucci asked. Capture Straw Hat Luffy. Uchiha Tamaki said succinctly. Make a deal. Upon hearing the name, Rob Lucci agreed without hesitation. The other CP9S also looked surprised, not expecting such a mission. You guys clean up this place, and after you're done, come directly to the port to find us. Uchiha Tamaki said directly. Then he called to Yashiro and others and took Robluki and Khalifa away directly. Kaku and others were left to deal with the scene. Although Kaku and others were unwilling to do so, they could only watch as these people of unknown origin took Robluki and Khalifa away and disappeared from their eyes. Hurry up and see if Gabra and Bruno can still move. Kaku sighed and then ordered. 
The appearance of the main character Kaleidoscope has been included in the comments about the appearance of Kaleidoscope in Chapter 3. Chapter, 24 In the evening, the purchase of supplies was completed. Shipped directly. Arrangements were made for Tiehua, Dahua and Quan Mei to leave overnight and return with supplies. Including Achiha Tamaki, a total of 20 people remained, including 13 with 3 Magatama and 7 with 2 Magatama. The movement was quite fast. There was a battle in the morning, but the navy came in the evening. Achiha Tamaki looked at the warship docked at the navy's dedicated port not far from the port and commented. A total of three warships arrived, which was actually quite a lot. But if you want to catch CP9, it is impossible. Do you really want to seize the warship and leave? This is going to cause trouble. Khalifa frowned and said. Her seafloor stone handcuffs were unlocked, and only Rob Lucci was still locked. Others, Uchiha Yugen and Shir Sui were subdued instantly. They could control them instantly using their mental power, so they didn't care. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to waste this kind of fighting power that rivaled that of a jonin. You are the ones who took away the warship. What does it have to do with me? Uchiha Yugen said doubtfully. Khalifa looked at Uchiha Yugen, her chest kept floating, and she finally suppressed her anger. This person is so mean. Already done. After a while, Shirsue came back. He used illusions to control the major general in charge of leading the team, took away all the sailors on the ship and the base, and went ashore to search. Basically no one in the entire base, including the cooks, was taken away. Let's go. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. Then he directly greeted the tribesmen to set off. Isn't it a waste of money to buy a boat instead of having a navy warship? Kaku and others dare not speak out in anger. Rob Lucci was guarded by two three Magatama, and there was basically no chance of rescue. He could only follow Uchiha Yugen's arrangements. A warship was captured smoothly, and the supplies on board were sufficient, so there was no need to waste money. CP9 members were all surprised that the naval base was so careless, and there was not even a single person left behind on the warship. This is our target, the straw hats should be here. Uchiha Yugen said to Kaku and the others. They are naturally the ones responsible for driving the ship. The Uchiha clan still has a lot to learn. But it's also fast to learn, because they all have Sharingan, and what's yours is mine. Kakashi's famous move is copying ninjas. Although Kaku and others were surprised that even the control of the ship was left to them. But they really wanted to catch Straw Hat, the man who had humiliated them. So I didn't play any tricks and was always careful. But on the way, I still tried to save Rob Lucci, but I couldn't find any chance. The profession of ninja is not worse than the agents trained by intelligence organizations like them, but is actually more powerful. Lan. Uchiha Itachi used the dagger in his hand to directly cut out a sword energy. The sword energy streaked across the sea and disappeared within 15 meters. This move consumes a lot of physical strength, but if paired with fire release, the power should be improved, reaching the power of A-level ninjutsu. Uchiha Itachi said. Kaku on the side looked numb. Because he only showed it a few times, this child learned one of the six styles of Lan Jiao, and even improved it himself and used it to release it with weapons. But this kind of thing has happened many times in the past few days. It seems that the six styles are not difficult at all for these people and they can learn them easily. This can even begin to be improved. In these six movements, don't learn the iron block. It's too stupid. Just learn everything else you can, and just gain some experience in physical arts. Uchiha Yugen was not too surprised. After all, the physical fitness of humans in this world is too strong, which is difficult for ninjas. On the way to the terrifying three-masted sailing ship area, intensive exercise has been arranged for the tribesmen, and high-intensity physical exercise is carried out early every morning. The main thing is to increase physical fitness. As your physical fitness increases, your chakra can also increase. Chakra requires the physical energy and mental energy of the cells to be extracted. The Uchiha clan has very strong mental power. As long as they can open the Sharingan, their mental power is two or three times more than that of ordinary ninjas. 
now that their physical fitness has increased, they can extract more chakra. The most important thing is to make up for the fact that Kanoha has almost imprisoned Uchiha ninjas in the past few years, which has caused many people to have their combat effectiveness degraded. We must take advantage of this period of time to allow our clansmen to recover and even become stronger. Others had no objections either. Many people want to become stronger, Kanoha's shame, they don't want to do it again. What kind of monsters are these? If you exercise every day, you won't be tired at all. Gabra, who was also wearing bandages, was very afraid of these guys with red eyes. Shut up, complete this mission, and after catching the straw hat kid, we have nothing to do with them. After observing these people for several days, Khalifa became deeply wary of these people. There are too many of these people who are not inferior to them. She felt that there were at least two, or even three, people who could fight against Rob Lucci. Rob Lucci is the strongest genius in the CP organization in the past 500 years. She didn't know where these people came from, but they must be confident in doing things so unscrupulously. If you don't want to be betrayed by the other party at the last moment, it's best to be honest. They should be a very powerful force, and Straw Hat's whereabouts can also be investigated. It seems that there are many things in this world that we don't know. Kaku also came over and whispered. In the past five days, he had the most profound experience. These people could remember almost anything clearly, including the instructions on some navigation charts and so on. Even the ship repair knowledge he learned in Water 7 City was easily learned by the other party. This was a talent that made him feel horrified, and there were so many people. Prioritize the task of capturing the straw hat boy. Califa was helpless. Who knew we would encounter such monsters? At this time, she only hopes that these people can abide by the agreement and let them go when the time comes. The voyage took about eight days at sea. After passing through the seven capitals of water, I didn't encounter any pirates who would kill anyone along the way. We successfully entered the range of Ghost Island. It was covered by dark clouds and thick fog, making it almost impossible for ordinary people to see what was happening a hundred meters away. Itachi, lead ten people to spread out and look for an island formed by shipwrecks in the mist. Contact me immediately after you find it. Once within this range, Uchiha Tamaki immediately started making arrangements. The goal this time is to catch Luffy. If you can pick it up directly, it's best to do it after Luffy defeats Moria. In this kind of battle, he didn't want Uchiha to lose strength. After all, everyone's physique was still too weak. Although they were flexible, they would either die or be injured if they were hit. Itachi naturally had no objection. They immediately selected ten people, jumped off the boat and spread out to search for the island Uchiha Tamaki mentioned. CP9 and others were stunned. They. Running on the sea. The owls were startled. The other CP9s also stared at this scene with their mouths open. Although they can use the moon step to step into the air, this is the first time they have seen running on sea water. Chapter 25 Blackbeard who caught Ace can join the Shichibukai. It shouldn't be a big problem for me if I catch Luffy. After all, Blackbeard's target was Luffy from the beginning. Although I don't really want to take action against someone with such a protagonist's aura, this is also the easiest way to complete the task. If you can't become a Shichibukai, you can only increase the reward. The fastest way is to attack the Tianlong people. This will be more troublesome. Uchiha Tamaki was in the room, thinking about the pros and cons of this incident. He was wondering if it would become more complicated when fighting a war. If Luffy and Ace are executed together, will someone from the Revolutionary Army also come to kill them? Garp probably wouldn't watch his two grandsons die. It feels a little exciting. But compared with dealing with the Celestial Dragons, it is easier to catch Luffy. This is the Shichibukai, the territory of Moonlight Moria. Will Straw Hat Luffy really be here? Califa looked at the chart and quickly knew where this place was, the Devil's Triangle area. This area is the territory of Moria in the Shichibukai Sea. The other party's ships will not stay in one place for a long time, but will move, so she did not expect it when she just looked at the chart. But after seeing this black fog, I remembered the previous information, and then I remembered this incident. 
Just follow the orders. Shusui said very calmly in the cockpit. Although he is a bit naive, he is not mentally ill. He could feel that Uchiha Yugen had an unexpected understanding of the world. Almost all of these things were done in the fastest way, as if they were originally from here. Including dealing with these people, they seem to have a good understanding of their strength. The combat power of the guys assigned to Izumi and others is indeed at a level that Izumi and others can handle. However, as long as Uchiha Yugen is for the Uchiha clan, he has no objection. Khalifa nodded and said no more. She was very afraid of Shursui, because he easily subdued Rob Luchi, and his strength could not be judged at all. About six hours later, I finally got the news. The one who came back to inform was Itachi's shadow clone. After continuing to sail in this fog for two hours, everyone saw a terrifying three-masted sailboat that looked like an island. Itachi and others were already waiting for them on the shore. The CP-9S were already used to seeing two identical people again. Seven team members have been arranged to go in and understand the situation. But there seems to be signs of fighting. The specific situation is not clear yet. Itachi calmly gave the information. Everyone is lurking, waiting for my order. Uchiha Yugen ordered. He didn't want to be exposed too early. Depending on the situation, there should be a fight, but the winner has not been determined yet. If he didn't encounter him, Uchiha Yugen would have no choice but to lead his team to the shampoo land to block this guy. He didn't pay much attention to Moonlight Moria. At first, he was thinking about whether he could take over the spot by defeating a Shichibukai. But it feels like the possibility is too low. After all, the Shichibukai belongs to the world government. It is more likely to be successful if Luffy is captured and handed over to the world government. Although Uchiha now has enough power to defeat both sides, Uchiha Yugen cares about Tyrant Bear. This guy was just a liar when he came here, and even sent a woman to Hawkeye. At the same time, he made sure that his young master was safe and sound and that his companions were reliable before leaving. Otherwise, he was prepared to take Luffy away to prevent him from causing trouble to Monkey D. Dragon. It is uncertain how strong Tyrant Bear is, but he is definitely not at the level of a general. However, he should be among the top four in the Shichibukai. He is not that easy to deal with. Aren't we going to take the initiative? If Straw Hat escapes, it won't be easy to find him. Gabra was a little confused. This is the territory of the Shichibukai Gekko Maraya. Is he waiting for the Straw Hat boy to defeat Gekko Maraya before taking action? Califa, as the resource person of CP9, can easily guess Uchiha Tamaki's thoughts. She felt that no matter which side won, they would be unable to resist these people in the end. She feels that these practices are very similar to the CP organization's style of doing things. After waiting for a full five hours, the Uchiha clan even reported news that they had seen the Straw Hat cruise ship and that there were people on board moving. Even two hours ago, a huge roar came from the island. Uchiha Tamaki could even see Majin Aza's body with his sight. There was a huge shock on the island. Uchiha Tamaki could clearly see the figure of Majin Az fighting. Get ready for battle. The battle didn't last long, and the situation can now begin to be concluded. After receiving the order, many members of the Uchiha clan directly swallowed the Bingliang pills to quickly restore their physical strength and chakra, allowing them to maintain their peak condition. You guys are with me. Shursui, Itachi, wait for my order. Uchiha Yugen continued. Fighting the tyrant bear alone, Uchiha Yugen felt a little nervous. But this time there were three kaleidoscopes, plus ten jounin, and seven special jounin. With such strength, it would be a mistake to destroy a small ninja village. It is basically not difficult to capture the jinchuriki from the five major villages. With such strength, Uchiha Yugen felt that he should not fall over. Rob Luchi was watched by Uchiha Yugen, and then Uchiha Yugen asked Bruno to use his space gate ability to teleport them to a closer place. With Bruno's ability, he could easily cross the distance and reach the surroundings of Moria's castle. Straw Hat, I want you to die. Moonlight Moria shouted. He discovered that Luffy used Shadow to strengthen himself and became extremely powerful, so he was ready to try it himself. 
He even inhaled a thousand shadows at once, but his appetite was not that big at all, and he couldn't stop the shadows from spilling out of his mouth. Then he was easily killed by the plot. Luffy punched him and made him vomit. Then he hit the castle tower and was hit by the tower. All the shadows were vomited out and he was knocked unconscious at the same time. Oh! The pirates around felt the shadow returning to them, and they all let out happy shouts. Being imprisoned in this dark place for all these years really made them feel extremely aggrieved. How could he not be happy when he finally regained his freedom? At the same time, the dark clouds in the sky began to slowly disperse, and a beam of light broke through the dark clouds and shone onto the ground. The shadows of Luffy and others also returned to them. Just now, Chopper and others saw the way Luffy, Sanji and Zoro's upper bodies disappeared after being illuminated by the sun, which almost frightened them. Mariah lost miserably. Is that guy still angry? Not sure. As long as that guy is still alive, and after he recovers, I want him to continue to be a Shichibukai. But this matter must not be spread. It is really troublesome. You know what I mean. There must be no witnesses who witnessed Moria's failure. The world government has issued an order to kill all remaining people on the island, including the Straw Hats. While Luffy and others were celebrating, a figure attracted their attention. Bartholomew Bear was talking with the phone bug. On the other side is the five old stars. A piece of cake. Bartholomew Bear replied calmly. Laura and the others below were so frightened that their faces turned pale, and many pirates looked desperate. Apparently he didn't expect that he would run into someone more troublesome just after escaping from a prison. Hateful. Zoro and others were very angry. Because their condition was very bad, and Luffy even fainted. If they were at their peak, they felt like they could still compete with each other. Sorry, I want straw hat Luffy. But at this time, Uchiha Yugen appeared and spoke directly. It's them. Sauron and the others naturally recognized CP9 and others, and their expressions instantly became extremely ugly. Obviously they didn't expect that there would be another group of troublesome guys. Chapter 26 CP9 Defectors of the world government, do you want to stop me from doing something? Bartholomew Bear took off his gloves directly from the ruined castle, and then patted himself gently, directly patting himself to the ground. There was almost no sound. Kaku and others looked solemn. This was completely different from what they thought. After all, they originally thought they were going to deal with Moonlight Moria, but they didn't expect that there would be an extra Shichibukai. My purpose is also to hand him over to the world government, but I'm not just going to kill him now. It doesn't matter to others, but this guy has to be handed over to me. Uchiha Tamaki continued. At the same time, the Sharingan was opened just after it appeared, and it was discovered that Bartholomew Bear used the fruit ability to move himself, but could only capture the afterimage. That wasn't teleportation, it was just too fast. It's just that the speed is too fast, almost the same as teleportation, but it still cannot escape the observation of the Sharingan. Moreover, this ability has a pause, that is, the timing of slapping himself with his hand is enough for Achiha Tamaki to react. Are they going to fight? Should we take advantage of this moment to escape? Usopp said very quietly. Nami and Chopper on the side both agreed with this plan. Sanji and Nico Robin felt that this matter was not that simple. Only Sauron hated himself for not having the ability to fight, otherwise, he wouldn't have been so humiliated. In that case, let's clean up a few more people. It's not too troublesome anyway. Bartholomew Bear's tone was still very cold, with almost no tone. I'll leave those guys to you, just don't hinder the battlefield. Straw hat, I want to live. Uchiha Yugen said to the CP9 people. Just let them keep an eye on the straw hats and the gang. Don't you have to deal with him? Kaku said a little confused. I thought that these people were going to use them as cannon fodder. But now it seems that is not the case. You are too weak. In addition, this guy is the same, it will only disturb me. Let's start. Uchiha Tamaki sneered. This reaction made Kaku and the other popular faces turn red. Rob Lucci felt deeply humiliated. 
he has never been treated like this. In the past, he was valued by everyone, but now, he stands aside like a minion. This feeling of loss was somewhat difficult for him to accept. Let's get started, Bartholomew Bear. Sitsizi. Uchiha Tamaki looked at this monster that was almost three times taller than him. But there was no trace of timidity in his eyes. Electric arcs appear directly on the body. This is lightning escaping in the active cells, increasing the body's reaction speed and strength. The reason why Bartholomew Bear didn't take action was because he was just thinking. I wonder if the world government guessed his true identity and arranged for people from these CP organizations to test him. Have you been exposed? Are there any ambushes around? Now should he just run away with Ryu's son, or should he continue to pretend that he is Chiyo Hai, a member who obeys the orders of the world government? Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Uchiha Yugen breathed fire directly. CP9 and others immediately rushed towards the direction of Straw Hat and others. The pirates who were rescued by the Straw Hat boy did not give up at this time, but chose to lend a helping hand. Devil Fruit User Bartholomew Bear wondered. But with a slap of his right hand, the fireball, which was nearly three meters long, was shot away. And Uchiha Yugen had disappeared before his eyes. What a speed! Bartholomew Bear was a little surprised. But he immediately discovered that an attack was coming towards him. Three shurikens struck at his left, right and back. Bartholomew Bear directly patted himself, changed his position, appeared on the ruins that just appeared, and escaped the attack. Here he felt that he could see further and find where his opponent was hiding. Stand on the wall. But immediately, he was shocked. Because he saw the target he was looking for, and at some point, he was already standing on the wall under the ruins where he was standing. Less than two meters away from him, blood-red eyes looked straight at him. He raised his hand to release the bear paw pressure cannon, but Uchiha Tamaki's attack was faster. Chidori Sharp Spear The Chidori formed from the palm of Uchiha's right hand directly changed its form and extended instantly. Like a sharp spear, it stabbed straight at Bartholomew Bear. Bartholomew Bear felt that his pressure cannon should not be able to block the current rushing towards him, so he chose to give up releasing the pressure cannon and instead used the meatball to attack. He didn't know why the user with the ability to release fire escape could suddenly change his style and use thunder and lightning. But he couldn't bear this attack. Select the right hand that releases the attack to hit this current. The Chidori spear hit the meatball and was directly redirected, bouncing back almost 90 degrees. The Chidori spear hit the wall and made a hole. Can it reflect elemental attacks? It's a really strong ability. Uchiha Yugen caught the Chidori sharp spear at the same time as it was reflected, and left immediately. The tyrant bear also started to get angry. He also felt that these people were not sent by the world government to test him. They were very powerful in their attacks, and they had no intention of testing whether they were part of the revolutionary army. If you like hiding, let me see where you can hide. Push the pressure cannon. Bartholomew Bear lowered his body slightly, like a sumo wrestler. Then he kept pushing his hands forward, and pressure cannons like meat balls were fired from his palms. The target is all the ground beneath his feet. Including those pirates, CP9, and the straw hats. Because he knew that impact could not hurt Luffy, because Luffy was a rubber man, and only slashes had a direct effect, or attacks with armed hockey. Therefore, he can use the pressure cannon unscrupulously, covering all places and forcing his opponents out. Boom, boom, boom. Each pressure cannon shot is like a cannonball, exploding directly upon contact with an object. The castle area was like being washed away by cannonballs, with holes appearing one after another. A large number of pirates who had been hoarded by Moria were affected by this attack and began to flee. CP9 and others were also scared, so Kaku picked up Rob Lucci and started running away. Thunder Light Sword Transformation But Uchiha Yugen didn't hide all the time. After finding a suitable position, he directly opened the hidden scroll on his wrist, kept throwing hidden weapons, and attacked Bartholomew Bear. Hidden weapons, almost like machine guns, rushed from around Bartholomew Bear, not just in one direction. 
It's almost impossible to block so much with two hands. Found it. But Bartholomew Bear didn't even want to block it. He patted himself gently with his hand and appeared directly in front of Uchiha Tamaki. Then he raised his hand and patted Uchiha Tamaki directly. Chapter 27 Bang! Bartholomew Bear photographed a piece of gravel. Substitution. But immediately the other hand clapped behind him. A huge fireball was directly shot away by him. But Bartholomew Bear sensed something was wrong. Thunder escape earth web. On the ground where Bartholomew Bear was standing were about thirty senbon sticks. There is a wire tied to it. The other end of the wire was held in the hand of Uchiha Tamaki not far away. The electric current followed the wire in his palm and rushed directly towards Bartholomew Bear's position. Bear impact. Bartholomew Bear, who didn't want to be hit by the electric current, just opened it up. The huge pressure cannon, directly from where he stood as the center of the circle, instantly covered a distance of nearly 60 meters in radius. Those thousands of books were directly crushed and deformed, the steel wires were directly broken, and the electric current could not touch the body of Bartholomew Bear at all. Almost all the places covered by pressure cannons were in a mess. The huge gravel was directly crushed into almost powder by the impact. What a monster! Run away! Usopp and Chopper were separated from the main force, but Chopper, who had turned into an elk, was carrying Luffy, who had become smaller after using the third gear. The two were near Uchiha Tamaki and Bartholomew Bear, both of whom were too frightened to gasp loudly for fear of being discovered. Seeing the destructive power of Bartholomew Bear just now, the two of them were really scared to death. You're afraid of being hit by electricity. It seems that your body has been transformed. Uchiha Yugen did not continue to hide. Mainly to obtain information and judge the gap in strength. But now it seems that the other party is using the power of devil fruit more. In terms of reaction speed, it doesn't seem to be any better than Rob Lucci. Then there is no need to continue to waste time, resolve this battle as soon as possible. You are not from the CP organization. The tricks used, including the weapons used to attack me, are more like the abilities used by a certain profession in that closed island country. Similarly, Bartholomew Bear was also aware of Uchiha Tamaki's situation. It was judged that he might be a ninja, a profession he had only heard of in rumors. At this time, he began to have random thoughts. Could this person be a member of the Beast's Pirates? Did he take Luffy with him to attack the dragon? I'm different from those trash, I'm not on the same level at all. Sure sway, Itachi, come together. Uchiha Yugen said coldly. Then start shaking people directly. Although he can solve it alone, there are some risks after all. But if everyone goes together, there is basically no risk. Shursue and Itachi walked directly out of the shadows. And Bartholomew Bear was a little surprised, obviously he didn't expect that there were two people hiding. At this time, most of his body has been modified, including his eyes. It was almost an electronic analysis, but after fighting for so long just now, I didn't find where these two people were hiding. His heart became solemn, but because of the transformation, his face was still very stiff and he could hardly make any expression. Genjutsu Sharingan Uchiha Yugen started transmitting the battle plan directly and openly. Bartholomew Bear couldn't figure out the situation and didn't take the initiative for a while. In less than two seconds, Shirsue and Itachi accepted the information, understood the plan, and began to move and disperse. Imadi Flower Claw Red Wind Release Chaotic Wind Cut Shirsue and Itachi, separated from Bartholomew Bear for two weeks, immediately began to release ninjutsu. Uchiha Yugen also followed up and released Thunder Release and Thunderbolt Strike. At this time, Uchiha Tamaki sighed, it was indeed better to have more people. No wonder Danzo and Hiruzen Saratobi like to run around with large groups of people and perform more than a dozen ninjutsu at once, which is really hard for most people to withstand. Naturally, Bartholomew Bear didn't want to resist. After all, he didn't know how to be armed and domineering. So he chose to shoot himself away and chose the target of attack next to Uchiha Itachi, who looked the youngest. He raised his right hand and hit Uchiha Itachi directly. 
However, these movements were clearly seen by the Sharingan. Uchiha Itachi turned around slightly and avoided the attack. However, Bartholomew Bear's hand hit the ground, and the ground instantly cracked, and Uchiha Itachi was also blown away by the impact. Gan. Sword leaps into flames. What greeted Bartholomew Bear at the same time was the combined attack of Uchiha Tamekian and Shursui. Stopping water is faster. Bartholomew Bear resisted a move of Sword Leap Flame before moving himself to another position and dodging the rest of the attack. It's very tricky. The success rate of defeating them is 10%. I will also lose my fighting ability. Bartholomew Bear made a quick judgment. All three of them were able to react to his attacks and moved very quickly. So if you want to defeat three people here, the success rate is too low. But if he wants to escape, it is very simple. He only needs to take a photo of himself. These people will never be able to catch up with him. But Long Sun is about to fall into the hands of these people. He felt that these people were not good people and were suspected to be members of the Yonko Beast Pirates. If Luffy fell into the hands of these people, it would probably have a great impact on the Revolutionary Army. Take Luffy and leave. Bartholomew Bear finally made this judgment. In this case, he just led Luffy and ran away. He didn't care about the life or death of others. Less than two seconds had passed. Bartholomew Bear had already changed his position three times. Now he was being chased, and the situation was reversed. When a large number of hidden weapons flew next to him again. Bartholomew Bear patted himself and appeared directly next to Usopp and Chopper. As soon as they climbed to the edge of the bush, they were frightened by the sudden appearance of Bartholomew Bear. Bartholomew Bear directly slapped the three of them, preparing to slap them away together. But at the same time, these three people turned into smoke. Bartholomew Bear's right hand passed directly through the pile of smoke. This situation had never been encountered before, and Bartholomew Bear could not help but be stunned for a moment. Shursui did not hesitate to use the genjutsu he developed to influence Bartholomew Bear. But Bartholomew Bear just stiffened for a moment, woke up almost immediately, realized the situation, and was ready to shoot himself away and move his position. But the second illusion came. This time it was Itachi. He was about to clap his hand, stiffened again, and then woke up again. The third. Uchiha Tamaki uses Jinjutsu. But this time, Bartholomew Bear hardly froze, and his palm smoothly hit himself directly. However, he found that he did not move, but stayed in place. Chapter 28 Shusui appeared next to the right hand he had just slapped at Usopp and Chopper. The wrist of this right hand had been handcuffed with sea stone handcuffs. The power of Bartholomew Bear's devil fruit was reduced sharply almost instantly, and it was unable to achieve the effect it had in its normal state. Not giving Bartholomew Bear time to react. Water Escape Water Prison Technique Itachi appeared on top of Bartholomew Bear's shoulder. At the same time, he opened the scroll, released the seawater stored in the scroll, released the water prison technique, and covered Bartholomew Bear's head with seawater. Originally, this water was enough to cover an ordinary person's entire body, but for Bartholomew Bear, it only covered his shoulders. Uchiha Yugen and Shursui used steel wire to pull Bartholomew Bear's hands away directly, and tied the steel wire to a tree nearby to prevent the meatball from touching his body and avoid any danger. Counterattack Situation Their fighting method is indeed too simple, that is, head-on confrontation. After confirming the capture of Bartholomew Bear, Uchiha Tamaki was in a mood to comment. Usopp and Chopper just now, including the unconscious little Luffy, were all transformed by his shadow clone when Bartholomew Bear used the large-scale pressure cannon. I used it for fishing, but I didn't expect it to be successful. It's easy to defeat Bartholomew Bear, but it does take some effort to catch this guy. Sure enough, you still have to play with tactics. Using this kind of heart-based method will make the solution easier. Otherwise, the pupil technique used will consume too much. As a last resort, Uchiha Yugen still did not want to use the power of the kaleidoscope to solve the problem, whether it was himself, Shursui and Itachi. It seems that illusion is not very effective for those who are relatively strong. On Jishue's side, 
he was analyzing Tao. Among the Genjutsu, he was the most effective, followed by Itachi. However, Uchiha Yugen actually had the least research on Genjutsu. He was surprised that there was an illusion type pupil technique among the pupil techniques. These monsters have experienced many battles and are very mentally tough. Naturally, they are not comparable to ordinary people. In the ninja world, the effect of Genjutsu is actually only on ninjas below the elite Jounin. Kage level experts will basically not be affected much by Genjutsu. Of course, Shursui, you are different. You may be able to surpass this level, but it is difficult for ordinary Uchiha people to reach it. You still need to rely on all round strength to become stronger. Genjutsu alone will not do it. Uchiha Yugen gave Shursui a little enlightenment. Avoid this guy who is stubborn and just keeps doing it. Understood. Shursui nodded and said no more. But at this time, Bartholomew Bear moved. The head covered by sea water opened his mouth directly, and a flash of light slowly gathered in his mouth. But before the flash could be emitted, Uchiha Tamaki used a short blade to directly pierce Bartholomew Bear's mouth and penetrate the entire back of the head. Forgot about being a cybernetic. Even if the devil fruit and body cannot be used, you can still fire lasers. Uchiha Yugen said calmly after finishing the last hit. Then after waiting for a while, Bartholomew Bear was not dead and had lost any ability to fight back. You two watch him, I'll finish it off. Leave five of them to help Shursui and the others. The others will join me. Uchiha Tamaki then ordered. After the words fell, five people appeared around, next to Shursui and others. Uchiha Tamaki rushed directly towards the jungle, preparing to capture Straw Hat Luffy. This kind of enemy with weak points that can be easily exposed is much easier to deal with. If you were like Hawkeye, if you wanted to solve it, you could only rely on head-on strength to deal with it. Damn it, Firebird Star! Usopp was very panicked. He didn't expect that he, being the more powerful one at this time, would actually be able to help the team move to the rear. An attack was fired from a large slingshot, setting the forest on fire, trying to stop CP9's pursuit. Too slow. Point gun. Kaku dodged the attack with a shave and came to Usopp's side. He raised his hand and was ready to pierce the heart of this man who had the same attributes as himself. Clang. But his finger hit Wado Ikamanji's blade, making a crisp sound. But at the same time, Zoro's body began to bleed from the wound directly due to this force. Let's go. Zoro said in a deep voice. Zoran. Usopp was very hesitant, although his natural instinct was to run away. But this is so unfaithful. You are moving too slowly. But before Kaku could continue to take action, Uchiha Tamaki walked out of the forest first. Kaku was shocked. Over there with Bartholomew Bear. Then he couldn't help but ask directly. Of course it's settled. Uchiha Yugen finished speaking. This time he appeared between Zoro and Usopp. Zoro's pupils shrank, and his free left hand was ready to draw a knife and slash at the man who dared to appear behind him. Chidori Ryu. But Uchiha Yugen put some energy all over his body, and like an electric grid, the electric arc spread out in all directions. Usopp and Zoro were unable to dodge and were directly hit by the electric current. The two of them were covered in lightning. Usopp fainted and Zoro lost control of his body and fell directly to the ground, still retaining a trace of consciousness. I won't take away the weapon you put your faith in. The other two are considered trophies and I took them away. As Uchiha Tamajin spoke, he took the Black Sword Shusui and the third generation Kitetsu away from Zoro's waist. Sauron's eyes were splitting, but there was nothing he could do. This approach of confronting the NTR swordsman directly made Zoro faint from anger. Don't kill them. Take these two guys back to the castle. Uchiha Yugen glanced at Kaku and said directly. Kaku didn't dare to say anything, so he silently picked up the two of them and walked back. Clan leader, the target is about 1000 meters to the southwest. People from the Uchiha clan appeared and told Uchiha Tamaki information. Uchiha Yugen held two knives here and rushed towards the direction the tribesmen said. 
you pervert, I will beat you to death this time. The owl, on his side, waved his fist and kept hitting Frankie. On the side, Sanji and Nico Robin were trying to deal with Califa, Gabra and the others. Hateful. I must protect everyone. Chopper was holding a bounty of fifty belly and was preparing for a bigger fight. Despair. The Helushi handcuffs fell to the ground. The sea stone handcuffs on Rob Lucci's hand were broken open by Nurito. This is the only member who, like Owl, does not have devil fruit abilities. These bastard fish are so noisy. Rob Lucci's eyes were cold. After suffering so much humiliation, he felt like venting his anger. Chapter 29 Chopper, take Luffy and go first. Nico Robin said with firm eyes. Last time, everyone rescued themselves from these people. This time, it's up to you to save everyone. Robin, you can't do this alone. Chopper was very anxious. It also has the idea of staying and protecting everyone. None of you can escape. Rob Lucci raised his eyes and glanced at the straw hats. There are also large groups of soldiers around, delaying the members of the CP organization. Seeing this, he was distracted, so he went up and fired a few shots of his sword, and he immediately swept up a large number of pirates. Last time with the big one with red eyes, he was restrained by the other party before he could show his strength. After some activity, Rob Lucci felt a little better. Then Yu shout directly to rush towards the straw hats. Naturally, Sanji wouldn't let the lady get hurt, so he stepped forward and kicked Rob Lucci with his devil's wind kick. Rob Lucci was not afraid of the high temperature caused by the fermentation of biogas in the shoes, and hit him directly with an iron fist. Sanji's strength was unable to compete with Rob Lucci's, and he was directly knocked away. Nico Robin, it's all you woman. Rob Lucci looked at Nico Robin not far away with a cold expression. He never thought that he would suffer so much humiliation after capturing this woman and then being defeated by the pirates. Nico Robin's face was cold, she was no longer afraid. Raise your hands, ready to unleash your power. But it was a direct hit. Her ability needs to feel the opponent's position or see the opponent before she can use it. Rob Lucci disappeared directly on the spot, and she couldn't catch Rob Lucci at all. And Rob Lucci appeared again, having arrived at Nico Robin's side, waving his claws, ready to give this woman a blow. Stop. Uchiha Yugen's voice also sounded. Rob Lucci's body stopped uncontrollably, but he took control of his body again in less than two seconds. At the same time, his eyes were full of ferocity, and he naturally recognized the voice. It was the voice of a man who treated him as if he were nothing. Since you want me to stop, then I won't stop. The same trick won't work on him again. Purgatory. Seeing that Rob Lucci was not afraid of death, Uchiha Yugen was not polite. The three Magatama Sharingan rotates quickly, turning into a kaleidoscope, and directly uses the pupil technique. Rob Lucci froze in place again, motionless. There are eight kinds of hells in Purgatory, Mountain of Swords, Sea of Fire, Iceberg, Oil Pan, Dismemberment, Limbo, Loneliness, and Eternity. Each time it is used, it is a random kind of hell. You will experience such pain for a whole day in the spiritual world. However, in the real world, it usually only lasts for 5 to 10 seconds. Those with strong spirits can break free faster. Nico Robin felt the danger coming from the man in front of her. However, Uchiha Tamaki didn't give her much time to mess around, and directly handcuffed the stone handcuffs, and Nico Robin didn't even have time to react. Sanji rushed over and was stunned to the ground. Everyone. Nami was very anxious, her eyes full of panic. At this time, the only remaining fighting force around her was Frankie, a pervert. And Chopper had already run away with Luffy. And she immediately became the next one, and Uchiha Tamaki tied her up easily. Nami. Laura rushed over and was kicked away by Kaku who came over. Scare scare scare. Meanwhile, Rob Lucci wakes up from purgatory. His eyes were full of fear, while his hands covered his shoulders and touched his neck. He entered the hell of dismemberment. The body was being cut off constantly, and I felt that my hands had lost all sense of limbs, 
but I didn't feel it again for a while. Then it was cut off again. Even a murderous elite like him was almost mentally broken by this purgatory. It's a waste to use a move that the Shichibukai didn't use on you. Uchiha Yugen looked at Rob Luchi calmly. And Rob Luchi looked at Uchiha Tamaki with fear in his eyes. Because in the illusion, it was this man who kept cutting off his limbs and head. Let me go. Luffy. Let me go, bastard. Chopper, on his side, was captured by the Uchiha clan. He was struggling feebly and looked funny. Sea stone handcuffs were burned around his neck, and so were the hands of the unconscious Luffy. These sea tower stone handcuffs were taken from navy warships. After all, they came to arrest CP9 and knew that there would be many capable people, so they naturally prepared many sea tower stone handcuffs. They were all touched by Uchiha Yugen. This thing is really useful in the first half of the Great Channel. Luffy San. Brook and the pirate struggled to resist the attacks of other CP9S. Seeing Luffy being captured, he was very excited and directly broke through CP9's offensive. Then he was censored. In the end, only Frankie and the pirates were left to resist, but they were unable to withstand CP9's attack. Bring these guys to the castle. Uchiha Yugen commanded the clan members and took the straw hats away. Frankie, whose hands and feet were broken, was also taken back together. After taking care of these miscellaneous fish, you guys will come over too. Uchiha Yugen then said to CP9 and others, his tone was very cold. Kaku, on the other hand, also found out what happened from Natsutori, and couldn't help but sweat profusely. He thought that completing this task would end the contact between the two parties, but he did not expect that Rob Luchi would do such a thing and disobey the other party's order. Uchiha Yugen did not take charge of them, and took the straw hats back to Bartholomew Bear with his tribe. Luchi, do we want to escape? When Kaku saw Uchiha Tamaki leaving his sight, he came to Luchi and asked him in a low voice. But he was immediately stunned, because he saw Rob Luchi's eyes were full of fear, completely lacking the arrogance and indifference he had in the past. This made him stay where he was, and for a moment he didn't understand how Rob Luchi became like this. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, Robin, Chopper, Usopp, Frankie, and Brook. Uchiha Yugen looked at the number of people and confirmed that it was correct. Then he ignored them, walked over to Bartholomew Bear, and signaled Itachi to release the water prison technique. The water prison technique was lifted, and Bartholomew Bear's head could finally move. However, because of the laser just used, his mouth and back of his head were pierced. If he hadn't been a human being, he would have died. But now he just can't speak, but the mechanical neck is still supporting him. Uchiha Yugen then took out the phone bug directly from Bartholomew Bear. Just now, he deliberately kept it from using Thunder Escape to control him, just to keep the phone bug. Then Uchiha Yugen dialed the phone directly and waited for the call. Has it been resolved? You are indeed more reliable than Moria and you are very fast. On the other end of the phone, there was a voice that sounded very rich and aged. Chapter, 30 Bartholome Bear lost to me. I want to make a deal with the world government. Uchiha Yugen was not too polite and said this directly when he came up. The person on the other end of the phone seemed stunned, and it took a while before he spoke. Who are you? The tone of the phone bug is a bit unkind, but the imitation is very vivid. Uchiha, my name is Uchiha Yugen. I want to use Straw Hat Boy to exchange for a position in the Shichibukai. There is still an extra position. The one where Crocodile was removed from the list or the one where Jean Bay is included can be used. Uchiha Yugen briefly explained, and then made his request politely. Now the Shichibukai have two vacancies. One is that Jean Bay was arrested before and was removed from the title of Shichibukai. Another one is that what Crocodile did in Alabasta was exposed and he was expelled from the title of Shichibukai. That adds up to two vacancies. Straw Hat. Such a pirate is not worthy of the name of the Shichibukai. The other end of the phone said in a very calm tone. Everyone in the surrounding Straw Hats who were still awake looked at Uchiha Tamaki angrily. But his mouth was sealed and he couldn't speak at all. Isn't it enough to capture Fire Fist Ace? 
the son of pirate King Joel Roger. The son of Monkey D. Long, the leader of the Revolutionary Army, together, hosting a banquet like this is worthy of the name of the world government. Uchiha Yugen said calmly. The straw hats looked shocked, obviously shocked by the news told by Uchiha Tamaki. Luffy's brother was caught. And Luffy's identity was also known. Oh. Is he the son of the rebel monkey D Dragon? The person on the other side of the phone was obviously a little surprised. But he immediately recognized it. After all, surnames like Monkey D are rare. Or maybe the world government is holding back because of the naval hero Garp. Should we also be lenient to those who violate the law and let them go? Uchiha Yugen slightly used the provoking method. After all, this is the last step before the mission is completed. Ha, huh, the navy is just a force controlled by the world government. Uchiha Tamaki, you are very interesting. Deal, hand over straw hat boy to the world government, you will be the new Shichibukai. I don't know if the provocation method worked, but the person on the other end of the phone agreed to Uchiha Tamaki's deal. Obviously, I am interested in Monkey D. Luffy. By the way, a few CP9S have provoked me. They seem to be being hunted by the world government now. I will deal with these guys in the meantime. Uchiha Tamaki then spoke. Whatever you want, now you wait at Moria's place, I will arrange for a warship to come over to receive you, and at the same time, I will also have a pardon from the Shichibukai. Moria and Bartholomew Bear, please don't kill them. The phone bug was not interested in saying more. After leaving these words, he hung up the phone bug. There are obviously more important things to deal with. Uchiha Yushuan tried to use Sharingan to control the phone bug's coma, and found that it was easy to do it. This was to avoid the phone bug's eavesdropping ability. After all, Bartholomew Bear is a person who basically does not belong to him. Who knows whether the world government will do anything to him. Kaku and others stood aside with stiff faces. They all heard what Uchiha Tamaki said on the phone just now. The next step is to take care of you. Rob Lucci reneged on the deal. I shouted stop and he resisted. Originally, when the deal was over, I was ready to let you go, but now it's very difficult for me to do so. Our profession will not tolerate betrayal. Uchiha Yugen looked at the CP9 group. This is Lu Chi's fault, I apologize to you for him. Califa knelt down without hesitation and had no time to worry about whether she was naked. Seeing this, other people also knew that there was no other way to go. If they wanted to resist, their chances of success were too low. The people of CP9 knelt down one by one. Rob Lucci couldn't help but feel a little moved when he saw this scene. He also woke up from the panic, hesitated again and again, gritted his teeth and knelt down to plead. There are two choices now. The first is to die. Second, to be my subordinate, the Shichibukai still need someone to help them. Your strength is good and you can barely use it. Make your choice. Uchiha Yugen, on his side, was not polite and said directly. The CP9 group still has potential. If they weren't undercover, Rob Lucci's strength would at least be enough to compete with the four generals. This was also the reason why he used the pupil technique to mentally suppress Rob Lucci, to make him fear himself, so that he could have better control. After all, there are always some things that are difficult for your own tribe to handle, so you need to have a suitable subordinate to solve them. CP9 has the potential to keep up with the increase in strength, which is why Uchiha Yugen spends so much effort to do this. Pleading does not buy forgiveness, it just gives you another choice. Luchi, it's up to you to make the decision. The others looked at Rob Luchi seriously, and Califa said directly. As a member of the CP organization, there are times when you think about dying, but it is naturally best to be alive. However, they were betrayed by their own organization. Guys like Spangdam could be trusted. At this time, they only believed in their companions. Rob Lucci glanced at his companions. The pride in his heart did not allow him to bow his head. However, these companions who had bowed their heads for him just now made it impossible for him to maintain his pride. We are willing to surrender to you, Lord Uchiha Tamaki. Rob Lucci knelt down on his knees with difficulty, then lowered his head to express his allegiance to Uchiha Yugen. 
I felt extremely unwilling to do so, but still chose to bow my head. I will leave special abilities on you. If you disobey my orders, I can take your lives at any time. How could he trust these people without leaving a backup plan? You must keep it firmly in your hands to avoid any possibility of backstabbing. It's an honor I've been waiting for. Rob Lucci replied weakly. Rifa seal. Uchiha Tamaki walked directly to Califa and was the first to perform the sealing technique on her. Seal a Chidori's technique inside Califa's neck. Within a hundred meters, Uchiha Tamaki can release it at any time and unleash a sharp thunder escape. Even if he later learns armament hockey, he will not be able to withstand internal attacks. In the fatal position of the neck, there is basically no possibility of survival. One day at a time, Rob Lucci, you're the last one. Uchiha Yugen did not seal it all at once, because it did consume a lot of chakra. It was a bit difficult for him to seal more than three, and he was not in such a hurry now. He could just grab one and stop them from having other ideas. Clean up the battlefield and see if there is anything useful in the ruins. You guys, just keep an eye on this guy. Uchiha Yugen arranged. Let your people see if they can pick up something good from Moria, and leave the task of guarding Bartholomew Bear to CP9. Chapter, 31 Then Uchiha Yugen started searching Nami. Sanji on the side was so stunned that he gave him NTR on the spot. However, Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to do what Sanji thought. He just took out several parts of the weather stick from Nami's waist and thighs, without proceeding to the next step. Tear the cloth off their mouths. Uchiha Tamaki then ordered. The three tribesmen who were guarding the straw hat pirates on the side stepped forward and cut the strips of cloth off the mouths of these people one by one. You bastard, you actually dare to do this to Miss Nami. Obviously only I can do this kind of thing, woo woo. Sanji is almost crying with grievance. Others looked wary and looked at Uchiha Tamaki with great fear. Do you want to live? Uchiha Yugen lowered his head and looked at the group of people sitting on the ground, basically unable to move. Will you let us go? Nami's eyes lit up, and then she began to show off a little coquettishly, winking at Uchiha Tamaki. Not straw hat, but you can survive, but you have to exchange things. Uchiha Yugen said very directly. These people still have a lot of good things on their hands. For example, Frankie, Chopper, and Usopp also have some strange abilities. He didn't care too much about Nico Robin's ability to interpret historical texts. He looked for that ethereal thing, but relied on plugins. What is needed now is the ability to help the tribesmen gain a foothold in this world as soon as possible. Why not Luffy, you can do whatever you want. Nami was anxious and spoke quickly. Others did not speak at this time. If Nami could not negotiate successfully, their words would be useless. He's my bargaining chip. Anyway, he won't die right away. Instead, he will be imprisoned in a pirate prison and pushed into the city. If you are able, you can save him yourself. Of course, that will be while you are still alive. Uchiha Yugen would like to explain the situation a little bit. But Nami and others still looked ugly. I wonder what you want to trade, sir. Nico Robin spoke. She has been making a calm judgment. These people are very decisive in doing things. The leader has his own purpose and cannot be easily persuaded. Now she was even more curious about what this person wanted. They are obviously locked up and can do whatever they want, so why do they need to do this? This civet cat has medical knowledge, as well as the perverted shipbuilding knowledge, and this beauty's navigation knowledge. Let's start with these three. Uchiha Yugen thought for a while, and then added Nami's navigation knowledge, these things should be useful. This condition was beyond Nico Robin's expectations. Obviously, he didn't expect to use these things in exchange. He originally thought it would be a body or a prop. Even including herself, after all, she is the only person in the sea who can interpret historical texts except the world government. But the other party only wanted these things. Who is the Tanuki? Bastard, I am the reindeer. Chopper was cursing. How about it? I'm willing to trade these for your lives. Maybe I can save your captain in the future. 
In other words, we will all be destroyed here and die before your captain. Uchiha Tamaki is like a demon at this time, intimidating and tempting the straw hats. Although the Sharingan can copy memories, the memory of this knowledge is too long and consumes a lot of chakra. The risk of failure is high and part of the memory may be lost. So they cooperated obediently, this was the best, and Uchiha Yugen was not prepared to kill them. After all, the plot is his biggest help in this world. A living protagonist group is more beneficial to the future. This knowledge may not be learned in a short while. The negotiator was replaced by Nicole Robin. She is also slowly testing this man's bottom line. As long as you all say it once, if you don't remember it, it's our business and it has nothing to do with you. Don't try to play tricks. I know your details very well. I'm not interested in things like historical articles. Uchiha Tamaki warned Nico Robin. The two women on this boat are far more cunning than the men. After all, the things they have experienced are indeed very complicated. Nico Robin was shocked and did not dare to continue testing. Everyone, do you agree with this? Nico Robin could only ask her companions. If it can save everyone, this knowledge doesn't matter. Chopper was the first to speak. It wants to pass on its medical skills and has no hidden meaning. It doesn't matter what I say. However, a lot of navigation skills need to be judged based on weather changes. It is not just based on knowledge. It requires experience. Nami gritted her teeth and then emphasized, so as to avoid making mistakes and the other party would kill them directly. Just tell us what you know. Lies can't fool us. Uchiha Tamaki replied. Finally there is Frankie. There are already those people. Their shipbuilding skills are very good. There is no need at all. Frankie, on his part, doesn't want to share much. It's already good that I didn't ask you for Pluto's drawings. If that's the case, then just keep your ship and dismantle it for them. Uchiha Tamaki said unceremoniously. He really wasn't interested in Pluto. As for Neptune, control the Neptune class. If there are more Uchiha people, it seems that we can also do it and control hundreds of Neptune class to attack the pirates. Okay, okay, I promise you. Frankie panicked and quickly agreed. Whether it was Pluto or the Wanli Sunshine, he didn't want anyone to know the specific situation. Itachi, you learn from this Tanuki, sure sway, I leave that woman to you, don't let him deceive you. I leave this pervert to you, Kaku. Whatever other people want to learn, just follow. Uchiha Yugen began to make arrangements. I'm not a tanuki, I'm a reindeer, you bastard. Chopper continued to curse. By the way, sure sway, this knife is for you. Itachi, here's one for you. Uchiha Tamaki ignored Chopper, but took out Zoro's two swords and gave them to sure sway and Itachi respectively. The one for sure sway was Shu sway, and the one for Itachi was the third generation Kitetsu. Jisue pulled out the autumn water and looked at it, and he could tell at a glance that it was very precious. Don't you need it? My chakra knife is enough. Shirsue asked here. No need, I'm not good at this. Uchiha Yugen almost said that I was worried and there was no need for it. He felt that he would definitely be able to open the samsara eye and reach the six paths level. When the time comes to use the seeking jade, it can be used in any posture, and there is no need for this kind of weapon. And if he really wants to get it, at least he has to get a supremely sharp knife, which he doesn't want. Chapter, 32 Then start learning the pattern. The people of the Uchiha clan cherish this opportunity because they know their own situation and every knowledge of this world is important. Zoro, Luffy and Usopp woke up the next day. The injuries of the three of them were all serious, but their physical fitness was indeed very strong. Apart from the painful injuries, they looked almost like normal people. After the three people understood the situation, all of them looked ugly. If you have the ability to let go and fight, I will definitely not lose. Luffy shouted. But Zoro's eyes were basically fixed on Shirsue and Itachi, because they were carrying their own swords on their waists. NTR's hatred is irreconcilable. After Usopp learned that he would not die, he relaxed a lot, lying on the ground very decadently and yawning. 
the latest news, let me show you. Uchiha Tamaki, on his side, took out the newspaper of Ace's arrest and threw it in front of Luffy. Luffy still raised his head at first, ready to continue shouting. Although he was injured, he was definitely not cowed. But when he saw Ace's appearance in the newspaper, he immediately fell down like a maggot, because both Luffy and Zoro were tied like insects, and there was basically no possibility of breaking free. Ace. Ace was caught. After reading the news, Luffy's face was full of disbelief. The rest of the Straw Hats were also sad to see Luffy like this, and didn't know how to comfort them, because Luffy would be captured soon. I have a secret news for you. Fire Fist Ace, the son of Pirate King G.O.L. Roger, will be executed in a month or two and will be broadcast live. Uchiha Yugen continued. The plot was changed by himself, so Uchiha Yugen was prepared to give Luffy more time to prepare. It's up to him whether he can change. What did you say? Luffy's eyes widened with anger. The son of the Pirate King, Ace. Sanji said in shock. Isn't Luffy Monkey D. Dragon, the son of the leader of the Revolutionary Army? Why is his brother the son of the Pirate King? Monkey D. Dragon is the Pirate King. Sanji asked quickly. Sworn brothers, Ace and I are sworn brothers. Luffy gritted his teeth, but still answered the question. The place you are about to go to is the same prison as Fire Fist Ace. It may be possible that you will be executed together with him. It's up to you whether you can change it. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he didn't wait much longer, leaving Luffy to think more on his own. His main responsibility is still the family, and the second is to complete tasks, change the plot and so on, and just spend some time on it. Then Uchiha Yugen continued his training. Even if he had a system, how could he compare with the protagonist if he was not brave? You are amazing, remember everything I said. Chopper praised Uchiha Itachi. It discovered that not all of these people were as annoying as the guy who called him a civet cat, although they also caught themselves. This young man is very nice and well behaved. He remembers everything he said and can even make a fresh copy of the herbal medicine he just made. Chopper felt very happy to be a teacher like this. This is all taught well by teacher Chopper. Itachi smiled kindly. He prefers this life, the days without war. But now for the sake of the family, he must work hard and help as much as he can. Um, can I ask you something? My companions are seriously injured. Can you help them treat them? I'm not letting them go, but their injuries are indeed serious and they can be used as training guidance. That's okay. Chopper squirmed. But he still said it decisively, after all, it was related to the health of his companions. After Chopper finished speaking, he carefully paid attention to Itachi's face, and found that Itachi's face became calm, which made him a little panicked. I need to ask the clan leader about this. Itachi answered. Then he went to find Uchiha Tamaki. Came back quickly and got permission. But the patriarch said that if you dare to resist, then the deal will be cancelled, and you will be killed directly. Itachi's words frightened Chopper greatly. But we still started treating everyone. Shirsue is very indifferent here, and has become defensive towards outsiders. He will no longer be the same as when he was deceived by the third generation Danzo and the other two. Nami felt a little itchy, feeling that this man had no sense of her beauty, which was a very disrespectful behavior. CP9 changed its attitude and treated Frankie badly. He questioned him directly and then asked Frankie to demonstrate. Anyone from the Uchiha clan who is interested will watch and learn, mainly navigation skills and Chopper's unique herbal medicine skills, which can be helpful. In fact, ninjas really don't care much about boats. After all, they can tread water and swim. In this world where the sea is king, they still don't care too much about boats. Seven days passed in a row, and news came from the navy. It would arrive tomorrow. The only one who doesn't have any spells left on you is you, because you are more dangerous, so I need to use a more complicated spell. On his side, Uchiha Yugen said to Rob Luchi. If the other Shichibukai and Kaku might have the slightest chance of breaking free from the technique, then Robluchi would have a great possibility. 
After all, if the devil fruit awakens, it might be able to withstand the power of the Chidori that explodes internally. Therefore, Uchiha Yugen planned to learn from Uchiha Madara, placing the technique on the heart, a position that could not resist the damage at all. It's my pleasure. Rob Luchi lowered his head and bowed slightly. Itachi, and Tanuki, you two come here to help. Uchiha Tamaki then called these two people over. At the same time, he told them what to do. At present, Uchiha Yugen does not have the strength to perform the technique directly on the heart through the skin, and needs to open the chest. A hole about the thickness of two fingers is enough, as long as it has a line of sight. Then, with Chopper watching in shock, the operation was quickly completed, the wound was sutured, and the herbal medicine made by Chopper was applied. I can destroy your heart at any time. Don't have any other thoughts, follow me, I will take you to be the strongest in the world. Uchiha Yugen said to the CP9 group. This is the first wave of thugs, and it still has a lot of potential, so it's worth the effort. The CP9s have resigned themselves to their fate. At least the other party is better than a bastard like Spangdam. On the last dark night before the arrival of the navy, Uchiha Tamaki met Luffy alone. Chapter, 33 What's wrong, is the navy coming? Luffy yawned on his side. At this time, he was no longer so disgusted with being captured, because he wanted to save Ace. Sending him to that big prison actually helped him, so he was not worried, but he couldn't wait to get to that prison as soon as possible. Are you planning to rush into the city and save Fire Fist Ace? It's a pity that with your current strength, you can't do it at all. After all, you can't even destroy the Sea Tower Stone handcuffs. Uchiha Tamaki broke Luffy's fantasy directly. As long as you go in, there will definitely be a way. Robin said that there was a big pirate who escaped from that prison. Luffy snorted coldly and showed a don't lie to me expression. That big pirate is as powerful as the Pirate King. He can destroy the Sea Tower stone handcuffs by relying on his own strength. Can you do it? Uchiha Yugen shook his head, and then continued to strike. Hateful. I will definitely rescue Ace anyway. Luffy was very unconvinced and continued to argue. I can help you so that you can open the seafloor stone handcuffs when you are in prison. However, I won't do anything to lose money, trading. You owe me a favor. I will make a request of you in the future, and you can just fulfill it. Uchiha Tamaki, on his side, said to Luffy. This is what I learned from Madara Uchiha, the layout. However, from the beginning, Uchiha Madara was the one who was laid out, but Uchiha Yushuan felt that it was not a big problem to spend some time on this matter, and he would not invest too much in this matter. Why did you arrest me and then help me? Luffy was a little confused. Do you want? This is the chance. Uchiha Yugen was not going to waste time. He felt that Luffy would definitely not die, but it was hard to say whether he could come up with something. Good. I owe you a favor. Luffy gritted his teeth and agreed. Saving Ace was even more important. Open mouth. Luffy was a little confused, but he did as he was told. Bang! Uchiha Yugen channeled his spirit until the crow came out, and then tied a key to the crow's feet that could unlock the sea stone handcuffs. The teeth were movable and could unlock most of the sea stone handcuffs of this era. Then he directly controlled the crow and got into Luffy's mouth. Luffy looked uncomfortable and disbelieving, feeling that he had been deceived. Transfer seal. Uchiha Yugen opened the kaleidoscope and started the sealing technique. A minute passed and the crow entered Luffy's mouth. Luffy felt extremely uncomfortable. Although he ate a lot, the feeling of eating directly with fur was very uncomfortable. That crow will come out of your mouth in two months. Remember to take the key from it. After Uchiha Tamaki left these words, he had Luffy taken away. Luffy still couldn't figure out what was going on. He didn't know if he had been deceived, and he was still immersed in the pain of eating crow. Shortly after dawn, the navy warship docked and came ashore. The person responsible for escorting Straw Hat Luffy is Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel. At the same time, he also brought an amnesty order from the Shichibukai. Luffy and Bartholomew Bear were handed over to the navy smoothly. 
The flying squirrel looked at this very thin man, how he defeated Bartholomew Bear and captured the straw hat kid, which made him very curious. From today on, Uchiha Tamaki, you are a member of the world government's Shichibukai. This is your pardon order, and keep this phone bug safe. If anything happens to the world government, it will contact you through this. Flying Squirrel handed the thing to Uchiha Yugen. Uchiha Yugen took the phone bug that was similar to Bartholomew Bear, and at the same time threw the phone bug of Bartholomew Bear to the side of Bartholomew Bear. Tomorrow the world government will announce this news to the world. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel continued. There was a short guy on the side. He took out his camera and quickly took a picture of Uchiha Tamaki. Understood. By the way, Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel, this is the symbol of my power. Let's distribute it to the newspapers together tomorrow. Uchiha Yugen nodded, then took out a flag with the Uchiha clan emblem printed on it and handed it to the Flying Squirrel. The Flying Squirrel nodded and did not refuse. This guy who suddenly became the Shichibukai has a low reputation and is obviously not a famous pirate. If he were a pirate, he wouldn't have this attitude. The navy left quickly and the matter ended neatly. Pack up and return tomorrow. Uchiha Yugen ordered here. The surrounding tribesmen were also very happy at this time. Uchiha had a legal identity in this world. These days, they also know what kind of power this King Shichibukai has. Legal plunder. Not restricted by the world government and not attacked by the navy. Although part of the income has to be handed over, the impact is not significant at all. They just have to listen to the call of the world government and work hard for the world government. But in the past, when I was a ninja, the situation was the same, but I didn't have such great freedom. Ordinary tribesmen are thinking about a better life, but Achiha Yugen thinks further. You can go. If you want to save the straw hat boy, you can do it now, but Bartholomew Bear should be freed from the sea stone handcuffs. You can go if you feel like you have beaten him. Uchiha Yugen asked someone to remove the straw hat gang's sea stone handcuffs. After all, this prop is quite rare. We need to find a way to give each member of the Uchiha combat team a self-defense weapon. Really let us go. Chopper was still surprised. It thought these bad guys would lie to it. It's not too late to save Luffy now. Zoro said a little anxiously. The captain he had entrusted everything to could not just die like this. Although I really wanted to get the knife back, saving the captain was more important. Nico Robin took a deep look at Uchiha Tamaki. Guys like this who are decisive and have goals are all ambitious people. I don't want anyone who can interpret historical texts. It seems I want more. Damn it, Miss Nami, I will definitely avenge you next time. Sanji said harshly. This is what he has dreamed of doing. I will visit your home recently and tell your father about my encounter with you. Uchiha Tamaki replied calmly. But these words made Sanji feel as if he had fallen into an ice cellar, and he was unable to speak for a moment. Move. Frankie, on his side, grabbed Sanji and ran away quickly. He was afraid of these strange guys, but saving Luffy was more important. The straw hats quickly disappeared in front of Uchiha Tamaki. The rest of the Uchiha clan are also packing up. There are still some things that can be taken with them in the castle of Moonlight Moria. Task, submit. On the other hand, Uchiha Yugen silently opened the system and submitted the first task of the system. Chapter, 34 is this the power of kaleidoscope without side effects? Uchiha Yugen stood on the bow of the boat, opening his Mangekyo Sharingan and scanning the surroundings wantonly. The power of bloodline awakening, as Uchiha Yugen guessed, was most likely to be the bloodline of Indra, and he was not lucky enough to reach the level of Hagoromo Atsutsuki. The power of this bloodline is the level Uchiha Madara had before his death. It has the Manjiki Sharingan without side effects, the kind that can turn on Gundam mode. At the same time, he has an extremely large amount of chakra, and can fight for three days and three nights with the original generation. For the previous Uchiha Yugen, the improvement is more than dozens of times. His physical fitness has also improved a lot, and is at least several times stronger than his previous body. Now Uchiha Yugen feels that he can open the six gates. 
Based on what I remember, beating the four emperors doesn't feel like a big problem, but two words, it feels very difficult. Uchiha Yugen analyzed. After all, he has yet to meet the top power in this world. Bartholomew Bear is still far from the peak. It is too far away to be used to quantify the strength to judge the target. At the very least, it's still at Doflamingo's level, not quite close to the Emperor's vice, but he can probably tell what level it is. But we still have to solve the problem of the bloodline of other members of the Uchiha clan. It seems that the bloodline is indeed defective. The most perfect one is Atsutsuki Hagoromo, which can directly transform the three Magatama into the reincarnation eye. The second is Indra, which is my current level. It does not require relatives to exchange the kaleidoscope blood chakra eye. It has no side effects and can open the Gundam whisker at the same time. Zuanengu's state. Now, as long as I return to the ninja world and use the first generation cells, I should be able to open the samsara eye. But the water in the ninja world is indeed very deep. The power of the Rinnegan eye alone may not be able to cover it. Atsutsuki Hagoromo has lived for so many years, who knows what else he has prepared. There's no way we can deal with Uchiha Madara just after the dirt. It's better to develop now. Although Uchiha Yugen's strength has skyrocketed, he still feels that he is not stable enough to return to the ninja world now. Although it is easy to kill Kanoha, there are more things to deal with later. Anyway, Kanoha will not collapse for a while, and Uchiha is also developing rapidly in this world, and is ready to slow down for a while before returning to the ninja world to solve it all at once. New Tasks I feel that what I have done has brought about changes. After Uchiha Yugen decided to continue hanging out on the sea, he began to think about what to do next. The peak of the world in the summit war, join the pirate or navy side. The pirate's goal was to save Fire Fist Ace, but the casualty rate of the Whitebeard Pirates was over 50%, and the mission failed. The goal of the Navy is to destroy the Blackbeard Pirates. If only one person survives, it means failure. If the mission is successful, you will gain armed hockey internal destruction, seeing hockey brief prediction of the future, and overlord hockey external release. The task failed and the system recycled. As expected, it is a plot copy of the war on top, but because of what I did, will it turn into killing the sons of two kings at once? When the Revolutionary Army and the rest join in, the situation will become much more complicated. Did you directly choose to help save Ace? Uchiha Yugen also had a headache. But I don't regret trading Luffy for the position of Shichibukai. This is already the easiest way. There is no other way to become a Shichibukai. You can only take risks, do something to offend the world government, and increase the reward to 500 million, which will have a greater impact on the Uchiha clan. Although it gave Luffy a little help, I don't know what will happen in the future. It's hard to say whether the world government has the ability to kill the sons of two kings at once. Forget it, I'll make a choice when the time comes. The three generals on the navy side are not easy to fight, as well as Sengoku and Garp. The pirate side only has Whitebeard. It's not the peak yet, but if Monkey D. Dragon really leads the revolution if the army appears, it will be difficult to deal with. Let's talk about it when the time comes. Uchiha Tamaki decided to play it by ear. Let's see which one is easier and can bring more help to Uchiha. After traveling on the sea for five days, we returned to the Spring Queen City. During this period, the news that Uchiha Yugen had become the Shichibukai spread throughout the sea, including the Uchiha clan's emblem. You stay here and hunt pirates in exchange for the bounty. I will come here in ten days, bring all the people, form a team and go further to hunt pirates. Uchiha Yugen said to CP9 and the ten remaining clan members. The Navy's warships were also left for them to work hard to make money. The strength of these men is enough to deal with a pirate group with less than 300 million belly. It is difficult to encounter such enemies in the first half of this period. Even if it is a supernova, the opponent may not be able to withstand it. Uchiha Yugen and others bought a small boat at the port and spent a day returning to the isolated island where the Uchiha clan now lives. Uchiha Fugaku already knew about Uchiha Tamaki becoming the Shichibukai on the day the news came out. 
These days, he has also learned about the specific situation of this world from the information collected by the tribesmen outside, which is indeed what Uchiha Yugen said. The position of King Shichibukai can bring many conveniences to the Uchiha clan. The environment was almost completely different from the environment when he was locked up as a dog in Kanoha. Captain Fugaku, don't take this matter too seriously. This is just the beginning. In this world, Uchiha will not be much safer than in the ninja world, because of these eyes. This power will be exposed sooner or later. They don't know that if they are not from the Uchiha clan, using these eyes will have side effects. They will only stare at the power brought by these eyes. When the time comes, they will end up like the Hyuga clan, being stared at. Uchiha Yugen's side directly broke Uchiha Fugaku's illusion. The power of the Sharingan is enough to tempt many people. The four emperors, and even the world government, have the strength to deal with Uchiha. If the Uchiha clan is kept in captivity and he keeps watch, nothing may happen, but if they leave the area that he can control, they will definitely be attacked. This situation was not what Uchiha Tamaki wanted. Got it. I will restrain the tribesmen from running around. Uchiha Fugaku broke into a cold sweat when he heard this explanation. If the Uchiha clan was targeted and had their eyes gouged out repeatedly, this would really be unacceptable to him. This kind of thing will only disappear when Uchiha has absolute power and makes everyone afraid. Even if he gets these eyes, he cannot use them. As for the issue of the Uchiha clan's bloodline, I will make it clear to everyone this time and find a way to solve it at the same time. Uchiha Yugen said to Uchiha Fugaku. Is there someone who swiped the data and made a mistake? I won't pay you. Chapter, 35 So, we are still related to the Senju clan. What a fate! Those who were summoned to the meeting were tribesmen with three Magatama and above. The speaker was an old elder, somewhat self-deprecating about the history that Uchiha Tamaki just explained to him. When they learned that the Uchiha and the Senju clan were the descendants of the two sons of Sage of Six Paths, and that they both shared the same ancestor, many people couldn't believe it. So the current Uchiha should have a genetic defect. After turning on the kaleidoscope, excessive use will lead to blindness. Uchiha Yugen explained to everyone. It brings great power but also severe side effects. Perhaps, by keeping the bloodline pure with the Hyuga clan, there may be no side effects in the future. Uchiha Fugaku said. Regarding the relationship with the Hyuga clan, Uchiha Tamaki just explained it. It starts with the explanation of sealing Kagaya, and briefly explains the situation. It can't be changed now. In this world, there are people who focus on blood factor research. I am going to conquer him and let him work for Uchiha and study bloodline issues. Let's see if we can find a suitable change method to enhance the strength of the Uchiha clan. After all, no one knows if this is the case, but there is no way to go back and modify it. Then after warning some tribesmen to be careful about their own safety and to prevent being stared at, they disbanded, leaving only Mangyadong and a few people to hold a meeting. I don't plan to bring too many people with me this time, just two or three. The target is named Vinsmok Gaji. He is an overlord level existence in the North Sea. He is strong enough to defeat Shao Ninja Village. He is probably similar to the strength of Yugikure Village before. This force is also good at making weapons, which just allows them to replenish the consumption of ninja tools, etc. And even update new ninja tools. While I'm not here, I'm asking Captain Fugaku to take full responsibility for the Uchiha. It was most appropriate to go back to find Orochimaru, but Uchiha Tamaki was not prepared to put all his eggs in one basket. If two people do the comparison, the effect will be better. One is to compare from the direction of the ninja world, and the other is to compare from the direction of this world. Maybe we can make some new discoveries. Don't worry, leave this to me. Fugaku nodded. Everyone is working hard for the glory of Uchiha, and he works hard for this, and it is his duty to do so. Itachi, Izumi, you two come with me. Shirsue, you will be responsible for those people outside. The main purpose is to obtain funds and kill more pirates in exchange for bounties. Of course, you don't have to be polite when you encounter the opportunity to take advantage of others. This is the power possessed by the Shichibukai. 
Also, safety comes first. Every clan member is important. If there are dangerous things, just let those guys do it. Uchiha Yugen began to make arrangements. Now he alone is strong enough to suppress Vin Smoke. The main purpose of bringing Itachi and Izumi was to let the two young people see more of the world. Moreover, Uchiha Yugen is also preparing to lead Itachi in the direction of research. After all, this man is indeed the most ruthless guy in the Uchiha clan. It feels like Sun Wufan. He is too restricted by the world, but his strength is still so strong. Don't you need my help over there? Shirsue wondered. I don't have any objections to Uchiha Yugen's arrangements. Now I am strong enough to suppress the current ninja world. Death does not count. Uchiha Yugen said arrogantly. Hearing this, the three of them were a little surprised and confused, wondering why Uchiha Tamaki was so domineering. But Uchiha Tamaki didn't explain, and they didn't ask any questions. Now it seems that the new patriarch does things only when he is sure, including becoming a Shichibukai. They believed in this patriarch very much. Leave tomorrow. Itachi remembered to leave some of the medical knowledge he learned for everyone to learn from. Uchiha Tamaki didn't say much. It would definitely be better if the Uchiha clan's bloodline defects could be solved without using first-generation cells. For ordinary Uchiha clan members, Uchiha Yugen feels that they may not be able to withstand the power of the first-generation cells and may be counterattacked. Turning on the kaleidoscope may be enough to suppress the power of this first-generation cell. Shirsue and Itachi, who have unlimited use of the kaleidoscope, can definitely go further in strength. It's not easy to be the leader. Sighed. But Uchiha Yugen didn't feel dragged down. He was protected by his family when he was a child, and now he wants to protect his family. There really is a talking civet cat that can even see a doctor. Sasuke's eyes were wide open, and he couldn't believe what his brother said. Yes, a very powerful Tanuki teacher. The medical skills it teaches can bring a lot of help to the family. Itachi was distracted writing a book while talking to Itachi about his experiences at sea these days. This feeling of family warmth is what Itachi pursues. Sasuke, on the other hand, has been practicing very hard on the island these days. He also vaguely knew the family's situation, and knew that only by becoming stronger could he help the family. Fugaku, on the other hand, was very relieved and sat down to rest for a while. Although the house was incomparable to the courtyard in Kanoha, he felt at ease here. Jishue is practicing. He has not recovered from his injuries in the past few days. He was treated as an experimental subject by Weasel on the island and was given some new herbs, which made his recovery much faster. So when he had time, he started practicing. Holding the autumn water, he slashed out sword energy one after another. This was a move Itachi had developed based on Arashi's foot. Shirsue is currently optimizing how to use it to consume less physical energy, and is also thinking about incorporating fire escape or wind escape to increase its power. He regretted trusting those people in Kanoha. At this time, he only hoped that he could have stronger strength, be able to protect Uchiha, and atone for what he had done. Now it's time to develop chakra. As for Uchiha Yugen, he is also thinking about becoming stronger. At the beginning, the Raisingan was the only ninjutsu that Uchiha Yugen could possess because it was Muji. But too much chakra is consumed, and if you want to develop a Raisingan with properties, you can't do it without enough chakra. Even the fourth generation, before his death, did not develop a meatball with properties. So Uchiha Yugen experimented several times and gave up after being unable to integrate the attributes. Then he pretended to get close to Kakashi and learn Chidori. The development of morphological changes and property changes will bring more help than the actual effect of ordinary Raisingan. Chapter 36 We set off at noon the next day. Jisue brought ten members who were selected as the plundering team, together with those who were still in the Spring Queen City, to form a team and began to sweep away the pirates on the sea. Work for the Uchiha clan. Fugaku's main purpose is to organize manpower, conduct trade, and buy things that the Uchiha clan lacks. But basically they are all purchased, and nothing can be sold to the outside world yet. 
However, the Uchiha clan can basically support themselves on the island. Except for the things they cannot produce, there are basically no big problems. At the same time, he is also responsible for the daily training of manpower here at the base. The six postures brought back this time are still very challenging for many tribesmen. After Uchiha Yugen prepared to fight the war, he began to teach the clan the practice of armed color hockey. Moreover, the physique of the Uchiha clan is slowly increasing now. When I came back this time, I saw the data collected by Fugaku. At most, it has increased by nearly 50%. I have not yet felt the limit and can continue to improve. Uchiha Yugen didn't know whether it was because the creatures here really had such a good effect after being eaten, or whether it was because eating these foods made up for the bloodline defects of the Uchiha clan and raised the body's limit even higher. I said so much yesterday, but you probably don't have an idea of how powerful the bloodline is. Then let me give a demonstration and let everyone understand that the Uchiha clan is a clan with huge potential. This power is what I got recently, the power that can protect everyone. At the port that was built, Uchiha Yugen said to the surrounding tribesmen. Fugaku and others looked puzzled. Aren't we all the same flawed kaleidoscope? But Uchiha Yugen's eyes directly opened the Manjiki Sharingan. Then dark red bones quickly formed around his body, and then Uchiha Tamaki was directly pushed up by the dark red bones, and the whole person quickly rose into the air. A giant skeleton slowly appeared in front of everyone. Then Gundam Susanoo appeared in front of everyone. Uchiha Tamajin was standing inside the head of the ultimate Susanoo. In the encyclopedia, Gundam Susanna is called the complete form, but I wrote it wrong before, so I won't change it. I am also used to these divisions. Ordinary Mangekyo Susanna complete form Eternal Mangekyo Susanna ultimate form Sasuke absorbs the power of the tailed beast Susano 6 path Susano Ninhu. Is this the Susano without the defective Manjiki? Uchiha Fugaku stuttered, his eyes full of shock. This was more than three times larger than the Susano he used with all his strength. He suddenly remembered that yesterday Uchiha Tamaki said that he had the power to suppress the ninja world. It turned out to be so. Uchiha Madara. This is Uchiha Madara's power back then. The elderly elders trembled with excitement. Others' eyes were also filled with shock, but with even more joy. With such a powerful clan leader, there is definitely hope for Uchiha to fight his way back to the ninja world. Although I ask everyone to be careful outside, it doesn't mean that Uchiha will be afraid of other people. It doesn't matter if you can't beat me, just run. Run back and I'll make the decision for everyone. Uchiha Yugen said very domineeringly. Always give everyone some confidence. Although many people are working hard, there are even more people who are confused. If everyone regards Uchiha Yugen as the same level as Shursui and Fugaku, many people feel that it may be difficult to fight back to the ninja world. You may have to spend your entire life in this world. But now, Uchiha Yugen has shown suppressive power, finally activating the hope in everyone's hearts. Although everyone doesn't know how Uchiha Yugen became stronger, this is hope. Oh! The tribesmen on the port side roared happily. Everyone felt that the pressure all over their bodies was relieved a lot. Is this what it feels like to drive a Gundam? Uchiha Tamaki used Susanoo to take Itachi and Izumi, flying directly in the high air. Izumi felt her heart beating loudly. Although they are ninjas, not many people have experienced the feeling of flying. While Susanoo was flying, he tore a passage out of the clouds, and a blue sky like a runway appeared behind him. Chief, is this the ultimate power of the Uchiha clan? Itachi was more courageous. At this time, he still had the intention to ask Uchiha Tamaki questions. This power is the power that Uchiha Madara possessed back then, but he was still defeated by the first Okage. It's not enough to make Uchiha safe in the ninja world. We have to become stronger. The next two people who are likely to drive Gundam are Sasuke and Itachi. But it might be possible for Itachi and Fugaku to swap kaleidoscopes. However, to do this kind of experiment, you still need to find professional people to record the data so that it can be helpful to future tribesmen. I see. Hearing this, Itachi became more clear about his goal. Protect the Uchiha clan. 
the pressure on my body has been reduced too much now. No need to get between Kanoha and the clan. There is only one clear goal, to protect the family. I will work hard too. Izumi also quickly followed suit. She also felt that Achiha Yugen had cultivated her, and this time he even brought her out to see the world. And she also wants to keep up with Itachi and doesn't want to fall too far behind. Driving the Gundam, we arrived in the middle of the North Sea in less than 24 hours. Then Uchiha Yugen sent out five clones and asked them to find information about where the Germa Kingdom was. Although it is a country, the Kingdom of Germa does not have a fixed territory. Instead, it is moved separately by dozens of ships, and together they form a kingdom. Like Grand Tet Solo, the world's largest gambling ship, it is a mobile country. Uchiha Tamajin was not idle either. He took Itachi and Izumi to find pirates on the North Sea, allowing them to practice combat and earn bounties on the way. Itachi has rich combat experience, having joined ANBU and participated in wars. Izumi's side belongs to the new generation of ninjas who were kept in captivity. Although they are very strong, they are still not very agile when it comes to killing people and stealing goods. Including in battle, the timing of using ninjutsu is much worse than Itachi's. With two juniors, I swept a large circle in the North Sea. It was much more chaotic than the East China Sea. There are many pirates with bounties exceeding 50 million, but those with bounties exceeding 100 million are very difficult to encounter. Moreover, Uchiha Tamajin's side led them to deliberately search and killed three pirate groups in total, earning a bounty of approximately 13,000 belly. Found the location. Let's train next time. Uchiha Yugen stood on the sea and received the news that the Shadow Clone was released. Then he spoke directly to the two miners on the boat who were fighting pirates. Hearing the sound, the two immediately retreated. When they just jumped off the boat, Uchiha Tamaki raised his hand and used a Chidori blade nearly a hundred meters long, directly splitting the ship into two. Then among the many pirates, he found the captain who had placed a bounty on him, cut off his head and held it up, then lightly jumped up, and a huge fireball with a diameter of nearly 10 meters devoured the ship. In less than 10 seconds, the battle was over. Looking at Uchiha Tamaki, the two of them felt a huge pressure. Let's go. Uchiha Yugen is also very happy here. This is what Chakra feels like. Chapter, 37 Intruder found, intruder found. Didi the alarm in the Germa kingdom instantly sounded and spread throughout the kingdom. The giant phone bug kept repeating the message. Vince Magaji, who was in the research room, immediately looked at the surveillance camera and saw three figures appearing at the front door of his kingdom's castle. The replica soldiers rushing around quickly fell to the ground without hitting the enemy. How dare you come to your door? Are you the trash hired by other kingdoms with money? Vince Magaji didn't panic at all. He calmly took off the gloves on his hands, then took off his white coat, picked up his cloak with one hand and walked outside. Over the years, he thought that there would be no such idiots in Beihai who would dare to provoke Jimal 66. It seems that they have not killed enough people over the years, so many people have underestimated them. Father, just leave these matters to me. Vince Mokeji appeared directly as soon as his father left the research room, bowed slightly and said. Well, let me see who is that bold guy who dares to provoke Germa 66. Vince Amakaji nodded. In the research room, he was unhappy when he had no clue. There happened to be a program that could make him feel happy, and he was ready to take a closer look to see what kind of guy he was who dared to provoke him in Beihai. You can just watch from the side for a while. There is no need to participate. There is not much experience to learn from when fighting these people, because they are the only ones who fight like this. Uchiha Tamaki taught the two miners. The clone soldiers that keep appearing around them will fall to the ground as soon as they get close. He was directly controlled by Uchiha Tamaki's eye power and fell into coma. They are replica soldiers, not mechanical soldiers. With spiritual power, they cannot resist the power of the Sharingan. Izumi responded loudly. Itachi, on the other hand, was quieter. He found that these soldiers all looked the same, even their muscles, hair, and even facial features were very similar. Almost like brothers. Kakaka. 
The sound of mechanical rotation came from the castle door, and the door slowly opened. A group of identical replica soldiers appeared, and behind them stood Uchiha Tamaki's target this time, Vince Makagaji. Each one is very tall, almost three meters tall, about the same level as a naval admiral. You only have three bastards, how dare you challenge Germa 66. This time, it seems that the forces behind them will be given a bloodbath to warn these guys in Beihai who is responsible for this sea area. Vince Mokeji said in a very cold voice. Then after the words fell, the figure disappeared directly and appeared in front of Uchiha Tamaki. He turned sideways and raised his foot, ready to kick down the guy he didn't care about. He didn't choose to kill him directly because he wanted to leave him alive to interrogate the guy behind the scenes. Snapped. However, the Susanoo's skeletal arm that emerged from Uchiha Tamaki's body was grabbed directly and held in the palm of his hand. Vince Mokeji didn't even react. He wanted to break free, but found that the hand holding him was very powerful. With his transformed and powerful body, he could not break free for a while. Copy soldier, kill him. The angry Vince Moko Eiji yelled directly. Order the clone soldiers to defeat the enemy in front of you. But he was immediately stunned, because the clone soldiers who used to execute orders almost instantly were now standing motionless, standing there like wooden stakes, as if he ordered them to stand still and not move. Vince Makaji showed a surprised look. After all, replicating soldiers is his proud work. They can be trained in five years and reach the combat effectiveness of adult soldiers in twenty years. When they hear orders from the royal family, they will carry them out without hesitation. Of course, his command level is higher. If he controls these soldiers, his son's orders will naturally not take effect. But he didn't speak. If you use force against visiting guests, you are certainly not a good person. Uchiha Tamaki looked at Vince Amakaji and said coldly. How could such a guy who was the king and hegemon in the North Sea be a good person? Uchiha Tamaki was not surprised. Vince Magaji personally issued the order. He didn't take Uchiha Yugen's words seriously and didn't care about this guy at all. Something went wrong with his clone soldiers, which made him even more anxious. But the replica soldiers still stood motionless. Copy soldier, go back and rest. Uchiha Tamaki ordered. Upon hearing Uchiha Yugen's order, these clone soldiers turned around without hesitation and jogged towards the place where they were resting inside the castle. Impossible. How is this going? Why would my replica soldier obey your orders? Is it a devil fruit? No, there is no such fruit in the devil fruit illustrated book, and there is no line. These soldiers act like they have heard the order. There are devil fruits that control instincts, but my orders must be obeyed the most, so they can resist their instincts. Vince Amakaji was shocked, murmured, and began to analyze. If it were a clone soldier who was stunned by the overlord's domineering energy, he wouldn't be surprised at all. At this time, it was like seeing a Gatling gun in the magical world, breaking what he thought was common sense. As the world's top scientist, there is something he doesn't know. And it still appears in his most proud work. Father, I don't know how he did it, but just defeat him and ask him. Vince Mokoichi said loudly to his father. At this time, Vince Mokeji regretted that he did not use the battle suit, and could not break free from these shackles at this time. Right. Niji, Yongji, come out, join us, and capture this guy alive. Hearing this, Vince Makaji also came to a dead end and reacted. Then he directly called his two sons to come over and deal with this enemy of unknown origin together. He was very interested in this matter and felt that if he understood it, he could further transform the clone soldiers. It can even affect ordinary people. Soon, Niji and Yuji appeared. Transform, that enemy is very strange and very strong, don't be careless. Go together. Vince Magaji said to his two sons. Niji and Yuji naturally obeyed their father's orders without hesitation, and directly took out the jars and began to transform. At this time, Uchiha Tamaki directly let go of Vince Mokiji, leaving everyone on the field stunned. But Vince Moko Iji did not hesitate and immediately began to transform. A group of killers appeared directly in front of Uchiha Tamaki. 
this transformer does feel a bit exciting. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he was watching intently with his Sharingan. At the same time, he also commented. After all, who doesn't want to have a transforming combat uniform? And Itachi, too, looked at this transformation scene and felt an impulse in his heart for some reason. Only Izumi opened her Sharingan and observed the situation very carefully to avoid dragging down the patriarch. Chapter, 38 Go Together Vinsmak Gaji himself also used a battle suit, holding a spear in his hand, pointing at Uchiha Tamaki and giving an order. Vince Makaji, Niji, and Yongji responded directly. Then he rushed towards Uchiha Yugen quickly. Uchiha Yugen's three Magatama Sharingan eyes rotated rapidly. The three Vinsmoke brothers stopped immediately the moment they approached Uchiha Tamaki. Here we go again. Can't even Iji and the others resist this power? Vince Makaji's body, which had just been about to move, immediately froze in place. His face was full of disbelief. Once again, what he thought was impossible was broken. Defeat him. Uchiha Yugen followed the order. Whoosh! The three brothers turned around without hesitation and rushed towards Vince Magaji. Vince Makaji couldn't help but be furious when he saw this scene. Another in-person NTR. Is it this time that the son recognizes the thief as his father? I am your father, wake up. Vince Machiaji is not weak, but he still finds it very difficult to deal with his three sons. At the same time, he kept shouting loudly, thinking that his son was possessed by evil spirits. Wanting to wake them up. Spark spin. Vince Mokeji punched his father directly in the abdomen. Electric punch. Niji was not to be outdone. It means father, I want to give you acupuncture. Winch blow. Yuji said that he wanted to give his father a back slap and punched Vince Makgaji in the back. Vince Magaji gritted his teeth and resisted the attack from his eldest son to the stomach, while swinging his spear to knock the other two sons away. The spear also had an electric arc attached to it, which directly hit the two of them. He wanted to use electric shock to wake up his two sons. But found that this didn't work. The three filial sons continued to surround their father, as if they were trying to please each other and want to gain his father's approval. Damn it, how could this happen? For a moment, Vince Machia felt that the world had collapsed. Why is the son who I have worked so hard to cultivate and transform for so many years be like this? Being controlled so easily? Aren't you helping others raise their sons? Uchiha Yugen looked calmly at the scene of a loving father and a filial son. I know that people in this world are very physically strong and will not be beaten to death for a while. If something happened to Vince Magaji, he would still stop him and prevent him from dying. If you don't give him a serious shock the first time, this guy will probably cause trouble in the future. If it weren't for the cooldown time of Shursue's other gods for too long, he would definitely have asked Shursue to brainwash this guy. This kind of life-saving skill is more important than using it in this kind of thing. Uchiha Yugen is also confident to subdue this guy and make him obey him. The strength of these three slayers is indeed good. They have the strength of elite Jounin when fighting. And my stamina is long-lasting. If I keep persisting, it won't be a big problem for three filmmaking levels. Uchiha Yugen, on his side, expressed his analysis to Itachi and Izumi. The fighting method is too simple, but it is also the most effective one. It belongs to ninjas who specialize in one ability. It's very difficult to defeat them. Itachi also gave his own judgment. These people are very fast in terms of speed, and the fastest ones even exceed the speed of sound. Only when Rob Lucci burst out with all his strength could he achieve such speed. Other CP9S are not on the same level at all. These three people are easy to control. It costs about the same as using illusions against ordinary people, and the resistance is very small. When he first used illusion to control the three brothers, he felt confused. Found it too simple. After all, Rob Lucci couldn't control it with his Sharingan before. Although his eye power has become several times stronger, he is still not able to directly control the three brothers to attack his father so easily. Uchiha Tamaki's words surprised the two miners. After all, 
they have all tried it. It is not that easy to control people in this world with illusions. I don't know why Lord Shichibukai Uchiha Tamajin has come to our Jerma 66. If my brothers conflicted with you, I am here to apologize to you. But when the father was loving and the son was filial, a beautiful and charming woman appeared beside him. Looking at Uchiha Tamaki, his eyes were full of fear. At the same time, she was followed by dozens of armed soldiers. This is the backbone of Germa 66, the scientific force, the real combat effectiveness. But when he spoke, he was very polite. She looks like a soft girl. Uchiha Tamaki smiled. Stop. Then, when the three filial sons were about to use the three-person team special move to make a violent outburst and send their father away directly. Uchiha Tamaki asked them to stop. The three of them stopped immediately and stood there without moving. Vince Makjiaji was beaten so badly that his nose was bruised and his face was swollen. There were many hidden wounds all over his body, and his face was full of anger. Can you calm down and talk now? Uchiha Tamaki looked at Vince Makjiaji and asked him. What is your purpose? Shichibukai. I, Jerma 66, am also a member who can participate in the World Government Conference. I am considered half of the world government's affiliated countries. On the side of Vince Mokjiazi, he was extremely angry. But after hearing what his daughter said, he reacted and did not continue to attack. Instead, he looked at the man in front of him with great fear. At the same time, reveal your identity and take action against yourself, which is against the agreement of the world government. Don't mess around. I heard that you are very good at researching bloodline factors, so I asked you to help me with this matter. The bloodline is constantly degrading, but it can be awakened occasionally through stimulation, but it has side effects. I want you to repair the defects of this bloodline and make it normal. Uchiha Yugen said very directly. Except for this family of five, the others are basically tool workers and will not reveal the information. You actually have such bloodline. Giants? or the mermaid tribe. After hearing this, Vince Magaji did not continue the atmosphere for a while, but said very puzzledly. After all, it is normal for blood vessels to degenerate, but it is surprising to be able to awaken after being stimulated, because generally blood vessel degeneration is irreversible. The blood of these eyes is from the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Tamaki looked directly into Vince Makaji's eyes with his blood-red Sharingan and said. Vince Makjiaji was instantly startled when he saw the blood-red eyes. He didn't even have time to observe this before he was chased and beaten by three filial sons. Achiha. Achiha Yugen. It's your family. When Vince Magaji heard the name, he quickly reacted. Then he showed an excited look. Research materials never seen before. A powerful bloodline. Interesting. Chapter 39. Vince Maggazzi is very interested in the study of bloodline factors. His own sons have all been specially genetically modified. For this reason, he collected many research bodies of various races on the black market to obtain the strongest genes and integrate them into his own bloodline factors. But the man in front of him was too dangerous. He hadn't yet figured out how he controlled his son and the clone soldiers. He felt that it would be difficult to defeat this guy by himself. Although he was very angry at what Uchiha Tamaki did just now, he did not dare to take action now. I've never seen eyes like this before. Is it a sudden mutation? Vince Makatsi can only start the consultation mode. He took the initiative to discuss the matter. A very ancient bloodline, inherited power. Controlling your son is also the power of these eyes. Uchiha Yugen did not hesitate and continued to speak. Vince Makjiaji didn't expect the other party to say it so easily, so he was very excited. It was actually a brand new bloodline with such power. If you get it and transform your sons, they will definitely become more powerful. And Uchiha Tamaki was so unrestrictive and told everything, he had already decided that this time he would definitely conquer Jerma 66 completely, or else obliterate him, there would be no other situation. So there was no reservation. Whatever Vince Mak Kaji asked, Uchiha Yugen would say. 
So, these eyes only appear in ordinary people of the Uchiha clan after intense mental stimulation, and they will slowly evolve, from one Magatama to three Magatama. At the same time, it will increase physical functions and bring more special abilities. Hearing Uchiha Tamaki's explanation, Vinsamo Kagaji was about to climax. There is such a powerful bloodline. Unheard of. He couldn't wait to immediately dissect the three people in front of him to see if they were any different from ordinary people. Three Magatama is the limit that normal blood can reach, but it is still stronger, and there are probably three levels. At the same time, the strength will increase several times, or even dozens of times. Uchiha Yugen nodded, then counted, added the eternal kaleidoscope, it was indeed three levels to the samsara eye, and then said. You can continue to become stronger. Can you let me take blood, study it, and see what the difference is, so that I can judge how to study it? Vince Makjia was a little impatient. He requested very urgently. If he didn't find it difficult to fight, he would have been prepared to capture these people alive. Of course, that's what I came here for. Hearing this, Vince Magaji smiled kindly. But what Uchiha Tamaki said next made his face freeze. But this matter is very important and cannot be known to others. So, Jerma 66 wants to join the Uchiha clan, and at the same time, your clan must be restricted by the Uchiha before you can continue research. Uchiha Yugen said very coldly. Based on the situation just now, this guy seems to be capable of conducting some research. Therefore, Uchiha Yugen would not waste this opportunity. Are you joking? Jerma 66 is the strongest force in the North Sea, and the world government is helpless against us. You're just a king of the Shichibukai, and you want Jerma 66 to join your subordinates. Vince Makjiaji said with a cold expression. He originally met a simple-minded guy, but it seemed that he underestimated him. Actually want to devour Jerma 66. This kind of thing cannot be tolerated. Does your power only rely on these clone soldiers? Uchiha Yugen asked. Then he raised his hand. The scientific combat troops following Reiju immediately used the weapons in their hands to point directly at Vince Makarji. At the same time, the three filial sons also stood in front of Vince Makjiaji again. How can it be repaired? Why is this happening? Vince Makaji doesn't want to have this feeling of being intiard to his face again. He gritted his teeth and looked at Uchiha Tamaki. These things are his greatest reliance. He doesn't think he can defeat all his previous subordinates just by relying on himself. At the same time, he was shocked that the other party could control so many of his subordinates so easily. No matter how powerful you are, you can't do this. What kind of power do those blood-red eyes possess? Because the modified humans and clones you created are all failures. That's why I can control so many of your subordinates at once so easily. On Uchiha Tamekian's side, he directly defeated the work that Vince Makgaji was proud of over the years. Make this guy doubt himself, and it will be easy to fool him next. When emotions are out of control, flaws in the mind will be revealed, making it easy to control the other person. Indra, Madara, and Abito are all such unlucky people. No way, my work is perfect. The replica soldiers may have flaws, but my sons are absolutely perfect works. Vince Makaji retorted angrily. Over the years, his sons have conquered the world for him and become famous in Beihai. If he didn't want this blood factor to appear in people outside his own bloodline, he would have had more such modified people under his command. Because this bloodline is perfect. Do you know why they are so easily controlled by me? Uchiha Yugen did not refute, but asked. Reijiu was hesitant and didn't know what to do. She felt that the possibility of defeating the opponent was too low if she took action, and she could not revive her brothers. Tell me, what went wrong in my perfect work? Vince Magaji asked angrily. He just felt that the other party's bloodline was stronger, but the transformed person he made was absolutely perfect. It's just that the power of the weak bloodline is not as powerful as the other party. Because they are absolutely loyal to you. I used your identity to give them orders. They obeyed my orders unconditionally without any questioning. I was very surprised. It was the first time in this world that I met such a controllable person. 
There was almost no pressure on me. It was just a little confusing. It was that simple. This kind of extreme submissiveness and personality without a true self is the best embodiment of imperfection. Uchiha Yugen directly pointed out the real flaws of these clone soldiers and transformed people. Using Genjutsu, Uchiha Tamaki simply made these clone soldiers, including cyborgs, transform themselves into Vince Mok Kaji, while turning the real Vince Mok Kaji into a stranger. Then just order it directly. The consumption is not big at all for the current Uchiha Yugen. If he had not awakened his bloodline, he would have been able to control these people easily. Because they would not resist Uchiha Yugen, who in their eyes was Vince Mok Kaji, and they would not even doubt the identity of Vince Mok Kaji. Like a robot. Chapter, 40 Upon hearing this answer, Vince Mogaji's pupils trembled wildly. His hands were shaking a little. The spear in his hand crashed directly onto the ground. That's why. In their eyes, you are me, so they will not resist your orders at all. Vince Makaji never thought that this was the reason. At this time, he was about to collapse. Originally, he thought that children like this were the most perfect, completely obeying their orders. Is the only child who is weak, disobedient, and likes to run around by himself the real perfect work? Vince Makaji couldn't help but think of Sanji at this moment. Make a choice. Choose to follow me and study the stronger bloodline in the world. Let me bury Germa 66 here and let Germa 66 completely disappear from this world. Uchiha Tamaki directly threatened. If you are a good person, you cannot protect your clan members. Shusui has already proven this. So he doesn't have any soft-hearted thoughts. Poor strength and weakness are the original sins. Although you control my clone soldiers, and my son. But, do you think this is the real power of Germa 66? Naturally, Vince Makaji couldn't bow his head so easily. If he was willing to bow his head, he would have been imprisoned by the world government along with Vega Punk and would have worked for them. After he finished speaking, he took out a button from his body and pressed it directly. Then the entire ground began to tremble, and then split into scattered ships. Then these ships began to be assembled together, and strange machinery stretched out. Uchiha Yugen looked at this movement and was a little excited for some reason. Is this the giant robot that often appears in the Super Sentai in the three major tokusatsu? Looking at this huge movement, Uchiha Tamaki suddenly became very interested. Itachi and Izumi jumped off the boat and stood on the swaying sea, watching this scene in shock. Just as Uchiha Yugen thought. The mobile island of Germa 66 gradually took on the appearance of a giant humanoid machine. The large gate of the castle just now turned directly into the head of this humanoid machine. The castle behind it rose up like a crown, forming the top of the giant machine's head. However, the foot of this giant machine is where the most accessories are gathered, because this mechanical giant is required to float on the sea. This is the true power of Germa 66. It is precisely with such power that Germa 66 is the overlord of the North Sea. Vince Machiaji said very domineeringly. Although he personally pursues the power of blood factors, he also learned something from Vegapunk during those years together with Vegapunk. Of course, Vegapunk also learned the knowledge of blood factors from him. This form is rarely used because it consumes a lot of energy and suffers heavy losses afterwards, as there are too many places that need to be repaired. Almost a one-time use piece. But, it's worth it. This is a giant weapon that is completely unconscious and completely controlled by me. More powerful than the giants, one blow is enough to destroy dozens of square meters of houses. There's nothing you can do about this. Give up your resistance and let me study the so-called Uchiha bloodline to see if it is as powerful as you say. Vince Makjiaji finally regained some confidence. So he directly provoked Uchiha Yugen. The feeling of being beaten by three filial sons just now made him extremely uncomfortable. Now he wants this so-called Shichibukai to experience what despair is. Your research strength has been recognized by me. Even if your research ability on so-called blood factors is average, this weapon alone is enough to make you my subordinate. Uchiha Tamaki said excitedly. Letting this guy develop new ninja tools will definitely help the Uchiha clan improve their combat capabilities. 
are you still here talking about such stupid things? Now, I am the stronger one. Vince Makaji yelled angrily. In this case, I, Uchiha Tamaki, must also show some strength and not be underestimated. This is the power of the Uchiha bloodline. Uchiha Yugen finished speaking. The Sharingan rotates rapidly and directly turns into a kaleidoscope. The dark red Susanoo skeleton quickly emerged, and from the inside to the outside, a humanoid shape appeared, and then the armor possessed it. A long sword appeared on his waist, like a mighty warrior. Susanoo Gundam The heights of the two sides are almost the same, like two giants facing each other. This is. This is also the power brought by that bloodline. Through the surveillance in the control room, Vince Magaji looked at the huge humanoid figure that was almost the same as his final strength and height of Germa 66. He couldn't believe it, this was the power brought by blood. If there really was such a bloodline, it shouldn't have ruled the world long ago. How could it be possible for the celestial dragons to be in charge of the world for many years? It's over. Uchiha Yugen had no intention of testing the combat power of this giant machine. Because this thing is indeed almost meaningless, it just looks more powerful. But under the lock of the kaleidoscope, there are flaws almost everywhere, and control rooms of replica soldiers can be seen in many places. The battle hasn't been decided yet. The final weapon of Germa 66, attack. Vince Makaji roared. At the same time, he controlled this ultimate weapon, waving his huge fist and hitting Susanu. Puff. While the fist is swinging out, there are three launchers behind the fist, which spray out powerful flames to increase the attack speed and power of the fist. At the same time, a bunch of ships like crawlers under his feet began to move quickly, leading the giant towards Susanu. But on Susanu's side, he directly put his right hand on the tachi at his waist, and then pulled it out. The sword pulled out from the scabbard was emitting blue-white light, and the electric arc was beating continuously. Uchiha Yugen was attached to it with the change of thunder escape properties. Susanoo stepped on the sea and rushed forward. By turning slightly sideways, he avoided the attack of this so-called ultimate weapon. At the same time, the sword was drawn from bottom to top, directly from the left leg to the left shoulder of this ultimate weapon. Easily split this ultimate weapon into two. Because of the change in the support structure, the direction of the fist also changed. It rotated directly to the left and hit the body that was cut open on the left but had not yet fallen down. The huge explosion rushed toward the release, and mushroom clouds rose into the sky, setting off huge waves. Uchiha Yugen turned around and took a look at the giant machine that had excited him just now, feeling a little boring. Then he directly lifted Susanu and landed on the swaying sea from midair. After looking at it with great difficulty, he took out Vince Mok Daji, who was stepping on the mid-air through his battle suit, from the control room. How could it be possible? You lose so easily. Vince Makaji was a bit unacceptable. If you are armed with hockey and can cover this machine, you might be able to fight it. But you are too weak. Uchiha Yugen said unceremoniously. If you don't have domineering power, how can you withstand the cutting with the change of thunder attribute? And it's also made of metal. Restrained to death. It's written blindly, so it's okay to read. Chapter, 41 Most of the kingdom of Germa 66 was destroyed, but some parts were still not destroyed. At this time, they dispersed and floated on the sea. In addition to the fact that they were not devil fruit users, many clone soldiers crawled out of the sea and climbed onto the shore. However, Uchiha Yugen regarded it as nothing, just looking at Vince Amakaji who was kneeling on the ground, dazed. On the side, Reiju looked at the scene with a complex expression, trying to keep everything that could be saved. In addition to the Germa 66 being the ultimate weapon. She didn't know what would happen to Germa 66 next. However, according to the situation just now, Germa 66 has almost no power to fight back under this Shichibukai. All the trump cards that he was proud of failed in front of him. Have you made a choice? Are you willing to follow me and learn about a more powerful bloodline, or are you here today and Germa 66 disappears from this world? Uchiha Yugen showed no mercy at all. This guy is not a good person. 
He has captured the lives of countless races for human experiments. The crimes he committed were more than killing him a hundred times. Unless it has a special function, if Uchiha Yugen sees it when he passes by, he will probably go up and kill this guy. That kind of power, is it really the power brought by blood? Vince Makjiaji's eyes were red, and it was obvious that what had just happened had a great impact on him. However, he was not directly knocked down because of these things. Instead, he turned around and asked Uchiha Tamaki. Um. There are stronger ones. Uchiha Yugen nodded and affirmed. Kagaya is the pinnacle of the bloodline, with the bloodline snare, she is like the true creator of the world. The level of Sage of Six Paths and Princess Kagaya are quite different. However, bloodline is bloodline and strength is strength. The two cannot be compared absolutely. Silver in the six-piece set may not be able to beat the three-piece king 100% of the time. Vince Magaji fell into silence, looking at the ruins of Jerma 66 castle, thinking about what choice he should make. The three filial sons lying on the ground did not move. Because Uchiha Yugen gave them the last order to stop, they were like robots without any movement. Seeing the appearance of these three sons, when Wensi Makjiaji took a deep breath and felt powerless. The hope of spreading the power of Jerma 66 across the entire sea was shattered. I am willing to work for you. Vince Magaji bowed his head. Three days later. How much has the machine been repaired? Uchiha Yugen asked. Because of his destruction, Jerma 66 suffered heavy losses. Many machines were damaged and needed to be repaired, including Vince Magadi's research room, which also suffered some damage. Analysis can already be started, but a lot of data is needed to do the research. Vince Makaji replied. A few days ago, Uchiha Yugen gave the Vince Mok family a spell. And they are all left in the heart, enough to easily take away their lives. He doesn't know how to use lips, so he can't rely on this to win people's hearts. It's better to use his life to force him. Use their blood as a sample. If three Magatama are transformed into three stages, then Izumi belongs to the third stage, while Itachi is in the fourth stage. Their bloodline strength is completely different. Each appearance of Magatama in the Sharingan has a certain degree of improvement, but after reaching the Manjikyu, the improvement at each stage is even greater than the previous one. What beautiful pupils! After the death, there was not much resistance on the part of Vince Magaji. After all, he was doing his favorite job. Although I also have ambitions, I focus more on the bloodline factor and want to develop the most perfect bloodline. Vince Makagaji drew about 100 milliliters of blood from Itachi and Izumi, and then began to analyze it and start looking for differences. Reiju, I will leave Jerma 66 to your management, can you do it well? Then, Uchiha Tamaki approached Reiju. The best way to study Uchiha is within the Uchiha clan. But bringing the entire Jerma 66 there would be a bit of a waste. After all, Jerma 66 is the dominant force in the North Sea. You can get a lot of resources here, all of which can help Uchiha. Although the money earned by Jerma 66 may not be as high as that of Doflamingo, it is definitely not a small amount. After all, it is impossible to create so many replica soldiers using air alone, and a lot of materials must be consumed. Master Yushuan, I'm afraid there is nothing I can do. My father has always been in charge of Jerma 66. I may not be able to do it alone. Reiju excused herself because she heard that the other party wanted to take her father away, which made her a little reluctant, so she used her own inability to hope that Achiha Tamaki would change her mind. Not long ago, I met a man who looks very similar to your siblings and has the same curly eyebrows. His name is Sanji. Is he your brother? Uchiha Tamaki looked at Reiju who had her head lowered and said directly. Hearing this, Reiju's pupils shrank, and she immediately raised her head in surprise. What she saw was Uchiha Tamaki's blood-red Sharingan. These eyes made her feel scared. At this time, she didn't dare to speak, for fear that this person would see that she was lying. After spending so much energy, I will definitely not kill you casually, unless you betray me. From now on, just do the same as before. Maintain your position as the overlord of Beihai. You are not required to make more money. 
Just try to keep it about the same as before. Do you understand? Uchiha Tamaki did not continue the discussion on the topic of Sanji, but directly began to issue orders. A warning is enough. If you really do it, your whole family won't be able to run away. I understand, Master Yushuan. Reiju didn't dare to resist. He lowered his head directly and knelt at the feet of Uchiha Tamaki. When you don't know what to do, just kill pirates in exchange for the reward. At the same time, we will increase production plants and there will be weapons production plans at that time. The specific arrangements will be made at that time. Uchiha Yugen then arranged. Kunai, Shuriken, etc. Are very simple for the arsenal of Jerma 66. However, Uchiha Tamaki is planning to ask Vin Smoke Gaji to go to the Uchiha clan's current clan area to develop new ninja tools specifically for the Uchiha clan, and then send the drawings to Jerma 66 for production. Reiju didn't dare to have any objections. Jerma 66 is indeed a vassal force of the person in front of him. Then, comes the combat uniform. Uchiha Yugen still takes this matter very seriously. It's definitely not because I want to wear it, but because combat uniforms can indeed bring great help to the tribe. Yes, that's it. Chapter, 42. Jerma's Combat Uniform. This is specially customized and may take some time. The price is also very expensive and cannot be provided in large quantities. On the other hand, Vince Magaji looked at the various data analyzed on the screen seriously. He found that these data had almost no similarities with the data he had seen on blood factors in the past. It's like a completely different kind of creature. This kind of information is only seen when analyzing creatures other than humans. He only responded mechanically to Uchiha Yugen's request, focusing more on studying the Uchiha bloodline. There is no need for the kind you are using now, which comes with various abilities and so on. As long as it provides resistance to attacks and increases defensive capabilities, there is no need for anything else. It doesn't include flying, floating, or accelerating. Even compression can be removed. Ninjas are physically weak, even Uchiha. As long as you can resist twice more, the survival rate can be greatly improved, which is very important. Ninjas are not bad in terms of attack, but what they lack is defense. Such a product doesn't have much value. Vince Makjiaji said with some doubts. After all, in his opinion, ordinary soldiers have no need to protect themselves like this. No matter how the functions are reduced, the price of a combat suit will not be that cheap. Compared with the price of population, combat uniforms are more expensive. Can you make it? But Uchiha Tamaki just asked coldly. He doesn't want a subordinate who likes to question him. Seeing Uchiha Tamaki like this, Vince Amakaji immediately woke up. If it only has defensive functions, the production cost of a combat suit can be reduced to about 20 million berries, and it can be produced. The price is already very low. The production cost of the one I am using exceeds 500 million belly, and it is not a one-time success, and the consumption of failure is not included. Vince Makaji then quickly replied. Technology costs money. Orochimaru also had to find a daimyo to cooperate and use money to conduct research, and the same was naturally the case for Vince Makaji. The establishment of Jerma 66 was not only to satisfy his desires, but also to raise funds for him to research. Then let's produce a hundred sets first. Uchiha Yugen nodded. Although he thought the price was high, this thing was not a disposable item. Then he told Vince Mokjiazi to make a hundred sets to satisfy the vast majority of tribesmen who went to see. Well, Jerma 66 doesn't have that much money now, Master Yushuan. But Vince Magaji said with a little confidence. The other party wanted to use his own money, but he couldn't be tough at all. Instead, he was a little cautious. Aren't you the overlord of Beihai? Not even two billion belly. Uchiha Yugen was not angry but said in confusion. If you go to Doflamingo and ask him to get 10 billion, it probably won't be a big problem. Now like this, it feels like Jerma 66 is a little stretched. Jerma 66 actually costs a lot of money. It has to make replica soldiers all the time, which consumes money to purchase resources. At the same time, 
Germa 66 does not produce food of its own, nor does it have its own minerals. Almost everything has to be purchased, and these also cost money. Although it is the overlord of the North Sea, Germa 66 is not an opponent of the world government, so it still has to abide by a certain degree of rules. These manpower consume a lot. Producing combat uniforms also takes a lot of time, and ordinary people cannot make them. There are special production conditions. Vince Makaji explains. In addition, his research expenses are also very large, accounting for almost one-third of Germa 66's annual funds, but he did not say anything about it. Produce as much as you can. By the way, print this logo on your clothes. This is the emblem of the Uchiha clan, for my clan to use. Also, I also want one. It doesn't need to have any function. It's mainly used to show my identity. It should be made as different as possible. It needs to be compressed. I can't use it when I'm outside. I only use it when I'm home for meetings. Remember to compress it. There was no force on Uchiha Yugen's part. His Sharingan was always open, and he could see that the other party was not telling lies, but there was something concealing, and he did not pursue it. Then rearrange the arrangements and tell important things at the same time. I see. Vince Makaji nodded quickly. You still have this consciousness when it comes to hanging out with others. And his interest in blood factors made him particularly respect Uchiha Tamaki, a person with stronger power in the blood level. He believed that people like Uchiha Tamaki, who could break through the limitations of bloodline power, were absolutely great beings. The main thing is that if you can't beat him, it's better to be honest. The next day. Master Yushuan, the blood analysis results have come out. Uchiha's bloodline is completely different from ordinary people's bloodline factors. There seems to be a strange energy in it, but Lord Yugen, you said that the bodies of the Uchiha clan are not very powerful. Is this energy the secret of Uchiha bloodline? After receiving the results, Vince Makaji quickly found Uchiha Yugen who was practicing and reported to him. He felt that it was too easy. He hardly did any in-depth analysis and just relied on the instrument to simply analyze Uchiha's blood to get the results. If he didn't feel it was too strange, he would have continued research based on this. Oh, this energy is unique to our clan. It is specially used to release some special abilities, such as releasing fire escape, thunder and lightning, sea water, etc. It also includes the ability to use bloodline. Some of them also consume this energy. It's called chakra. It's a relatively versatile special energy that can be extracted by the human body. This is chakra. When Uchiha Yugen heard Vince Makaji's words, he knew that what he found was not a blood factor, but chakra. People in the ninja world, even if they don't have the fruits of cultivation, will still have some chakra in their bodies. This is something that has been inherited for so many years and is almost integrated into the genes. After saying that, Uchiha Yugen raised his hand directly, and the Raisingan appeared in the palm of his right hand. This is the easiest way to see chakra with the naked eye, and it is relatively intuitive. After hearing what Uchiha Tamaki said, Vince Makkaji was stunned for a moment, and then stared at the Raisingan in Uchiha Tamaki's hand. Master Yushuan, are you saying that this energy can be freely transformed into other elements and can be extracted by the human body? Vin Smoke instantly grabbed Uchiha Tamaki's hand, his body was shaking a little, and he looked excited. In this world where only devil fruits and bodies are used to fight, the sudden appearance of energy that can be freely converted into elements can be said to break the rules of the world. Chapter, 43 Right. There are almost no side effects, but it requires physical and mental exertion. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. Then he backhanded the Raisingan onto the iron plate aside. This is where Germa 66 tested the weapon. The Raisingan directly penetrated the iron plate, and the impact of the blast also broke through the wall behind it. Thunder released Chidori. Then he showed Chidori, this time cutting an iron plate. Fire release, Phoenix Immortal Fire. Then use the fire escape with the change of properties to directly melt the iron plate. That's probably it. This energy can be converted into fire, wind, earth, thunder, and water, and it also has some special attributes. 
help Uchiha improve his bloodline. I can pass on this power to you. Uchiha Yugen began to persuade. What he did before was coercion, but now he took out something that Vinsmoke Gaji wanted very much and regarded it as a treasure. This guy must work hard and work hard for the glory of Uchiha. Only through coercion and inducement can people be completely convinced. Understood. Jerma 66 will definitely follow your glory and move forward. Vince Makaji feels that he can already see the light of day before he can produce a truly perfect work. This power must be obtained. Then he carefully studied the blood of Uchiha Itachi and Izumi. At the same time, he also arranged a plan to produce combat uniforms and formulated the materials that needed to be purchased. Uchiha Yugen also told him that he would take him away and leave Reiju to look after the house. He didn't have any objections, because if he wanted to study it clearly, he needed more information. Without enough data, he couldn't analyze it clearly just by relying on the blood of two people. Just stay in the North Sea during normal times, and don't go to the Great Channel. If you encounter anything that can't be solved, just use the phone bug to contact me. I should be able to arrive within a day. Uchiha Yugen told Reiju. After discovering Chakra, he stayed for another five days, letting Vince Makaji pack up the various research equipment he needed to take away. Now that everything has been sorted out, the total amount is only about 10 cubic meters. Uchiha Yugen used the prepared sealing scroll to seal these things in. Vince Makaji was dumbfounded when he saw it. When he knew that this was something that Chakra could do, he couldn't wait to start working and get this power called Chakra as soon as possible. In the past, he was naturally unable to seal so many things, but now, he brought the chakras and the scrolls used by the Uchiha clan to move, so he was able to fit them in, and there was still some left. Just install a wave of Jerma 66 weapons and go. Yes, Master Yushuan. Reiju had no intention of resisting anymore. It's already good that everyone is alive, and she really doesn't have any ambitions, just looking after her family in Beihai. The three brothers were given an illusion by Uchiha Tamaki, making them obey Reiju's orders unconditionally. Vince Makaji himself also gave instructions to the three brothers as a double insurance. There is not much development here in Beihai, and Uchiha Yugen is not here to make money. If Jerma 66 can maintain the status quo, it is already very good, and he does not want to bother too much. Let's go. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he turned on the Susanu directly. He took Itachi, Izumi, and Vinsmoke Gaji with him, and flew directly to the sky towards the Uchiha clan. Is this also the power of chakra? Flying or something like that, Vinsmogaji naturally didn't feel anything. He was very excited to be inside Susanu. After all, all unknown things were a great temptation for such scientists. Chakra is needed to provide energy, but there must be this converter, which is the Manjiki Sharingan on top of the three Magatama. You can treat the Sharingan as a devil fruit, but this fruit can be passed on through blood. When you get to my place, I will tell you more things so that you can study it better. Uchiha Tamaki replied. Mainly because of the source of bloodline and the fact that the Thousand Hands clan can make up for the Thousand Hands clan's shortcomings. When the time comes, just make up a roughly similar lie. This thing cannot be researched in a short time. When you can go to the ninja world, take him with you and continue your research in the ninja world. Vince Makjiaji was very excited and couldn't wait. About 18 hours later, I returned to the Uchiha clan's homeland. When the tribesmen saw Susanoo slowly landing in the sky, they all felt very proud. At this time, the sky was slightly brighter, and it was early morning. I found Uchiha Fugaku, told him about Vince Makaji, and immediately cleared a place for him to place research equipment for him. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen used the Sharingan to construct Genjutsu and told Vince Makaji about the situation of the Uchiha and the Senju clan, as well as the specific situation of the Uchiha bloodline classification, etc. Is there no one left alive in the Thousand Hands clan? After coming back to his senses and thinking for a while, Vince Makaji couldn't help but ask Uchiha Tamaki. This was the first time he knew that there was such a thing, that the blood could make up for each other. 
It felt like the side effects of the devil fruit on the sea tower stone and sea water disappeared directly because the blood complemented each other. Similarly, he also saw that Uchiha Yugen had a lot of information that he had not told him, but he did not pursue it because he knew his identity. Also, but not now. Within a year, I will find the flesh and blood of the Thousand Hands clan for you to study. But if you don't show the value you deserve, then this research has nothing to do with you. The most basic requirement is that you have to find out what is the difference in blood power between the ordinary Sharingan and the Manjikyu. This is the assessment. After the war, if someone in the Uchiha clan can learn the weapon color and become stronger physically, he will choose to return to the ninja world. Uchiha Yugen wanted to kill Kanoha in one wave and then rebuild directly on the spot. He didn't want to kill Kanoha and just come back here. So be prepared to wait a while before getting ready to take action. He had thought about whether he should sneak back first and get the first generation cells to awaken his samsara eye. However, the current first generation cells have side effects. After use, a first generation face appears on the chest, which makes Uchiha Yugen somewhat unacceptable. He was planning to let Orochimaru develop a milder first generation cell, the kind that Yakushi Kabuto used for Sasuke in the Ninja World War, which was relatively mild, and he was ready to use it. And for the next mission, he felt that he wouldn't need the power of the Samsara Eye. In comparison, returning to the ninja world was a bit risky. After all, he had blocked all the zombies with one hand, and he felt that it would be difficult to stop them. There were also two old Inbi, Black Zetsu and Atsutsuki Hagoromo must be guarded against. Yes, I will definitely do it, and I will never let you down. When Vin Smoke Gaji heard that there were cells from the Thousand Hands clan, he was immediately excited. He was full of confidence in Uchiha Tamaki's request. After all, he had studied for so many years and almost mastered the bloodline factors of humans in this world before transforming his four sons. Although it was a failure, it was enough to prove the feasibility of this matter. Then he got to work in earnest, analyzing the data that was constantly coming from the machine analyzing the blood. Chapter, 44 A month has passed. The Uchiha clan's clan began to become a little more lively. With Uchiha working for the clan outside, he purchased a large amount of supplies and returned, allowing the clan to gradually return to prosperity in Kanoha. During this period, Shirsue came back, and Uchiha Tamaki gave ten sets of combat uniforms made by Vinsmoke Gaji overtime to those who worked for the clan to improve their safety. Uchiha Tamaki's own battle suit was made by Vince Makaji himself. He just got it and played with it. But I immediately focused on cultivation and didn't have time to play. Although his strength has improved, he still needs time to adapt to fighting. At the same time, he copied all the ninjutsu scrolls in the clan and practiced ninjutsu seriously. During daily practice, two shadow clones must be separated to let them practice escape techniques, while the main body develops balls to add attributes, and at the same time develops new attribute escape techniques. In the past, there was not enough chakra and strength to develop new escape techniques. The development of thunder escape alone was very difficult for Uchiha Yugen. He had tried to fuse fire release and thunder release to see if he could develop a blood succession limit, but this was too difficult. Both attributes were unstable and difficult to fuse, so Uchiha Tamaki had no choice but to develop new attributes. All attributes can be practiced, but chakra has attribute bias. If you use an inappropriate escape technique, the power will be reduced a lot. Compared with the power and consumption, it is not worth it. But now Uchiha Yugen is Chakradu's, so he doesn't care. The priority to develop is water escape. This escape technique is really useful in this world. Fighting at sea, using water release directly can restrict devil fruit ability users so much that they have to distract themselves from cleaning up the seawater. When the time comes, if a thunder release is placed in the seawater, basically ordinary characters will not be able to withstand it. However, the sudden ringing of the phone interrupted Uchiha Yugen's practice. Bulu Bulu, Bulu Bulu. I am Uchiha Tamaki. Uchiha Yugen took out the phone bug and connected it directly to the channel. When he saw this phone bug, he knew what was going on. The world government has summoned the Shichibukai to gather at Marijioa to hold a meeting of the Shichibukai. The time is ten days later. 
please be sure to arrive. The voice on the other end of the phone was not the person who had negotiated with Achiha Tamaki before. Like a person who is responsible for conveying news. New. After Achiha Yugen responded, he hung up the phone. In total, it seems that the seal for Luffy will arrive in just a few days. Shichibukai Conference. It seems that the war on top is about to begin. I'm going to test Blackbeard this time and see what's going on. If I feel bad, I'd better go back to the ninja world and get the reincarnation eye out first. Uchiha Yugen thought in his mind, then put down the phone bug and continued practicing. Ten days are for the other Shichibukai to prepare, and it won't take him that long to get there. On the seventh day, he set out. There is nothing in the clan that requires him to take care of. He is said to be the clan leader, but more like a spiritual symbol, and the one who works part-time is Uchiha Fugaku. When he was approaching the shampoo land, Uchiha Tamaki put Susanu away. He was not ready to expose this power to more people. Haile used his Sharingan to control a Neptune-like creature as a mount, and just stood on it and waited for it to slowly swim over. However, on the afternoon of the eighth day, I arrived at the shampoo land. I walked around for a while and experimented with an idea. It was only on the tenth day that I went to find the world government personnel responsible for this matter. They took Uchiha Yugen to Marijioa. Illusion can control the celestial dragons. Basically, it's not a big problem. This way, there is quite a lot of room for manipulation. Uchiha followed a colonel while thinking about the results of the experiments over the past few days. He squatted down to a celestial dragon, more than 20 meters away, and directly used illusions to control him. The celestial dragon was no different. And the consumption is not large. These Tianlong people have average physical fitness, not to mention mental quality, and can be easily controlled. If something happens, controlling a dozen or so Tianlong people to come and cause trouble can solve a lot of troubles. Soon, I arrived at Maria Joya, walked through the long corridor, and arrived at a particularly large living room. Among the Shichibukai, Uchiha Yugen was the last one to arrive. Is this the newcomer who just became the Shichibukai? It doesn't feel like it's very powerful. Da Flamingo stepped on the chair cushion and sat on the backrest. He said with a sinister tone in his mouth. After all, he felt that the position of Shichibukai should not be given so casually. After all, he had spent a lot of energy to get the position of Shichibukai. In his eyes, Uchiha Tamaki just caught a little pirate with 300 million belly and became the Shichibukai. It was a joke. Humph, I was careless that time, otherwise the straw hat boy would definitely be mine. Moonlight Moria snorted coldly. Even though his head was still bandaged, he still spoke harshly. He was very unhappy that the straw hat boy was taken away like this, leaving him without a chance for revenge. At the same time, he didn't have any good impressions of the person who defeated the straw hat kid, let alone any thoughts of gratitude. Blackbeard Teach, on the other hand, was happily eating his meal and had no intention of interrupting. It seemed that no one else knew about the hammering of Bartholomew Bear. He was sitting aside, silently, watching these people coldly. Hawkeye Myhawk and Empress Hancock were also not interested in this kind of provocation. One was alone, and the other had no interest in the affairs of the stinky man at all. There were also some lieutenant generals sitting around. They also had no good impressions of these guys who they regarded as pirates. A lost dog who was kicked out, and a loser who lost to a newcomer, are you qualified to judge me? Uchiha Yugen responded unceremoniously. He would not swallow his anger and taunted directly. To stand firm on this sea, patience is useless. Da Flamingo, who had a sneer on his face, suddenly stopped smiling. You brat, do you want to die? Moonlight Moria was angry and shouted directly. But as soon as he finished speaking, Moonlight Moria's pupils shrank sharply, because Uchiha Yugen's right hand with Chidori was less than 10 centimeters away from his neck, which looked like an enlarged thyroid gland. The sound of flashing arcs could be clearly heard by Moonlight Moria. If you keep screaming, your neck will be broken. Uchiha Yugen stood on the dining table, holding a Chidori in warning to Moonlight Moria. You. Moonlight Moria was furious. 
He wanted to fight back directly, but he felt that if he did it, the other party would really cut off his neck. Okay, stop. At this time, someone tried to persuade him to make peace. Lieutenant General Crane. This time she was in charge of the meeting. Chapter, 45. Humph, if this wasn't Maria Joya, if it were anywhere else, I would definitely kill you. Moonlight Moria relented. But he didn't talk about it, and he looked like he had a lot of money. Trash lost to newcomers. Uchiha Tamaki replied unceremoniously. But after saying that, he instantly sat on the empty seat of the last Shichibukai. The other Shichibukai also paid attention to Uchiha Yugen. They felt that Uchiha Yugen's speed was a bit too fast. Bad boy. Moonlight Moria was furious. Uchiha, this is the name of your power, right? Recently, I have gained a little momentum in the first half of the Grand Channel. I wonder if I can stop some powerful enemies. Da Flamingo suddenly interrupted. The tone was full of threats. If a fight breaks out in this scene, it will be a huge blow and it will not give the world government face. But with the threat of warning, it seems that the problem is not too big. Seeing someone helping, Moonlight Moria stopped calling, and prepared to cooperate with Da Flamingo to teach the newcomer a lesson. I heard that the underground arms trade is very rampant in the New World. I heard that a certain country is colluding with the four emperors. I have some free time recently and can solve this matter. I don't know how much compensation the navy is willing to pay. As long as it's reasonable, I can help solve the problem and reduce the navy's losses. Uchiha Tamaki didn't say anything, but looked at the navy aside and said. Da Flamingo's face hardened again. Looking at Uchiha Yugen's eyes, he was full of alertness. Everyone knew that he was engaged in underground arms, but few people knew about the deal with the four emperors. After all, this is a matter restricted by the world government. If it is known, it is very likely that the title of Shichibukai will be taken away and the navy will target it. This is a consequence he cannot accept. Oh. Is this information reliable? Lieutenant General he said in surprise. She has read information about this newly rising Shichibukai. However, it was too little, and even ten pieces of paper were not enough in total. This still includes the news that the Uchiha clan workers have been killing pirates in the Grand Channel recently, and the navy has collected the news. The only information about Uchiha Tamaki himself is that he captured the straw hat boy and defeated Bartholomew Bear. His specific combat capabilities are unknown. Very mysterious. I don't know where I heard the rumors from, but it would be a bit irresponsible to take it to this occasion. Da Flamingo said quickly. Want to divert everyone's attention. It should be the beast pirates among the four emperors. In addition to the arms trade, there seems to be some special deals. Uchiha Tamaki ignored Da Flamingo and kept looking at him, as if he was threatening. He continued very calmly. Who is it? Who exposed this news? Da Flamingo suspected that there was an undercover agent around him, but he even more suspected that something was going on with the beast's pirates. At this time, he didn't dare to continue to stimulate this newcomer. If he revealed more information, it would be dangerous. Didn't I come here to say that there is some big event that requires the help of our Shichibukai? Let's talk about arms smuggling later. I don't have that much time to listen to this. Da Flamingo relented. Although Moonlight Moria was naive, he was not stupid. He could see that Da Flamingo seemed to be suppressed by this kid. So he stopped talking. Anyway, it didn't matter that two people were uncomfortable now. Well, let's talk about this big event first. In half a month, Portcast D. Ace, the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates, will be executed at the Marine Headquarters, Marina Fando. Now the Whitebeard Pirates will destroy all the Navy surveillance ships. General he began to explain the details of the major event. Others had somewhat guessed what was going on, but the details were naturally not as detailed as the Navy's. Just execute Ace. Is Luffy planning to save it and kill him next time he needs to boost his morale, or is he really afraid of Garp? I feel like it's more likely to target the Revolutionary Army in the future. It seems that the top war copy this time won't change much from the plot. 
I just don't know if Luffy can still escape from Impel Down City. Uchiha Yugen was thinking in his heart while listening to Lieutenant General He's explanation. I asked the system just now whether attacking Blackbeard Teach here counts as a mission, but unfortunately it doesn't. Therefore, Uchiha Tamajin felt that the Blackbeard pirates should be destroyed in one group at a specific dungeon time, that is, during the top war period. As for rescuing Ace and saving the Whitebeard pirates, having him act as an undercover agent would have a high chance of success. With just the shadow clone technique plus the transformation technique, he was able to fish in troubled waters, rescue Ace before his execution, and then directly notify the Whitebeard pirates to start fighting and run away, leaving a shadow clone for the world government to kill. I feel like there is no problem. Big. Then came Lieutenant General He, telling everyone that they would arrive that day and be responsible for the second line of defense, in front of the general. It is naturally impossible to tell these guys about other specific situations. After all, the possibility of being exposed is too high, and the Navy will not do such a stupid thing. Please arrive on time. This is an order from the world government. Lieutenant General he said finally. She won't be polite to these guys. Naturally, the people of the Shichibukai don't have a good attitude toward the Navy. The four men from the Navy left first. Hancock also left immediately. She was not interested in staying among these stinky men. Uchiha Yugen also stood up and walked outside. Doflamingo followed behind Uchiha Tamaki without hesitation, and Gekko Moria also followed him to watch the show. Hawkeye is not planning to go back, and is planning to stay nearby until the big event is over before going back. Bartholomew Bear basically stayed at the Navy headquarters and had no intention of leaving. Blackbeard showed a naive smile, wiped his mouth clean, and wandered away. Knowing that the Navy's recent strength was gathered at the Navy headquarters to prepare for the Whitebeard pirates, he could continue to implement his next plan. He didn't take these Shichibukai seriously at all. As long as he completed his plan, everything he wanted would be at his fingertips at any time. Hey, newcomer, I have something to talk to you. In the corridor, Doflamingo called out to Uchiha Tamaki with a posture that would definitely get him beaten if he walked as an ordinary person. The arms deal with the four emperors really aroused his nerves too much, and he couldn't confirm whether this guy really had evidence. But I couldn't afford to gamble, so I had to ask clearly. If exposed, it would be a disgraceful thing to both sides and might be abandoned by both the Navy and Kaido. Can't afford to gamble. Chapter, 46 As for the arms, let's talk about it after the big incident is over. That doesn't make sense now. Uchiha Tamaki turned around, looked at Doflamingo who was almost half his body taller than him, and spoke directly. Doflamingo is very powerful, and his subordinates also have enough power. Uchiha Tamaki is preparing to replace Kaido on Doflamingo's side and become Doflamingo's new father. However, this matter will naturally have to be discussed after I complete the copy of Top War. Now is not the time to reveal too much strength or reveal too much information. It would definitely take a lot of effort to make Doflamingo willing, but he didn't have the energy to do it at this moment. Now, I want to talk to you. But Doflamingo is not a good boy. He couldn't help hearing such words that were almost teasing him. The tone suddenly became low, the surrounding space became solemn, and Doflamingo released his aura to threaten Uchiha Tamaki. A row of members of the World City Palace stood around, all with pale faces, looking at Doflamingo in horror. Doflamingo is not arrogant enough to unleash his domineering energy in this place. Doing such a thing is undoubtedly provoking the real king of this world. Is that all? Uchiha Yugen closed and opened his eyes, and his eyes were already filled with blood-red Manjiki Sharingan. At the same time, he used his left eye directly on Doflamingo's eye technique, purgatory. After the bloodline reversion, he has been able to freely control the environment in the pupil technique. He can even directly create a set of eight hells, but it is also very expensive. But now it was just a warning, so Uchiha Yugen only used the hell of the Sea of Fire to let Doflamingo experience the taste of the boundless Sea of Fire. Doflamingo's face froze for a moment, but his face immediately showed fear, and he looked at Uchiha Tamaki in shock. Zero. Three seconds. 
the current pupil power actually only has this effect. But Da Flamingo's situation is enough to be used as a benchmark to judge the situation of others. Uchiha Yugen observed Da Flamingo's situation and figured out how long the opponent would last using the pupil technique. Da Flamingo possesses Overlord Colored Hockey, and his Knowledge Colored Hockey is also strong, so he cannot be easily controlled by illusion type pupil techniques. These guys are almost the same as Metkai who has opened the eight gates of dungeon. They are full of chakra and full of energy. Illusion does not work at all. If it were not for the pupil technique, Da Flamingo would only feel uncomfortable. Will not be tricked at all. Let's talk about it after the big event. Uchiha Tamaki said again. But this time after saying that, he turned around and left. Da Flamingo looked at Uchiha Tamaki's back and stopped calling him for a while. He had been in the sea of fire and disappeared for six full times before he realized something was wrong and found a way to break away from the illusion. But the feeling of being burned by the fire felt extremely real to him. Did you let that brat leave? You guys are so useless. As for Moonlight Moria, they caught up because they moved slowly. He didn't see Uchiha Tamaki, only Da Flamingo standing in the middle of the corridor, and he said sarcastically. Be careful with that guy. He'll really cut your neck next time. Da Flamingo looked at Moonlight Moria indifferently, and then said coldly. Then he continued to walk arrogantly and left here. What? I won't be defeated by a kid a second time, it's absolutely impossible. Moonlight Moria continued to shout. This time he lost to the young man, which made him feel that he had lost all face and regarded it as a great shame. But no one paid attention to him, he was the only one who was angry where he was. If I do this task by myself, the completion rate is over 85%. Unless the plot changes due to what I did when I came to this world, the 15% is the uncertainty. After attending the Shichibukai conference, Uchiha Tamaki had a general understanding of the war on the top. At the very least, Luffy will not be executed along with Ace, so the possibility of the revolutionary army appearing will be greatly reduced. Similarly, Luffy was sent to impel down city by himself and did not have the same freedom as sneaking in with Hancock in the plot. Can he rely on the opportunity he gave him to escape from impel down city and lead the men to the top to fight? The Whitebeard pirates increased their combat power. Moreover, Luffy's appearance played a very important role in making Garp have no desire to fight. Garp could not bear the possibility of losing two grandsons at the same time. Luffy's appearance can contain the fighting power of the two generals, Garp and Sengoku. This is very important if they want to help Whitebeard's group. If we fight Blackbeard, there are currently five of his men plus him. How many people can be taken away from Impel City is also because of my capture of Luffy, so the situation is uncertain. This is a variable. Now Blackbeard's strength is definitely not as strong as that of the four emperors. Ace can win because Ace doesn't understand the power of the dark fruit. Otherwise, Ace would not be caught easily. Relying on the dark fruit, Blackbeard's strongest strength is estimated to be the Imperial Deputy. His current strength is basically the same as that of the Shichibukai's cadres. The trouble is that all the guys released from the Impel City must be dealt with. Returning to the clan, Uchiha Yugen listed the enemies to be dealt with on both sides one by one. At the same time, mark the influence of uncertain factors. Fighting Blackbeard, the Whitebeard pirates must be watching the show. If the Navy wants to deal with Whitebeard, no one may be able to help. It will not be easy to deal with the elite combat power of the Yonko pirates in the future. Rescue Ace and help the Whitebeard pirates. Although they are fighting with the four emperors, the navy will probably be more troublesome. It is possible that Garp and Sengoku will be liberated to face the strength of five generals together. Whitebeard maybe I can't stand it, so I'll have to stand up. If I don't have the domineering power to deal with three natural generals, I'll have to take a beating. If we add the combat power of the Uchiha clan to help, the situation can become simpler. Whether it is helping the Whitebeard pirates escape or intercepting the Blackbeard group, the difficulty of the task can be quickly reduced. But what you have to pay for is the lives of your tribe. Uchiha Yugen looked at the final result and frowned. Feelings are important, but the lives of my people are more important. 
I'm sorry Ace. Uchiha Tamaki unceremoniously chose to abandon the mission of rescuing Ace. This task would actually be simpler if it were actually carried out, but the cost would be the lives of a large number of his own people. When these tribesmen fled to this world with him, he had the responsibility to protect them. Like Whitebeard, he would not give up on his tribesmen. So, choose to fuck the Blackbeard pirates. Destroy him all. Chapter, 47 After making the decision, Uchiha Yugen began to shake people. Shirsue, Itachi, let's bring Captain Fugaku with us this time. Then each of us will bring three team members, a total of nine. Rob Luchi and Kaku will also bring along, plus twelve of me. The main purpose is to prevent Blackbeard's men from escaping. Just let them contain these guys and interrupt their escape route. Uchiha Yugen judged in his heart. With this kind of fighting power, if Uchiha Tamaki now takes him to fight Da Flamingo, he can easily win. Now that Uchiha is the Shichibukai, this war on top has attracted the attention of all the powerful people in the world. No one cares about this situation near the uninhabited island in the Windless Zone. The navy is also attacking with all its strength, and the world government is also keeping an eye on the other four emperors to avoid a more dangerous situation. Uchiha's high-end combat power has to be away for more than five days. During this time, Uchiha Yugen also has to ensure the safety of the clan. After thinking clearly, Uchiha Tamaki went directly to Uchiha Fugaku. Captain Fugaku, there is something going on this time. I need you to help out. You are responsible for intercepting some enemies and not letting them escape. Uchiha Yugen couldn't explain the system tasks either. So I'm going to use working for the world government to cover up my explanation. Okay, the elder can help take care of it. There is no problem in the clan. Fugaku said very decisively. He now unconditionally trusts Uchiha Yushuan's judgment. Since Yushuan has come directly to him, it must be an incident where he has to take action. After Uchiha Yugen became the clan leader, no power was taken away from him. He was almost equivalent to the honorary clan leader. However, in Uchiha's external affairs, he basically had his say, and Uchiha Fugaku had no power. Opinion Because he would recall it almost every day, if he had not listened to Uchiha Tamekian's advice and fled with his tribe to this world. If he stayed in Kanoha, the consequences for Uchiha would definitely be the same as what Yugen said. That night, the Umbu delayed him without fear of death, and Hiruzen Saratobi showed up in person to take action. All this shows that Kanoha is really prepared to deal with the Uchiha clan. Because of Uchiha Yugen, the Uchiha clan has almost been reborn. Why doesn't he believe in such a savior? Let's set out tomorrow and hand over the seal that controls Vinsmaga's heart surgery to the elder in charge of the clan. Uchiha Tamaki nodded. Although he knew that Fugaku would definitely not refuse, he was somewhat moved by agreeing so decisively. Then he made arrangements for him. In addition to about ten San Magadama in the clan, there is also the fighting power of Vince Makaji. It would be difficult to beat the top three Shichibukai, but it would be enough for Shoujo. Fugaku nodded and went to make arrangements. Then Uchiha Yugen took out the phone bug, contacted Shirsue, and asked him to bring Rob Luchi and Kaku, as well as five tribesmen selected to wait for him on the nearest island. After the others asked them to submit the bounty, they patrolled the area by boat and waited for them to return. Shirsue didn't ask anything, and immediately began to carry out Uchiha Tamaki's orders. After a period of contact, Rob Luchi and others became more curious about the origins of these people, and felt that they were more like members of an espionage organization than they were. Be ruthless and leave no one alive. The method of erasing traces is more professional than theirs. Rob Lucci also has his own ambitions. He wants to go one step further and take command of this fleet. But after two secret tests with Uchiha Shirsue, he was defeated. This made him understand that the last time he lost to this man was not because he was injured and careless, but because this man really had the strength to defeat him. Onison, are you going out again? Sasuke, on his side, hugged Itachi's thigh with some reluctance. After returning from Vinsmoke Gaji, Itachi went out to follow the ship once, and then came back, responsible for monitoring the research of Vinsmoke Gaji. At the same time, 
he must master the power of the kaleidoscope under the guidance of Fugaku. Now Itachi can freely use the power of the kaleidoscope, and has developed the eye technique of both eyes. However, due to physical fitness, the amount of chakra is not as good as Shursue and Fugaku. They can't fight for a long time, but the strength they can burst out in a short period of time is not inferior to Shursue and Fugaku. Well, there is something important and you need my help. Itachi touched Sasuke's head with a gentle smile on his face. Staying on this island these days, he felt very relaxed, without the pain of being caught between the clan and the village when he was in Kanoha. Therefore, he must protect all of this. Although I don't know what he is doing this time, it is definitely beneficial to Uchiha. Onisen, come on. When I grow up, I will go on missions with you. Sasuke also felt that the pressure was much less. I just lost a lot of my childhood friends, but my home feels warmer. Work hard together. Itachi stroked Sasuke's head and smiled. Under Uchiha's order, the group quickly made preparations. All kinds of ninja tools are fully prepared, as well as ten new combat uniforms sent by Jerma 66 not long ago. When they left, Vince Amakaji had already arranged for people to continue the production. Because someone was there to send him, Uchiha Tamaki didn't stay there and wait. After getting ready, Uchiha Tamajin used Susanoo to take Fugaku and his son, as well as Izumi, towards the place where Shursue and others were waiting. Shursue was already waiting with people. When you arrive, go straight onto the boat. The target is the Navy headquarters. The Navy will respond when we get there. Uchiha Yugen said to the clansmen in charge of navigation. Then distribute the combat uniforms to Shursue and others. Shursue had no use for the first ten sets he got back, and basically gave them to his clan members who were hunting pirates together. There are also a few selected ones, but Uchiha Yugen said in advance that there will be new ones, so he gave the previous battle uniforms to the tribesmen who did not come, leaving only one set, plus the eleven sets he brought, Uchiha Bo Yushuan doesn't need it. Then, Uchiha Yugen began to explain to them the actual task to be done this time. If we don't make it clear in advance, I'm afraid they will waste their energy by doing crazy damage to the Whitebeard pirates. So he betrayed the world government and it's up to us to destroy this pirate group, right? Shursue concluded. Others didn't have any opinions and were all thinking about how to do it. Rob Lucci felt that this was a good opportunity. Although he left the world government, he still worked for the world government. If you follow this man, you may really be able to go further. See the battle at the top of this world, see clearly where you are, and then work hard together. Uchiha's words made everyone on the scene feel their blood boiling. The world's strongest man attacks the world's greatest power. It is definitely a battle that people will never forget. Chapter, 48 Seven days later, Uchiha and his party arrived at the Navy headquarters. Navy warships are almost everywhere around here, densely packed everywhere. It's not that the navy is cowardly, but this time the enemy is the strongest in the world. This name was not given to Edward Newgate by anyone else, but was a fact recognized by the entire sea. There was no hope of a fight, and they all just hoped that the day of execution could be passed safely, but everyone knew that the possibility was too low. In order to face that man, all the elite combat forces of the navy were gathered, just for this battle. Mr. Yugen Uchiha, if you need anything these days, Please feel free to contact me through the phone bug. Please don't wander around. The Navy headquarters is now under martial law. Please cooperate. A rear admiral explained in a very formal manner. The ships were not allowed to be brought over, and everyone was placed in a very luxurious courtyard, enough to accommodate twenty people, giving Uchiha and his party plenty to spare. It seemed that it was used to entertain distinguished guests. Just now, Uchiha Yugen saw Hawkeye Myhawk, who lived not far away. He was sitting in the courtyard, holding a sun umbrella, drinking hot tea, crossing his legs and watching newspaper. Looks like a real aristocrat. After the explanation, the rear admiral left. Just complete our mission and don't interfere in other people's affairs during the battle. Don't get involved in those monster battles. This time we are mainly here to see the strength of Apex. Uchiha Yugen said to everyone. 
he wanted to prevent someone from suddenly being kind-hearted and wanting to save the sailors, and then start working with the Whitebeard pirates. Almost all the people present had participated in the war, and the youngest Itachi had also been on the battlefield. Izumi, you are the only one who has not participated in large-scale combat. If you are afraid, you can leave first. It doesn't matter. The only one who had not participated in the war was Izumi, who was the same age as Itachi. I will not be timid, clan leader. Please treat me like a ninja. Izumi said with firm eyes. She didn't want to live up to Uchiha Tamaki's training for her, and she didn't want to fall behind Uchiha Itachi. Don't leave the yard, the phone will be monitored by bugs, don't use it unless necessary, that's all. Uchiha Yugen finally said. The execution was only two days away, and he was not prepared to change his goals. The next thing is to wait for that day to arrive. Everything that should be prepared has been prepared on the road. Except for Rob Luchi and Kaku, everyone else has at least three sets of seafloor stone handcuffs. There are also three specially made Sea Tower Stone Thousand books, which can affect the opponent's combat effectiveness as long as they are pierced into the body of the ability user. Only the front centimeter of these thousand books is made of Sea Tower Stone, and the rest is wrapped in metal. Only about 5 millimeters of the top part is made of Sea Tower Stone, which is used by Yin people. The most important thing is that there are no big Sea Tower Stones. If you want to make Kunai, you can't make it, so you can only make Sanban. In the evening, other Shichibukai also arrived one after another. But basically he came alone, and none of his subordinates were brought over. Instead, he stayed on the boat and docked at Shampoo. At noon the next day, the Shichibukai were summoned to hold a banquet. In the end, it was discovered that Blackbeard did not come, and the navy could not contact them, so there was nothing they could do. After all, who knows if something happened to Blackbeard. You don't have the guts to bring people to this kind of war. You are too cowardly. You will die if you are not careful in this kind of war, but I will help you and transform you into a zombie when the time comes, jie jie. Moonlight Moria saw Uchiha Tamaki and directly spoke provocatively. He felt very unhappy about being shocked by this brat last time. He had a feeling that he had never quarreled with someone before, and then he remembered how he should have quarreled. When he saw him again, he immediately started taunting him. It's so noisy. Is this a useless attack? It's too weak. Uchiha Yugen answered calmly while picking his ears. This response aroused the anger of Moonlight Moria. All right. Tomorrow is a big event. If you have any hatred, you can resolve it as you please after it's over. But now, calm down and don't cause trouble here. Warring states said very rudely. This time, he and Lieutenant General he were in charge. The three generals did not care about these, including some execution plans, etc. They were all in charge of him and he. The opponent he will face tomorrow requires him to face it with all his strength at his age. To cause trouble for the navy at this time is to deny him face. Snort. You brat, the incident is over, don't run away. Although Moonlight Moria was unhappy, she had already decided to attack him directly after this incident. It just so happened that during this battle, he was able to collect some good corpses to enhance his strength. Therefore, he is not disgusted with this matter. Uchiha Yugen didn't say anything. This kind of heartless waste is not worth wasting time. The previous meeting of naval officers has been completed, and the Shichibukai is the last one. They will definitely not be informed of the specific situation. Sengoku is guarding these pirates. The Navy headquarters monitoring phone bugs are at full power. As long as the communication frequency in this area will be cut off, even the specially confidential communication phone bugs cannot escape monitoring within this range. Above. You are responsible for stopping the pirates rushing towards your direction. The meeting was very short and was explained while eating. The naval headquarters port is a circle, and the docking location is U-shaped. The Shichibukai is responsible for the second layer of defense at the bottom of the U-shape. The first layer is the Navy's manpower. If this layer of Navy's defense is broken, they will take action to intercept the pirates of the Whitebeard Pirates. Uchiha Tamaki was assigned to the far left position, 
perhaps because Sengoku didn't quite understand Uchiha Tamaki's strength. Although it is known that Bartholomew Bear lost to Uchiha Tamaki, in Bartholomew Bear's description, he was attacked by three people in turns before losing to the newly promoted Shichibukai. Therefore, Sengoku did not trust Uchiha Yugen's strength and left the middle position to Bartholomew Bear and Hawkeye, while Hancock was assigned to the rightmost position. Blackbeard, who was originally planned to be in the center, did not come, which made him very unhappy. After this is over, how about we come to dress Rosa to talk? End of the meeting. Doflamingo stopped Uchiha Tamaki and said to him. After the last meeting, he thought for a long time and still felt that this new Shichibukai was very dangerous. However, the other party does not seem to be a lackey loyal to the world government, but has his own ideas, so it is not impossible to cooperate. So with this mentality, he stopped Uchiha Tamaki. Well, just after this incident is over, I also want to talk to you. Uchiha Tamaki replied. If this goes well, the situation on the sea will be completely changed. If the territory of the four emperors is vacated, Blackbeard will be killed by himself. Then the territory of the Whitebeard pirates will be vacated, which will be a new benefit. Uchiha can definitely get more benefits from it, but Uchiha Yugen is not prepared to let his clan members show up in large numbers. So there needs to be a suitable beater. Chapter 49 Early the next morning, the navy was ready. This battle brought together a hundred thousand sailors, all of whom were elites in the navy. The port of Marinifando can barely stand, and the navy is densely packed. Is this kind of battle really just to deal with a pirate group? Uchiha Fugaku looked at the endless navy and couldn't believe that so many people were just to deal with a group of pirates. He also experienced the Third Ninja War and led Uchiha on the frontal battlefield. But he was also surprised by the number of people. After all, there were not that many ninjas in the ninja world. That man has the ability to easily destroy the island, and after the quality reaches a certain level, this ordinary quantity is useless. Uchiha Yugen felt very calm at this time. Every system task cannot fail. This is the only way to go on. Like his white beard, he is inescapable. Follow the plan and the first task is to ensure your own safety. He communicated with the navy and asked Fugaku Shirsue and others to hang out on the wall near him and use guns and cannons to help attack the pirates. Not close to the core battlefield, this kind of thing will naturally not be rejected by the navy. Fugaku and others replied. Then the group of people separated and left in different directions. The group of people were all wearing the same color clothing, but Uchiha Tamaki had a cloak, while Fugaku and the others did not. Dark blue, the appearance is still similar to Kanoha's Chunin costume, but it is added at the back. The inner layer of fabric can withstand the attacks of ordinary bullets, while at the same time it can reduce impact attacks, prevent cutting, and at the same time keep heat and water. Etc. There is a white cloak behind Uchiha Yugen, which is very similar to the Hokage cloak. The bottom is a pattern of flames, but instead of the generations of Hokage printed on the center of the back, it is the emblem of the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Tamaki was still unable to transform in front of so many people, so he transformed in the room in advance and then wore it. It's said to be the second floor, but it's actually right next to the shore. There are a few cannons in front of it. The execution will begin in 30 minutes. Fish in troubled waters and wait for Blackbeard to show up. Uchiha Yugen was taken to the area he was responsible for. Each Shichibukai stood in a row about 20 or 30 meters apart. Seeing where he was standing, Uchiha Tamaki was a little speechless, but he was not surprised. How could the navy believe that they, the Shichibukai, had told the arrangements in advance? No wonder it was said at the end that there might be changes. The live broadcast had already started at this time, and Ace was escorted out of the prison and walked towards the execution platform. After waiting for a while, Ace appeared, his hands were handcuffed with sea stones, and he was pressed to his knees on the execution platform. Sengoku and Garp appeared behind, and then they separated, and Sengoku went to the execution platform. There is something I want to convey to you first. Regarding Portcast D. Ace, the great significance of this man's death here today. Ace, tell me your father's name. 
warring states came up here and started talking with a loudspeaker phone. The Navy below looked at the execution platform with some confusion, not knowing what was going on. My father is Whitebeard. Ace replied very loudly. However, Ace's answer was directly rejected by Sengoku. At that time, we had the most evil baby in the world, and that was you. Your father is the Pirate King G.O.L. D. Roger. After warring states said these words, there was an instant silence on the field. Everyone, including those watching the live broadcast through the live screen elsewhere, had a look of shock on their faces. Shichibukai and others also turned their heads in surprise and looked at Ace on the execution platform. Only Uchiha Yugen squinted his eyes and looked at the gap in the distance. Although he is very interested in saving Ace, he has people he must protect. Warring states continued to describe how he found Ace. The reporters who were watching the live broadcast frantically wrote down notes in their notebooks, preparing to write news immediately to earn the first wave of popularity. Appeared. Soon after, the sailor who was in charge of observing with telescopes discovered a large number of pirate ships and shouted directly. Everyone, prepare for battle. The lieutenant general in charge of the port gave the order directly. All the forts turned and aimed at the lake-like harbor in the center of the port. That one is the strongest, how powerful is it? Uchiha Itachi stood on the wall and looked at the navy's prepared formation below. It was really hard for him to imagine what kind of existence it would be like. Shusui and the others did not take their eyes off the pirate ship. They were also curious about what kind of person it would be. After all, there are not many people in this world who can survive seeing Whitebeard. It's highly. Shusui was the first to notice something was wrong with the sea water. Other members of the Uchiha clan also discovered the situation. Only Rob Luchi, Kaku and others did not see anything interesting. The coated Moby Dick floated out of the sea. This unexpected appearance shocked everyone. Lu la la. I haven't seen you in decades, warring states. Whitebeard slowly walked onto the bow of the ship, and no one spoke during the process. Shusui and others focused their attention on the old man, trying to see the man's fearful expression through his sharingan. But no, there was just a wild smile on his face. Warring states looked at this enemy with a solemn expression, but as the supreme commander of the navy, he would not retreat. My dear son, are you okay? Whitebeard continued. He looked relaxed and contented, as if the 100,000 troops in front of him were just a group of ants. No one in the navy in the audience spoke. They all looked at this man nervously. Very strong. I've never seen this kind of momentum from anyone else. Perhaps only the legendary ninja god, the first Hokage, has such courage. Fugaku said very seriously. When he first said he wanted to participate in the war, he didn't take it too seriously. After all, he had also experienced fighting on the battlefield. But now that he saw this man, he was glad that everyone's mission was to deal with other enemies, not this man. Complete the mission, help the clan leader, and don't interfere in other matters. Shusui followed suit. The surrounding marines had already been controlled by the Uchiha people using illusions to avoid problems and reduce trouble. That's why everyone talked together as a group, and everyone's attention was focused on Whitebeard and didn't pay attention to them. Lu la la. Wait for me a minute, Ace. Whitebeard looked at Ace and smiled fondly. Just like you would treat a child in your own family who gets into trouble. Daddy. Ace's lips trembled, and then he shouted without any scruples. Like a child admitting his mistake. Whitebeard inserted his cloud cutter on the bow of the ship, then clenched his fists and crossed them to accumulate power. Then he hammered hard to both sides. The atmosphere was directly hammered out with cracks. An explosion occurred on the sea surface around Marinavando, and the sea water surged up. The level of the rising sea water directly exceeded the height of Marinavando's wall by more than two or three times. Is this the strongest power in the world? Uchiha and his party were shocked by this change. Although I thought he would be very strong when I met him, I never thought it would be so outrageous. The strongest. On Uchiha Yugen's side, looking at Whitebeard, his blood boiled somewhat. The war at the top is starting to get a little sluggish, but I left it behind, 
and it feels lackluster if I don't write about it. Chapter, 50 Ice Age Admiral Kazan jumped up from his seat, jumped to the center of the port, and used his devil fruit ability to quickly freeze the surrounding sea. The surging waves were all frozen, and now stood like walls on both sides of Malinfando. So strong. Izumi said in shock. Fugaku and others were also shocked by Kazan's handwriting. Is this the admiral? Shirsue took a deep breath. In his view, this was no longer a power that could be described by the blood inheritance limit. At the same time, Hawkeye Myhawk launched a test on Whitebeard. He wanted to see how far he was from being the strongest. However, the slash was blocked by Diamond Josie. The white-bearded pirates were also rushing along the ice towards the port. General Kazaru also followed suit and rushed towards Whitebeard. The situation on the field instantly turned into a fierce battle. Artillery Unit, Launch From the Warring States period, orders were conveyed through telephone bugs. Jisue and others were part of the artillery force, so they began to fish in troubled waters. The levels are really different. But everyone in the Shichibukai is fishing in troubled waters. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he looked at the attack range, and at the same time tried to lock Kizaru's movement with his eyes, but found that when the opponent was in elemental form, it was difficult to catch even the afterimage. However, when he revealed his true form and was about to attack, this time was enough for him to react. He also had to collect enough intelligence during this battle. Who knew what the system's next mission would be, but it would definitely not be as simple as this one. With enough data, we can analyze and judge the difficulty of the task. Get out of here. Diamond Josie shouted, then punched the ice and pulled out a huge ice ball that was a hundred times bigger than his body. Vane stretched out in his head, and he used all his strength to throw the ice ball in the direction of the navy. I want to use this attack to open a gap and open the way to Ace. You have the guts to stop me. After throwing the huge ice ball towards the navy, Diamond Josie shouted at the same time. Edward, the white-bearded man, showed a satisfied look. It made him happy to see his sons doing so well. The huge ice ball occupies almost one-fifth of the port. If it falls directly, at least thousands of people will be killed or injured. Let's announce the existence of Uchiha a little bit. Uchiha Yugen was ready to take action. To bring protection to the family, it is important to have sufficient deterrence. The live broadcast that is going on now covers the four seas and the great waterways. A little display of strength can bring about a lot of improvement in reputation. The ice ball fell towards the execution platform, and Akainu crossed his legs, preparing to take action. The sailors below were so frightened that they couldn't get out of the coverage area because they could not escape. Fire escape, fire is extinguished. Uchiha Yugen accumulated chakra behind his throat, and then spit it out towards the ice ball with a diameter of nearly a hundred meters in the sky. This sudden move surprised several Shichibukai around them. After all, the Shichibukai all agreed that they should fish in troubled waters and do what they want to do. No one really works for the world government. Such people who take the initiative to work hard will be squeezed sooner or later. TCH, such a tiny flame is really funny. Moonlight Moria saw the flame spit out by Uchiha Yugen, condensed into a pillar, only two meters in diameter. And the nearly 100 meter wide ice hockey puck is like a toothpick inserted into a cow, without any feeling. However, when the pillar of fire was about to get close to the ice puck, it exploded instantly. The flames exploded, like a meteorite, hitting the ice ball directly. The size of the flames and the ice ball were almost the same. Zitsizi. The flames touched the ice ball and instantly made the sound of meat being fried on a sizzling plate. The flames with changing properties are more powerful than ordinary flames. This ordinary ice cannot resist it at all. This is just the sea water frozen by Ching Pheasant, not the ice condensed by Ching Pheasant itself. The entire ice ball was directly extinguished and evaporated by the fire in less than five seconds. The remaining flames exploded into the sky, illuminating the surrounding area red for a moment. Such a huge ice cube actually melted. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates below looked at this scene in stunned silence. The Patriarch is actually so strong. 
Izumi was also surprised again. Although she had ridden the Gundam Susanoo, she thought that if she wanted to withstand this kind of ice, she would have to use the power of the Susanoo. But I never thought that I could destroy this ice block just by relying on fire escape. There are useful people in the Shichibukai. Sakaski, who was sitting on the chair, said slightly surprised. When he saw the tiny pillar of fire, he was ready to take action, but he didn't expect such a change, so he continued to sit calmly on the chair with his legs crossed and watched. Impossible. Moonlight Moria was also shocked. If it weren't for the owner of the burning fruit, who is on the execution platform, I would have suspected that you are a user with the ability of the burning fruit. Da Flamingo also said in surprise. Is this really the power that humans have? At the same time, reporters watching the live broadcast in Shampoo and other places were shocked that the battle could be exaggerated to such an extent. Fire, fire. The Navy also organized a counterattack, and a large number of artillery shells flew towards the ice of the harbor and rushed towards the pirates. The field was filled with smoke for a while. The Navy fought hard, but the Shichibukai all stayed still and began to watch the show in tacit understanding. After a while, the descendants of Oz, the new Oz, appeared on the battlefield. When Uchiha Yugen looked at the long sword he was holding, he felt that it really seemed to be close to 40 meters. The 40 meter sword really appeared. This is the cruelty of war. Fugaku faced this calmly. Except for Izumi, who had never participated in the war and was a little flustered when firing the cannon, the other Uchiha had firm eyes. Robluchi and Kaku were both surprised by the calmness of these people. Even the two of them, who had been fighting for a long time, felt a little moved when they saw the situation below. The shells hit this guy, but they had no effect at all. On Yashiro's side, he controlled the muzzle and aimed it at Oz. But when the cannonball hit this person, he didn't react at all, as if he was hit by sand. The battlefield gradually became cruel, and casualties began to increase dramatically. Oz regarded the enemy as nothing and kept walking towards the port. Then he was directly hit by the bear paw impact that Bartholomew Bear had accumulated for more than ten seconds. He almost lost consciousness and half knelt on the ground. The explosive impact instantly covered the battlefield at the front, and the impact directly blew away the surrounding sailors and pirates. Is that person actually so strong? Itachi said in surprise. Oz stood up and continued to move forward, but was hit by a large number of shells. His body could no longer hold on and he was about to collapse. However, before falling down, he tried to kill a Shichibukai, which implicated the theatergoers. Da Flamingo directly cut off one of Oz's legs. Seeing that his body was destroyed, Moonlight Moria was so angry that he directly used his shadow to pierce Oz's chest. Uchiha Yugen looked at this scene without any emotion. They are all fighting for the people they want to protect. Me too. Seeing the pirates crawling up from Oz's body, Uchiha Tamaki moved his neck, and then greeted these guys who were dying with an expressionless face. Chapter 51 Ah! The pirates who rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki were instantly knocked away. The dark red Susanoo skeleton stretched out two bone hands, one of which held a spear, and swept away these pirates with one sweep. What kind of monster is this? Why can't it be defeated? The sword can't cut it, and the cannonballs are useless. What kind of devil fruit is this? The pirates of the Whitebeard Pirates looked at Uchiha Tamaki slowly walking towards them, their eyes full of despair. Ordinary attacks could not break through Susanoo's defense. Although it is just the most ordinary skeleton now, it cannot be broken by cannonballs. Susanoo's arms kept waving, knocking the pirates away. Uchiha Tamaki had no intention of showing mercy to these ordinary pirates. A pirate is a pirate. Uchiha Tamaki didn't believe that these guys would be like Luffy and others. Whitebeard could control himself, but he certainly couldn't control his subordinates. There is no burden to kill these pirates. However, Uchiha Tamaki's activities of killing pirates attracted the attention of the leader of the Whitebeard Pirates team. A guy who looked like Captain Jack came up with a meteor hammer and gave it to Uchiha Tamaki. However, it still did not break Susanoo's bones, but it also created cracks, 
and directly knocked Uchiha Tamaki back more than 10 meters before stopping. Let me be your opponent. Lakio held the chain of the meteor hammer in his hand, and the meteor hammer kept shaking like a poisonous snake. Uchiha Yugen is naturally happy to have someone accompany him in acting. When I started fighting with this guy, I didn't choose to kill him hard, so as not to attract too much attention. You guy, don't hide if you have the guts. After Rikuyo and Uchiha Tamaki fought for a while, he became angry. Because his own attacks couldn't hit the opponent at all. The opponent occasionally spat out a few small fireball-like attacks, but they had no effect on him. He felt as if he was being pulled. There is a feeling of getting angry after being teased. Uchiha Yugen naturally ignored him and killed several pirates at the same time. Lokju was furious. His every move was penetrated by the Sharingan, so he was naturally unable to threaten Dao Uchiha Yugen. Uchiha Tamaki didn't want to let go of this suitable target, so he expressed in the water that he was fighting seriously. At this time, except for Bartholomew Bear, a reformer who has completely lost his mind, and Moonlight Moria, a fool, all the other Shichibukai are paddling. Uchiha Yugen also successfully sneaked into this segment, waiting for his target to appear. Coming. Uchiha Yugen raised his head and looked at the sky. Luffy still appears on the battlefield of the war on the top just like in the plot. Chance. Go to hell. Rakjo quickly rotated the meteor hammer hundreds of times to accumulate power, and then threw the meteor hammer directly at Uchiha Yugen. The Great Jade Raisingan. Uchiha Yugen rolled a big ball with his backhand and hit it. The impact caused by the collision of the two forces directly cleared more than 10 meters, and people were knocked away by the impact. You guy, you obviously have such a strong power, but you don't take fighting seriously. Are you looking down on me? Lakio said angrily. But Uchiha Yugen didn't care at all what this person thought. The warship of Luffy and others hit the ice hard. You will regret this. Meteor strikes a hundred times. Rakjo went crazy and used his ultimate move. In ten seconds, if the meteor hammer is thrown a hundred times, a twenty-meter-tall giant will fall directly if it takes his attack. You're so noisy. But as soon as his attack was launched, a voice sounded directly behind him. Lejou had no time to dodge. A Raisingan hit his waist directly, knocking him out instantly. Like a cannonball, it flew directly back into the harbor and slammed into the Moby Dick. Find someone who talks less. If that doesn't work, just get rid of the pirates. Uchiha Yugen was really bored with Captain Jack with the meteor hammer and talked too much. Then he slowly leaned towards both sides and continued to fish in troubled waters. Next is the time for the Navy to start an internal show to see who will not give Lieutenant General Carpface. He had no interest in getting involved. Sure enough, after Luffy talked to Whitebeard and shouted that he was the one who wanted to be the Pirate King. The entire battlefield was silent for a moment, and then Luffy began to lead the charge, and the members of the Whitebeard Pirates quickly followed behind him. Then there is the scene of Kizaru Porosolino being released into the sea. It feels very troublesome to deal with Kizaru. Uchiha Yugen has always listed everyone in the world as possible hostile targets. After all, the system's mission, who knows who it will deal with next. At this time, he was taking his time to deal with ordinary pirates while collecting battle data. I kind of want to challenge Whitebeard to confirm the real strength of the four emperors. Actual combat will definitely be better than visual inspection. But for the sake of the mission, I still held back. Luffy went on a rampage, constantly approaching the execution platform, accompanied by a large number of releases into the sea. But Moria quickly stood in front of Luffy. For this brat who defeated him, this was a lifelong shame. The only time he could wash away his humiliation was now, so he naturally wouldn't miss it. But Moria was quickly stopped by Jinbi. Luffy instantly stole the show on the battlefield, attracting the attention of most people. For a moment, it seemed as if the navy was being suppressed. A large number of pirates rushed through the defense gap, rushed directly to the interior of the harbor, and launched an attack. However, Luffy was immediately subdued by Smoker, but Smoker was immediately kicked away by Margo. Then Hawkeye released the water, and failed to hit the target with several slashes. 
Instead, he chopped the surrounding ice wall into pieces. Cut off the video image. Warring States is ready to start his own plan. The Pacifist Legion soon followed. The tide of the war began to reverse, and the pacifists began to clear the battlefield. A single laser shot caused a huge explosion, taking away the lives of more than a dozen pirates. Naturally, Whitebeard couldn't tolerate his men being eliminated like this, so he arranged for manpower to deal with the pacifists. But the Warring States period issued an order to retreat to the square at this time. Uchiha Tamaki, who knew the plot, naturally knew that the next step was the battle arranged by the Warring States period, and the Whitebeard pirates would be wiped out in an encirclement and suppression battle here. That guy showed up, do you want to take action? But on Uchiha Tamaki's side, his eyes were on Whitebeard Newgate. At this time, a man appeared next to Whitebeard Newgate, skewered. The man with the white beard stabbed him in the back. The current Tomli can completely control this guy at this distance. Help Whitebeard retain more combat power. When Blackbeard appears, the chance of him helping is more than 80%. At this time, Uchiha Yugen was considering whether to help Whitebeard. Chapter, 52 It's done, give Whitebeard a hand. He should be the guy second only to me who wants Blackbeard Tiki to die. Uchiha Yugen finally decided. At the same time, both eyes directly turn into the Manjiki Sharingan, giving a bonus to mental power. When Squad's long sword scabbard fell to the ground, the long sword was only half a meter away from the chest of Edward Whitebeard. A powerful mental force instantly hit Skewyard's head. The long knife that Skewyard was preparing to stab Edward Whitebeard slightly penetrated the skin by an inch, and then fell directly from his hand and fell on the bow of the ship like a whale's head. You! Whitebeard Edward's pupils contracted violently. He never thought that his son, who had been so passionate with him just now and was about to go to the battlefield to fight his way out, would suddenly stab him in the back. The slight flesh injury did not have much impact on Edward Whitebeard, but at this time, his heart was severely traumatized. Why would my son do this? There was a look of disbelief on his face, looking at Skewyard who was motionless on the spot. Skewyard, what are you doing? Margao, who was originally covering Luffy, flew back at full speed and kicked Skewyard to the deck behind him. The face is full of anger. The calmness he had when he came to the battlefield just now disappeared. He wanted to kill Skewyard directly. Why? Why did you stop at the last minute? It's really a pirate, it's useless. At the same time, there was one of the angriest people on the field, Akaina Sakaski. All of this was obviously going very smoothly, but this timid and timid guy stopped at the critical moment. If Whitebeard can be seriously injured first, the navy will definitely lose a lot less in the subsequent battle. When Skewyard was kicked away again, he woke up, and he couldn't understand why he stopped just now. Successful. Whitebeard is in a slightly better condition. He can cause some trouble to Blackbeard and won't fall down so quickly. During this time, first help Captain Fugaku and the others to deal with a few of the Blackbeard pirates' men and clear the battlefield. Uchiha Yugen glanced at it and stopped paying attention to Edward the Whitebeard. Backstabbing would only happen once at most. The main purpose of the Navy is to kill Edward Whitebeard. Although they are wary of Teach Blackbeard, they are definitely not as attractive as Edward Whitebeard. But Blackbeard's group should also be lurking near the battlefield. Should we force them out first and let Whitebeard, who is in better condition, take action? Uchiha Tamaki considered the next step. Blackbeard's group is a step slower than Luffy and others, but they certainly won't be too much slower. If you lead a team to intercept them now, there may be some damage. The guys brought out by Blackbeard are at least as strong as supernovas in two years. It's better to be on this battlefield. Both the Navy and Whitebeard can put pressure on Blackbeard. Captain Fugaku and the others just need to delay. It's not easy for them to escape in this terrain. If it's on the ocean, maybe one or two of them can escape. It's a bit risky. Uchiha Tamaki decided to fight in Marineland. If you find Blackbeard, force him out first, don't let him leave, and slowly use the battlefield to consume them. During this period, Whitebeard learned from Squad that he was told by Akaina that pirates like them would be used in exchange for Ace's life. 
At the same time, there is also the hatred between Skewyard and Roger, and their dissatisfaction with saving Ace. After a period of delay, Whitebeard took action and shattered the surrounding ice wall, leaving a retreat route for his sons. Let's go together, kids. Meanwhile, Edward Whitebeard joins the battlefield. He couldn't wait any longer to deceive his son and stab himself in the back. Let these marines know the consequences of irritating him. The pirates' morale was boosted again and they rushed towards the square. On the ice, Edward the Whitebeard yanked his hands downwards. The surrounding sea surface is divided directly. Including Malinfando, the entire building actually tilted directly. The structure of the house could not withstand such force, and the houses where a large number of marines lived collapsed. Although Jisue and others already knew that this guy named Whitebeard was very powerful, looking back now, they realized that their imagination just now was still a bit lacking. Is this the four emperors? Fugaku was a little unsure at this time. After he came to this world and listened to Uchiha Yugen's description, he regarded the four emperors as Uchiha's target. But now seeing this kind of power, he felt that the number of people seemed to have no effect at all on such a strong man. Then Whitebeard Edward killed a giant navy vice-admiral with one punch, and the aftermath rushed directly to the execution platform, but was blocked by the three generals with their domineering force. The surrounding iron wall prepared by the navy also rose, but one section was blocked by the body of the demon Oz and did not rise. Uchiha Yugen looked at the ice without any surprises. It was exactly the same as the plot development, except that Edward the Whitebeard did not add a health loss buff, and everything else was almost the same. However, after the surrounding iron wall was raised, Akainu Sakaski used Meteor Volcano and AoE to start clearing the battlefield, targeting everyone in the bay. At the same time, it is also to melt the ice so that these pirates have no place to stand. Close the door and beat the dog. Open it. Edward Whitebeard saw this iron wall and found that his children's escape route was cut off. He flexed the huge muscles in his right hand and struck hard behind him. The almost 80 meter high thick iron wall blocking the entrance was blown away. Is the plot starting to change? Is this because I stopped Whitebeard from losing blood, so he burst out with stronger power? Uchiha Yugen said somewhat surprised. At this time, there were no pirates in the square, because they were all isolated in the bay and beaten. The ice wall is broken, Blackbeard should be not far from here. Uchiha Yugen created a clone and asked him to find where Blackbeard was hiding and start preparing for battle. At this time, all the attention on the battlefield was attracted by the bay. No one paid attention to the shadow clone he created. The shadow clone transformed into an ordinary navy and easily blended into the crowd and disappeared. Luffy was still going forward and had already rushed into the square. Then there is a scene of the marine relative starting to release the devil fruit into the sea, Luffy almost swimming in the sea. However, Whitebeard also implemented Plan B. There was a coated ship hidden in the sea, and he used this ship to lead people to the inside of the square. When a melee breaks out, the three generals on the navy side cannot attack indiscriminately and use their abilities wantonly. At the same time, Whitebeard also completely entered the battlefield. Akainu Sakaski faced off in person, Auji Kazan was stopped by Diamond Josie. Only Kazaru was paddling, releasing lasers with his fingers, and at the same time, he saved Luffy who was in danger at any time and kicked him away. Found it. And Uchiha Tamaki's shadow clone found this time's target, the Blackbeard Pirates. Chapter, 53 How's it going, Van Oka? Blackbeard Tiki asked his IDE subordinate Van Oka after taking a big gulp of wine. Van Oka is a sniper with excellent eyesight and is responsible for observing the situation. Whitebeard has already fought with Admiral Akainu, and the two sides are still fighting. It doesn't seem like the winner can be determined in a short time. Fanoka stood on the body of San Juan Wolf, saw the battle situation inside Malinfando, and reported to him. Ha ha ha. Dad is still very powerful. No, the strongest man in the world in the future will be me. Blackbeard Teach, hearing the lively fight between the two sides, couldn't help but laugh and said very confidently. I hope your plan succeeds. If it fails, we will all be captured by the Navy. 
Aim no Hiru smoked a cigar and said very calmly. Choosing Blackbeard was just right, not because he liked this guy. He had ambitions and needed the ability to realize them. This time, it's time to show Blackbeard Teach's abilities. If he can't do it, then everyone who comes out of the city will abandon him without hesitation. Of course, I have been preparing for this day for many years. Blackbeard Teach had a solemn look on his face. Keep a distance of 300 meters. If you get closer, my ability may not be able to hide from those in the navy. Katrin Daime, a user with the ability to form the Inu dog fruit and nine-tailed fox form. She used her devil fruit power to create a small piece of mist, just enough to cover San Juan Wolf's huge body, which was almost as big as a small island. When everyone sees this fog, they will subconsciously ignore it and not pay attention to it. This is the reason why Blackbeard and his team were able to sneak into the vicinity of this battlefield and did not appear until the end. But unfortunately, this ability was not hidden from the Sharingan of Uchiha Yugen's clone, and it was still seen through. The era of Whitebeard has come to an end, and a new era is coming. Meow. The evil king Abaro Pizarro said with a serious face. Most people here have dealt with Whitebeard. The four pirates who left Impel Down City were all taken care of by Whitebeard and beaten up. Belch. Any more wine? Basque Choate looked drunk. He had been drinking since leaving Impel Down. He wanted to make up for all the time he had spent without drinking in Impel Down. But as soon as he finished speaking, many people on the field immediately lowered their heads and looked at the sea. Most of them stood on the shoulders of San Juan Wolf, with only Van Ossier standing on the head to observe the situation. What happened? Blackbeard Teach felt something was wrong. Uziliuk directly drew his weapon and prepared to face the coming danger. But immediately, these people were stunned, because the sea water suddenly began to rotate. Water release, water spout technique. Uchiha Yugen's shadow clone released the water escape that he had just learned not long ago. Only the form changes have been mastered, and the property changes have not been mastered in the future, but it is enough for use now. A huge water spout instantly rose into the sky, with a diameter of nearly 60 meters. The water spout enveloped San Juan Wolf, and also involved Blackbeard and others. Those with devil fruit abilities instantly lose their ability to fight and become weak and weak. However, those without devil fruit abilities such as Hiryu of the Rain and the evil king Abro Pizarro began to resist. Aim no Shiru slash cut the water spout in half, but before he could escape, he was pulled back by the swirling sea water. This water spout also attracted the attention of many people in the Marinavando battlefield. Both the Whitebeard pirates and the navy thought the other party was up to something. The water spout was strongly controlled by Uchiha Yugen, and all Blackbeard's group was swept into the battlefield of Marine Fando. In the end, except for the huge battleship San Juan Wolf, which was really too big for the water spout to roll up, everyone else was brought to the Bay of Marine Fando by the suction force of the water spout. It's not a suitable attribute. It really consumes chakra. Almost one tenth of the body's chakra is almost exhausted. Uchiha Yugen's shadow clone sensed the chakra in his body and said helplessly. If it were a high intensity fire quenching, it would be able to release at least 10, but now a water release similar to the high intensity fire quenching would require nearly 10 times more chakra than the high intensity fire quenching. This situation can be eliminated only after possessing the samsara eye, and then only by fully mastering the seven attributes of yin, yang, water, fire, earth, thunder, and wind can one be able to create the Taoist jade. There is still a long way to go before the limit that bloodline can reach. Then the shadow clone did nothing else but stare at San Juan Wolf to prevent him from running away, and was ready to transmit the message back to the main body at any time. Cough cough cough. Who is it? Blackbeard Teach felt like he had narrowly escaped death. He was fished out of the seawater in the bay by Aim Shiru and placed on the fragmented planks of Whitebeard's Moby Dick. It seems that you are not targeting Whitebeard, but you are being targeted by someone else. Shirlu of the rain spit out the cigar soaked in seawater, and at the same time looked at Hawkeye Myhawk not far away with a fighting spirit on his face. The strongest swordsman, he was naturally interested. Now is the time to prove your strength, Tiki. Meow. 
said the evil king Abaro Pizarro. He is not a devil fruit user, but a fur tribe. However, his ability could not allow him to rush out of the rapidly rotating sea current, so he was still swept over. He felt that now was not the right time. If Blackbeard was unreliable, he would be ready to run away. The three of them gathered together, while several others dispersed. Some people hid deliberately, and Blackbeard's own subordinates all found a wooden plank to build on. Now the main battlefields are in the square, so there is no artillery fire in the bay and it is relatively safe. Tiki. But before Blackbeard could answer, a shout containing endless roars came from the distance. Whitebeard Edward knocked a kainu away with one punch, then turned around and passed through the passage blocked by Mage and Oz, staring at Blackbeard Teach. Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach. You attacked the Impel City of the Sea Prison to go against the Navy. The Warring States period also knew what Blackbeard had done, and was also extremely dissatisfied with Blackbeard, the Shichibukai. Target appears. The mission begins, intercept and avoid unnecessary battles. At the same time, Fugaku began to issue orders. Everyone responded directly. Izumi and Yashiro were then left to stay where they were, waiting for Uchiha Tamaki's orders, while the others all dispersed, led by Fugaku, Shirsue, and Itachi. Prepare to stare at the few people brought here by the waterspout. They can tell at a glance that this waterspout is a ninjutsu, and it is definitely the work of Uchiha Tamaki. One is missing. It seems that the Shadow Clone can't pull it over. The real battle begins. Uchiha Yugen's main body, after the waterspout appeared, carefully observed it. He saw all Blackbeard's group fall. At the same time, the task prompt also appears, 0-10. 10. 10 Goals Chapter, 54 Tiki, you are the only one I will never forgive. When Whitebeard saw Blackbeard teach, he almost fainted with anger, but his only sense did not let him leave the battlefield. After all, he is now the main force against the three generals of the navy. If he leaves, his children and subordinates will be defeated by the navy. As long as he is here, these people will not dare to attack his men wantonly. Dad, your time has passed. The current era is the era of Blackbeard. But at this time, Blackbeard Teach was no longer as weak as before in front of Whitebeard Edward. His face was full of arrogance and he laughed loudly. He also saw that Whitebeard was unable to deal with him at this time, so he dared to provoke him. Otherwise, he would not dare to provoke this man. Look there, Whitebeard. Sikaski's side returned to the battlefield again. With the hot magma, he punched Whitebeard's back. However, Margao used his phoenix form to resist the scorching attack with difficulty. Whitebeard could no longer be distracted and had no choice but to continue fighting Sakaski. Whitebeard still maintains his sanity very well. But in this situation, it feels a little inappropriate to clean up a few things without taking action. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he was not too surprised to see that Whitebeard did not attack Blackbeard teach immediately. But he was not prepared to let go of this opportunity. The most difficult task was to destroy all these guys. At this time, except for the huge San Juan wolf who was not brought over, everyone else was in the bay. Uchiha Tamaki was ready to repeat Sakaski's previous operation. Close the door and beat the dog. Susanoo's skeletal arm held the long sword and swept it away, directly clearing the surrounding pirates. Uchiha Yugen jumped directly onto the iron wall, then stepped on the wall and climbed to the top of the iron wall easily. However, most of the attention on the battlefield is on the own battlefield, where there will be time to pay attention to Uchiha Tamaki's movements. Only Da Flamingo, who was supposed to be very arrogant in causing trouble in this war. This time he was relatively silent, touching the fish, but focusing more on Uchiha Tamaki. Standing on the iron wall, Uchiha Tamaki raised his right hand, and a bolt of lightning shot into the sky from his arm. Crash into the dark cumulonimbus clouds. This cumulonimbus was a huge accumulation formed by Sakaski just now using Meteor Volcano to clean up the Whitebeard pirates in the bay. At the same time, he was trying to melt the ice created by Aoki Kazan so that the pirates had no place to stand. Rain clouds. What does that guy do? Doflamingo wondered. 
Karen just used a technique that wasn't that fast and it took a while, so Doflamingo couldn't see what Uchiha Tamaki was doing. Boom, boom. But suddenly, the cumulonimbus clouds in the sky suddenly roared through. However, this thunder was still incomparable to the dense sound of artillery shells below. Many people thought it was just shells exploding around them, and many people simply rolled around in an attempt to avoid the impact of the explosion. Zitsizi. But immediately, everyone was stunned. They raised their heads and looked at the clouds. There was a blue-white giant beast completely formed by electric arcs, writhing in the clouds. This vision attracted too many people's attention. What's there? Blackbeard Teach felt flustered. Unplanned things kept happening, which made him very uneasy. These things were irritating his nerves. Thunder released Chilin. Uchiha Yugen's face was cold. The lightning flashed continuously, illuminating his face. Electricity condensed in his hand, and at the same time he waved his right hand forward to control the direction of Chilin's attack. In a thousandth of a second, the huge thunder beast fell from the sky. The target of the attack was not Blackbeard Teach, but several of his previous subordinates. Lafite, Van Oka, Giza's Badges and Poison Q, a total of four people. The four of them did not gather with Blackbeard, but all hid under a piece of broken wood deck, exposing their heads to breathe. However, it did not go unnoticed by Uchiha Yugen's Sharingan, which clearly captured their location and released the Kirin to attack them. Why? As a sniper, Van Oka was the one who reacted the fastest. He was the only one of Blackbeard's previous men who had the intelligence. But at this time, he couldn't dodge it at all in the sea water. Secondly, the range of Chilin's attack was too fast, and the falling speed was not something that someone like him who was not good at close combat could dodge. The Thunder Unicorn instantly covered that area of the sea, and the electric arc was instantly conducted in the sea water. It was impossible to avoid the attack without flying. In addition, the change in the nature of the thunder attribute spread, covering a wider range. Almost the entire seawater in the bay was conducted by the current, but this also caused the Kirin's power to be weakened a lot. Two out of ten. Only two died. Uchiha Yugen was a little surprised when he saw the system task prompt. After all, these subordinates recruited in the first half of the Great Channel are now average in strength and cannot even defeat Supernova. Thunder Release Kirin is also an S-level ninjutsu and is extremely powerful. At this time, Uchiha Yugen could only sigh that the physical fitness of people in this world is indeed too strong. Luffy and his group were on the Sky Island and were shocked by Enel, but they all survived. This can only be due to their physical fitness. Then let's do the second shot. Uchiha Tamaki raised his hand again. The first arc released into the cumulonimbus cloud caused the cumulonimbus cloud to change, and it started to rain on the field. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen's chakra is also spread inside, which is beneficial to Uchiha Yugen's control. The most important thing is that the cumulonimbus clouds made by Sakaski with molten magma are really big, and there is no need for Uchiha Yugen to release fire escape to create hot air to make the cumulonimbus clouds change on their own. Moreover, this technique consumes so little chakra that Uchiha Yugen can recover almost instantly, so he can use it arbitrarily. Then the second Kirin shot fell, and then the third shot. Many people on the field have become numb to the changes in the sky, and the main battlefield is inside the square, and there are basically few people in the bay. Only Bucky the Clown, with a group of escapees from prison, stood on the fragments of the crowded Moby Dick with difficulty, leaning against the edge of the iron wall, and luckily survived. That guy, why did you attack my people? Blackbeard Teach was extremely angry. The subordinates he recruits are naturally attractive to him and have sufficient ambition and potential. Each one is prepared to be cultivated into a unique being. But now, being attacked wantonly by that young man, all my feelings were gone. Four out of ten. It took the third time to kill these four. It seems that this task is indeed not easy. Uchiha Yugen looked at the system prompts and gave up using Kirin. Because during the attack, the few remaining people who were hiding gathered around Blackbeard. Kirin did not target those few, and they were strong enough to withstand the attack spread by Kirin, 
so they fled to Blackbeard's side and were saved by Blackbeard's absorption of electricity. The Kirin's use against Blackbeard actually has little effect. The most important thing is that Kirin is injured on the face and its single point of power is not strong enough. Blackbeard Teach can completely use his Dark Fruit ability to absorb the current that attacks him. As long as Blackbeard's absorption limit cannot be exceeded once, then he can keep sucking it. Kirin is obviously not able to burst his attack. Chapter, 55 Great, that guy stopped unleashing those perverted attacks. Bucky the Clown cried with joy. Just now he felt that the deck of Whitebeard's broken ship was about to collapse, but it managed to withstand it. At this time, I couldn't help but feel lucky that the deck was thicker and saved them. Fire, then thunder and lightning, and that weird power that looks like human bones. What kind of devil fruit is this? Da Flamingo was very confused at this time. However, he had no doubt that Uchiha Tamaki was not a devil fruit user. After all, there are indeed people with devil fruit abilities who can use multiple abilities, and Big Mom's Captain Charlotte Lingling is one of them. At the same time, he became more cautious about Uchiha Yugen. He felt that this person seemed to have extremely huge ambitions. In this war, this man has his own goals. Originally, he was the same. He felt that Whitebeard was either dead or injured this time, and was likely to fall. Then someone needed to take over the territory and interests Whitebeard had vacated, and he felt that he was that person. Do Uchiha Yugen and Blackbeard Tiki have any grudge? These Shichibukai have never fought seriously before, they are indeed unreliable. Admiral Sengoku was also surprised by the power Uchiha Tamaki showed just now, and at the same time felt that he was right not to trust pirates. If the Shichibukai are really considered as an important combat force, who knows when these people will give up halfway. At this time, the only one in the Shichibukai who fought seriously was Gekko Moria. He was a real talent. He was blocked by Jinbi twice and was punched a few times and felt uncomfortable all over his body. This man is such an eyesore, who can kill him? Blackbeard Teach was very angry at this time. Judgment also has four subordinates, all of whom are powerful guys brought from Impel Down City. The most important thing is that the battlefield at this time is too unfavorable for him. A piece of broken wood cannot support him to use his abilities at will. At the same time, in terms of long-range attacks, he really didn't have any powerful tricks, and he never thought that he could kill this new Shichibukai with a small pistol in his waist. Thunder and lightning are very restrained against swordsmen. I don't have much choice. Yuziliu said very directly. This is the most difficult enemy for a swordsman. If he wants to cut off thunder and lightning, he feels that his level is far from enough. Moreover, this guy is very troublesome at first glance. He is not the kind of opponent who can be slaughtered at will. In addition, he is not a swordsman, so he naturally has no interest in working for the captain who has just recognized him. Me too. Katrin Deem replied. She felt that this person was a natural thunder fruit user. As an animal, it is better not to challenge the majesty of nature. The most important thing is that lightning is very destructive and fast. Even if she has the knowledge, she cannot avoid the opponent's attacks every time. Coupled with her unknown strength and distrust of Blackbeard, she also does not want to risk her life. I can try, but you haven't shown the talent to convince me yet, Meow. Said the evil king Abaro Pizarro. Unknown information, horned and furry, considered a fur tribe, transitional character, written casually. No simple-minded character can be imprisoned in the city. You won't go up and work hard so easily. My power is the biggest trump card. If it is used now and someone knows about it, then everything in the plan will be over. Here, you will all be captured by the navy, or even die here. Do you want to see this ending? If you don't want to, just kill that guy for me. But Blackbeard is also not someone to be bullied. The effect of the Dark Fruit ability is his biggest trump card, used against Whitebeard. It's too early to expose now. If Whitebeard knows about it, the success of the plan will be greatly reduced. So at this time, no matter what, he didn't want to expose his strength too early and let Whitebeard know it, so he could only force his men to take action. 
TCH, I knew it wasn't that easy to leave the prison. I wish I had left in the middle, meow. Abaro Pizarro snorted and said very dissatisfied. The expressions of the other three people were not very good either. After all, no one wanted to be imprisoned in the dark place of Impel Down City. But before anyone else could say anything, the five of them felt that something was wrong at the same time and gave an early warning. Chidori Sharp Spear Uchiha Yugen appeared behind several people, standing directly on the water, his right hand had been raised to his left shoulder, and Chidori was shining in the palm of his right hand. Then with a direct horizontal sweep of his right hand, Chidori instantly extended to nearly 30 meters on the way and swept directly towards the five people standing on the wooden board. However, the strength of the five people and the four who died just now were not at the same level at all, and everyone reacted. Aim no Shiru directly attached the armament color hockey to the weapon, and several others did the same. Katrin Chom stretched out her tail to lengthen it, and then used the armament color covering to roll up her entire body. Abaro Pizarro and Basque Chote put their armed hands in front of themselves to resist. Dark Water Blackbeard raised his pitch black right hand to grab the Chidori spear. The Chidori spear was the first to hit a Mono Shiru's long sword, knocking him back one meter. Then the Chidori spear was caught by Blackbeard Teach. The Chidori spear was like an electric current in an instant. As if touching a conductor, it quickly absorbed into the shrunken black hole in front of Blackbeard's right hand. At the same time, the four members of Aim Shirlu did not hesitate to attack Uchiha Tamaki. Slashing, armed with a hardened tail, the evil king charged towards him, and Basque Chote hit him with his huge fist. The cooperation of the high-end bureau is such a tacit understanding. They all knew that if they didn't dare to kill this person, the next battle would be even more dangerous. Bang! This Uchiha Yugen turned directly into smoke. The five people were stunned. They turned around and saw that the man on the iron wall was still standing there. But they didn't have time to look any further because they discovered that three ignited papers were burning rapidly under their feet, and there was a strange weapon stuck in front of the papers on the deck where they were standing. Walk! All five people felt something was wrong, and felt that the wooden board might not be able to bear them any longer. Several people showed their magical powers and jumped towards the surrounding iron walls. Blackbeard Tiki is led by Aim No Hiru, who is from the navy and can use moon steps and shaves. Knowing that Blackbeard was the main force in the next plan, he did not let him go. And Katrin Deem stretched out her tail, pierced the iron wall, and pulled herself over. The king of evil can swim, but he is not a devil fruit user, so he just dives. Basque Chote was physically strong and could actually jump tens of meters away, jumping directly to another smaller wooden board aside. Bang bang bang. Less than a second after they left, the detonating talisman exploded, smashing the board into pieces. At the same time, Shiryu of the Rain, who was using the moon step to pull Tiki the black beard, was greeted by seven or eight cannons. Fugaku and others did not expose themselves, but hid in the positions of some gun ports in the iron wall. They saw Aim no Shiryu using the moon step to lead the target to prevent the other party from escaping without revealing their identity. Use Sharingan to aim and fire. Chapter 56 However, ordinary cannonballs have no effect on Yuziliu. One hand held Blackbeard, and the other hand drew out his sword and slashed, cutting off all the cannonballs. Thunder Tribulation At this time, Uchiha Yugen used his kaleidoscope by technique. A thunderbolt fell in the sky and rushed towards Yuziliu in an instant. However, Aim no Hiru reacted quickly and quickly threw Blackbeard Tiki at his head. Blackbeard also realized that the attack came from the sky, and it must have been thunder again. At the same time, he was very dissatisfied with Sher Lu Aim for throwing him on his head as a shield. Dark Water But he could only resist, because if he didn't block, then it was his turn to resist. And there was so little time that he had no other choice. The one meter thick thunderbolt was all absorbed by the Dark Fruit's ability. However, because it was an element and had no specific entity, Blackbeard could no longer throw this thunderbolt to attack the enemy. Then the thunder continued to fall, and the arc became thicker and thicker. However, they were all resisted by Blackbeard. 
Aim no Shiru kept throwing Blackbeard up, and then moved around, playing relay. Seeing and hearing hockey is indeed a bit troublesome. But the ability of the Dark Fruit is also very powerful. It can absorb everything, unless Blackbeard Tiki can't withstand it. Uchiha Tamaki also had a rough summary. Except for Blackbeard, a few people are probably about the same strength as Supernova, but they have basically mastered the two-color hockey. He is a veteran among pirates and cannot break through to the four emperors. He is still far behind Doflamingo in the Shichibukai, and he has not yet achieved the Fruit Awakening. There is a big gap between him and the emperor's deputy, and he may be at a relatively weak level among the four Bigmum generals. In close combat, relying on the ultra-high dynamic vision of the Sharingan, Uchiha Tamaki is very sure to hit them, but with this kind of long-range attack, it is very difficult to hit them. There are still so many monsters in this world. Yusik Siliu kept dodging here, being chased and beaten by Lei Jia, making it impossible for him to stop in one place. However, he was not dissatisfied with the current situation. It was better than being a prisoner in the city. Uchiha Fugaku and others stopped the bombardment. They did not reveal their identities. Instead, they locked onto the members of Blackbeard's group and made sure that the other party had no intention of leaving, so they did not continue to attack. At the same time, in the square, Edward the Whitebeard was using his abilities crazily. With one punch, the force of the shock sent hundreds of marines flying, opening the way for his children to come out to the execution platform to rescue Ace. Uchiha Tamaki took advantage of the separation of Blackbeard's group and used Thunder Tribulation to interfere with the two fighting forces of Blackbeard and Aim no Kiryu, and chose to deal with the other members of Blackbeard's group. Target, Katrin Deem. At this time, Katrin Daime used her armored and hardened tail to pierce the iron wall to keep her body stable. She had already decided to give up. An unknown Shichibukai forced them to do this, and he still wanted to deal with the strongest man in the world. There is a feeling of asking for death. This is also the base camp of the navy. After the incident is over, it will be very troublesome to escape. Katrin Deem didn't want to stay here and die with them. The nine tails were like spider legs, climbing quickly on the iron wall. She was ready to grab a warship and escape from this troublesome place. You guy, why did you come to me? Is it because you think I am the weakest? But immediately, Katrin Chom became angry, because on her way to climb the iron wall, Uchiha Tamaki stepped on the iron wall, blocking her way. She was very angry when she saw Uchiha Tamaki. I felt slighted. Two tails were left to fix the body, and the remaining seven were all hardened and stabbed towards Uchiha Tamaki. Too slow. The electric arc flashed on Uchiha Yugen's body, activating the lightning escape cells. The moment the seven tails rushed over like cannonballs, Uchiha Tamaki disappeared on the spot. The combined attack of the seven tails passed through the afterimage and hit the iron wall, directly creating a hole two meters deep. Uchiha Tamaki reappeared, already at the left side of Katrin Chom. And Katrin Chom could not walk on the same level as Uchiha Tamaki on the iron wall. When Uchiha Tamaki appeared next to her, she wanted to dodge but had no time to move. Otama Raisingan. Uchiha Tamaki had already picked up a Raisingan about the size of a basketball in his hand, and hit Katrin Deem directly on her body. However, Katrin Deem still had time to use weapons at the position where she was attacked. Color hardening. But she could no longer stay on the iron wall. She was completely knocked away by the force of the spiral. She spun rapidly in mid-air and flew about 50 meters. She hit another iron wall before stopping. You pissed me off, kid. Katrin Deem roared. Then, the whole person directly entered the beast form, with his hands pressed against the iron wall, and then gradually turned into claws, and the face also grew forward, like a husband's mouth, and finally turned into the face of a fox. At the same time, the body grew larger, and with the tail, it was nearly 15 meters long and more than 5 meters tall. The sharp claws can penetrate directly into the iron wall, making her truly walking on flat ground. Too much nonsense. But as soon as she entered the beast form, Uchiha Yugen came to her side. Thunder release, Chidori style. Chidori was released directly through Uchiha Yugen's body, 
spreading out quickly like fireworks. Katrin Daime, who was so close, couldn't escape the attack and was still affected. However, she found that the intensity of the current attack was not fatal. It only made her body feel paralyzed and her limbs were a little stiff. But before the joy could show through her fox face, it was quickly covered by liquid. Water Escape Water Prison Technique When Katrin Chom was beaten away just now, Uchiha Tamaki used his shadow clone to pursue her. At this time, Katrin Jime's body was paralyzed and she was unable to avoid the shadow clone's water prison technique, which was slower to condense. The direct ninjutsu absorbed the sea water in the bay and covered her huge body. A water prison technique with a diameter of about 20 meters was formed, like a nine-tailed fox in amber. Katrin Jime's body instantly lost strength, her beast form quickly disappeared, and she returned to her original appearance. Chidori Sharp Spear the main body of Uchiha Yugen raised his hand and directly pierced Katrin Chom's head with the Chidori that changed its form. The shadow clone is also automatically released, and the water prison technique disappears. Uchiha Tamaki swung his right hand downwards and cut Katrin Daime into pieces. 5 out of 10. Seeing the prompt, Uchiha Yugen did not continue to hit the target. Uchiha Tamaki was fully prepared for the sudden attack of a dead person on me. Instead of hitting the heart, he hit the head to ensure that the opponent loses their fighting ability. After all, who knows whether these people's hearts are on the left or the right. The head target is better as it is easier to hit. Damn it, this guy. At the same time, the nine-shot thunder tribulation also ended. Blackbeard also discovered that one of the men he had finally brought out from Impel Down City had actually died. In fact, it was not that the others had never thought about rescue, but they just never thought that Katrin Daime would die so quickly. The total time is less than two minutes. This man made them feel afraid. Chapter, 57 Ace But at this time, a terrifying aura instantly spread throughout Malinfando. Luffy's overlord color awakens. Although Whitebeard no longer loses health buffs, he is not in good health to begin with. And seeing that Whitebeard was always getting stronger, Aoki Pheasant and Kizaru didn't go too far to trick Sakaski. Only Luffy was still swimming in the sea, and the other members of the Whitebeard pirates were all facing the navy with full firepower. Crocodile was the most unlucky. Because of the rain, his elementalization effect became much worse. Next is Moonlight Moria, who has been beaten on the way, and Jean Bay has beaten him several times. The situation is very chaotic. It is normal for Yonko level battles to last for days and nights, just like Uchiha Madara and the first generation. Only by finding unexpected opportunities can you defeat your enemies. Now Edward Whitebeard's body may stiffen from time to time, but there is no problem at all in fighting. However, an unexpected opportunity still appeared, and it was Luffy. Released by the Navy and escorted by the Whitebeard pirates, he was finally close to the execution platform. And Blackbeard's group gathered together again. With Katrin Daime in front of them, they didn't dare to separate anymore. They felt that they would be defeated one by one by that powerful and perverted man. And Uchiha Yugen was not in a hurry, and would use the huge cumulonimbus clouds in the sky to discharge electricity from time to time to disgust Blackbeard and his party. Blackbeard teach Skull is Whitebeard Edward. If he wants to realize his ambition, he must obtain the power of the shaking fruit. For someone like him, he would never miss this opportunity. So Uchiha Tamaki just needs to keep an eye on Blackbeard, and at the same time make sure that the three remaining men around him don't run away. When Blackbeard Teach takes action against Whitebeard, these people will be left alone, and then he will take action again. As a hunter, he has the patience to continue waiting. He only knows part of the Dark Fruit's abilities. Who knows what other abilities there are, so be careful. As for Blackbeard and his gang, they were stuck on the Iron Wall and could only curse, but they had no choice but to let Blackbeard continue to withstand lightning strikes and absorb these attacks. At this time, they could only curse. Being suppressed by fire from a distance and restricted by terrain made them very uncomfortable. That's outrageous. Although Uchiha Yugen already knows the plot. 
But when I saw Luffy using the key made by Mr. Three to release Ace, I still couldn't help but complain. The good guy Sengoku is just accumulating strength on the side, never making a heavy move, right? Kizaru, on the other hand, was slow to hit ordinary pirates with lasers, and he didn't bother to hit Luffy, right? Except for Sakaski, everyone else saw the domineering color and all of them were confiscated. Is it true that if Luffy gets married, only Sakaski will be the gatekeeper at the Marine headquarters? Little boys, retreat. Whitebeard Edward was also overjoyed. You are dreaming. Sakaski, who was fighting desperately, never thought that he would be stabbed in the back by his colleagues. It was such a perfect plan, but why did it turn out like this? The prisoner was actually let go. That is a place guarded by two top naval forces. Navy hero. Admiral. Sakaski was already cursing in his heart. Big fire. A huge lava fist hit Whitebeard directly. Hula la la. Edward Whitebeard was so happy that he also charged up a punch with his backhand and hit him directly. The shattered air isolates the heat of the lava. Cough cough cough. But suddenly, Whitebeard became ill. Suddenly his strength was exhausted. He didn't resist Sakaski's attack, and his whole body was directly hit by the lava fist, and was blown away like a cannonball. Dad! Ace rushed over at this time. He blocked Sakaski from pursuing Whitebeard, and reached a stalemate with Sakaski. At the same time, Blue Pheasant Kazan froze Diamond Josie and rushed directly towards Whitebeard Edward. Kazan lets go of Luffy, but he won't let go of the Whitebeard pirates. Only Kizaru Pagliasolino, apart from letting Luffy into the sea, was paddling by himself and taking his time. But Kazan, who had just rushed over, immediately flew back, and an impact directly swept over the surrounding sailors who were rushing over. Frozen brat, you're a hundred years too early to defeat me. Whitebeard, who stood up again, said very domineeringly. Margao, lead everyone to retreat, let me break the rear. Whitebeard then ordered. When he came here, he was ready to die. Ace is his new successor, and he will lead Margao and the others on their way forward. Even if he came to the Navy headquarters, he had to leave something behind and buy time for Ace and the others to escape. Dad! When Margao heard this order, he immediately knew what was going on and couldn't help being shocked. He was still handcuffed with seafloor stone. Although he was not strong enough to break it open, he still had certain close combat capabilities. There is no ship in the new era that can carry me. It's up to you to inherit my legacy and continue on. Whitebeard Edward shouted very proudly. With such a group of sons, he would die without regrets. However, while Whitebeard was speaking, Sakaski was still thinking hard about making a comeback. Ace's strength was definitely incomparable to him, but he was not an opponent that could be eliminated in a short while. After knocking Ace away with one punch, he wanted to kill another extremely evil bloodline, Straw Hat Luffy. But when he wanted to go over, he found that Straw Hat Luffy was running towards the Whitebeard Pirates. With a little change, it won't be a big problem. After confirming that Luffy had run into a group of elites of the Whitebeard Pirates, Uchiha Yugen stopped using Jinjutsu to control Luffy. This guy didn't want to run away after finishing his work, but to pick up some life paper. Uchiha Tamaki directly controlled Luffy with an illusion and made him run away. Now that Luffy is physically weak and mentally weak, coupled with his unskilled knowledge of the color and the overlord color that he has not mastered at all, it is very easy for the current Uchiha Tamaki to control him. Sakaski could only curse angrily, and then he could only continue to think of ways to make a comeback. Whitebeard is at the end of his rope. Before you die, you should risk your life to kill Blackbeard Teach. Although Uchiha Yugen admired Edward Whitebeard, he was not interested in risking his life to save Whitebeard. If it wasn't just right, he wouldn't have saved Luffy and solved Ace's death situation, and Ace would most likely take action against Blackbeard Teach later. If you can figure out this old Inbi's ability, he won't be polite if you can get a little more. I wish you all a happy new year in advance, good health, a happy family, and a mighty tiger. Chapter, 58 Ah! Edward the Whitebeard roared. At the same time, he punched Admiral Ching Ji directly and flew away. 
but the blood flowing from the corner of his mouth proved that he was not that strong at this time and could still be injured. But the most important thing is that his body can't stand this kind of fierce battle. If he were in his prime, he would be sure to escape and scathe at Marine Base Camp Marinovando. But now that he is old, at the same time, he has to take care of his children and hold back these navy. Whitebeard, you can't escape. After no longer having to guard Ace and letting loose on his friend's grandson, Sengoku officially joined the battlefield. Although Sengoku is an old man of the same era, his body is much healthier than that of Whitebeard. Although his physical strength has declined, it only affects long-term fighting. As he spoke, he walked towards Whitebeard. As he walked, his body slowly grew in size and turned into the shape of a golden Buddha. He raised his huge palm, and a circle of light similar to Whitebeard's fruit-shaking power appeared around it, and he shot it directly towards Whitebeard. Not to be outdone, Whitebeard also charged up a punch and faced it directly. The collision between the two instantly cleared the area of a hundred meters in diameter around them. Sakaski chose to attack Whitebeard's back without hesitation. A soldier was forced to act as an assassin, and he was also very aggrieved. However, he just wants to win, what's wrong with that? Ace appears. Blocked Sakaski's sneak attack. If you still don't leave, are you really going to be willing to see me die here in vain? Whitebeard was a little angry. Although he was very happy, his son did not give up on him, but chose to fight hard. But this is not what he wants, he just wants to see his son survive. Damn it, Dad, the right time has come. Blackbeard Teach side is very urgent at this time. The prepared plan will not be realized if Edward Whitebeard is dead for too long. Therefore, when he saw that Whitebeard was already unable to bear it, he wished that the person standing next to Whitebeard was himself. You can complete your plans faster. If this man can't break through, your so-called plan won't be able to proceed at all. If you want to fulfill your promise on the sea, you have to defeat him. Yu Zhilio said calmly. If you can't even defeat this unknown Shichibukai, why are you trying to plot Whitebeard's legacy? The attack has become weaker. Meow. But at this time, the evil king Abaro Pizarro said. Blackbeard Teach looked up and found that the dark clouds in the sky had disappeared. The reason turned out to be that the impact of the collision between Whitebeard and Sengoku directly shook away the dark clouds in the sky. At this time, Malinvando was instantly illuminated, and the sky returned to blue, with almost no clouds visible. That guy didn't continue to release thunder and lightning. Sure enough, his ability can only be used with the help of the environment. As long as we are on land, we are not afraid of him using seawater to attack us. Aim no Shiru take me to the square. I want to carry out my plan. As long as you stop that person, when my plan is completed, I will defeat him. Blackbeard Teach couldn't hide the wild smile on his face. I feel like God is helping me. Although what they were worried about was the continuous lightning strikes that were falling. At this time, the other party could no longer release them. In terms of other aspects of strength, Blackbeard Teach did not think that this young Shichibukai could be very powerful. After all, Uchiha Tamaki became a Shichibukai after him, and he had also read the general information. This person is only 19 years old. He is a complete child. No matter how strong he is, there are limits. Although he hasn't figured out what his devil fruit ability is yet, his dark fruit is definitely stronger. Without thunder and lightning, that guy has no basis at all. Yujishio also became more confident. After all, he really doesn't have the strength to cut off thunder and lightning, but he is not afraid of head-on confrontation in other aspects. The other two people on the side also started discussing. Is this what Blackbeard feels like? I don't know my abilities, so I don't think I have the strength to threaten them. Uchiha Yugen read the lips through Sharingan and clearly saw what these people said. But this also agreed with him, and he did not continue to press, preparing to separate Blackbeard Teach and his men. By the time Blackbeard realized something was wrong, he had no chance to regret it. Captain Fugaku, Target Swordsman. Shirsue, the one with the horns on his head. Itachi, the guy in the prison uniform at the end belongs to you. Don't let the target leave this place. 
use flares at any time if there is danger. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen arranged to issue the order through the phone bug. It's easy to defeat these people, but it takes a lot of effort to kill them in a short time to prevent them from running away at all costs. At this time, all that is left of Blackbeard Tiki's strength is that of a cadre of the Yonko pirates. After Ain no Shiru, he became the second in command of the Blackbeard pirates, equivalent to the position of the emperor's deputy. Moreover, Ain no Shiru does not have devil fruit powers, so it is not easy to solve and needs to be killed by force. The information about the remaining two is unknown. The one with horns does not have devil fruit powers because Uchiha Tamekian saw him swimming. The last one with a long nose has no idea about the opponent's abilities. He only knows that he has the weapon color and the knowledge color. Although there are combat uniforms, ninjas are still too fragile, so you have to be careful in everything. Several voices came from the phone bug. As for Blackbeard Teach, when he saw Edward Whitebeard being beaten by the three generals of the Warring States period, and almost unable to hold on any longer, he really couldn't stand it any longer. Aim no Shiryu didn't hesitate, and rushed towards the square using the moon step with Tiki the Black Beard. The King of Evil and Basque Chote climbed directly onto the iron wall and rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki who was standing on the iron wall. They wanted to contain Uchiha Tamaki and defend themselves against the newly recognized man. Soon the captain was buying time. Dad. Basically the entire crew of the Whitebeard Pirates boarded the last ship, the Moby Dick. Although Ace and others wanted to help their father very much, they could not go against their father's last will. And Whitebeard Edward attached the power of the shock fruit to his own Bushunki. With a sharp stroke towards the ground, a huge crack with a bottomless depth and nearly 10 meters wide was cut directly into the Navy headquarters square, directly blocking the pursuit of the ordinary Navy. Walk. Then Edward Whitebeard punched the Moby Dick with a shocking force. This was the gentlest shock force he had ever used in his life, and it was just enough to push the Moby Dick off the square and let it fall into the seawater in the bay. At this time, Shirlu of the Rain took Blackbeard Teach directly across the Moby Dick and rushed to the position of Whitebeard Edward. Tiki. Ace, who was standing on the bow of the ship, was staring at Blackbeard Teach. Not only Edward the Whitebeard, he also wants to tear Teach the Blackbeard into pieces. I wish everyone a happy new year, good health, all the best, and good luck in the year of the tiger. Chapter, 59 Fire Punch Ace unleashed his fire fist directly at Hiryu of the rain and Tiki the blackbeard in the sky. A scorching flame instantly rushed towards the two people in midair. Aim no Shiru swung his sword, and the slash he released directly cut away the flames, without blocking his path at all. At the same time, Blackbeard Teach was thrown directly to Whitebeard's side in the square, and he himself fell from the air. It hurts. Blackbeard Teach got up from the ground, grinning. Tiki, how dare you appear in front of me? But without giving Blackbeard much time to react, Whitebeard Edward appeared directly behind him. After the dark clouds dispersed and the sun shone on the powerful body that was more than five meters tall, the blackbearded Tiki, who was covered in shadow, suddenly felt chilled all over. The light circle with shocking power in his right hand hit Blackbeard Teach directly in the face. He will never forgive this man. Dark water. But Blackbeard Teach is naturally confident if he dares to come here. The power of the devil fruit has no great effect on him at all. The vibrating power released by Edward Whitebeard's fist was completely absorbed by the dark fruit's ability. Dad, his ability can absorb the power of devil fruit. And if you are touched by him, you will even be unable to use the power of the devil fruit for a short period of time. Ace rushed down from the Moby Dick. Seeing that his father's attack was ineffective, he quickly spoke. Do you have time to focus elsewhere? Sakaski stood in front of Ace and said in a cold tone. Although he hates Blackbeard, if this guy is willing to deal with Whitebeard now, it will free up his hands to deal with this most evil bloodline. Others on the Navy side were naturally happy to see Edward Whitebeard and Blackbeard fighting. The Warring States period did not continue to intervene. Kuzan Aoki and Porcelino Kazaru went to deal with the pirates on the Moby Dick. The Navy's goal from the beginning was to wipe out the Whitebeard pirates. Ace. Luffy really didn't have much energy left. 
when he saw his brother going to fight, he wanted to join in. Boy Luffy, your body can't continue fighting. If you continue like this, you will really collapse. The monster king Ivankov stopped Luffy to prevent him from rushing out again. Let me defeat this guy. The king of evil looked at Uchiha Tamaki who was still standing there without running away when he saw him rushing towards him, with excitement on his face. I have been struck by lightning just now, which would be uncomfortable for anyone else. Hiccup, whatever you want. I won't take action if you die. Basque Chote said coldly after burping. Go to hell. The evil king rushed directly towards Uchiha Tamaki, preparing to use the fists in his hands to vent his dissatisfaction at being struck by lightning. But he rushed over and punched him with an armed look, but he was hit completely empty. However, the king of evil reacted very quickly, and quickly caught Uchiha Tamakian appearing next to him, and rushed towards him. But the fist hit again, hitting the ground on top of the iron wall, making a hole directly out of it. One minute passed, and the evil king swung a dozen punches, but all of them were empty. Damn it, don't run away if you can. The evil king was very angry. He stared intently at the man in the cloak, trying to figure out where he would dodge next. Is this armed color hockey? Buzz. Uchiha Tamaki ignored him, but raised his right hand and clenched his fist lightly. The arms, including the sleeves, were instantly covered in black, giving off a metallic luster. During this war, Uchiha Yugen finally used armed hockey after observing for a long time. Although it is just the most common hardening, it is enough. Ace, who is extremely talented, also spent a whole day studying and observing before learning how to get started. Flaw The evil king once again rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki like a vicious dog. But Uchiha Tamaki didn't dodge this time. He also used his hardened fist to directly collide with the evil king's fist. The gap between the two fists was fully doubled, but when they collided, the two sides were evenly matched for a while. Susano. Uchiha Tamaki was not going to waste time, Susanoo's skeleton appeared, stretched out two arms, and grabbed the evil king in front of Uchiha Tamajin. The evil king sensed something was wrong and wanted to pull away, but Uchiha Tamaki used the Chidori style again, and the electric arc spread instantly, paralyzing the evil king's body. At such a close distance, even if he could react to the sight, the body of the evil king would not be able to react in time, unless he reached the extreme level of Katakuri's sight and sex. The paralyzed king of evil was finally held directly by Susanoo's skeletal hands, unable to break free. When Uchiha Yugen was about to use Chidori to kill this guy. Basque Chote, who had just said that he would not take action even if he died, smashed Susanoo's skeletal arm with a punch and saved the king of evil. Animal type devil fruit looks like a proboscis monkey. Is it a monkey? The people in this world are all like monsters. One punch can break the bones of an ordinary Susanoo. Although Uchiha Yugen had just caught it with his Sharingan, it would take time for Susanoo to explode directly. And just now he tried to harden Susanoo's skeletal arms with armaments, but failed. After all, he only started using them today, so it is normal for such a situation to occur. Let's kill him together. At this time, Basque Chote was completely transformed into a beast. His body was only about 5 meters tall, and his arms almost touched the ground. He was 80% of his height and nearly 4 meters long. Although he had been drinking, his perception was not paralyzed, but instead became more sensitive to combat. I'm careless, I haven't used my full strength yet. The evil king said. But he tried his best to use the moon lion form during the full moon. At the same time, he was surprised as to what it was that grabbed him just now. He felt that this person had an unfathomable feeling. It seems very difficult to defeat this guy. It's better to follow the words of your cheap captain and hold this guy back and don't cause trouble to the captain. Stop talking nonsense, go all out and kill him. Basque Chote was unusually calm here. He looked at the man who was still standing still, and he felt the pressure. This feeling was only experienced when facing Whitebeard. This is the feeling you get when facing a truly strong person. Even a cheap captain cannot bring him such fear at this time. New. The evil king said impatiently. 
Although this guy has transformed into fur, he is still annoying. Sure sway, Itachi. Come out for actual combat, observe them using the ability to harden their arms, and learn it. This is armed hockey. But Uchiha Yugen, after confirming the situation, did not continue to take action. Instead, let Shursue and Itachi deal with them and learn how to use armament hockey. At this time, Whitebeard still has a lot of energy, and he will not die for a while. Uchiha Yushuan is not in a hurry, and he will naturally not miss it when he can let his people experience it. And he will also watch from the side to ensure safety. At this time, no one is paying attention to the battlefield on the Iron Wall, which is very suitable. I wish everyone good health and all the best in the new year. Chapter, 60 Shursue and Itachi appeared directly with four team members. The King of Evil and Basque Chote were a little angry, and they were obviously dissatisfied with being treated like this. You go help Itachi, I can do this myself. Shursue pulled out the autumn water and held it in his right hand, and flames instantly emerged from the autumn water. He spoke to his two team members at the same time. Go to hell. The evil king was angry. The body directly turned into an afterimage, and reappeared in front of Jisue, and his fist hit Jisue's head directly. Afterimage. The evil king said in shock. At the same time, he saw and heard the color warning, and he did not hesitate to harden his neck with armed color. The moment after it hardened, the autumn water that Shursue waved almost drew sparks on the neck, and the fur on the evil king's back was directly burned to black. Although his bloodline has returned to his ancestors, he is still not as fast as Shursue in the teleportation technique. Uchiha Yugen watched Shursue's battle and gave a direct evaluation. Perhaps only the Age Rakage and the Fourth Hokage, who are the fastest in the ninja world, can suppress Shursue within a short distance. Even if he activates the lightning escape cell activity, he can only be fast in a straight line, and it also requires a certain distance. Earth Escape Earth Flow Wall At the same time, Itachi led four people to fight with Basque Chote. But Basque Chote's fighting ability is very strong, and the enhancement of the animal system makes his physical fitness extremely strong. Even after Rob Lucci turned into a beast, he couldn't suppress this guy, and at the same time he wouldn't be domineering and would keep getting beaten. The two Uchiha tribesmen on the side used ninjutsu to help contain them. But Tuliobi was directly punched to pieces by Basque Chote. Six King Cannon Rob Lucci directly used his own trick. However, the hit on Basque Chote, who had hardened his weapon color, only made him feel a little pain, but did not cause much fatal damage. At the same time, Basque Chote's long arm grabbed Robluki's body while he was being knocked away. He then raised it high and threw it down, directly making a huge hole in the ground. Is this the fighting power of the truly powerful men in this sea? Itachi didn't dare to relax at all. He found that the effect of using this weapon-colored domineering energy was indeed very practical. When he released the fire escape accurately, the opponent was able to break through it without any damage. Using the third generation ghost to chop it up has no effect. Any flaw caught by the Sharingan can be used by the opponent in time to block it with armed colors. He felt that it was very difficult. The Patriarch had easily solved one of these powerful creatures just now, and it seemed like it was effortless. It is too difficult to win head on against the opponent. Combat Plan B Uchiha Itachi said directly. The tribesmen following him immediately began to change their formations. Basque Chote was also very irritated because he did not expect that the strength of these people did have something. Although the two animal-type ability users were not as strong as him, they felt that as long as they mastered hockey, he would not be able to defeat them in a short time. And there were three people beside him, constantly using various abilities, exactly the same abilities as the Shichibukai just now. It also caused him a lot of trouble. At this time, he finally felt timid and wanted to leave. Because the most dangerous person on the side has not started to take action yet, he simply cannot let go and fight with all his heart. Die. Suddenly, he discovered that a guy who was not a person with abilities dared to approach him. He didn't hesitate to hit him directly with his armor-colored hardened fists. But his expression immediately froze. Although he had hit the target, the feeling was completely different. 
Shadow Clone. Two people rushed towards them again. Bask Chote had no time to think and turned around to fight back, but just like before, the person he hit turned into smoke. Then the two ability users who had just been knocked away by him rushed over again, and he had to deal with them distractedly. Then several more people rushed over. He could not tell what was going on with his almost intuitive fighting skills. Moreover, he only had two hands, so it would be very troublesome to deal with Roblookin Kaku. Both hands it can't be extracted at all. But after a few figures approached, his tail hardened with an armed color, like a whip, and swept behind him very flexibly, even though he blocked these people and directly interrupted them. But this time it felt different. Water. Basque Chote couldn't look back, but he did feel his back being soaked. Water Escape Water Prison Technique. These three shadow clones specially went to the bay to use water clones made from sea water. However, the sea water of these three shadow clones can create a water prison with a diameter of one meter at most. But Itachi is indeed a genius. His water prison technique is different from the normal one. He transformed it through shape changes and transformed the water prison technique directly into a thin film, instantly wrapping Basque Chote's body like a coated ship. In this way, the sea water brought by the three shadow clones is enough to cover Basque Chote's body. When Basque Chote was covered by the sea water, he was stunned. His body quickly became weak and his reflexes declined rapidly. But he immediately discovered that the seawater covering his body was quickly broken by the shaking of his body, like a thin film that broke at the touch of a touch. But before his face showed joy, his hands were handcuffed with specially made large seafloor stone handcuffs. The geniuses in Uchiha are indeed powerful. Basque Chote's physical strength is stronger than Itachi's. Even if the Susanoo is activated, he will be consumed to death. However, the competition between ninjas is not about head-to-head -head confrontation. It relies on fighting with the brain, coupled with the shortcomings caused by the devil fruit, this is the fatal injury. Uchiha Tamaki didn't expect the battle to end so quickly. At the same time, he was amazed at Itachi's rapid adaptation to fighting in this world. Genius alone cannot be summed up simply. It is indeed not easy for someone who can fry poached eggs with a kaleidoscope. Is this armed color hockey? On the side, Chushue looked at his right hand, and at the same time, Chushue, who was hardened by the weapon color, looked at this power carefully with his Sharingan. You actually mastered armament hockey in just a few minutes of fighting. The evil king was shocked. He was pretty sure that this person didn't know how to use armed hockey before, but after just fighting with him for a few minutes, he learned how to use armed hockey. This is a bit too much. It consumes physical strength, and it cannot be used for a long time by Uchiha. Shusui also analyzed his mood. It seems that my talent is slightly inferior to these two geniuses. Fortunately, I'm fine. Uchiha Yugen watched this silently. I feel like it would be better if I just lay down and let them work hard and work hard for the Uchiha. I wish everyone a prosperous new year and lots of wealth. Chapter 61 Halo Dance Instant Killing Flame Formation At the same time, Shursui did not waste any more time and directly attacked with all his strength. The teleportation technique is almost the same as teleportation, and at the same time, it is coupled with the attack of hardened armaments and domineering autumn water attached to fire. Instantly appeared in three locations on the body of the evil king. The king of evil government sensed danger when he saw it, but he couldn't react at all. After all, he couldn't predict the future by seeing the color. Although he felt the danger, he used the armed color to harden in three locations. However, Shursui, who was blessed with the super dynamic vision of the Sharingan, was able to change the attack position at the final stage, and the speed of the evil king could not react at all. Three lacerated wounds appeared directly on the body, but the wounds were scorched by the flames and no blood spurted out. Uchiha Tamaki didn't show any politeness and stepped forward to finish the attack. The king of evil was injured and his reaction speed was slow. He had no time to dodge and was directly shot in the head by Uchiha Tamaki with Chidori. Next came Basque Chote, who was put in seafloor stone handcuffs. He didn't grasp the extent of the damage within the hockey, so naturally he couldn't break free and was easily killed by Uchiha Tamaki. 
7 out of 10. Looking at the system prompts, Uchiha Tamaki confirmed that these two people were really dead. But before Uchiha Tamaki could be happy, the shadow clone responsible for monitoring the huge battleship San Juan Wolf soaking in the sea was released by himself and brought back the information. Is this guy going to run away? Bang! Uchiha Tamaki frowned. Then a shadow clone with 20% chakra was separated. Shusui, Itachi, watch those two people. As long as they don't leave this place, don't worry about them. There is a target elsewhere. I will go and solve it and then come back. In this task, Uchiha Yugen is not afraid of head-on confrontation, but is afraid that the other party will run away separately. This is the most troublesome point. And the remaining three are the most difficult to deal with. Blackbeard is the boss, but Aim no Shiru does not have the power of Devil Fruit. His own fighting ability should be above that of a lieutenant general, with almost no obvious weaknesses. Another big man, San Juan Wolf, was about to run away. He was 180 meters tall. The power of a slap alone was enough to cause more power than the explosion of more than a dozen artillery shells. Shusui and others dispersed and hit again, while Uchiha Tamaki's clone was watching the battlefield and collecting intelligence. Always ready to take advantage or stop Blackbeard's plan. 20% of the chakra is used for serious fighting, and at least 30% of the strength of the main body can be used. Except for the Gundam Susanoo, which cannot be released, there is also the pupil technique, and other ninjutsu can be released. Aim no Shiru and Blackbeard began to violently attack Whitebeard Edward. The navy was happy to see this scene. Sakaski and Ace faced each other, but they could not completely suppress Ace in a short time and finish him off. On the side, Kazan was fighting with Margal. The sea stone handcuffs on his hands were unlocked by someone on the ship who could use lockpicking skills. After all, the structure of this lock was too simple. Porcelino has been so scary, so scary, constantly releasing lasers on the Moby Dick. The ice on Diamond Josie's body was melted by Margot's Phoenix flames, and he struggled to resist Porcelino's laser attack. The Navy is happy to see this situation, because this is their base camp and they are not afraid of consumption at all. Warring States was still on guard against Whitebeard Edward, watching the battle between Blackbeard Teach and Whitebeard Edward with eager eyes, ready to prevent Whitebeard Edward from jumping over the wall and doing something cruel. Having been an enemy for so many years, he knew this old guy's thoughts very well. The Shichibukai all watched the show, as if they were blocked by the crack opened by Whitebeard, and did not continue to take action. Is this Whitebeard? It takes so much effort to even parry my slashes. How can he be the strongest man in the world? There was a crazy look on Yuzilia's face. His right hand kept waving his weapon, fighting in close combat with Whitebeard. This is the most uncomfortable way of fighting for Edward Whitebeard at this time. His body is no longer good and is not suitable for such a fierce close combat. If he keeps using the power of the devil fruit, he can last for a long time. But now, he feels that his life is really coming to an end. Kid, if you want to defeat me, it's a hundred years too early. Whitebeard's right hand slashed the vibrating Tsong Yunxia directly towards the two brats in front of him. At the same time, his left hand violently released vibrating force behind his back. Although the clamor was very powerful, Eugilio did not dare to resist the power of the shock. When he found out that Whitebeard was about to attack, he did not hesitate to choose to hide behind Blackbeard, allowing him to completely absorb the power of the shock. Whitebeard's attack behind him was aimed at Sakaski. Let me go. Do you want to see Dad die in vain like this? Whitebearded Edward continued to shout, and when his words fell, blood spilled from his mouth. He didn't care about his own death, but he recognized his son's desire to save him and there was no need to continue like this. The force of the shock forced him instantly, and Sakaski had no choice but to resist directly. After all, Ace in front of him can use armed hockey to resist the impact with elements, but this kid will catch the flaw. Dad! Ace and others burst into tears. And Blackbeard Teach feels that he is getting closer and closer to realizing his plan. Seeing his father vomiting blood, he rushed towards Edward the Whitebeard, wanting to kill him. Titch, do you really think that my fighting ability is only the same as before? 
white-bearded Edward looked at the black-bearded Teach who was charging towards him with red eyes, and raised the Kanjianki in his hand again. Blackbeard felt his heart palpitation, almost as if the surrounding space had stopped, and his whole body was filled with terror, recalling his father's achievements over the years. His feet immediately stopped, and he raised his hands to release the dark water and absorb the impact. On the other hand, Yuji Shilio had no intention of working for Blackbeard. He did not rush forward with Blackbeard Teach at all, but stood on the side like a poisonous snake, ready to attack at any time. Buzz! Song Yun cut the blade, and it was instantly covered in armed color. There is even a red arc of electricity that is constantly beating on this weapon. This is a powerful blow with a domineering and domineering look. Whitebeard Edward seemed to be back at his peak at this time, unleashing the most powerful attack at his peak. It was too late for Blackbeard Teach to evade, and he felt regretful for his rash step forward just now. He raised his hands, and the black mist almost completely covered his body. He was ready to use the power of the dark fruit to absorb all the energy from the attack in front of him, and a fierce look appeared on his face. From today on, he will no longer be afraid of this man. In an instant, with white beard as the point, the ground was nearly 200 meters in diameter. The edge of the ground instantly sunk down by nearly 30 centimeters. The closer to white beard's position, the deeper the depression became. At the same time, the stone slabs on the ground shattered. Into blocks of varying sizes. A second later, the rubble was blown into the air and scattered in all directions, like bullets, causing the surrounding navy to scurry away. Chapter, 62 Everyone on the field was shocked by Edward Whitebeard's blow, and almost everyone's eyes were drawn to it. The smoke in the middle quickly dispersed, revealing the situation behind it. Whitebeard's clouds were pressing firmly on top of the black mist released by Blackbeard Teach. Blackbeard Teach's feet sank into the ground, and half of his calf was swallowed. His whole body was shaking uncontrollably, and blood was constantly overflowing from the corners of his mouth. It seemed as if it was just a little bit close to collapse. But it's just a little bit short. Wow! The stalemate lasted for less than a second, and Edward the Whitebeard vomited blood. The blow just now caused his internal organs to churn, his spleen couldn't bear the pressure and burst, and blood spit out from his mouth. The blood falling on the ground was almost like a small puddle. But at this time, Blackbeard's body obviously hadn't recovered yet, and even if he saw this perfect opportunity, he couldn't attack. But the venomous snake hiding around him, Aim no Shiru, chose to attack without hesitation. Whitebeard dodged a little consciously, but his body couldn't stand at all. However, he also avoided fatal injuries. The attack that was originally intended to pierce Whitebeard's heart was instead aimed at the chest. It was slightly deflected, and the long sword penetrated Whitebeard's chest directly. A near fatal attack. But Whitebeard was also stimulated by the pain, and his body regained strength, and he punched Yujishio away. But after this blow, Whitebeard Edward was close to exhaustion. He was a little unsteady on his feet and could only stick Tsong Yinxia on the ground to maintain his body's balance. Sakaski and the other three generals have relaxed their attacks on the Whitebeard pirates and focused more on Whitebeard. After all, an extremely evil bloodline is definitely not as good as Whitebeard's head. This man is the most terrifying guy in the sea. His bloodline and all that are just a show. The real monkey D Dragon is here and Sakaski won't even look at the straw hat kid. The two are not on the same level at all. The fear of the strongest made them all attach great importance to Whitebeard. As long as they could kill him, all the preparations were worth it. Dad, I won. Blackbeard Teach showed a bright smile, and looked very funny with a few missing teeth. When most people see a guy like this, they would never think that he would have such ambitions. Blackbeard Tiki, who had recovered a lot, walked directly towards his father. He knew that the plan was only for this time. The navy is happy to see him kill Whitebeard, and then the navy will take advantage of it and kill him again. But the navy didn't know that Blackbeard Teach's target was Edward Whitebeard's shock fruit, so this was his only chance. Ho ho. Tiki. Whitebearded Edward gasped for air. The injury on his chest seemed to have affected his lungs, making it very difficult for him to breathe. 
He really wanted to kill Blackbeard Teach, but he had taken turns fighting three navy generals before and consumed most of his life. When he fought Blackbeard Teach, he didn't have much physical strength anymore. He didn't expect that he would die in Tiki's hands, and he couldn't help but feel self-deprecating. At the same time, warring states on the side is also staring at this place. As long as Blackbeard Teach kills Whitebeard, he will not hesitate to take action against this guy, kill him, and then put the credit for defeating Whitebeard on on the navy. Blackbeard Teach stopped about five meters away from Whitebeard. This distance made him feel safe. Then he pulled out the pistol from his waist, raised it to Whitebeard, and prepared to shoot through Whitebeard's head. Bullets flew from the muzzle. Then, two meters in front of Whitebeard, he was blocked by a dark red figure. The bullet hit the Susano skeleton emerging from Uchiha Tamaki's body, unable to break through at all. You again. Blackbeard looked at Uchiha Tamaki with splitting eyes. This Shichibukai has already killed many of his men. Now that he appears here, it proves that the two evil kings have also failed, and there is no need to guess their fate. A full six or seven people died in the hands of this Shichibukai. Now he has to hinder the last step of his plan. White-bearded Edward also looked at Uchiha Tamaki's back with a puzzled expression. He did not know this young man, and had never even met him before today. As a Shichibukai, why would he save himself? Ace, who was about to rush over from the side, was stopped by Sakaski. Now that he saw his father being rescued, he felt relieved and continued to fight seriously. Uchiha Tamaki, what are you doing? Are you going to disobey the world government's order and give up your identity as the Shichibukai? The Warring States period was also angry. Why did it get stuck at the critical moment? He questioned Uchiha Tamaki directly and loudly. Some of them wished they could go up and take action against Whitebeard. The order I received is to take action against the Whitebeard pirates. However, Blackbeard Teach is the person I must kill. After killing this guy, I will kill Whitebeard with my own hands. Uchiha Yugen responded very coldly. Now the identity of Shichibukai is not that important. He was not prepared to let Whitebeard die in the hands of Blackbeard Teach. Who knew what else would happen? It was best to kill this guy before Whitebeard died. And Whitebeard just showed that as long as Blackbeard's absorption limit is exceeded, he will also be injured. This is enough to confirm his guess. The Warring States period was furious. But at this time, he didn't want to fall out with Uchiha Tamaki to prevent this guy from actually helping Whitebeard. Get out of my way. Blackbeard Tiki couldn't stand it any longer. He was just about to take the last step. How could he let this unknown person block his way? Holding the black mist in his hand, he released it directly towards Uchiha Tamaki, just like smokers smoke. Fire escape the great fire extinguishes. On Uchiha Yugen's side, he simply made four seals. Then he spit out a sea of fire, and the fire instantly completely engulfed the battlefield created by Whitebeard. Blackbeard Teach looked at this scene in shock. If Ace hadn't been fighting with Sakaski behind him, he would have doubted whether the person in front of him was Ace. So hot. At the same time, Blackbeard Teach also screamed. Although he was not injured and he wrapped himself in black mist, the pain caused by the heat was still very difficult for him to bear. This is a side effect of the dark fruit and cannot be avoided. The huge sea of fire also affected the three generals and Whitebeard's group who were still fighting behind them. Ace reluctantly used flames of the same size to protect the Moby Dick. Kuzan and Porcelino chose to evade, but Akainu resisted the heat of the flames and continued to fight Ace. Is this his goal? Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach? And what kind of devil fruit is this power? I haven't fought seriously before. Da Flamingo, who had been observing Uchiha Tamaki, couldn't help but wonder. At the same time, his defense against Uchiha Tamaki became even more profound, and he felt pressured by the next meeting between the two of them. Chapter, 63 There was Blackbeard Tiki as a target. Seeing Whitebeard's unresisting look, Angelio felt the urge to kill him. By killing the strongest man in the world, I should make the whole world feel fear. Eugilio was extremely excited. Holding up his own saber, Leiu, 
he rushed towards Whitebeard's back again, ready to start his terrifying performance. But as soon as he got closer, he saw a huge red skeletal arm suddenly appear and shoot towards him. The saber struck directly on the bone, causing slight cracks on it, but the cracks quickly disappeared. The high flames disappeared quickly. Although Blackbeard suffered from the pain of high temperature, he was unscathed, just in pain. Anyone who stands in my way will die. At this time, Blackbeard Tiki met gods and killed gods, met Buddhas and killed Buddhas. He would kill anyone who stood in his way without hesitation. He no longer hid himself and rushed directly towards Uchiha Tamaki. It was definitely not an easy task to have the strength of the captain of the 4th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates without the front kick of the Devil Fruit. Even if it is a sneak attack, you must have the strength to deal with the opponent silently. Moreover, he was able to recover from Whitebeard's explosive blow just now without any impact, which is enough to prove his strong physical fitness. The whole person rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki like a cannonball. The black mist that keeps spinning on the fist seems to swallow up everything in front of it. Uchiha Yugen still used Susanoo to fight, and his skeletal arm directly made a fist to meet Blackbeard Tiki's fist. Click. Susanoo's skeleton was shattered by a punch from Blackbeard Tiki, and it felt like it would fall apart at any time. Can Susanoo's power also be swallowed? Just now, the powerful fire was extinguished but it was swallowed up. It seems that energy like chakra can be swallowed up. It seems that the dark fruit that swallows everything is no joke. This level is not worth Uchiha Yugen's panic. While Blackbeard continued to rush over, Uchiha Tamaki threw a dozen shurikens with thunder escape directly from his ninja bag, attacking Blackbeard Tiki from all directions. With the blessing of thunder release, the speed of the shuriken almost breaks the sound barrier, and ordinary people can almost only see the afterimage. Blackbeard Tiki did not dare to catch these shurikens, gave up the direct route to Uchiha Tamaki, and began to dodge, while Uchiha Tamaki threw the shurikens leisurely, like a humanoid machine gun. Stop looking down on people. Blackbeard Teach was angry. Being restrained by such an attack made him feel sick. As he roared, the black mist quickly dispersed from his body. However, the black mist did not float in the air like normal mist, but instead clung to the ground like gas formed from dry ice. At the same time, the shuriken that was originally flying in mid-air changed its direction instantly and slowly fell into the black mist on the ground and disappeared, as if the direction of gravity had been changed. The closer to Blackbeard, the stronger the gravitational force. Several shurikens were less than three meters away from Blackbeard, but they suddenly turned downward and were swallowed up by the black mist. At this time, the surrounding area of hundreds of meters was covered by the black mist. The gravel residue on the ground was constantly being absorbed by the black mist like metal being attracted by a magnet. This guy might be more dangerous than Whitebeard in the future. After Whitebeard dies, let's kill him. Warring State's eyes were fixed on the battlefield on Whitebeard's side. Seeing the commotion caused by Blackbeard, he felt how dangerous this man was. Somewhat crazy, this kind of scene appears without any scruples. If you want to kill Whitebeard and let such a person run around on the sea, it will be too dangerous. Come here. After Blackbeard releases the black mist, he can release a powerful suction force and directly open his hand to Uchiha Tamaki. Black mist swirled in the palm of his hand, and a strong suction force instantly pulled Uchiha Tamaki to the point where his feet were almost leaving the ground. I'd better be a little more serious. Susano. Uchiha Yugen raised his sword finger. The dark red Susano instantly grew bigger and taller, muscles and armor appeared one after another, attached to the bones, and Susano's true power appeared. The nearly 30 meter tall Susano wrapped around Uchiha Tamaki and the suction force released by Blackbeard Tiki was unable to attract this huge Susanoo. His suction force will be greater the closer he is to his body. If the distance is too far, it cannot be exerted at all. What kind of ability is this? Many people on the field were very confused. It's impossible to tell what type of devil fruit ability it is. I haven't been this nervous for a long time, it's interesting. Doflamingo was very excited, but his eyes were filled with fear. He felt the beginning of changes in the times. Die. 
Eugilio did not give up another sneak attack on Whitebeard. Get out of my way. However, Crocodile appeared and directly forced Aim Nozomi back. The golden barb directly hit Aim Nozomi's saber, and the two were in a stalemate. On the front battlefield, Blackbeard's face was gloomy, and his plan included Uchiha Tamaki, a spoiler, otherwise he felt that he should have succeeded. However, he has no way out. Die in the darkness, Shichibukai. Blackbeard Teach's face was fierce, and he swung his right hand forward fiercely. The black mist on the ground was controlled by him, like a huge wave, rushing straight towards Uchiha Tamaki, as if to swallow the huge Susanoo and everything in front with darkness. At the same time, black mist was constantly overflowing from Blackbeard's body, and he was continuously producing black mist. Originally, due to the collision between Whitebeard and Warring States, the dark clouds were pushed away to reveal the blue sky, but now it became grey again. Yasaka Magatama Uchiha Tamaki controlled Susanoo and unleashed long-range attacks. This power is comparable to the power of the Rasen Shuriken. Dark Red quickly rotated, and the three Magatama formed by Chakra rushed directly into the huge waves formed by darkness. Directly breaking through the black mist, Blackbeard's pupils shrank, and he raised his hands. A huge suction force emerged from his palms, and he caught Yasaka Magatama. Although two deep ravines were left under his feet, he still caught it. After absorbing this power, Yasaka Magatama disappeared in less than three seconds in his palm. Nothing more than that. Blackbeard Teach grinned. He felt that he had felt the limit of the opponent's strength, but in this case, he was not qualified to block his path to becoming the king. The black mist is corrosive, not the devouring power of Blackbeard himself. It seems that only he himself can release that kind of power. The black mist cannot do it. It only sucks objects into his body. He himself is the black hole. At the same time, the darkness also rushed in front of Uchiha Tamaki. Susanoo directly set up the shield to block the black mist, but small holes appeared one after another on the surface of the shield. Uchiha Tamaki observed through the kaleidoscope and quickly figured out the situation. This black mist only has corrosion and a certain suction power. The only one who can truly absorb everything is Blackbeard Teach himself. Chapter 64 Fire Escape the Great Fire is Extinguished There was too much black mist, and Uchiha Tamaki had to release some ninjutsu to clean up the battlefield a little. The huge sea of fire and black mist collided, and they did not have the slightest advantage. On the contrary, they had some disadvantages. Although it has a fire attribute change that is enough to ignite everything, it is still far inferior to the corrosion carried by the black mist. However, Hal Woji only limited the speed of the black mist and could not fundamentally solve the black mist. It's not the main body. Use more chakra and less. Try to stay in combat mode until the main body comes back. Uchiha Yugen had no intention of killing Blackbeard here. Just relying on the Shadow Clone is still far behind. At this time, he is roughly equivalent to the Weasel, and can use the Kaleidoscope without side effects, but the Chakra is not as unlimited as the Weasel. The most important thing is the Shadow Clone, which will be automatically released after receiving a certain amount of damage. It cannot be used head-on, so it has always been blocked in front of Edward Whitebeard and did not get close directly. At the critical moment, Uchiha Tamaki will directly kill Whitebeard and burn the body without giving Blackbeard Teach a chance. But in this way, Blackbeard Teach cannot continue to be attracted, and the other party will definitely run away. So at this time, it is a bit like protecting Athena, but at the critical moment, Athena herself can be killed, leaving the attacker at a loss. Captain Fugaku, are we going to help the clan leader? Uchiha and his party were all hiding at this time and were not discovered by others. At the same time, they also felt that the battlefield here was not something ordinary people could participate in. The battlefield between the three generals was very intense at this time, and the explosions never stopped. Jisue felt that he had almost no chance of winning against those three generals. Just follow the clan leader's order, keep an eye on Shiryu the rain, and don't let him leave the battlefield. This is just a shadow clone. When the patriarch comes back, the battle should be over. 
but if something unexpected happens, it's up to us to stop that guy. Fugaku said calmly. If they really need to take action, Uchiha Yugen will summon them without hesitation. Just make a gesture and they can see it. But it doesn't happen now, which proves that Uchiha Yugen's side is not yet ready for them to take action. Shusui and the others nodded, their eyes almost never leaving the battle on Uchiha Tamekian's side. Rob Luchi felt his blood boiling. He felt that the battlefield here was the level of combat he hoped to achieve. However, he knew that he had not yet mastered the armed hockey, and his strength was not worth mentioning here now. The black mist is not effective. It seems that I am the only one who takes action personally. As long as I touch this guy and disable his abilities, I can kill him with one blow. Blackbeard Tiki used black mist to attack several times, but was blocked by Uchiha Tamaki. This made him a little impatient. After all, he didn't know when the navy would get involved, and he didn't know if his father would be able to breathe a sigh of relief. There were too many changes, and he didn't have the patience of Uchiha Tamaki. He exerted force under his feet and rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki again. Although it would be more effective to attack Whitebeard, what he wanted was an intact Whitebeard, and the plan he executed must have certain prerequisites, so he had to get rid of this annoying Shichibukai brat. Uchiha Tamaki once again released shurikens and kunai with thunder escape. But this time Blackbeard didn't dodge anymore and used his body to resist the shuriken and kunai. He is a natural devil fruit user, but he is not immune to the pain caused by these attacks, not that he will actually be injured. It's just that this pain will be more than twice as strong as usual, so he doesn't want to experience this kind of pain. But now, there is no time for him to think about these things. He decided not to dodge the attack that he could avoid, wasting time. Are you going to fight to the death? Upon seeing this, Uchiha Yugen had to change his fighting method. If it could be pulled, this shadow clone would be enough to delay it for a long time, but with Whitebeard guarding him, it couldn't be pulled, so he had to resist forcefully. A dark red long sword appeared in Susanoo's right hand holding the shield, and then the long sword was instantly covered by electric current, emitting the sound of electric arc beating. This is the thunder escape attached to the weapon by Uchiha Yugen. It does not consume much and is enough to last for a long time. At the same time, Blackbeard Teach also rushed forward. With a large amount of black mist following behind him, he directly raised his fist covered in armament colors and smashed it towards the location of Uchiha Tamaki. But Uchiha Tamajin naturally would not let him attack where he wanted to attack. At the same time as Blackbeard rushed over, Susanoo swung his thunder sword and slashed at him. Blackbeard was not timid at all, he directly raised his hand and took the blow forcefully. Most of the power was absorbed by the so-called suction force. Uchiha Yugen felt it very clearly and couldn't help but frown. But even so, the surrounding ground shook again, but it was already cracked and could no longer be cracked. At the same time, it was covered by black mist, so it was impossible to see what was going on. Be swallowed by darkness. Although he looked strong, Blackbeard felt severe pain all over his body at this time. With bloodshot eyes, he was like a rabid patient, shouting loudly to vent the pain in his body. Black mist swept up in an instant, directly wrapping Susanoo. Thunder release, Chidori style. Uchiha Tamaki formed a seal inside Susanoo, releasing indiscriminate thunder escape and spreading around. But the effect was minimal, it only slightly slowed down the corrosion rate of Susanoo. Susanoo's long sword and blackbeard were locked in a stalemate, unable to move away. The main reason is because I have to watch Whitebeard, and I can only spend time with this guy here. Never compete with the natural system again, it's so disgusting. Uchiha Yugen was very helpless. The shadow clone is very powerful, but it has too many limitations. At the same time, the corrosive and devouring ability of the dark fruit is also very restrictive for him. A single attribute cannot be compared with the ability of the dark fruit. If there is a blood inheritance limit, it should be able to sustain it for a longer time. But time was too tight, and Uchiha Yugen had not had time to develop it. The weapon color is not very effective on the shadow clone. It is subject to too many restrictions. 
Just like the clone cannot open the eight gates, if it is a clone with a certain strength like Mu Dun, it may be able to have a certain effect. The shadow clone is completely made of chakra. The composition is too restrictive. Come back to your main body quickly, I feel like I can't hold on for much longer. The stalemate lasted for less than a minute, and Yugen Uchiha felt that it was difficult, even though the amount of chakra at 20% was a lot. But that's not how it was used. Susano couldn't stop at all. His huge figure would be corroded by more black mist. At the same time, Blackbeard must be suppressed and not allowed to run around. The most important thing is that the Shadow Clone releases arm domineering energy, which consumes too much and cannot be maintained for a long time. The situation falls into a disadvantage immediately. The Uchiha clan who were hiding in the dark were very nervous and ready to help at any time. In the end, Uchiha Yugen chose to shake people. He took out his phone and started dialing in Susanoo. Use shadow clones to contain you. Only when you have a kaleidoscope can I appear. If you find danger, run away. Uchiha Yugen said very briefly. Team Uchiha, attack. Chapter, 65 Swish Swish After hearing the order, Fugaku and others took action without hesitation. Everyone appeared instantly, released kunai shurikens, and exploded kunai. All of them rushed towards Blackbeard himself, but when they got close, just like before, they were all redirected by the suction force, making them almost unable to threaten him. Blackbeard was also startled by this movement. He thought the navy had intervened and almost despaired. However, he discovered that the people around him who were attacking him were dressed very similar to the Shichibukai who was blocking him, and the same were true of their attack abilities. You even brought your subordinates, why do you have to stop me at all costs? Blackbeard was angry. But he didn't take it to heart, because he, who unleashed the dark fruit with all his strength, could not be solved by ordinary subordinates. However, Chirsue and others also observed for a long time and also saw Blackbeard's ability. The detonating talisman exploded before it was about to be swallowed by the black mist. It directly blasted several holes in the black mist, but they were quickly filled by the surrounding black mist. Use ninjutsu. Fugaku was very calm. Only after experiencing it himself did he know how difficult this black mist was. However, their mission is not to defeat this guy, but to contain him, and there are many ways to do that. Shirsue and Itachi came to Fugaku without hesitation, and then Shirsue quickly formed a seal. Almost everyone could only see the afterimage, and the ninjutsu was released in less than a second. Wind escaped big breakthrough. Shirsue puffed up his chest, and then exhaled a rapidly rotating hurricane in one breath, rushing towards the location of Blackbeard Teach. Wind release was much more effective against black mist than fire release. He quickly broke through the black mist and came out. Blackbeard, who was suppressed by Susanoo's long sword, did not expect that these small characters he thought would actually it would be so troublesome. Ha ha ha. However, he saw that the wind escape did not hit him. In the end, it was still two meters away from him and was sucked to the ground by the suction force, which did not affect him at all. But his smile quickly froze. Fire release, dragon fire technique. Fugaku formed the seal, and the second ninjutsu struck again. Both ninjutsu are a combination of nature changes and form changes, and are extremely powerful. The dragon fire technique rushed towards Blackbeard along the passage opened by wind escape just now. Blackbeard Tiki's face was stiff. This flame couldn't kill him at all, he was sure of this, but it hurt. With so much flame covering his body, Blackbeard felt that his pain-sensing nerves were about to break. Water release, great waterfall technique. Finally, Itachi added a water escape, three types of escape techniques, and rushed towards Blackbeard teach one after another. The Uchiha team is also exploring to see which attributes will be more effective against this black mist. Ah! Little characters, this is not your battlefield. Blackbeard Teach roared. Black mist surged out quickly, and Uchiha Tamaki Susanoo's sword was quickly swallowed by the black mist. At the same time, he also had his other hand free to absorb the two ninjutsus of dragon fire and waterfall that came towards him. At this time, 
Blackbeard Teach fought with all his strength. Uchiha Tamaki just gave up the Susanoo sword and continued to be held by this guy. He felt like he would be sucked into him. Shusui used wind release again, but this time the target was Uchiha Tamaki who was surrounded by black mist. The big breakthrough rushed over and almost instantly blew away the black mist on Susanoo's body, but the black mist soon hit. Amaterasu Uchiha Fugaku seized the opportunity and used Amaterasu directly on Blackbeard. Bloody tears fell directly from the corners of Uchiha Fugaku's eyes. Blackbeard Teach didn't have time to dodge. Although he was reminded by the sight, he didn't want to retreat, because if he retreated again, he didn't know how much experience it would take to rush here. And with such a long distance, he didn't think anything could threaten him who was now using the dark fruit. It hurts. But immediately, he regretted it. Amaterasu's flames directly acted on the point where the kaleidoscope user's sight was focused. If you dodge in advance, it would be difficult to hit. But Blackbeard Teach was prepared to resist forcefully. After all, he couldn't predict the future by seeing and hearing, so he was suddenly burned by the light from the sky. The pain of being burned all over his body instantly made him extremely painful, but he still managed to use the suction power of the dark fruit to absorb Amaterasu. Can't Amaterasu resist the power of absorption? Fugaku was a little weak. He felt that if he let Uchiha in this world, he would probably only play a small role. Itachi, who was also preparing to release Amaterasu, had no choice but to give up. The shadow clones of the other two tribesmen were still attacking with Kunai shurikens, trying to pull them apart. Since you want to stop me, then everyone, please die in the darkness. Dark Acupoint Blackbeard Teach, on his side, went completely crazy after being burned by Amaterasu. He planned to use the dark acupoints to suck in everyone around him, including Whitebeard. Even if he was damaged and the plan failed, there was nothing he could do. If he continues like this, the possibility of his plan failing is higher than the possibility of using the dark acupoints to fail. At this time, he only hoped that his father would have stronger vitality and not die so quickly. The black mist was completely liberated and quickly dispersed around, covering the surrounding battlefield in less than 30 seconds. On the navy side, if Whitebeard had not cut a crack to prevent the black mist from attacking the interior of the navy, the entire square would have been covered by the black mist. The battlefields of Sakaski, Ace and others on the side were also affected by the black mist. However, they were both natural types. At this time, the battlefield here was almost scorching hot, and the black mist could not get close to them. The Central Battlefield Kid, you are very interesting, be my son. Uchiha Tamajin, on his side, was frowning at the black mist, controlling Susanoo to condense a new chakra sword and wave it, forcing the black mist back. But suddenly, the white-bearded Edward's voice came from behind him. Hearing these words clearly made his face darken. Good guy, I'm here to save you, and you want me to be your son. You are not qualified yet. Uchiha Tamaki is ready to kill Whitebeard first to avoid giving Blackbeard the chance to obtain the shock fruit. This guy also allows himself to be his son. Ha ha. Then I'll let you see if I'm qualified for this. Whitebeard laughed. Then his eyes widened, he clenched his fist tightly and punched the air hard. Air shock. Everyone around could see the air being shattered. An invisible impact directly pushed the black mist in front of Uchiha Tamaki back instantly, collapsing at the first touch. This guy really still has fighting ability. Sengoku's eyes were fixed on Edward the Whitebeard. Although Blackbeard is dangerous, killing Edward Whitebeard is still the first priority. But the shock of the shock, when approaching Blackbeard, had the same result as Uchiha Tamakian's previous attack. After approaching Blackbeard, it was directly absorbed by his raised hand. Dad, your time has passed. The future era will be called Blackbeard. Blackbeard Teach said with a crazy look on his face, his eyes full of arrogance. Looking at this situation, the surrounding navy all, without exception, felt disgusted with this man. That's it. Uchiha Yugen turned his head and looked at Whitebeard and said calmly. Whitebeard was a little helpless. His physical strength had dropped too much and he couldn't exert much power at all. 
I received a notice that it will be on the shelves next Friday, and I will start depositing it now. There are two old books that have been completed, The Great Entertainer of Kanoha and The Leader of All Heavens. I can still read the Naruto chapter, but forget about it later. Chapter, 66 Dai Liberation Blackbeard Teach raised his right hand, and the black mist slowly formed a huge tornado on his palm. Then from the tornado, various debris, boulders, ship fragments, guns, cannons and other things continued to fly out. He released all the physical objects he had absorbed and smashed them around. At the same time, the black mist under his feet spread rapidly again. Whitebeard's attack only caused a little trouble, and he could recover immediately. Various debris rained down from the sky, but Shursue and the others did not resist, because they could see that they could not compete with this guy. The navy only dealt with the attacks that affected their side, but still had no intention of joining the battlefield. The Warring States period still hopes that after the idiot Blackbeard has dealt with Whitebeard, the navy will swarm in to deal with this evil guy and complete this operation perfectly. This fear is also due to Whitebeard's reputation as the strongest. He didn't know if this was what the old guy had prepared. If Blackbeard and the new Shichibukai suddenly turned against each other, the navy would be very passive. Moreover, Sakaski's side has already begun to suppress Fire Fist Ace, and Kazan and Porcelino are also leading people to suppress the Whitebeard pirates. This is exactly what he wants to see. So why did the Warring States period order people to participate in Whitebeard's battlefield? Less than half of the chakra left. What the hell is going on with the main body? It takes so long to kill a minion. Uchiha Yugen was dissatisfied with himself. But the current situation is indeed very troublesome. If he wants to ensure that the clone is not destroyed, he has to keep using Susanoo to resist the black mist, and at the same time, he has to guard this old man who makes him his son. If he was pulled and beaten, this shadow clone Uchiha Tamajin would be sure to survive under Blackbeard for a whole day. However, in such a head-to-head -head confrontation, the clone itself could not recover. In ten minutes at most, Uchiha Tamaki felt that the shadow clone would be unable to withstand it. If my shadow clone disappears, try your best to keep this guy. Before my shadow clone voluntarily disappears, I will use Yasaka Magatama. Then everyone releasing Yasaka Magatama together may have an impact on this guy and delay it for some time. Uchiha Tamaki continued to take out the phone bug in Susanoo and contacted Fugaku. I don't know what kind of trouble the main body has encountered, but now we can only rely on our teammates. Fortunately, unlike Sakaski, his teammates really want to score points, so they are trustworthy. Fugaku hung up the phone with a heavy expression. This enemy is indeed more troublesome than the ones we encountered before. The opponent's ability makes almost all attacks invalid and there is no way to get close, and he will be controlled by the suction force. At this time, Blackbeard Teach was like a real black hole, leaving Uchiha and his party helpless. At present, the only one who can pose a threat to Blackbeard Teach may be Shursue's other gods, but Uchiha Yugen has told him not to use it until the last moment. The cooling time is too long. At the same time, whether such a person with overbearing domineering energy can crush the opponent on the spiritual level is too small, and it may only be able to contain the opponent for a while. Everyone on the field was in a very anxious mood. After Whitebeard's side, he punched twice again, trying to delay Uchiha Tamaki's side as much as possible. Sengoku's eyelids jumped as he watched, wondering whether this old guy was pretending, or if he was really in trouble. He felt that this new Shichibukai might be the traitor he suspected might appear. The stalemate lasted for less than three minutes, with Fugaku and the others keeping a check on him, but the attacks were basically ineffective against him, and he was absorbed without being able to hit him. The consumption is faster than expected. If it exceeds the limit of his absorption, it can cause injuries to him. You can't wait until the chakra is gone before taking action. If that doesn't work, just kill Whitebeard. Uchiha Yugen judged the current situation very calmly. Now that Whitebeard is killed, the navy should take action against Blackbeard. Seeing that he has such a huge influence, it is impossible to turn a blind eye. This can be considered a help to him. 
At the same time, Rob Lucci and Kaku were already looking at Yuziliu who was fighting with Crocodile. As long as the main body can come back, it is basically impossible for any accidents to happen again. In Susanoo's hand, Yasaka Magatama condensed again. Fugaku Shirsue and Itachi both observed Uchiha Tamaki's signal to take action, and without hesitation opened the Manjiki Sharingan and used the power of Susanoo. The three Susanoos, like samurai, emerged directly from the black mist. Green, fiery red, brown. There are three more of this kind of power. Many people in the navy were shocked by the sudden appearance of the three Susanoos. After all, Blackbeard's side has been unable to attack for a long time, precisely because of this thing. But they never thought that such a power could actually appear in so many at once. Is this the same type of devil fruit? Uchiha, what kind of force is this? Da Flamingo felt as if he had met a powerful guy. Similarly, Blackbeard also felt the pressure. He approached the Shichibukai several times, but was blocked by this strange shimmering ability. Now, there were more people, which made him feel a lot of pressure. But he didn't know that these three Susanoos couldn't last as long as Uchiha Yugen, and couldn't be used for a long time. Yasaka Magatama On the other hand, when Uchiha Tamaki saw Captain Fugaku and others turning on Susanoo and condensing Yasaka Magatama, he did not hesitate to control Susanoo to throw his Yasaka Magatama. The other three people almost threw their Susanoo's Yasaka Magatama out in less than zero. One seconds. From four directions in total, Yasaka Magatama surrounded Blackbeard from front to back, left and right. After throwing the Yasaka Magatama, Fugaku and others immediately shut down Susanoo to reduce chakra consumption. Moreover, the four of them had a tacit understanding. They controlled Yasaka Magatama to explode directly after it was about three meters away from Blackbeard, and chose to actively detonate it to increase the destructive power. The explosion of four Yasaka Magatama instantly caused a huge impact, instantly clearing the black fog in the venue. Where Blackbeard Teach was, a huge mushroom cloud rose directly into the sky. Is this Whitebeard's backup plan? Warring states looked serious. Fortunately, I used Blackbeard to test it out. It seems that Blackbeard is not in the same group as Whitebeard. Uchiha Yugen also shrunk Susanoo into skeletal mode to reduce consumption. Haha. -ha. But soon, Blackbeard's laughter came again. The smoke from the explosion dissipated, and in the middle, the ground sunk directly for more than five meters. But Blackbeard stood in the center, laughing. Although his forehead was bleeding, he did not appear to have any fatal injuries. The hearts of the Uchiha who watched this sank. But even so, you can't always use this power. Victory belongs to me. Blackbeard Teach said very proudly. He felt that the dark fruit was born for him, and only he was worthy of possessing such power. Although the attack just now was close to his limit, it was a pity that it was just a little short. Shichibukai, let's go, don't sacrifice your life for me. Whitebeard Edward also said to Uchiha Tamaki very calmly. Uchiha Yugen looked at him in surprise. He was ready to kill Whitebeard, but this guy still persuaded him to run away. Then Uchiha Yugen raised the Chidori with his right hand and was ready to take action. When Blackbeard was satisfied with himself, he would get rid of Whitebeard who would be regarded as a tonic as soon as possible. But immediately, a frightening aura instantly spread across the battlefield. Overlord color and domineering. Everyone on the field looked in the same direction. Yonko, red hair. Sakaski gritted his teeth and looked at this guy who suddenly appeared. Why is it so difficult for me to advance to the competition? Chapter, 67. Red hair, what do you mean by coming here? Do you want to help Whitebeard? Sakaski looked at the redhead with an evil expression. In the promotion game, when the opponent suddenly wants to add someone, how could he be happy? The red-haired man did not answer immediately, but scanned the battlefield. It is discovered that Fire Fist Ace is not dead, and Whitebeard is still alive. This made him a little surprised. The strength of the Whitebeard pirates could actually reach the level of a group that could fight against the Navy headquarters. I'm here to stop this war. The red-haired man then spoke, although his tone was calm. 
but what he said made both sides on the field feel surprised. It would be too childish to want to stop the war with just one sentence. Uchiha Yugen looked at the red-haired pretender silently. It would be best to delay him for a little longer. Are you kidding me? This war will only stop if the Whitebeard pirates are completely wiped out. Sakaski said with a cold face. Pirates are all the same, and he doesn't have a good impression of red-haired pirates who tend to be neutral. Although the background is huge, it cannot stop him from continuing to attack. However, the person in charge of the navy in the distance, Marshal Sengoku, did not answer immediately. The person who can really stop this war is Sengoku. Only if he gives the order, the navy will obey the order. Although red hair was troublesome, he felt that defeating White Beard here was more important. It was impossible for him to let White Beard go just because of red hair. At this time, the fighting basically stopped, and everyone seemed to be in favor of the red haired middleman who suddenly appeared to mediate. However, the situation is completely on the side of the navy, so the navy is willing to wait and give the red hair face. If the white beard pirates are destroyed, the sea will only become more chaotic. The territory vacated by the white beard pirates will definitely cause a sea war. It may even cause a war among the four emperors, causing the situation to completely get out of control and affect more ordinary people. It may then turn into an all-out war between pirates and the navy. The situation will then be uncontrollable, and the casualties will be even greater than today. Tragic. The red hair said very sincerely. He hopes to see a stable world. If the strongest man disappears, the sea will stir up waves again. If it wasn't for stopping Kaido, he could have arrived earlier. If Whitebeard dies, the pirates on this sea will be completely out of control, returning to the era of G.O.L.D. Roger, and the entire sea will be in chaos again. Pirates. Just kill them all. I will not let the trouble caused by G.O.L.D. Roger threaten the sea again. I will eliminate all pirates. Sakaski's side was determined. He would not be persuaded by the red hair's few words. In his eyes, pirates were pests that must be eliminated, and there was no need for symbiosis. On the other side of the Warring States period in the distance, he also frowned and thought about what the Red Hair said. He felt that what the Red Hair said was very likely to happen, but compared with dealing with Whitebeard, he felt that those things were not worth comparing. In his opinion, killing the strongest among the pirates will definitely damage the morale of the pirates. Even the strongest in the world will fall into the hands of the navy, which will make those pirates afraid to cause trouble. Sengoku, who is a marine, and Red Hair, who is a pirate, have different views. But the red-haired man needs to be given some face. Whitebeard must die. Sengoku said briefly that he did not hold Ace by force. But Whitebeard can never let go. Let my sons go and I will make the same decision as Roger. Whitebeard Edward spoke here. The tone of his voice when he spoke seemed a little helpless. However, if he could trade his life, which had long since come to an end, for his son's safe retreat, he felt it was a good deal. Although he didn't know what Roger thought at first, but now, he can make the same decision as Roger. Hearing this, Sengoku was a little moved. After all, the son of the pirate king who got into trouble and the person who executed the strongest man in the world were not on the same level at all. Without Whitebeard, the navy can completely deal with the remnants of the Whitebeard pirates. It will just take a lot of time, but it is a trouble that can be dealt with. Ha ha. Dad, you have to die in my hands. But Blackbeard Teach couldn't stand it anymore. Good guy, you're trading his supplements here, right? You're not paying attention to him, the future pirate king. Black Mist emerged from him again, and he knew that this was his last chance. If the red-haired man negotiates with the navy, then he will undoubtedly be dreaming about getting his father's abilities. Only now, the two sides are in a stalemate, and the navy will not take action against him. If he is allowed to attack Whitebeard, the attack of the Whitebeard pirates will also be blocked by the navy. The red-haired man didn't dare to take action rashly, because it might lead to an all-out war between the navy and the pirates. So the opportunity is only now. Blackbeard really doesn't give red hair any face. After all, he was the one who scratched the red hair's face. Uchiha Tamaki frowned. 
He also saw the navy sway, and the possibility of convincing Sengoku was too low. After all, he just wanted to see Whitebeard die. If he kills Whitebeard, Sengoku might take action against Blackbeard Teach. Seeing the spreading black mist, Uchiha Tamaki was ready to kill Edward Whitebeard. Edward Whitebeard was very angry. He wanted to eat Teach alive. But his body could no longer give him fighting power. And he also felt the killing intent coming from the young man in front of him. Shichibukai, kill me. It's better to die in your hands than to die in the hands of that beast. Whitebeard Edward said calmly. He knew that as long as he died, the navy would not continue to confront the red-haired man head-on, and his sons would still have a chance to leave. In this case, it is better to die in the hands of young people. Dream, you must die in my hands. Blackbeard Teach roared with eyes wide open. Then he opened his hand, preparing to use maximum suction to grab Whitebeard. The red-haired man frowned, wanting to take action, but he was still hesitant for fear of arousing the hostility of the navy. The members of the Whitebeard pirates launched a counterattack again, trying to rush over to save their father, but were blocked by the three generals and could not break through. But at this time, the strong men with the domineering power of seeing and hearing on the field felt a chill. Blackbeard also stopped to guess whether it was the Warring States period or the Red Hair who was going to attack him. After all, his own life was more important. Even he couldn't withstand a sneak attack from someone of the same level. Suddenly a gust of wind hit, knocking many navy pirates present to the point where they could no longer stand. Then everyone stared at the navy headquarters building with their mouths open. The roof was cut open. The navy looked at the sky in shock. On the signboard that symbolized the navy headquarters, nearly one-third of the castle-like high-rise building had been chopped open. At the same time, the chopped-off part was falling towards them. Phew, steady. On the other hand, Uchiha Yugen felt relaxed all over, feeling that the wave was stable. Chapter, 68 The Warring States period was so angry that the roof of the base was lifted off. Who could bear this? He transformed into a giant Buddha, jumped up, and released a shock wave from his palms that smashed the falling roof into rubble. The sudden attack left many people on the field in shock, not knowing who had appeared. If it weren't for Hawkeye Myhawk and he was still in the navy, everyone would wonder if it was Hawkeye Myhawk who was responsible. Is this kind of slash the aftermath? Hawkeye Myhawk also frowned slightly. In the situation just now, the slash did not seem to be aimed directly at the navy headquarters, but rather like using a move like drawing a sword, and the aftermath of the slash just happened to reach the navy headquarters. Moreover, the attack range exceeds 3 kilometers. If it was near the navy headquarters, it would definitely be discovered, but he did not notice it at all, which proved that the distance of the tool was very far. Likewise, if the red hair wasn't here, he also doubted whether it was the red hair. Teach, Whitebeard is already dead, why do you have to kill him here? The redhead also took this opportunity to speak. He hopes to calm down the incident and make everything transition smoothly. Although he is also very unhappy with this guy, it seems that he is the one that needs to be negotiated now. And he was also very confused as to why Blackbeard Teach had to kill Whitebeard. He had obviously followed Whitebeard when he was about the same age as him. Have a finger in the pie. Since he is going to die, he should die in my hands. Blackbeard Teach naturally would not explain, but said very angrily. When everyone saw this, they just thought that Whitebeard might have done something bad to Blackbeard, which was why he was so angry. Whitebeard is also very confused. He is absolutely devoted to his son. He feels that he has not treated this boy badly, but why? Why do you do this to yourself? This war cannot be stopped. Unless Blackbeard Tiki dies, Uchiha will never stop. At this time, Uchiha Yugen also spoke. At the same time, he made a gesture to signal Fugaku and others to hide and leave the battlefield. Why? Why stop me? You are not a trap set up by Dad, are you? You have never had a reputation on the sea. But why do you want to stop me from killing Dad? If the person Blackbeard Tiki hated the most at this time was undoubtedly Uchiha Tamaki. The one who stops himself from becoming a king. He killed almost all of his men, 
and even though he was almost exhausted, he still had to stand in front of his father. Why on earth, he wanted to find out. The red-haired man was also looking at the two men, wondering whether it would be easier to subdue them and continue negotiating with the navy. I just want to kill you, there is no other reason. Uchiha Yugen said very directly. At this time, turning around and rescuing Ace might make everything easier, after all, the red hair appeared. However, killing Blackbeard is also not complicated, just wait until the main body comes back. And indeed, he was even more dissatisfied with this guy. Regarding the next mission speculation, he felt that allowing Blackbeard Teach to become stronger would cause trouble to him, so it would be better to clean up this future trouble here. In that case, then you and Daddy will die together. Blackbeard Teach didn't talk nonsense here either. He saw that the power just now on Uchiha Yugen's body had become much smaller, and at the same time, his companions were also gone. Therefore, we are not prepared to continue the war of attrition, but to decide the outcome up close. After saying that, he rushed towards Uchiha Tamaki again. But the giant with the faint light that gave him a headache stopped in front of him again, so he had to turn around and rush towards Whitebeard, but the giant directly wrapped Whitebeard together. Whitebeard stood inside, reaching almost a quarter of Susanoo's height. Blackbeard Tiki placed his palms on Susanoo's shield, running the dark fruit ability without any reservation, absorbing Susanoo. Uchiha Tamaki didn't waste chakra at all. He made a chakra sword and let Blackbeard suck it. The red-haired right hand rests on Griffin, ready to take action at any time, or the white beard is more suitable for negotiation. Naturally, the navy continued to watch, and it didn't matter which side was killed. Susanoo's armor gradually disappeared. You go. Seeing this, Whitebeard knew that Uchiha Tamaki could no longer hold on any longer, so he spoke directly. And Blackbeard's face became more and more excited, and he already felt that victory was waving to him. No, I'm still very reliable. But after saying that, Susanoo's muscles were gone, leaving only pure bones. Whitebeard was standing inside now, almost half as tall as Susanoo. No one will come to save you anymore, Dad. If you die in the hands of the future pirate king, your reputation will not be lost, Dad. Blackbeard looked at Edward Whitebeard greedily and said very nakedly. Whitebeard looked at each other angrily. He was about to give himself a knife and kill himself. Coming. Uchiha Tamaki said suddenly. Blackbeard was startled, and his eyes turned to the red-haired discovery, but found that the red-haired man was still standing where he was. At the same time, seeing and hearing the color warning, it was too late to turn around again, so he could only cover his back with armed color hockey to meet the coming attack. Anyone paying attention to the battlefield here saw a blue afterimage rushing towards Blackbeard. Then Blackbeard was directly knocked away, flying into the distance like a cannonball, heavily drawing a long ravine on the ground. What a risk! I didn't expect that so much time was wasted. Uchiha Yugen's body was flashing with electric arcs. This was the activation mode of his lightning escape cells. He had just hit Blackbeard with the Chidori armed with domineering colors. I just rushed back all the way, almost breaking the sound barrier, and I rushed back as quickly as possible. When the Shadow Clone saw the main body coming back, it immediately released it and passed all the information it just saw to the main body. Uchiha Yugen stood there and quickly absorbed the information transmitted by the Shadow Clone. 2. No, the one fighting just now was just one. Clone. Many people have never seen such a thing as a clone, but there are many kinds of devil fruits, so there is no doubt about the emergence of such abilities. However, it wasn't me who was here, relying on the clone ability of this unknown fruit, to resist Blackbeard Teach for so long. Sengoku and others looked at Uchiha Tamaki with serious eyes. The red-haired man also looked at Uchiha Tamaki in confusion. What was the origin of this powerful guy who suddenly appeared? Whitebeard's backup plan. No one can stop me. Blackbeard Teach naturally didn't die that easily. He was just caught off guard and was knocked away without even losing blood. He got up from the ground and stared at Uchiha Tamaki. Although I don't know what the situation is, there is absolutely nothing wrong with killing him. It's up to me to end this battle. The third power Susanoo. 
After receiving the information about the Shadow Clone, Uchiha Tamaki no longer hesitated. The targets were all here now, so there was no need to waste time. Susanoo's true power was now revealed to everyone in the sea. Blackbeard Tiki looked at Uchiha Yugen's head and kept raising it higher and higher until it was almost impossible to tilt it back. The 210-meter-tall dark red Susanoo, almost as tall as the Navy headquarters at that time, appeared in the square of the Navy headquarters. I put it in my draft box yesterday and forgot to post it. Chapter 69 What the hell is this? Looking at this huge samurai who was nearly three kaido tall, Blackbeard Teach was filled with shock. This is completely different from the one just now. Give me back the giant just now, I don't want this. What kind of devil fruit ability is this? This question was on the minds of many people on the field. This kind of power was unheard of, and almost no one knew what it was. The white-bearded Edward, who was more than five meters tall, was standing where he was, not even as high as Susanoo's ankles. Ha ha ha, I really don't deserve to be this young man's father. Tiki, you're dead. Although he lost a person who could become his son, the person he wanted to kill was dead. Although Whitebeard didn't know what kind of power this huge giant possessed, he felt that even at his peak, it would not be easy to defeat this giant. So is it possible for Blackbeard to survive now? Another troublesome guy has appeared. Do you want to keep him here? On Sakaski's side, looking at the dark red giant that seemed to be touching the clouds, his eyes were full of fear. In his eyes, the Shichibukai are all pirates. Unless these pirates disappear, the sea will not be peaceful. Although I don't know what the power of this giant is, he is three times taller than the giant Oz that Whitebeard just appeared. The power of just one casual blow should not be underestimated. This is Uchiha, the power of God. I will use my strongest blow to wipe you out of this world. Uchiha Tamaki stood in the hexagonal square above Susanoo's head, looking at the ant-like black beard below. Then he controlled Susanoo to raise his hand, held it in the air, and a huge white light appeared directly in Susanoo's hand. No matter who it is, they can't stop me. Dark Acupoint Blackbeard Teach also looked crazy. Raising his right hand directly above his head, the power of the dark fruit was released without reservation, and the smoke released from his body shot straight into the sky. In just a few seconds, the entire sky of Malinvando became extremely dark. At the same time, the ground was completely covered by the black mist, and everything on the ground was being swallowed up by the black mist, including the iron walls carefully prepared by the navy, which were all eaten away by the black mist. Everyone needs to take shelter and get out of here. The Warring States period saw that both sides were going to fight to the death. The impact of a battle of this level would be devastating. So he did not hesitate to order the navy to take refuge and find a safe place. At the same time, he stood on the front line, preparing to resist the aftermath of the attack. At the same time, his eyes were firmly fixed on Whitebeard. He will never let Whitebeard leave his sight. Although he was nearly 30 meters tall at this time, looking at the 200 meter tall giant in the distance, he still felt tremendous pressure. Blackbeard's hand was on Yuzuki's side. When he saw the true power of Susanoo, he had given up the idea of helping Blackbeard, stopped attacking Whitebeard, and did not continue to fight Crocodile. When he saw that everyone's attention was attracted to Uchiha Tamaki, he chose to run away without hesitation, not preparing to stay and reap the almost non-existent possibility of victory with Blackbeard Tiki. However, the Uchiha team had been waiting for him for a long time. When he wanted to run away, Rob Luchi and Kaku rushed forward, and Fugaku and others immediately followed, and they would never let Aim no Shiru escape. Opportunity Spear of Heavenly Tribulation Uchiha Tamaki used the power of his kaleidoscope by technique, Thunder Tribulation, to empower the lightning release spear condensed by Susanoo. Originally relatively stable, the spear made of thunderbolt doubled in length in an instant, and its width expanded uncontrollably, as if dash, the front and rear ends were more than twice as wide as the position where it was held. The length of this heavenly tribulation spear was longer than Susanoo's body after it exploded. Susanoo lifted it up. Blackbeard Teach also prepared his own unique move. In the black mist that was constantly spinning above his head, a huge collection of debris slowly condensed. 
The diameter is also over a hundred meters, and it looks like an earth burst star floating in mid-air, except that there is a black smoke pillar underneath, holding it all up. Annihilate. Uchiha Yugen controlled Susanoo to throw the Spear of Heavenly Tribulation at Blackbeard Tiki. The distance between the two sides was only a little over a hundred meters. At this time, Susanoo holding the Spear of Heavenly Tribulation was equivalent to stabbing someone directly with a spear. The attack is imminent. Swallow everything, darkness. Blackbeard Teach can only place his hopes on the devil fruit that he has been dreaming about for many years. He knew that his body was unable to resist the power of the opponent's attack even if he used armament hockey, so he had no choice but to fight. He raised his hands and continued to inject black mist into the huge collection of debris in the sky, trying his best to increase its power. Ah! The veins in Blackbeard Teach's head were popping. He tried his best to cover this collection of debris with armed domineering energy. He spared no effort to resist the impact of Jesse Lai, and poured everything into this attack. The heavenly tribulation spear hit the huge black ball, and all sounds disappeared in an instant. This is the collision of two forces that evacuates all the air, making it impossible for sound to propagate. Jump jump jump. The ground in the square was cracking apart. It directly affects the walls built around it. Fugaku had to use Susanoo to cover his own people and block the aftermath of the attack. Itachi, on the other hand, had already taken one step ahead and came to Izumi and the others, also using Susanoo to help resist the aftermath. At the collision point between the Heavenly Tribulation Spear and the Black Ball, a red light had already ignited. This was the intense high temperature caused by the collision. Kakaka. The Black Ball formed by the collection of debris began to be unable to withstand it, the surface began to crack, and black mist leaked and rose from it. Eat it. Blackbeard Teach's eyes were red, like a hungry wolf. The wound on his forehead had begun to bleed uncontrollably, and he was squeezing his body to its limits. The black mist was like a poisonous snake, trying to swallow Susanoo along with the Spear of Heavenly Tribulation. However, the constantly beating electric arc on the Spear of Heavenly Tribulation directly annihilates all the approaching black mist. The Shadow Clone cannot defeat it at the expense of energy, but the main body can still compete here. The front end of the Heavenly Tribulation Spear has penetrated into the interior of the sphere and began to slowly break through downwards. Blackbeard Teach screamed with all his strength, but to no avail. He could only watch helplessly as a white light hit him directly in the face, and then he lost consciousness and knew nothing. At the same time, the power of the Heavenly Tribulation Spear also completely exploded. A huge electric arc shot straight into the sky, instantly dispersing the black fog in the sky, as if this attack was a divine punishment sent down from heaven to clean up the filth. I forgot to update it yesterday and I was typing all the time. Chapter, 70 The aftermath of the impact of the Heavenly Tribulation Spear was jointly resisted by the three Navy Generals, Sangoku, and even Whitebeard and his entourage. Malinfando was prevented from being completely destroyed. After all, in the aftermath of the attack, everyone is a target, regardless of who they are. The Whitebeard pirates don't want their ship to be destroyed, so they can only resist. The same is true for Red Hair and the others. The ground of the square was smashed through by the Spear of Heavenly Tribulation, and sea water could not stop pouring out of the hole. At this time, Marinifando was really like a ruin. Although the navy had tried its best to resist, the collision of Uchiha Tamaki in Blackbeard's power still caused too much damage. Uchiha Yugen mainly hit the square, and what hit the surroundings was mainly a mixture of debris gathered by Blackbeard Tiki, including many iron walls prepared by the navy. 9 out of 10. And one last one. On his side, Uchiha Tamaki confirmed that Blackbeard was really dead through system prompts, and directly dismissed Susanoo. It was still very troublesome to chase people in this place with such a large Gundam. Falling from mid-air, a hole was made directly on the ground, and then his eyes began to search for the location of Aimshiru. There Itachi. Soon, through the super high vision of the Manjiku Sharingan, the location of Shiru of the Rain was locked. At this time, Amatsi Nozomi stayed in the air and kept using the Moon Step, trying to escape, but Itachi also knew how to use the Moon Step, 
and he had already mastered all six moves. He hung tightly behind Yuziliu, constantly using Kanai to interfere with the other party. Shusui and Fugaku had to use Susanoo to resist due to the aftermath of the attack, but Aim no Shiru resisted the impact and then escaped using Moon Step. After covering Izumi, Itachi discovered Aim no Shiru who was escaping, and immediately chased after him, preparing to delay this guy. Robluki and Kaku had already fallen down with serious injuries. The two of them without armed domineering power were no match for Yuzuki Shirlu. Is he really not a white-bearded man? The warring state side was originally very angry, because Malenfando's current state was almost the same as being destroyed. But he was surprised to see Uchiha Tamaki running away without caring about Whitebeard, who was struggling to survive. After all, he had already made preparations to become an enemy of Uchiha Tamaki, but now he was told that the other party really wanted to kill Blackbeard's group and not Edward Whitebeard's people. This surprise came too unexpectedly. Get out of my way. Ghost loving slash. Aim no Shiro felt the violent reaction coming from the sight and color hockey, and was very panicked. He felt that Uchiha Tamaki was about to catch up. Naturally, he was extremely annoyed with this guy who had been following closely behind him. He felt that he could defeat the opponent without spending too much effort, but he did not have that time now, and if he did not deal with Uchiha Itachi, he knew that he would never be able to escape. So he turned around and stopped, chasing Uchiha Itachi, using all his strength to strike with his strongest slash, which was a powerful attack he specially used to break through the armed hockey. Susano. Itachi found that the other party was pursuing him, and it was difficult for him to avoid it. After all, he was in mid-air. His physical fitness does not support the speed at which he can reach the level of using teleportation on the ground, which is nearly one-third lower. I judged that I had no way to avoid it, so I had no choice but to resist. At the same time, he also knew that the clan leader was coming, so the other party would fight to the death. As long as he blocked the blow, he could complete the mission. But Eugilio was prepared to fight to the death, attacking with almost all his strength. Susanoo's release took a little time. When the attack hit Susanoo, Susanoo's bones had just attached to the muscles, and the armor had not had time to emerge, let alone raise the shield. Susanoo's bones were directly chopped into pieces by this slash. Itachi fell directly into the sea from midair, and Susanoo slowly disappeared. Itachi. Uchiha Izumi, who was watching this scene on the wall of Marine Fando, couldn't believe it and shouted Itachi's name loudly. Thump. Itachi fell directly into the sea water. However, Aim no Shiru turned around and ran away without any thought, let alone the idea of confirming whether Itachi was dead or not. He just wanted to run away quickly. Within two seconds of Aim Nozomi running out, Uchiha Tamaki arrived using Moon Step and Shave he immediately created a shadow clone and rushed towards the sea water, while Uchiha Tamaki's body continued to chase Aim Nozomi. Keep. Uchiha Yugen's face was very cold. He originally thought that those team members would be the most likely to have trouble, because they were the weakest and did not know how to be armed and domineering. But he didn't expect it to be Itachi, and he was also in trouble because of his own orders. Although he had made preparations, he was still very angry. Uchiha Yugen's speed was much faster than Aim no Shiru, and he caught up with Aim no Shirlu in about five seconds. A Chidori sharp spear was pointed directly at the back of Amaziliu. Naturally, Amaziliu didn't want to wait for death, so he could only stop and fight back. The battle ended faster than expected. Uchiha Tamaki used the eye technique purgatory and released it with all his strength. It affected Aim no Shiru for less than a second, and Uchiha Tamaki directly dug out his heart. Then used Chidori to burn all the internal organs of Aim no Shiru, and finally use fire release to burn the body clean, leaving only his saber thunderstorm. But good news soon came. After the shadow clone was released, the information was transmitted to the main body. Did you use Izanagi? Just save your life. Maybe there's something like a kaleidoscope that can save you. Uchiha Yugen breathed a sigh of relief. As long as the person is not dead, the Mangekyo Sharingan's blindness is not a big problem. Then he immediately turned around and went back, preparing to retreat. The mission was completed. 
By the way, witness the fall of the strongest man in this sea. When they came to Itachi's side, Shirsue and the others had all arrived. Only Rob Luchi and Kaku were injured and one person was left to take care of them. Clan leader, Izumi turned on the kaleidoscope. When Shirsue saw Uchiha Tamaki coming back, he said with a complicated expression. Last time Itachi turned on the kaleidoscope after hearing the news of his death. This time it was a young man who turned on the kaleidoscope. The Manjiki Sharingan turns out to be so easy to open. It's not a big problem. Itachi, maybe the blindness thing can be improved. If not, I will replace you with a more powerful pair in the future. You guys stay hidden nearby and wait for me to leave together. Uchiha Yugen was not too surprised when he heard Izumi turning on the kaleidoscope. After all, with the relationship between the two of them, it would be strange if Izumi didn't turn on the kaleidoscope. After all, Izumi's qualifications were only inferior to Itachi's in her generation. At this time, Uchiha Izumi had blood and tears flowing out of the corners of her eyes, and she was still very excited when she saw Itachi's expression. Everyone was naturally relieved that Itachi was fine, and they followed Uchiha Tamekian's order and began to hide. Uchiha Yugen returned to Malinfando. Chapter, 71 Uchiha Yugen appeared in Marineland, attracting many people's attention. Then everyone saw that Uchiha Tamaki walked to the Shichibukai's team very calmly and stood silently. It seemed that he was just like these Shichibukai, just watching the show and doing nothing to destroy Marinafando. Sengoku couldn't help but look at Uchiha Yugen twice, as if he was trying to determine what this person was trying to do. Doflamingo, who was standing relatively close to Uchiha Tamaki, felt tremendous pressure at this time. I feel that it would be inappropriate to meet Uchiha Tamaki after this, and I wonder if I can refuse this meeting. The other Shichibukai also looked at Uchiha Tamaki with strange expressions. They went out to show off and came back to stand with them. You are the most involuntarily involved among the gangsters, right? In the Shichibukai, only Moonglow Moria was beaten and injured again. Basically, they were beaten by Jinbi when he was blocking the road. Bartholomew Bear was still following Jean Mamamaru and controlling the pacifist. The other Shichibukai basically stood together. The battle was over at this time. The red-haired man had started negotiating. When Uchiha Tamaki came back, he couldn't help but take a second look. Warring states, as long as I die here, how about you let my sons go? I seem to have a little strength now and can do a lot of things. On Edward the Whitebeard's side, I don't know if it was a flashback or something, but his energy suddenly became better, as if he had just appeared. He threatened Sengoku, who was standing on the wreckage of the navy headquarters not far away. The situation at this time seemed to be even more unfavorable to the navy, with the sudden appearance of the red-haired pirates of the Yonko, and the Uchiha Tamaki who stood in the Shichibu Sea and pretended to be fine. These two unstable factors simply caused the Warring States period to explode on the spot. If the worst possibility he thought about really happened, then Malinfando would really sink into the sea. Fire Fist Ace will be imprisoned in Impel Down City. He will not be executed, but will be imprisoned for life. The Warring States period finally compromised. After all, he still had to guard against Garp, otherwise he would be prepared to execute him together with Ace. And if he really wanted Fire Fist Ace to die together, Whitebeard would definitely not agree, so he also made a compromise. Ace will not be killed, but he will be imprisoned for life and cannot appear in the sea again. Whitebeard Edward frowned. I would never trade with my son. It seems we have to continue the fight. Sengoku, let's let Marinafando sink completely into the sea. Whitebeard Edward continued to threaten. He knew that the navy was here for the sake of appearance. After all, the person who was going to be executed did not look good when he ran out. But in this life, he will never trade with his relatives. Similarly, if Malinfando sinks into the sea, it will also make the world government look ugly. He wants to see if Sengoku can be so cruel. When warring states heard this threat, a fierce look appeared on his face. It was obvious that he was very angry at being threatened. Dad, it doesn't matter if I am detained, as long as everyone can leave safely. Ace shouted loudly. 
He also didn't want to continue to kill or injure too many companions because of himself. Luffy was exhausted and fainted on the Moby Dick. The Monster King was looking after him. If he was still awake, he would definitely say I am the Pirate King. Without Whitebeard, they are no longer able to protect the territory of the four emperors. In addition to the navy, the pirates at sea will not let them go. Whether Fire Fist Ace is imprisoned or not, the situation is like this. With them, they can attract the attention of more pirates. Without the powerful guys, it will cause chaos in the world. The red hair once again spoke to mediate. Sakaski felt his hands itching and wanted to melt all these pirates into slag with his fists. However, he is not the one who decides what the navy does now, and he has no way to make the decision. Although he senses an opportunity to sneak attack on Ace, doing so will undoubtedly not give the red-haired Shanks face. When the time comes to fight another Yonko pirates, even he will have to think twice. Who are their teammates after all? And who are his teammates? Sengoku didn't answer, but glanced at the surrounding navy, while focusing on Garp. Noticing that his gay friend had a pained look on his face, he also sighed. Ten hours. I will give ten disappears to allow the Whitebeard pirates to escape, and then I will send the navy to pursue them. Warring State said very decisively. It is definitely impossible to place it on the battlefield in Malinvando. It will really sink if we fight again. Let them run, and then chase them. Kill them if you can. Kill as many as you can to destroy the Whitebeard pirates' effective fighting capacity. In his opinion, what red-haired Shank said was right. Without one of the four emperors, the sea would definitely be in chaos. The navy could also take advantage of this moment to clean up the new world. With a target like the Whitebeard Pirates, the navy can definitely find the target accurately. Sailing away, sons. Edward Whitebeard was also very decisive. He knew that if they continued to talk, they would not be able to negotiate better terms. When his son was ten years old, without the pursuit of Tao Gu and the navy, it would be difficult for them to survive on this sea after losing him. Daddy! The members of the Whitebeard Pirates shouted with tears streaming down their faces. Walk! It is my honor for me, Whitebeard, to die in Malinvando. Whitebeard scolded his sons. No one on the field took action at this time. Watching the Moby Dick leave the Bay of Marinifando. Looking at Moby Dick, Whitebeard smiled. The surrounding navy was also slowly approaching him, letting go of the members of the Whitebeard Pirates. This Emperor of the Sea must not let go. But then Whitebeard's actions shocked everyone on the field. Farewell sons. One Piece Big Secret Treasure is real. After Edward Whitebeard silently said goodbye to his son, he used his last strength to shout these words loudly. This sound spread directly throughout the entire sea through the phone bug in Bucky's hand. Whitebeard, you guy. The Warring States period was extremely shocked and angry. Whitebeard's words undoubtedly lured those ambitious guys into the sea again. But this matter was not part of the agreement, and he had no choice at this time. The fall of the strongest. It's over, Da Flamingo, let's go to Shampoo Land and have a talk. Uchiha Tamaki could see that after Whitebeard shouted these words, his body completely lost its vitality. In less than a minute, his heart stopped beating and he died completely. He completed his final mission, gave the flame of the new era, and once again announced the climax of the pirate era. The surrounding navy were afraid of Whitebeard and did not dare to test him. Um. Da Flamingo looked ugly and replied with a dark face. He didn't really want to go, but the handle was in the opponent's hands, and secondly, the opponent's strength made him unable to refuse. This guy caused me so much trouble before he died. Warring states could only curse loudly at this time. Red-haired Shanks, on the other hand, looked at Sakaski to prevent this guy from breaking the agreement, and now started chasing the members of the Whitebeard Pirates. And when Uchiha Tamaki came to Rabo Chikaku and Yashiro, he fully realized Susanoo's power, picked up the three of them, and flew directly away from Malinfando under the fearful gaze of the navy. Now that it has been used, Uchiha Yugen will no longer hide it. Showing one's own strength is also a kind of shock, making these people fear Uchiha. 
All that was left of Malin Vando was his white beard standing among the wreckage, with his back to the navy headquarters and his face to the sea, like a sculpture. The other Shichibukai also left directly, and the navy also began to clean up the mess. For this man standing in the square, everyone felt a sense of awe in their hearts. Chapter, 72 In the battle at the top of the war, two Uchiha were seriously injured, Rob Luchi and Kaku. One blind eye, Uchiha Itachi. Fugaku and Shirsue used Susanoo, but found that after their physical fitness became stronger, the impact on their vision was not as great as before. It was just that their bodies were a little weak, and the impact on their vision was very small, but it was still there. This loss is acceptable, at least there is no loss of manpower. The situation on top of the war was also spread around the world through Bucky's live broadcast with almost no cover. The Navy's face was still damaged, and it was unacceptable to many people to actually make a deal with pirates. But in fact, the deal with pirates started a long time ago, and it was started by the world government. The Shichibukai is the result of the deal with pirates. However, those people ignored this and abused the Navy one after another in the news. Sengoku also felt very uncomfortable. He also knew that he had let off steam during this war, mainly against Luffy and Ace, but he had not let off any slack against the Whitebeard pirates. However, someone must be responsible for this mistake. The world government is actually very satisfied with the results of this battle. It is enough to kill the uncrowned king of the sea. However, Sengoku still had to step down, and a new naval marshal needed to be selected. At the same time, what was known to the whole world, besides the death of Whitebeard and the scandal of the navy, was the Uchiha. The huge body that even the image phone bug could not fully capture. This fighting power attracted the attention of the world's strongest. This person has just become a Shichibukai, and could be said to be an unknown person before the war. Why is he so strong? The vast majority of pirates on the sea rank Uchiha as extremely dangerous. They should never be hostile to each other unless necessary and run away when they see one. At the same time, the strength of Uchiha, known as the Blood Eye Clan, was spread from the navy, because many navy saw that these people's eyes were extremely blood red. It's just a bit strange to have a leopard and a giraffe mixed in. The next day, Shamboard Islands. Uchiha Yugen met Doflamingo on his luxury cruise ship. Fugaku and the others also brought them along, and followed them to enjoy the services on Doflamingo's luxury cruise ship. There are many beauties up there, dressed very coolly. Izumi stared at Itachi, not giving him a chance to mess around. Itachi looked at his father silently. If his father did anything deviant, he would tell his mother using genjutsu without reservation. Uchiha Yugen and Doflamingo were sitting opposite each other on the sofa in a very spacious and luxurious room. There was no one else inside. You stopped me during the meeting because of the deal you wanted to make with Kaido, right? Uchiha Tamaki didn't waste any time. He directly exposed Doflamingo's reasons for looking for himself. But now, he probably regrets looking for him. How did you know this? There can't be a mole on Kaido's side, and few of my men know about it. Have you been investigating me? Doflamingo didn't try to hide it, his face was filled with displeasure, and he spoke very directly. Although he had seen the true power of Susanoo, he felt that if the Don Quixote family came together, they could still defeat each other. And he was protected by Kaido, so he could pretend that he wasn't very afraid of Uchiha Tamaki. You have always wanted to go further, but your own strength is insufficient. You can only find ways to cooperate with others to improve your strength. Do you want the position of the four emperors vacated by Whitebeard? I can help you. Uchiha Tamaki very directly stated Doflamingo's fantasy. Doflamingo hopes to have the power of the celestial dragons, but now he has to be controlled by the world government under the celestial dragons. At first, he worked hard for the identity of Shichibukai, and even went to encourage Tianzhang Jin, but now this identity can no longer bring him much help. He is not stupid enough to be an enemy of the world government, so if he wants to take a step further and control his own freedom, then he can only be the Yonko, or even target the pirate king. How could Doflamingo, who possesses the domineering aura of a king, be willing to submit to the world government managed by the celestial dragons? 
He wants to become the king of this sea and have the power to be equal to the celestial dragons. It proves that even if he doesn't use the identity of Tian Long, he can still be stronger than Tian Long. Ha ha. Interesting. Are you going to join the Don Quixote family? Da Flamingo had a surprised look on his face, then laughed and joked. Dress Rosa, use this country in exchange for the opportunity for me to help you become the Yonko. Uchiha Tamaki said straightforwardly. King of the Sea slash Emperor. Task 1, become the king of a country with a population of more than 50,000, and become a member of the world government. Task 2, become one of the four emperors of the sea. No one dares to challenge your power within a month, which is considered a success. Time limit, 2 years. Task reward, designate a devil fruit no side effects. Because the next mission involves the four emperors and the country. Uchiha Yugen didn't want to be a pirate. Although the four emperors were more free, managing a country was different from messing around at sea. Moreover, Uchiha Yugen wants both this time, becoming the king himself, and secondly secretly controlling a Yonko. Da Flamingo is a very suitable candidate, he is ambitious, and he also has a country that can be used to make deals. Although you can also open up wasteland yourself, population is a problem. If you want to snatch the king of a country that joins the world government, you may have some trouble. After all, as a Shichibukai, it would be too strange for him to suddenly control a country. Even if he has a Genjutsu to control the king and give up his throne, he will be targeted by the world government. The most important task is to obtain the qualifications of a world government member country. The second is to grab a desert island and start from scratch, but it is not easy to gather the population. At the same time, everything in the country has to be done slowly. I don't know how long it will take to build it, and I have to find a way to join the world. Government Affiliated Countries The Uchiha clan has been living on a desert island for half a year. Uchiha Yugen wants to improve the environment. Dress Rosa, a country in the new world, is very good. Although these difficulties can be overcome, Uchiha Yugen cannot find time to join the new four emperor's forces and expand Uchiha's influence. To get them all, it would be better to start with Da Flamingo. At the same time, Uchiha Yugen judged that the next mission is either to become the pirate king or to fight against the world government, so it would be better to prepare in advance and make more arrangements. This time, Luffy is not given a key, and he does not know. Is it really possible to break out? This joke is not funny. Da Flamingo's face immediately darkened after hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words. He didn't care too much about Dress Rosa, it was just a tool. He was not really running the country of his ancestors. However, this is his thing, and it is absolutely not allowed to be taken away by others. Chapter, 73 It's just a deal. If you don't agree, forget it. But with your strength alone, you can't compete for the position of the four emperors, and you won't be able to meet him like this next time. In a year at most, a new emperor will definitely appear. Either the Whitebeard pirates will continue to maintain it, or a new strong one will appear. There is a powerful guy coming out of the city. Uchiha Yugen was not angry on his side either. The success rate of directly forcing Da Flamingo is very low, but in the end it is completely possible to kill Da Flamingo directly, take over Dress Rosa, and then become the Yonko. But the consequence of doing so is that Uchiha will completely become the enemy of the world government, and they will have to spend a lot of energy on this. There are indeed no powerful guys under his command, and the possibility of recruiting the Whitebeard pirates is too low. After all, they have their own glory and cannot bow their heads. Moreover, Uchiha Tamaki is planning to return to the ninja world during this mission. The current power is enough to destroy Kanoha. However, for the sake of future missions and the safety of Uchiha, the strength of the Uchiha clan still needs to be strengthened. At the same time, Uchiha Yushuan also needs to strengthen his own strength. After all, the strength surges too fast and there is no time to absorb more. Although I now have an advanced version of the three-color hockey, my physical fitness still needs to be strengthened. Although Indra's bloodline is very strong, my physical strength cannot be compared with the people of this world. Uchiha Yugen felt that he still needed to do a lot of weight-bearing training and strengthen his body like Metkai. 
Moreover, the pain that Fugaku and Shirsue felt after using the kaleidoscope was far less severe than when they used the kaleidoscope in Kanoha, perhaps because their bodies had become stronger. Why don't you compete for the position of Yanko yourself? Doflamingo's glasses were slightly reflective and he looked directly at Achiha Tamaki. He felt that this person was particularly dangerous and not an easy guy to deal with. But the position of Yanko is indeed attractive to him. So I chose to continue talking to Uchiha Tamaki. I'm not going to be a pirate, it's that simple. Naturally, he would not tell the real reason. Gave a very perfunctory answer. Doflamingo looked at Uchiha Tamaki in surprise, obviously not expecting to get such an answer. You have a month to think about it. In one month, I will expand my power to the new world. If you are not willing, I will support the Whitebeard Pirates or others. There is no shortage of such power in this sea. Uchiha Tamaki was not prepared for Doflamingo to agree immediately. The war on the top has just ended, and Uchiha Yugen also wants to go back, and at the same time, he is preparing to transfer his clan members to the new world. In the first half of the Grand Line, the world government's control was too strong. This time, the strength shown by Uchiha in the war on the top will definitely be targeted by the world government. The traces of Sharingan are too obvious, and Uchiha may be captured and sliced. This is also the reason why Uchiha Yugen is planning to go back to Kanoha during this mission to settle the clan members. After saying that, he got up from the sofa and prepared to leave. Is that all the strength you have shown? Doflamingo asked. Although he has not yet figured out why this man had to kill Blackbeard Teach during the war on the top. But he knew very well that this person's strength exceeded his own, but he was not sure whether it reached the level of the four emperors. But if the power shown by the other party in the top battle was not all, then he felt that this deal there is a possibility of continuing the conversation. Of course not. Uchiha Tamaki stopped and turned around to look at Doflamingo. Then he raised his right hand and shook it gently. The armed domineering force immediately attached to his arm, but it didn't stop yet. A black-red electric arc suddenly emerged and beat on the arm that exuded a metallic luster. The violent power made Doflamingo tremble with fear. This is the overlord's color entanglement. Doflamingo's eyes were fixed on Uchiha Tamaki's arm. He also has the overlord color and can control it freely. However, he has not mastered the overlord color and domineering energy. As far as he knows, this is the path to become an emperor. He didn't expect this person to have mastered the domineering power of the overlord to such an extent. During the war, the opponent did not use this power at all to kill a pervert like Blackbeard Teach, and only used armed hockey once. But the strength displayed in this way is enough to compete for the position of the four emperors. Think about it as soon as possible, and then contact me on the phone. Uchiha Tamaki didn't waste any time, he let go of the overlord's entanglement and left the room directly. After greeting Fugaku and Shirsue who were feeling uncomfortable on the boat, he took the others and left Doflamingo's luxury cruise ship directly. Fugaku wanted to leave a long time ago. Seeing his son blind in one eye and still staring at him made him feel cold all over. The Navy placed their ship at the naval base in the Shampoo Islands, and went directly there to board the ship and set off, targeting the tribe. Yonko Doflamingo looked at Uchiha Tamaki's back on the deck, frowning. He was judging how successful his cooperation with Uchiha Yugen would be. But for a while, he really couldn't make this decision, and wanted to observe for a while to see what was happening on the sea. On the way back, Uchiha Itachi trained with Rob Luchi and Kaku, using the medical knowledge taught by Chopper to treat them. And Shirsue is teaching Yashiro and others how to use armament hockey. What's the magic of your eyes? Uchiha Yugen, on the other hand, was asking Uchiha Izumi about the ability of the kaleidoscope. The left eye is an illusion type. It can pull a target within 50 meters of sight into the paradise world and make the target indulge in female lust. When Uchiha Izumi said this, her face turned a little red. She was obviously a little embarrassed about having such an ability in the pupil technique. The Art of Seduction Uchiha Yugen thought silently. The other one is able to create red flames, like the blood succession limit scorching escape, which is very powerful. Uchiha Izumi continued. 
illusion type and ninjutsu type, very balanced power, just like me. Uchiha Tamaki nodded, and then instructed Uchiha Izumi to practice more physically, and after returning to the clan, let Itachi guide her in controlling Susanoo. This made Izumi very happy. It was naturally good to be guided by Itachi. After Izumi left, Fugaku came over. Clan leader, do you think it is possible for Itachi's eyes to recover? I wonder if this method is difficult. Fugaku came here for his son. After all, he is his biological child, and his son's life has just begun. Although he would not regret sacrificing his life for the clan, but there was a way to save it, so he naturally wanted to save his son's eyes. Chapter, 74 There are two methods, but I can't guarantee success. And I also have a replacement. When I return to the ninja world, I will help him get it. Uchiha Tamaki said to Fugaku very carefully. After all, this is a father's wish. The most important thing is that he is not 100% sure, it can only be said to be an opportunity to try. I don't know the two methods, what are they? Fugaku asked quickly. He was not afraid that Uchiha Yugen would harm his son, but that this method would consume too much of the clan's manpower and material resources. If it costs too much, he will give up. The first one is that I said that the cells of the first Hokage can help the Uchiha clan improve their genes and make their bodies stronger. This method can minimize the side effects of the Mangekyo Sharingan and almost prevent blindness. However, I cannot confirm whether it can restore the eyes that were blinded after using a Zanaji. Uchiha Yugen raised his index finger and said to Uchiha Fugaku. I feel that the success rate is not high, but Uchiha Madara used his own eyes as a Zanaji and faked his death to deceive the first generation. After using the first generation flesh and blood at the same time, he opened the reincarnation eye, restored the blind eyes, and regained the light. But Uchiha Yugen was not sure whether an ordinary kaleidoscope could have such an effect. Where's the second one? After Fugaku heard that this method was used, he felt that it was indeed not clear. After all, the clan recorded that no one who used Izanami could recover his eyesight. Then he asked about the second method, eager to know the likelihood of success. The second one is the exchange of Manjiki Sharingan between close relatives. No one has succeeded before Uchiha Madara. Even if the clan fights within the clan and snatches the kaleidoscope, it is just equivalent to replacing new eyes, rather than restoring the kaleidoscope's vision. Exchanging the Manjiki Sharingan between close relatives will definitely open up the Manjiki Sharingan to a higher level and reach the eternal Manjiki Sharingan. At the same time as the Manjiki Sharingan evolves, it is highly possible to restore the vision of blind eyes. Uchiha Yugen explained the second method. He is not an eternal kaleidoscope now, but a perfect kaleidoscope, the perfect state of the Uchiha bloodline. The only real eternal kaleidoscopes are Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Sasuke, but both of them are reincarnations of Indra, and Uchiha Yushuan cannot confirm whether only the reincarnation of Indra can open the eternal kaleidoscope. After all, when the Uchiha clan was fighting among themselves, they abused the power of the kaleidoscope and tried to plunder the eyes of other people who had turned on the kaleidoscope. However, they were only able to use the kaleidoscope by technique of new eyes like Kakashi, but they did not let the kaleidoscope. The side effects disappear. As for Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Sasuke, they were the ones to replace the kaleidoscope. One was given to Uchiha Madara before he died, and the other was taken away by Abito after his death and replaced after Sasuke was almost blind. The two who died had no chance to replace the eyes of their elder brother and younger brother, so it was impossible to confirm whether both parties could benefit and also open the eternal kaleidoscope. When Uchiha Madara used Izanagi to fake his death, it was more like his eyes evolved to restore his blindness. So that's it, this method is indeed feasible. This matter has been mentioned among senior officials before. Regarding Uchiha's secrets, Uchiha Yushuan did not hide it. Only about Indra's reincarnation, he did not say anything. After listening to the method mentioned by Uchiha Tamaki, Fugaku felt that it was feasible. Then try it with my eyes. I am also older, and my potential is far less than Itachi. He holds more hope. Fugaku's decision was quickly made. He was willing to put his own eyes to the test. 
the closest relative can only be him, and it cannot be someone else's kaleidoscope. He has no objection to exchanging it for his son. Even if it fails, just replace the eyes. This method is not risky, and the ninja world has spare eyes, so don't worry. Uchiha Yugen quickly comforted Fugaku. Nagato's Rinnegan, he definitely wouldn't let it stay out, he had to take it into his hands and put it away properly. Avoid releasing Princess Kagaya. The difficulty of dealing with Princess Kagaya is not an easy one. Maybe the entire ninja world will be wiped out. But now that Uchiha Itachi has lost his vision due to his mission, he is still responsible. So if you can't evolve into the eternal kaleidoscope, then give Itachi one of Madara's Rinnegan eyes. Um. Fugaku was relieved after knowing that his son was still saved. On the way back, Uchiha Tamaki contacted the team working for the clan and asked them to stop chasing pirates and buy enough ships to accommodate all the clan members leaving. I don't plan to stay in the first half of the Great Waterway. After all, the place I am located is a desert island. The living environment has only been slightly improved in the past six months, but it is still far from suitable for living. For the sake of safety, Uchiha Tamaki is ready to leave with him. At the same time, he contacted Vince Magaji and asked him to prepare for the eye transplant surgery and prepare the necessary things. Ten days later, we returned to the gathering place. Shusui was assigned to be responsible for buying the boat, and then Uchiha Yugen began to arrange the people in the clan to prepare for the move. Many things can be sealed in scrolls. Secondly, drinking water can be solved by water escape. The main thing is to bring more fruits and necessary supplies. It also takes a few days to prepare, and within this time, the eye replacement surgery was performed. After waiting for a few days, there will be no problem with this operation. Uchiha Tamaki looked at the excited Vince Makaji and asked seriously. After all, the kaleidoscope is really hard to find, let alone a suitable one, and Itachi's kaleidoscope can be used by Sasuke in the future. If it is broken, Sasuke doesn't know if he can open the Rinnegan. No problem, Lord Yushuan. I have done countless surgeries on the human body and have a very good understanding of the body's structure. The eye structure of the Uchiha clan is not much different from that of ordinary people. The main reason is that the bloodline is different. If it is true as you said, eye exchange can improve the purity of the bloodline, the success rate must be very high. Vince Makaji replied confidently. The number of people who have been cut off by his hand is not even 1000, but 800. He transformed the replica soldiers bit by bit and made them to what he thought was the most perfect level before starting to produce them. He was so excited that he could not sleep for several days after being able to undergo this eye transplant surgery, especially after Uchiha Tamaki explained to him the reasons and importance of the surgery. While Uchiha Yugen was away, new supplies were sent from the Germa Kingdom, along with some of the instruments he needed, enough to complete the eye replacement surgery. Then get ready to start. Uchiha Tamaki didn't say much. This kind of lunatic will give 120% to the things he loves and make them the best. Chapter, 75 The operation begins. Vince Magaji took a deep breath and then spoke. Uchiha Fugaku and Itachi both have instruments inserted into their bodies. In addition to the drugs used for anesthesia and treatment, they are also used to collect information and obtain more intelligence, allowing Vince Makaji to have a deeper understanding of Uchiha. The wave bloodline will help the improvement of Uchiha bloodline in the future. The first step is to take the eyes, starting with Uchiha Itachi. Itachi wanted to refuse the eye replacement surgery at first because he didn't want to take away his father's eyes. After Uchiha Yugen seriously explained that eye changing can help both parties, it can improve the strength of the Uchiha clan, and at the same time, it can also obtain information to provide help for the Uchiha clan when the same situation occurs in the future. Even if the eye replacement does not achieve the expected results, the eyes can be replaced with extremely low risk. Only then did Uchiha Itachi agree to the eye replacement surgery. Moreover, the only two members of the clan who can master the magic of immortality are also waiting at the side, ready to provide help at any time. Two three Magatama Sharingan eyes were taken out from Uchiha Itachi's eye sockets and placed in a special solution aside for preservation. 
Vince Magaji was very careful here to ensure that no nerves were hurt. He then turned around and performed eye removal surgery on Uchiha Fugaku. Everything went smoothly. Uchiha Yugen's eyes have been fixed on Vince Makagaji to prevent this guy from suddenly causing trouble, and at the same time confirm the vital signs of the two Uchiha father and son, but now it seems that this man really likes blood. Next, we started to change eyes, starting with Uchiha Itachi. Slowly implant Fugaku's two eyes into Itachi's eye socket starting from left to right, and connect the nerves one by one. Vince Maka treated this three-meter tall man with extraordinary precision. He found that the nerves were similar to those of the people he had dissected before, so he moved quickly. It's done in about five minutes. Then came Uchiha Fugaku, who was a little faster, completing the eye change in four and a half minutes. Then they were bandaged and were not allowed to see the light for three days to let the new eyeballs adapt to this body. The operation is complete. The next step is to see if the replacement eyeball can adapt to the body. If rejection occurs, it must be removed immediately. Otherwise, the eyeball will be damaged or even completely inactive. After taking off his gloves, Vince Mak Kaji explained to Uchiha Tamaki. He couldn't wait to see the data at this time, but he knew that Uchiha Yugen was the boss, and he should explain clearly, just like when he first started learning these techniques and followed his mentor to please. When we start moving to the next gathering place, I will teach you how to use chakra. See if you can learn to master this power. Uchiha Yugen also decided that it was time to give Vince Mak Kaji some benefits. At the same time, he also wanted to confirm whether people in this world could use chakra, what the effect would be, and judge the risks. Then decide whether to spread the chakra. After all, the Sharingan is more effective for people with chakra, and using Genjutsu basically does not consume much. However, expanding chakra may also create new monsters. Who knows what will happen to people like the Yonko after they have chakra. This is also the reason why Uchiha Yugen has not taught chakra training to Rob Luchi and others for so long. Many thanks. I will definitely study hard for Uchiha and find the correct blood factor. Vince Makjiaji said very excitedly. He has been studying things like chakra these days and found that this energy is very mild and can be transformed into various substances. In his mind, he could use chakra to create an artificial devil fruit. Even, there are no side effects. However, he has no chakra, and he can only study it a little bit with the help of the Uchiha clan. His life was still in someone's hands, so naturally he didn't dare to have any objections. Now that he had this opportunity, he naturally wanted to show his loyalty to reassure the boss. This world is only a small part, and there are more unknown things waiting for you to study. Work well for Uchiha and I will not let you down. Give Uchiha Yugen some chicken soup. His children are still working for the Uchiha, and I am working hard here. Naturally, such people should be treated well. Vince Makaji was excited and couldn't wait for the day he left. Shusui purchased the ships and it took 10 days to come back one after another. Each boat can accommodate a hundred people, and there are not many supplies that need to be taken away. Just bring enough things. This time I am not running away, so I will take my time. Honey, how do you feel? Uchiha Mikoto looked at her husband and son with great distress. At the same time, she also knew the reason why her husband did this, so she felt even more sorry for her husband. Her son seemed to already have a girlfriend, so she didn't need to worry too much. It feels good, my new eyes are getting used to it. Fugaku replied. Today is the day to remove the bandage. I waited a day longer than expected just to ensure safety. Izumi had the same expression as Uchiha Mikoto, looking at Itachi with distress. Uchiha Tamaki felt a little redundant in the room. Only Vince Magaji was looking forward to it and wanted to see the first scene after the evolution of the bloodline. Let me take off your bandages. Then he went straight up and began to carefully take off the bandage. Fugaku and Itachi were a little uncomfortable seeing the sun, but their eyes soon became normal. I have normal vision in both eyes. Fugaku suppressed his excitement and said in a calm voice. He had done his best to give his eyes to his son and use the blind eyes himself. Unexpectedly, after replacing the eyes, the blind eye can actually see. 
Me too. Itachi was equally excited. Naturally, he didn't want to see his father using his eyes after he became blind. After learning that his father's eyes were fine, the pressure on his body disappeared immediately. Uchiha Mikoto and Izumi both held the hands of these two men very excitedly. Only Sasuke was still training silly outside, with only one dog, Xiaobai, accompanying him. He had no idea what happened this time, everything was hidden from him. Has all the data during the period been recorded? Uchiha Tamaki asked Vinsamakachi. These data are very important, but they are rare materials that cannot be recorded until Sasuke opens his eyes next time. I draw blood every day and analyze genes, saliva, heartbeat, surrounding environment, diet and other data. I record them all. Vince Makaji said quickly. In order to ensure that everything was foolproof and that the data could be interfered with, he recorded everything without missing a beat. The next step is to test whether your eyes have evolved into the eternal Manjiki Sharingan. Go out and try. If the Uchiha could get two more Gundams, they could really walk sideways on this sea. Chapter, 76 The group of people came to the back of the port to prevent the power of the experiment from affecting ships and other areas. Shirsue and Izumi also came together, while Uchiha Mikoto went back to pack her things. Do you feel the amount of chakra has increased? On the way, Uchiha Tamaki asked the two of them. After the defects of the bloodline are made up for, the first thing that changes is the amount of chakra. When the Sharingan Magatama is improved, and when the kaleidoscope is turned on, the chakra will be improved. My chakra has increased by about three times its previous level. Fugaku gave very precise figures. Apart from eating these days, I spend the rest of my time carefully feeling the changes in my body. Many times he felt the warmth coming from his eyes, which made him want to try opening the Sharingan, but he always stopped. I should have ten times that. After hearing his father's answer, Itachi hesitated for a moment, and then spoke. He wondered why it was different, but told the truth anyway. Uchiha Yugen nodded and didn't ask any more questions. Open the Mangekyo Sharingan, cast Susanoo, and see how it feels. After arriving at an open location, Uchiha Tamaki said. Fugaku and Itachi stood apart and began to use the Manjikyu Sharingan under the gaze of everyone. Only Itachi's pupil pattern has changed, Fugaku has not. Uchiha Tamaki quickly discovered this and spoke. Fugaku's eyes at this time officially looked like Itachi's Manjiki Sharingan, but Itachi's Manjiki Sharingan that belonged to Fugaku had changed. It was originally three windmills with three black dots, but these three black dots became three Magatama. The pupil pattern has changed. Susano. Then Fugaku and Itachi used the third power of the Manjiki Sharingan, Susanoo. Two Susanoos who were in their early thirties appeared in front of everyone. The color hasn't changed. Uchiha Tamaki continued. Vince Amakaji on the side recorded everything Uchiha Tamaki said. Uchiha Fugaku's Susanoo is still brown, while Itachi's Susanoo is fiery red. Although his eyes have been replaced, Susanoo's color has not changed and remains the same as before. Clan leader, now I don't feel the pain that I felt in every cell of my body when I used the Manjiki Sharingan. It feels like using ninjutsu normally, only the chakra is consumed. Uchiha Fugaku spoke about his condition, which surprised him. Is this what it feels like without side effects? Me too. Itachi followed suit. Vince Makaj continues to record. Then the two of them released Susanoo and began to use the Manjikyu eye technique. The two's pupil skills have not changed, but their power has been enhanced, their effects are better, and they no longer shed blood or tears. Now the fighting power of the two of them is at least twice as strong as before. There is no side effect of the kaleidoscope, and it is completely different when used in combat. Vince Makaji carefully recorded every word they said after the surgery. Next is the physical fitness test, vision test, property change and morphological change power test, etc. And the most detailed data must be recorded. It took about an hour to complete these tedious tests. However, Vince Makaji seemed to feel that he was not good enough yet and needed to do more, but Uchiha Tamaki stopped him, and there was no need for useless tests. Itachi, 
Can your Susanu do what I can? As he was about to leave, Uchiha Tamaki asked Itachi. Everyone on the field was stunned for a moment, and then their eyes fell on Itachi, a little surprised. Although everyone was curious about why Uchiha Yugen's strength increased so quickly, everyone was restrained and did not ask. Just know that the clan leader is working hard for the Uchiha. But there are new people who can be like the clan leader, the perfect Susanoo, which makes them feel itchy. Itachi hesitated. When the clan leader asks you, just tell him directly and don't hide anything. Fugaku frowned and spoke directly with a slightly scolding tone. After Itachi joined ANBU, he communicated with him less and kept many things in his heart. Although Itachi has worked hard to change after coming here, his personality is still different from when he was a child, and he has become dull. I think I can. Hearing his father's scolding, Itachi spoke directly without hesitation. He was afraid that if he did it but his father didn't, his father would be unhappy. So I didn't say it directly, thinking of explaining the matter to Uchiha Tamaki in private. Every bit of combat power now helps the family a lot. There is no need to worry. Everyone is working hard to restore Uchiha's glory. Show your strength to your heart's content, Itachi. Uchiha Yugen said seriously. It also has a bit of chicken soup flavor, after all, Uchiha is very fond of this. Madara, Itachi, Shursue and Sasuke were all drunk with chicken soup. Uchiha Itachi nodded heavily. Then his pupils rotated rapidly, and Susanoo's bones quickly appeared on his body. Then he stood directly in an equilateral hexagonal frame, and his figure continued to rise. Susanoo quickly emerged, with armor, wings, etc. A fire that was almost as tall as Uchiha Tamaki's complete Susanoo. Completely red Susanoo appeared in front of everyone. This is really the power of blood. Vince Makaji looked at all this in shock. Although Uchiha Yugen had told him enough before, the final weapon that defeated him, Jerma 66, was the power derived from the Uchiha bloodline. But he felt that there must be a secret, but he didn't expect it to be so. Just by changing a pair of eyes, the strength has been greatly improved. This is unreasonable. But all this appeared in front of him. Then Itachi controlled Susanoo and pulled out the 120 meter long sword from Susanoo's waist towards the sea, and directly made a powerful slash, splitting the sea surface not far away. It spread thousands of meters away. After releasing the attack, Uchiha Itachi released Susanoo and fell from the air. Fugaku looked at Itachi with a smile on his face. Compared to himself, he was more happy that his son was excellent. I was able to maintain the level just now for about five minutes. The amount of chakra consumed was too much and I couldn't maintain it for a long time. But it's not very taxing on the body. All it requires is chakra. After Uchiha Itachi came down, he told Uchiha Yugen the specific situation. Hearing this number, Uchiha Yugen was not surprised. After all, when he came here, Itachi said that the chakra had increased tenfold. When his bloodline awakened, his chakra increased more than a hundred times, which was not the same level at all. Itachi's current chakra amount should be less than Sasuke's after he turned on the eternal manjiki, but the difference will not be more than three times. Uchiha Yugen's current level of chakra should be similar to Uchiha Madara's before his death, but in terms of actual combat experience, he cannot compare with Uchiha Madara. It seems to be due to Indra's chakra. Ordinary Uchiha will also be limited by chakra when opening the eternal kaleidoscope. Five minutes of Gundam is better than nothing. At least while I'm away, unless the Yonko or the Admiral comes knocking, the other's Itachi should be able to handle it. Uchiha Yugen found the reason here. Sasuke and Madara were both reincarnations of Indra, and he directly reached the level of Indra's bloodline. Itachi is probably the only one who can activate the eternal kaleidoscope by changing his eyes. But this power can be of great help now. Chapter, 77 In Itachi's case, I don't know if it's because of his qualifications or because he's a compatriot with Indra. The last Uchiha Izuna died, so there is no way to find out. Fugaku's Manjiki has not evolved. I don't know if it is because of his bloodline or his aptitude, but at least the Manjiki Sharingan has regained its sight. Is it because this consumes more potential? 
Uchiha Tamaki doesn't know what the specific situation is, and there are currently no close relatives who have kaleidoscopes, so they can conduct the next experiment. So I can only write it down and judge later. This strength is enough. When I catch a tailed beast for you to use later, should be able to keep it for a few hours. Captain Fugaku, when you go back later, see if you can improve it with the first generation cells, and then try to open the complete body. The tailed beasts can also try it. Uchiha Yugen spoke to the two father and son. Itachi succeeded, Fugaku didn't, and Uchiha Tamaki didn't know what was going on. He could only explain it with his qualifications. After all, Itachi has been the genius of the Uchiha clan for so many years. Madara, Shirsue, and Itachi, these three are all real geniuses in modern times. Uchiha Tamaki feels that he is at most better than Fugaku, but still a little worse than these three people. Fugaku and Itachi responded quickly. On the sidelines, Vince Makaji heard a new term, tailed beast. He felt itchy in his heart, but since Uchiha Yugen didn't tell him, it was hard for him to ask questions. After so long, he has also figured out that this clan definitely has a big secret. He is an outsider. He can only listen to what Uchiha Yugen is willing to tell. If he doesn't tell, he should not try to pry at most. Get ready to pack up and leave the rest of the journey will be very troublesome. If we stay here, it will be our real clan land in the future. Vince Makjiaji was the first to run. He was going to save the data and at the same time take out the previous day's data and study it carefully. Izumi followed Itachi happily, her mind completely focused on Itachi and not thinking about her own strength at all. Only Shirsue remained. Are you asking if there is a way for you to evolve Kaleidoscope? Shirsue nodded. He didn't want to possess the full power of Susano, but he felt that he needed this power. To him, Itachi was his younger brother. If he encountered danger in the future, would he really let Itachi fight while he could only watch helplessly? He doesn't want that day to come. As far as I know, there shouldn't be. My method cannot be done by others. It requires a close relative to replace the Mangekyo Sharingan like Itachi. When we return to the ninja world and use the first generation cells, we can only do the same as Captain Fugaku, suppressing the side effects of the kaleidoscope to almost nothing, and at the same time increasing the weight of chakra. We cannot achieve a qualitative change like Itachi and let the kaleidoscope evolve. The plug-in cannot be used by others, and he only knows this way to evolve the eternal Mangekyo in the ninja world. Hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Shirsue nodded silently and did not force it. The only possibility is that Vince Magaji has done some research, found the difference between the eternal kaleidoscope and the ordinary kaleidoscope, and then transformed you. But this matter is not easy, and after all, Vince Makaji is not from the ninja world. It is impossible to judge whether his research will be effective. After returning to the ninja world, I will recruit Orochimaru and study together. To find that possibility. And sure sway, don't be limited to Uchiha's power. This world also has infinite possibilities, right? The power of blood has its limits, but people can surpass this limit. Uchiha Yugen saw Shirsue like this, so he said, give him a hope, and fill him up with chicken soup at the same time. Sure enough, after listening to Uchiha Tamaki's words, Shirsue's expression became more confident. It is somewhat similar to the sunny look before, but now there is a feeling of depression inside. I understand, clan leader. Shirsue answered seriously. Uchiha Tamaki was very pleased to see Shirsue, who was full of energy again after being fooled by him. Uchiha is really easy to fool. After solving the problem of the ferret's eyes, the next step was to move. It took a day to move all the necessary things to the ship. Then a barrier seal was left on the island. If no one invades and breaks it, the barrier can last for three years. After all, no one lives in this place. What if it comes in use? Target, Shambord Islands. Uchiha Yugen ordered through the phone bug. The ten ships set sail directly and began their voyage. Then Uchiha Yugen gathered all the senior officials together to prepare for the meeting. This time, in addition to the Uchiha people, Rob Lucci and Vince Makaji were all summoned by Uchiha Yugen. This time our target is Fishman Island. 
This place was the territory previously protected by the Whitebeard Pirates of the Four Emperor's Pirates. But now that the Whitebeard Pirates are being hunted by the Admiral, they are completely unable to continue to protect this territory. I am ready to bring this area into the Uchiha sphere of influence. At the same time, train troops here. Uchiha Tamaki revealed his plan. After Whitebeard's death, the Whitebeard pirates did not have the strength to continue to occupy the territory they had in the past. Now it is difficult to survive because the navy will not let them go. Sakaski and Kazan competed for Marshall, and it changed from a fight to whoever catches or kills Fire Fist Ace. Whoever kills Ace first will be the Marshal. So now the Whitebeard pirates are being targeted by two generals, and the other four emperors will not help, so it is good that the Whitebeard pirates cannot be destroyed. There are enough enemies here for training. The pirates who want to enter the New World will pass by here, and there is also some trouble in Fishman Island. While learning armament hockey, I will strengthen my body and when the time is right, I will fight back to Kanoha. Uchiha Yugen said with firm eyes. The Uchiha clan members in the cabin all had mixed expressions, but the ones who were the most angry were the ones with the most resentful expressions. Shusue is the one who feels the most uncomfortable. Unlike other Uchiha clan members, he is very excited to fight back to Kanoha. Only Vince Magaji and Rob Lucci didn't know what was going on, but they didn't dare to ask, so they just listened silently. You can start learning armament hockey on the way there now. You will be responsible for Shusue ships 1 to 5, and I will be responsible for the rest. Starting today, all members of the Uchiha Combat Force will undergo intensive physical training. Vince Amakaji, you are responsible for collecting data and analyzing it together. Ra Bluchi, you are responsible for guiding the physical strengthening training. The above, dismissal. Uchiha Tamaki then ordered. Improve the combat effectiveness of the Uchiha clan in all aspects, and then fight back to Kanoha. Chapter, 78 To guide the clansmen in practicing the armed color, it is enough for Uchiha Yugen to send a shadow clone. The main body plus another shadow clone continued to develop the Raisingan that incorporated the attributes, and at the same time tried to integrate the two attributes to develop the blood succession limit. At the same time, the water attributes property changes and form changes were successfully practiced. Uchiha Yugen feels that it is because of the evolution of his bloodline. In the past, it was difficult for him to cultivate the water attribute. Indra's attributes should be all attributes. After all, Indra was the one who developed the concept of ninjutsu and was a genius. At the same time, there is also an attempt to attach overlord colored domineering energy to the Raisingan. The Overlord color is used to attack with a stun effect, just like the Paralysis Ring in the legend. It cannot surround people who attack with the Overlord color, and it is basically difficult to defeat enemies who use the Overlord color to attack. The head of the Raisingan also has a bonus, and the two together can exert great power. It is estimated that the person who is hit will either have his head blown out directly, or he will stay in place for a few minutes. Itachi, Fugaku and Rob Lucci mastered armament hockey on the second day. Then Izumi, Yashiro, and other members of the San Magadama clan began to master it one after another. However, for the Uchiha clan, armed color hockey does consume too much physical strength. It is difficult to be like Luffy and other physical abnormalities, who always attach armed color to attack. It feels more appropriate to use it defensively, or for a critical hit. Therefore, Physical training is very important. Rob Lucci leads a group of people to train every day, carrying weights. Some people even use chakra to tread water and keep running behind the boat. It's completely squeezing the limits of your body. If you practiced like this in the ninja world, a person would have been disabled long ago, but in this world, the body can actually bear it. It's just that the appetite has increased and many training people go directly to the sea to catch Neptune species to supplement protein. Moreover, Uchiha Yugen discovered a new training method. Using the aura of overlord color and domineering to suppress these clansmen who were exhausted after training can stimulate their mental power to slowly increase. Uchiha Yugen's overlord color control is perfect, so he can release it in one direction without affecting ordinary clan members. There is a kind of fantasy novel, 
where a powerful boss uses his momentum to suppress and choose the right disciples of the sect. On the first day, nearly 80% of the people nearby fainted. After that, the number of people slowly decreased, and the duration also increased. Vince Makaji was very busy just recording data every day. Fortunately, Uchiha Yugen sent several tribesmen to help him. After all, not all clan members are in the fighting force. Uchiha Yugen will not force it and can do other jobs. Ten days later we arrived at the Shambord Islands. As soon as he got close, he was spotted by the navy, but when he saw the flag with the Uchiha clan emblem, he let him go. Now this flag is known to many people, the power of the blood eye of the Shichibukai, Uchiha Gamajin. After arriving, go directly to someone from the navy to coat the ship without having to go to anyone else. However, the news soon spread to Sengoku's office. Before a new general was selected, he still had to serve as the navy marshal. But now it seems that catching fire fist ace is not so quick. Sengoku feels that he will stay in this position for a while. Coding. If you want to go to the new world, why don't you apply to the world government and go directly from Mariajoya? And there are hundreds of people in ten ships. These are all the people of the Uchiha force. Do they want to go to the new world to carve up Whitebeard's legacy? Warring states was a little confused. The Shichibukai can completely take the world government's passage, and there is no need to waste time by going through Fishman Island. In his opinion, Uchiha Tamaki went to the new world just to carve up the territory of the Whitebeard pirates and grab profits. Although he couldn't stand the behavior of pirates, he thought that Uchiha Tamaki could suppress the Whitebeard pirates and force them to have no choice but to do so. Then the information was tossed aside. At the same time, this information was also transmitted to the world government, and the five old stars personally watched it. The hairstyle, grooming, and even the clothes are very similar. This is a real family, not Doflamingo's piecemeal stuff. Blood eyes. It seems that I have never heard of such a race before. According to the information, there are no such people with blood eyes anywhere else in the world. This group of people seems to have appeared suddenly, first near the water capital, and then after defeating Bartholomew Bear, capture Straw Hat Luffy in exchange for the position of the Shichibukai. Except for the ability to transform into a giant, other abilities are very common, but these people almost all have the same ability. There is no such fruit in the Devil Fruit Illustrated book. Is it the power brought by the awakening of some special fruit? The five old stars discussed the Uchiha clan. After all, the strength shown by Uchiha Yugen was indeed strong enough for them to notice. The most important thing is that this person is too mysterious in their eyes. He suddenly rose up and almost no information can be found in the past. This is really strange to the world government, whose espionage personnel cover almost the entire sea, and they have to be puzzled. After all, even the four emperors and the revolutionary army would have their manpower, but this force was unheard of. Do you want this Shichibukai to send a few people to study it? Doing this will anger that Shichibukai. Now that one of the four emperors is missing, if he is angered, he may leave the Shichibukai directly and seize the position of the four emperors. It is very likely that he will succeed. Arrange CP0, find their location, and snatch a few people back. Can. The five old stars quickly decided on the idea of catching the Uchiha clan and cutting them into pieces. After all, four Susanus appeared in a row, and the same blood pupil was displayed at the navy headquarters. It would be strange not to be targeted. The world government is not useless. The rocks pirates, Roger pirates, including the four emperors, etc. As well as the revolutionary army, none of them can really threaten the position of the world government. Their control over this world is deeper than any other force. So don't worry about anything when you do anything. After spending a day in shampoo and purchasing some supplies, we went directly to the sea. It doesn't take much time to get the permanent pointer of Fishman Island from the navy. Amazing! Sasuke was lying next to the railing with his eyes wide open and very curious, observing the situation outside the bubble with his eyes. However, the light soon decreased and it was impossible to see far. It soon became boring. People in the Uchiha clan were very wary in the sea. 
After all, it was a place they had never been to before. It is also difficult to tell the time from the environment in the dark. But not long after, another light appeared, and his vision gradually recovered. There really are cities in the sea. Although Uchiha Yugen has said it, many people are still skeptical. When they saw the Dragon Palace city covered in huge bubbles on the seabed, they couldn't help showing shocked expressions. It wasn't until the boat entered the outermost bubble of Fishman Island and entered the air layer that everyone recovered from their surprise and looked carefully at this dreamlike island. It will be on the shelves tomorrow, please subscribe. Chapter, 79 Chapter, 80 Captain Fugaku, Put People on Guard If anyone approaches 300 meters without heeding the warning, they will be killed directly. Ra Bluchi, take someone to follow me to the island. Uchiha Yugen arranged. He wasn't here to seize control of the island, but he wasn't unable to do so either. Fishman Island is also one of the alternative targets, but Uchiha Yugen still prefers to be on the sea. After all, humans are still more accustomed to living on land. And if we take away control of this island, the world government may acquiesce. But now, he was going to inform the king of Fishman Island that this territory was protected by their Uchiha and he was ready to pay the protection fee. Yes. The CP9 people jumped off the boat and followed Uchiha Tamaki. Before Uchiha Yugen and others could enter the second bubble, the fishman from the immigration inspection appeared. Uchiha Tamaki didn't talk nonsense. He directly controlled the Sharingan Jinjutsu and asked the other party to take him to Ryugu Castle. Rob Luchi and others were already accustomed to this, and followed Uchiha Tamaki like bodyguards. The murlocs who were subject to immigration inspection basically didn't encounter any obstruction, but the surrounding murlocs and mermaids looked at these humans curiously, wondering why they appeared here. It wasn't until they were approaching Dragon Palace City that the mermaid noticed something was wrong. Yub, why did you bring these people here? As soon as the leading mermaid captain finished speaking, he was directly controlled by the Sharingan just like the murlocs at the immigration inspection office, including the ten murlocs he led on patrol. In this way, we walked towards Dragon Palace City easily. The power of the Whitebeard Pirates is no longer able to protect Fishman Island, and Jinbei has also given up his position in the Shichibukai. If no one can protect Fishman Island, it will go back to the old days, where pirates and even pirates will continue to kidnap mermaids and fishmen and use them as slaves. King Neptune of Fishman Island frowned and explained the situation to his three sons. The war on the top has only been over twenty days, but pirates have been appearing on Fishman Island quite frequently recently. Although the Whitebeard pirates were protecting them in the past, those pirates did not dare to enter Fishman Island, but they would lie in wait outside Fishman Island and catch those fish and mermaids who left Fishman Island. This is also the reason why the auction house on the Shampoo Islands can auction mermaids. But without the protection of the Whitebeard pirates, if those pirates were allowed to enter Fishman Island and plunder, he didn't know how many clan members would be captured. I can only hope that the fees charged by the other Yonko pirates will not be much more than the Whitebeard pirates. The eldest prince, Shark Star, was also helpless. Although Fishman Island has a population of 5 million, those pirates are not afraid of death at all, and many of them are very powerful. Even if it resists the pirate attack, it will still cause serious damage. Pirates appear continuously and it is impossible to clean them up. Even the navy will take the opportunity to appear and help the celestial dragons plunder the mermaids. Without the deterrence of a powerful enough force, there would be no peace on Fishman Island. There has been some chaos in Fishman Street recently. Those guys may have some ideas. The second prince, Huang Xing, also followed suit. It is unstable externally and unstable internally. These are issues that need to be addressed. Bang! Before Neptune could speak, the palace gate fell to the ground. The four mermaids were startled and quickly looked towards the door. Only a few humans were seen standing at the front, and behind them were a group of Sea King troops. What's wrong with these Sea King troops? Why are they together with the human invaders and not arresting them? Neptune was confused. After all, there were many of his men standing outside, but his men turned a blind eye to these humans. He thought they were about to rebel. 
The three Shark Star brothers quickly picked up their weapons and looked at Uchiha Tamaki and his group with wary expressions, as if they were ready to take action at any time. I am King Shichibukai Uchiha Yugen. From today on, Fishman Island will be under the jurisdiction of Uchiha. From now on, the protection fee will be handed over to me, and the Uchiha will protect this place. Uchiha Yugen didn't talk nonsense here, he explained his identity and purpose of coming very directly. Shichibukai. Our Fishman Island is a member of the world government. The Shichibukai is also a member of the world government. How can we take action against the alliance? Neptune looked dissatisfied, but felt relieved. Then he asked directly to Uchiha Tamaki in an angry tone. It's just the Shichibukai, Fishman Island is not something you can protect at your level. Shark Star on the side also said very rudely. Jean Bay used to be a Shichibukai, but he still had to be protected by the Whitebeard Pirates. The Yonko and the Shichibukai are not on the same level at all in their eyes. If the Shichibukai could do this, they wouldn't have approached the Whitebeard Pirates in the first place. I'm not negotiating, I'm informing. If you don't agree, then Fishman Island will be replaced by a king who agrees. Uchiha Tamaki said in a cold tone. After saying that, he directly released his overlord colored domineering energy. The dark red electric arc kept beating in the air, and the overlord colored domineering energy instantly covered the Dragon Palace city. The extremely oppressive aura made the mermaid father and son tense up, not even daring to take a breath, and looked at Achiha Tamaki in shock. The navy troops who had followed all the way outside were struck by the overlord's color and instantly fell to the ground like straw. After awakening the overlord color hockey, Uchiha Tamaki felt that his mental power had at least doubled, so now he controls nearly a hundred Neptune soldiers and fishes without feeling tired, but rather relaxed. Are you going to betray the world government and take action against the countries that join the world government? Neptune said this with great difficulty. He hopes to use the world government to oppress Uchiha Tamaki. The Shichibukai and the world government are just cooperating, not superiors or subordinates. Furthermore, will the world government really care about attacking Fishman Island? Perhaps you will be happier, what do you think? Uchiha Yugen responded mercilessly. At the same time, it stabbed the only thing Neptune could rely on, because the world government didn't care much about Fishman Island. There is not even a navy stationed in a city with a population of 5 million. Why should the world government turn against the Shichibukai for such a country? Neptune clutched his chest, but was unable to defend himself. Clatter. Then Uchiha Yugen snapped his fingers, and he directly used the Sharingan to control Neptune's three sons. Let the three of them raise their weapons against Neptune. Neptune was horrified. The rebel is actually his own son. But I quickly realized that this was the devil fruit ability of the Shichibukai. According to the Whitebeard Pirates Protection Fee, there is also a long-term provision of food for 5,000 people. You have one minute to think about it. Uchiha Yugen directly proposed the price, not only asking for money, but also for food. Because the Uchiha clan has to undergo intensive training on this island and has no time to find food. Neptune looked at Uchiha Tamaki with a gloomy expression. He felt extremely powerless at this time and couldn't find any chance to resist. Neptune gritted his teeth and agreed with difficulty. Chapter, 81 Things were resolved quickly. Although there are better ways to ease the relationship between the two parties, Uchiha Yugen is not prepared to give these mermaids face. If you are a good person, you will be exploited, just like Shursui and Itachi. It's okay to be kind to your own people, but it's already good enough to not let these outsiders work in vain for 997. Uchiha Tamaki only controlled Shark Star and took him away as a hostage. At the same time, he asked Neptune to make arrangements to clear an uninhabited area for the Uchiha clan to move in. Seeing Uchiha Yugen leading people away, Neptune's face fell. Is this guy going to stay on Fishman Island? Neptune felt threatened when he thought that Uchiha Tamaki wanted him to vacate an area where a thousand people could live. Because in his opinion, this Shichibukai wants to establish Fishman Island as his territory. Are you guessing that mermaids and fishmen will be captured and sold as slaves for a long time? Otherwise, why would humans live under the sea? 
this place is not suitable at all. We still need to contact the four emperors. Neptune arrived determined. He never thought of looking for the world government because he had never believed in those people. The trust level of the world government on Fishman Island is worse than that of pirates. Master Yushuan, they might go to the world government. Will it be a big problem? On the way back, Rob Lucci asked with a hint of caution. After hanging out with Uchiha Yugen for half a year, he could also see that this man was definitely not simple, and it would be difficult for him to surpass him. Following such a person, he was not clean enough to be embarrassed, so he gradually began to truly surrender to Uchiha Tamaki. No, they won't go to the world government, they should go to the Yonko pirates. Uchiha Yugen shook his head, and then said. Although it is a member of the world government, it has not participated in several world conferences. No Luffy showed up to make them trust humans. Even if they go to the world government and the world government says it will help them, they won't believe it. Do you need me to deal with them? Only after Rob Lucci experienced the true strength of a strong man in the top battle did he understand what the Yonko meant. When encountering such an enemy, I am afraid only Master Yushuan can deal with it. He thought this was a troublesome problem, so it would be better to kill those mermaids directly. The world government would not be able to find any evidence. No, I've already guessed they would do this. There are too few strong people on Fishman Island. You have other strong people. If you want to get enough experience, you need a suitable opponent. The Yonko pirates are a suitable target. It is impossible for the Yonko to come in person. They should all be their subordinates. For you, the strength of these pirates is enough for you to fight with all your strength. Uchiha Yugen shook his head and said his plan, there was no need to hide it. It's intentional. Let Nipton go fishing, catch some powerful guys, and give Shirsue and Rob Lucci some practice. How can you just train without fighting? Moreover, it requires real actual combat, and the effect of one's own internal combat training is much worse. It would take too long to go directly to the Yonko pirates, so it would be better to wait here for them to come. He never cared about offending the Yonko pirates or anything like that. Hearing what Uchiha Yugen said, Rob Luchi nodded, stopped talking, and followed Uchiha Yugen silently. He really wanted to say that you are still the culprit after all. But I feel that with such a big boss, as long as the other party doesn't abandon me, then he will definitely have a share in victory. And even if the four emperors come, except for the red hair, if the remaining two come to Fishman Island, I will hang them up and beat them. Uchiha Yugen is very confident. When the Yonko class fights, the two huge Yonkos will be blasted directly into the sea water within a range of just a few kilometers, and the battle will be over. The weakness of the devil fruit is its huge flaw. In the sea, in addition to physical masters like Garp and simple swordsmen like red-haired Hawkeye, Uchiha Tamaki was not afraid of anyone with devil fruit abilities. And if Neptune doesn't make any mistakes, if he wants to attack Fishman Island and take it down, this guy will feel guilty and have some moral integrity, and he might just take over Fishman Island. Neptune didn't dare to do anything at all at this time. He did everything that Uchiha Tamaki arranged, cleared an area, and handed it over to Uchiha Tamaki. The next day, Uchiha Yugen and his tribe entered the Fishman Island in a lively manner and began to settle down. It is naturally much better to live in this kind of town than on a deserted island, and many tribesmen showed smiles on their faces. Captain Fugaku, arranged for personnel to go to this area for actual combat training. There is a pirate group gathered here. There are many people, but their strength is average. The main goal of training is to build physical strength and use armed domineering in actual combat. The physical fitness of these murlocs is two to three times stronger than that of ordinary people. It is not easy to solve. The tribesmen are required to do this unless they face the threat of death. Otherwise, they are not allowed to do so. Use ninjutsu. Shirsue, Itachi, Rob Luchi, you are responsible for keeping an eye on these training people. When the top brass of this pirate group takes action, try not to kill them all at once. Leave a breath and make them resentful. Continue after they recover. Try to maintain more than three months of training intensity. The living area is patrolled and guarded 24 hours a day. 
no strangers are allowed to approach. Leaving the living area to purchase necessary supplies requires someone at the captain level or above to lead the team. All tribesmen under the age of 15 must you are not allowed to leave the living area. According to wartime standards, the time limit is three months. Uchiha Yugen called a meeting with people above the captain level. He stated all his arrangements and orders at once. The villagers living in Ninja Village are not ordinary people. They always have plans to prepare for war. In the Uchiha clan, anyone who can stand up can throw a kanai shuriken or something like that. This is the power of Uchiha. No one was dissatisfied with these orders. Although they came to this dreamlike island, everyone came here with humiliation. Everything they are doing now is to wash away this humiliation, so they will execute this order without reservation. After three months of persistence, our counterattack will begin. For the glory of Uchiha. Uchiha Tamaki raised his hands and shouted. For the glory of Uchiha. Everyone present raised their hands and shouted. Then everyone left excitedly to convey the order given by Uchiha Tamaki and prepare to start a big fight. My strength also needs to be improved. In terms of physical fitness, I have fallen behind too much due to hockey. It is too difficult to cover Susanoo with my armed colors. The quality of hockey is there, but the quantity is insufficient and needs to be improved. I hope that before returning to Kanoha, Susanoo's 120-meter-long sword can be covered with armed hockey and slashed at the Hokage Rock. Uchiha Yugen divided into two shadow clones, one was responsible for guarding the area where he lived, and the other continued to be responsible for researching fusion attributes. The main body is responsible for strengthening the body and increasing physical fitness. He couldn't wait until he returned to Kanoha to see the shocked eyes of senior officials like the third generation. Chapter, 82 Bulu Bulu. The phone that Uchiha Yugen placed on the chair not far away rang. Boom. Putting the 500 kilograms of exercise weights in his hands on the ground, he wiped the sweat on his body with a towel, and then Uchiha Tamajin walked over and connected the phone. I am Doflamingo. Let's discuss carefully what you said last time. Doflamingo, who was on the other end of the phone bug, was sitting casually on the throne of Dress Rosa holding a glass of red wine in his hand, and talking to Uchiha Yugen with the phone bug microphone in the other hand. During this month, he investigated a large amount of data, and like the world government, he could not find any information about Uchiha. At the same time, the new world has begun to become chaotic. The other four emperors have begun to occupy the territory of the Whitebeard Pirates. At the same time, some newcomers have also begun to attack the position of the four emperors, and the fight is in full swing. The Whitebeard Pirates are now being beaten by the Navy and are running around. They dare not show up at all and can only keep running away. This is almost the best situation he expected. However, since he was not strong enough but wanted the position of the four emperors very much, he could only find Uchiha Tamaki as a suitable cooperation target. I want Dress Rosa, give it to me, and I can help deal with any enemies you encounter who are stronger than you when you take the position of Yanko until you take the position of Yanko. Uchiha Tamaki said in a non-negotiable tone. Apart from this, Doflamingo really has no other value. There are plenty of treasures in Ryugu City. As for arms, the Kingdom of Jerma provides better ones. Are there no other conditions? Doflamingo was very unhappy, but the position of the Yanko was indeed tempting to him. But without overwhelming strength, there was no way to sit firmly in this position. He was afraid that if he didn't sit firmly, he would be pushed down. After all, he still knows his own strength very well and can become the overlord of a party, but he is still far behind the four emperors. Even if the other party helped him become the four emperors, it would be difficult to sit down all the time. He would feel a headache when the steady stream of pirates came to challenge him. With Dress Rosa as a guarantee, he didn't want to take such a big risk. Not only might his territory be lost, but his people might also be lost. Or how about I become the fourth emperor and you serve me as my deputy? Uchiha Yugen thought for a while and then said. Being the Yanko was mainly too troublesome, and he had no interest in managing those pirates. The people of the kingdom were definitely much easier to manage than the pirates. If Uchiha Tamaki only came to this world by himself, 
he might be more suitable to serve as the four emperors and recruit his subordinates to serve him. However, the combat power of the Uchiha clan, after being strengthened, can definitely rival the Yonko pirates, and even reach the level of the Rocks pirates back then. It would be very suitable for Doflamingo to manage the pirates. There is no need to question his ability. The ability to squeeze and beat workers is definitely among the best in this world. Dress Rosa is full of workers who work for free. Didn't you say you don't want to be the four emperors? Doflamingo questioned. Without a kingdom for me, I have no choice but to be a Yonko. And with you helping me with the work, I'm just responsible for fighting. It's similar to what we discussed before, except that I become the Yonko. From now on, you will become my royal lieutenant, and Dress Rosa will also belong to me, right? Doflamingo was stunned when he said this. After doing it again and again, it seems that I am always at the disadvantage. There is no future for Kaido as a dog. If you want to find the glory that belonged to the celestial dragons in the past, only I can help you. You can only continue to be Kaido's dog to gain his support, or you can trade Dress Rosa with me and I will help you become the Yonko and then leave it alone, or I can be the Yonko and you can be my deputy. I do things. There are only so many paths to choose from. I also have my own plan. Give me your answer now. If not, I will start organizing people to take over Whitebeard's territory. Uchiha Tamajin directly exposed the pain points in Doflamingo's heart, and directly told Doflamingo's situation so that he could see the reality clearly. There is only one chance to change your destiny, and that is to get on your own boat. Otherwise, I'm waiting to be defeated by Luffy, who I want to be the Pirate King, and then be captured by the Navy. Who are you and why do you know so many things? Doflamingo's expression changed drastically after hearing Uchiha Tamaki's words on the other end. Then with a dark face, he held the phone's microphone tightly and suppressed the anger in his heart and asked. Your strength has reached this point, which is already the limit. Either you continue to stay here and wait to die, or you follow me to a farther location. Uchiha Tamaki continues to PUA Doflamingo, undermining his self-confidence. Doflamingo must have felt it over the years, otherwise he wouldn't have gone to the Kaido Alliance to work as a dog for others. They are said to be partners, but basically Doflamingo is providing help, and what they get in exchange is some cold weapons built by Wano Country, which is a waste of work. What is your goal? One Piece. Doflamingo calmed down. Once the secret is known, he knows it, and it doesn't have much impact on him. The current discussion is about the position of the four emperors. It's just that he feels afraid of the man Uchiha Yugen. This kind of person is too dangerous and he has no way to control him. What kind of king is the pirate king? I want to overturn this world. When tricking people into joining the gang, Uchiha Tamaki naturally wants to make his target as big as possible. Especially for a person like Doflamingo who has overlord like hockey, he doesn't have a big enough goal and is not interested in listening at all. Ha ha ha. Interesting. Then, I, Doflamingo, will try to trust you for once. If you fail to achieve my goal, I will abandon you without hesitation. Doflamingo laughed. The phone bug Uchiha Tamaki held in his hand also imitated the ghostly smile. Doflamingo is indeed tired of the current situation. Although he is already the king of arms in the underground trade, so what? Money is just a number to him, he wants to get more power. There is no way out for the world government, so the sea emperor is the only way. No matter how much arms he sells, he is just an arms dealer. He wants to be the one in control of power. If you can't do it yourself, then choose to follow a strong person you can trust. You don't have that chance. Now you can go out to sea and seize Whitebeard's territory. If you encounter someone you can't handle, just contact me directly on the phone. I will arrive within 12 hours. Wait until the territory is almost big, and then reveal our intention to compete for the position of the four emperors, so as to avoid the navy's early obstruction, and then wait for the challengers to appear, defeat them one by one, and prove that we have the strength of the four emperors. Get started, mate. Uchiha Yugen began to make arrangements. Anyway, Fishman Island has the backbone, and now Doflamingo has begun to work for him. When the territory is almost established, 
and Da Flamingo wants to cause trouble, he will probably come back from Kanoha by then and bring all the people. Take over the land directly. Although there were some deviations from expectations, I still started with the four emperors, but I was able to complete the task no matter what. In addition to this mission, Uchiha Yugen was not prepared to rush, so there was no rush. It's good to take some time to improve your strength. Moreover, with absolute strength, he is not afraid of Doflamingo's tricks. He boarded my ship and still wants to run away. I see. Doflamingo felt that this hasty order was too childish. However, with the support of Uchiha Tamaki, he immediately felt confident. If cooperation doesn't work, the worst he can do is give up. He feels that he is not at a loss. Convene a family meeting. All cadres must attend. Those who are not available will be contacted by telephone bugs. Then Doflamingo also started calling for people, preparing to take action. Chapter, 83 Thunder Release, Thunderball Vince Makaji's seal formation speed was very slow, but the ninjutsu was still used successfully. Although the thunderballs floating around him could be slapped away by Vince Mokgaji, he still looked at these thunderballs very cherished. Is this the ninjutsu of chakra formation? At this time, Vince Magaji wanted to seize and dissect the thunderball to find out what it was. Most ninjutsu are recorded here. This is a dictionary. You can refer to it yourself. Comparing the data during eye replacement surgery, what results were obtained? Uchiha Yugen threw a scroll and a book to Vince Mokgaji, but because the words were different, Vince Mokgaji still needed to figure it out himself. Let him start his own research from scratch, and maybe he can see something different. Then he asked him if he could find anything useful from the data on the evolution of the kaleidoscope when Uchiha's father exchanged eyes. I did find the place where the change occurred. I named this factor the Uchiha factor. It is the same factor I found in the bodies of every Uchiha clan member before. A few days after Uchiha Itachi changed his eyes, this Uchiha factor was constantly improving itself. Compared with the same factor in the blood before his eyes changed, it is about ten times more powerful. The Uchiha factor in Uchiha Fugaku stopped perfecting itself after two days. It did not reach the level of Uchiha Itachi, but it also reached a very powerful level. Only the factors in the giant clan can reach this energy level. Vince Makaji quickly replied. At the same time, he took out a pile of paper and pointed at the rising values on it and explained to Uchiha Tamaki. Do you know the reason? This is a case of genetic self-improvement, but the cause is to replace the eyes of a close relative to activate it. Just a pair of experiments is simply not enough. Can we do more experimental comparisons? Even if it's not the Manjiki Sharingan, I want to try to see if exchanging Sharingans between ordinary relatives can have the same effect, and try to see if I can activate the Uchiha factors in their bodies to improve themselves. Vince Makaji replied while making a request to Uchiha Tamaki. Just relying on a pair of data is too little, and it is difficult to find the anchor point. Only with more comparative data can the analysis be easier. Let's wait until this intensive training period is over. During this period, I will arrange for Rob Lucci to take CP9 and learn how to use chakra with you. You can see if there will be different effects of chakra mastered by devil fruit ability users with animal type and superhuman type. Uchiha Yugen postponed it. Bloodline is very important, but returning to Kanoha this time is even more important. Uchiha Yugen is not going to waste this time now and will start doing this test after the situation is stable. Now let Vince Makaji do some research on chakra to see if it can be used as a benefit for his subordinates in the future to enhance everyone's strength. Vince Makaji naturally had no objection. He enjoyed both studies, and it didn't matter which one he did. A month and a half has passed. It was peaceful during this period, and nothing troublesome happened on Fishman Island. Rivers of blood flow from the Fishman Street here every day, and hundreds of fishmen are killed or injured almost every day. At the beginning, before the Uchiha clan could kill them, these fishmen came over to look for trouble and were killed all the way. The members of the fishmen pirates were angry, and their boss, Hody Jones, led the team to kill them. They were stopped by Shirsue and Itachi, and easily defeated the elites led by Hody Jones. 
However, according to Uchiha Yugen's order, these fishmen were left alive, and Hody Jones was controlled by writing the Analects of Confucius to make them retreat. When these fishmen who had overdosed on drugs returned, they were a little confused about what was going on. However, Uchiha still went to Fishman Street every day to gain experience, practice actual combat and armed hockey, and killed fewer and fewer ordinary fishmen. Uchiha Tamaki secretly took action to get rid of Vanderbaken 9 in advance to prevent him from causing trouble and throwing no out. The entire Fishman Street has become a training place for the Uchiha clan. The elites led by Hody Jones have been killed several times in succession, and there are not many powerful ones left. Hody Jones is still alive, including the fish men, basically there aren't many left, everything that can run away has run away, and the rest are basically holding on, waiting for hope to appear. Pirates also appeared during this time, and there were naturally some people with ideas, but they were all dealt with by Uchiha Yugen. Uchiha Yugen didn't care about those who were passing by honestly. Those who wanted to cause trouble, Uchiha Yugen's shadow clones killed the remaining one or two, and asked them to go out to deliver the news and tell other mermaids that the island was covered by Uchiha. Just take action without fear of death. Moreover, Uchiha Tamaki had been waiting for a long time, but did not wait for the four emperors to send anyone. He even suspected that Neptune was too cowardly. He looked like he wanted to seize his territory, but he didn't even ask anyone to come. Jean Bay said that this Shichibukai has the strength to protect Fishman Island. If he wants to drive him away, I'm afraid the only way for him to be done is by the Yonko himself. Ryugu Castle has been thinking of a solution. The second prince, Emperor Hoshi, contacted Hai Xia Jinbei, hoping that he could help contact the four emperors to take action, but they got this news. This is news from the sea. This man is indeed very powerful. Similarly, Neptune also presented the intelligence he had collected. The mood is very complicated. I originally thought it was a malicious visitor, but I found out that the other party was really up to something. But the humiliation he suffered made him feel uncomfortable all over again. But recently, there was a lot of bloodshed in the Murloc Street. Many fishmen came out looking completely frightened and crazy, which made him tremble with fear. But he didn't dare to say anything. After all, those guys in Fishman Street were forces that even he, the king of Fishman Island, wanted to deal with. What they did was very consistent with his wishes. However, I heard from the murlocs who escaped that they had killed tens of thousands of murlocs, and the corpses were piled up like mountains, and they were burned every day. This number sounded like it made him feel pressured, and he couldn't figure out the other party's purpose at all. Let's ask Jean Bei to invite one of the four emperors to drive away this Shichibukai. He's putting too much pressure on Fishman Island here. Rather than turning over more treasures, it's better to get rid of this guy. Neptune hesitated for a long time, and finally said through gritted teeth. If Uchiha Yugen didn't look like he was settling down here, he would naturally not do this. But this human being was too close to him, and he felt that he might be killed and replaced at any time. He couldn't bear the pressure. In this case, it's better to pay more and drive this guy away. Yes, I will contact Jinbi now. Emperor Xing nodded, and quickly took out the phone bug, preparing to contact Jinbi again, asking for help in contacting the four emperors. Fourth update, please subscribe. Chapter, 84 The Fishman Street can't last ten days, and there's no need to continue training. Just clean it up. The killings during this period have also put a lot of pressure on the combat troops. It is really inappropriate to keep fighting. It won't have much effect. There is only one month left to exercise and relax a little. We can start preparing for war. We will return directly in a month and conquer Kanoha. At the meeting, Uchiha Yugen issued an order based on the recent situation. Gaining experience in Fishman Street is indeed very useful. After all, the Uchiha clan has not had actual combat experience for a long time. After coming to this world, the clan members who were sent to catch pirates and earn bounties had a little fighting experience. The other tribesmen still lack actual combat experience, but now they have basically made up for it. At least they will not be lenient when it comes to last hitting. Moreover, many tribesmen who have activated the three Magatama have also been added. 
the total number of these people who go to the front line for actual combat does not exceed 150, and they are basically the elites of the tribe. According to the Division of Strength, the combat strength of Jounin level should reach 50 people, and there are 15 elite Jounin. In terms of physical fitness, it has almost doubled compared to when he came to this world, and his strength can be said to have increased in all aspects. After this period of fighting, the expressions of the Uchiha clan members are completely different, and everyone has murderous intent. Thinking of the day they escaped from the ninja world and were surrounded by a large number of Umbu, many people felt despair. This time they wanted Kanoha to feel the same. Everyone was full of energy and continued to carry out Uchiha Yugen's orders. Master Yushuan, the experiments on Chakra and Neptune species have already produced results. After injecting a certain amount of Chakra into Neptune species and allowing them to adapt, they will slowly produce Chakra on their own and adapt to this energy. After the meeting, Vince Magaji came over and reported the research results. Rob Lucci and other CP9 have also cultivated chakra, while Vince Amakaji is still recording data and conducting a set of classification experiments to study one piece. It's interesting, show me. Uchiha Tamaki was a little surprised and asked Vince Makaji to take him there. Soon, I saw the Neptune species used by Vince Mokgaji for experiments. It was only a dozen meters long and was locked around the bubble wrap. It was locked by iron chains and could not leave. I opened my Sharingan and observed it, and found that I could really see chakra flowing in this Neptune-like body. Then Uchiha Yugen used the contract directly on this Neptune type, contracting this Neptune type into a psychic beast. The process was very smooth. Then Uchiha Yugen left about a thousand meters away. Psychic art. Bite your finger, start forming seals, and directly use it to summon the Sea King type. The technique is revealed and smoke fills the air. The Neptune type has really been channeled, and together with the chains, it has been jumping on the ground, obviously unable to adapt to a place without sea water. Then Uchiha Yugen used the Chidori sharp spear to cut off the chain, and then released the channeling. The Neptune class turned into smoke and dissipated again, returning to its original position. After returning to the sea water to adapt to it, he turned around and ran away without hesitation, swimming. So fast. Vince Machiaji looked at these eagerly and felt that it was very magical. Although he also knew the psychic technique through the scroll, it was still very magical. Nice find. But this Neptune is still too young and basically has no intelligence. Neptunes with a body size of over a kilometer basically have some intelligence. Such a Sea King type will have a certain combat effectiveness and can provide combat assistance at sea. Uchiha Tamaki said to Vince Mok Gaji. Ordinary Sea Kings have no effect at all. They are basically overlord colored and can be killed instantly. At the very least, you have to go to the Windless Zone to find the huge Sea Kings that are over a thousand meters in size. Not to mention letting them fight, just channeling them from mid-air and using them to hit people, the effect is very good. As far as Uchiha Tamaki knows, the largest Neptune species even exceeds 5,000 meters, and that size is enough to destroy an island. Do you need me to capture some huge sea kings and bring them back? Vince Makaji asked quickly. No need, there are suitable people here to take charge of this matter. I will make arrangements when the time comes. Uchiha Yugen shook his head. With Bai Xing here, it wouldn't be difficult to call a few Neptunes over. This thing does not greatly improve Uchiha Yugen's strength, but it is of great help to ordinary Uchiha. When the time comes, we will get a set of Neptune-like psychic beasts for the clan, so that they can walk sideways on the sea. But I plan to do all this after returning from Kanoha. Brumuru. At this time, the phone suddenly rang, and Uchiha Yugen took it out and connected it. An important island within the former sphere of influence of the Whitebeard Pirates. The opponent is Charlotte Smoothie, one of the three generals of Big Mom. Da Flamingo's voice came over the phone, but he didn't sound anxious. Wherever it is, I'll come over as soon as possible. Uchiha Tamaki didn't ask how the situation was, but directly asked about the location. How could a person like Da Flamingo work for free? When in trouble, he would naturally turn to Uchiha Yugen as soon as possible, and Uchiha Yugen had already been prepared for this. 
This time he will completely pull Doflamingo on board. If you offend the Yonko and you still want to run away, just work for yourself honestly. The Kingdom of Antia has a population of 300,000. It is a relatively large country in the New World. The annual fees paid to the Whitebeard Pirates account for one-seventh of the protection fees they collected in the past. Doflamingo briefly explained the location of the island and the reason why it needed to be captured. Dress Rosa only has a population of 100,000. This country has a population of 200,000 more than Dress Rosa and is extremely valuable. Well, wait until I come. After Uchiha Yugen finished speaking, he hung up the phone bug. Then arrange for Vince Mok Gaji to do more experiments, as long as he ensures that the chakra is not spread out. Then he left a shadow clone and asked him to inform Fugaku while leaving the gatekeeper behind. Uchiha Tamaki directly put on a bubble wrap and left the Fishman Island and went into the sea. Then he used a psychic technique to run away the one just now. After a few kilometers, the Neptune type, who had not had time to rest, was channeled back again. Then the Sharingan took control, using chakra to absorb and step on it, controlling it to swim toward the sea. It's too laborious to use the Susanoo. After all, it's too big and the resistance in sea water is too high. It's better to save effort this way. In less than ten minutes, the sea king came to the sea. Uchiha Tamaki then activated the Susanoo and went directly to the sky, flying towards the island Doflamingo said. The chart on the sea had been recorded on in Uchiha Tamakian's mind, this was copied from the navy, and there was basically no error. Ha ha ha, it's such an interesting time. Doflamingo, sitting on his boat, couldn't help laughing as he looked at the tragic scene of flames soaring into the sky in the distance. There were pirates fighting over there for control of the island, and he could just sit here and watch the fight. Dover, does that Shichibukai really have the strength of the Yonko? Torbol asked worriedly. The Don Quixote family has only suffered losses at the hands of the four emperors for so long, so Toripol was very impressed. The Shichibukai and the four emperors were not on the same level at all. Perhaps, if not, he will be the one who dies anyway, and it will not prevent our Don Quixote family from reaping the benefits. Doflamingo said calmly. The two parties were just making a deal. If things went wrong, he would abandon Uchiha Tamaki without hesitation. When something really happens, the worst he can do is continue to look for Kaido. The connection between him and Kaido has not been broken yet. If he grabs some of these benefits and gives them to Kaido, the other party will help. No matter how you look at the Don Quixote family, no loss. Chapter, 85 Coming Doflamingo was sitting on a chair, watching the battle, but suddenly he felt a powerful aura approaching. He stood up and left the cabin, came to the deck and looked in the direction of the breath. In the reflection of his sunglasses, he saw the dark red giant gliding in the sky in the distance, constantly breaking through the clouds. It had been less than two hours since he contacted Uchiha Yugen, which was much earlier than he expected. Amazing pressure. Don Quixote and his party all stood on the deck, watching Susanoo fall slowly from the sky. Just the movement caused by the flapping of its wings caused a lot of waves, which continued to float on Doflamingo's boat. After removing Susanoo, Uchiha Tamaki jumped directly in mid-air and landed on the deck of Doflamingo's ship. Are the people from Big Mom over there? Uchiha Tamaki asked directly after seeing Doflamingo. Well, there are also those pirates who want to fight for this territory. Most of them are trash. The slightly more famous ones include the handsome pirates, whose captain is last year's supernova, the Yotamaria ship group, which has at most thousands of people here this time, this year's supernova Capone Becky, and Basil. Hawkins. Privately I heard that there are still revolutionary troops, but they may be hiding in the kingdom of Antia. Doflamingo showed his habitual fake smile and told Uchiha Tamaki about the current situation. This place is indeed a piece of fat. As long as you get it, the protection money you get every year is enough to support a pirate group of nearly a thousand people. Otherwise, it would not attract the people from Bigmum. Generally speaking, smaller territories are not favored by them. Isn't anyone from the navy coming? Apart from the pirates, the navy is naturally the one who wants to take back these territories the most. 
reducing the places where pirates can obtain treasure can suppress the number of pirates. He felt that the navy should still be able to figure this out. Smorg, a lieutenant general who has just been promoted, has average strength and is not qualified at all. Now the two main forces of the navy are chasing the Whitebeard pirates in the New World. Now that Whitebeard has disintegrated, his pirate groups have fled one after another. Only Fire Fist Ace and the Moby Dick are still on the run. Doflamingo explained the situation. The navy does not pay attention to the forces under the four emperors. Killing the four emperors is what they want to do most. Unless it is the Yonko, the navy can take it back at any time if it is not the Yonko. After all, in this sea, except for beings like the Yonko who can openly own territories on the sea, the only other pirates who have territories are the Shichibukai recognized by the world government. The other pirates don't have a single territory. The reason is that the navy can defeat them at any time. So Doflamingo doesn't take other pirates seriously at all. The only thing that needs to be dealt with is the people from Big Mom. If they get it, it will be difficult to spit out this territory. I understand, prepare to receive it in an hour. Uchiha Yugen nodded, and then said the most arrogant words in the calmest tone. After finishing speaking, without waiting for Doflamingo to respond, he jumped off the boat and stepped on the water. Then everyone saw an afterimage with an electric arc passing across the sea, and a white line quickly cut across the sea. Just wait here and kill anyone who comes close. Doflamingo twisted his neck and then gave the order directly. Then he raised his right hand and stretched out the silk thread, sticking it to the clouds in the sky, hoisting himself up like Spider-Man, and then continuously stretched out the silk thread to pull the clouds farther away, and began to move in the direction of the battlefield in midair. I think we should kill the Yonko's people first. Their hands are too long. This area should belong to us, the new generation of pirates. Captain Becky began to invite the surrounding pirates for an alliance. Although they, the new generation of pirates, are working together to fight against Smoothie, they are all on guard against others, and their men are still killing indiscriminately, not targeting only the Big Mom pirates. No matter how you look at this fight, Big Mom will definitely win. It doesn't matter to me, what do the other two say? Cavendish struggled to resist Smoothie's twenty-meter-long sword. Smoothie absorbs water and grows in size, increasing his strength and defense. Coupled with the fact that I inherited the physical fitness of my aunt, I hit several people with numbness all over. I have no problem, Admiral. Orambas and Basil Hawkins both answered. If the four of them didn't work together now, there would be no way to compete with Smoothie. Okay, let's pass on this news now, kids. Captain, something's wrong, there's. A sea of fire coming from behind. Before Cap'n Becky could shout loudly about the alliance, he stopped the chaotic fighting of his pirates. His subordinates hurriedly reported the report in a very panicked tone. The sea of fire comes from all over the sea. You bastard, stop talking nonsense at this time. Cap'n Becky turned his head and cursed. But he was stunned immediately, because the reflection of the firelight had already reflected on his face, making his face look very rosy. Similarly, the other Cavendish people who were still fighting, including Smoothie, looked at the overwhelming sea of fire in shock. The sea of fire instantly swallowed up the pirate ships on the sea behind them. A large number of pirates were directly ignited, and they were burned to ashes before they could even scream. The place where several captains fought was on the shore. After all, ordinary ships could not withstand the aftermath of their battle. Escape to me. The big boss of the castle. Cap'n Becky was very good at dealing with his men. He directly used his final form, opened the city gate, and shouted to his men. At the same time, all the cannons on the castle used cannons to blast the sea of fire directly, hoping that the impact would disperse the sea of fire. Beautiful sword blue bird. Cavendish stabbed in front of him, creating a powerful impact. Olumbus was so powerful that he directly picked up the huge stone caused by the previous battle, lifted it and threw it into the sea of fire. Hawkins controls the giant scarecrow and shoots out densely packed nails. The destructive power of each nail is stronger than the explosion of ordinary cannon shells. Moisture sword. Smoothie also frowned and made a powerful slash, integrating the power of his devil fruit. 
This slash turned from colorless to pink, splitting the sea and rushing toward the flames. If the flames hadn't affected her ship, she wouldn't have hesitated to take action against the three guys around her. The combined attacks of several people rushed straight towards the huge flames, but the main attack was Smoothie's slashing attack, which directly split the sea of fire. After using this move, her body became one meter shorter, and the attacks of other people the effect is average, just opening a few holes to prevent your pirate ship from being destroyed. The fighting among the five stopped, and they all looked towards the sea of fire, wanting to see who it was that dared to attack all of them at once. That is, the blood eye of the Shichibukai. Basil Hawking discovered who it was first, with a look of surprise on his face. Several people around him felt pressure when they heard this name. Even Smoothie frowned at this time, obviously not wanting to face Uchiha Tamaki. Everyone had watched the live broadcast of the war, and they still felt tremendous pressure when facing this man. Uchiha Tamaki stepped on the sea water and passed through the pirate ships that were constantly being sunk and burned. The kingdom of Antia is Uchiha's territory from now on. You retreat or die. Uchiha Yugen stood on the sea and scanned everyone with his blood-red eyes. Uchiha Tamaki's body was the thinnest on the field, and he couldn't tell how powerful he was. However, no one of the five people who were threatened spoke for a while, and they all looked at Uchiha Tamaki nervously. The sixth update is an additional update for 100 monthly tickets. Chapter 86 According to fate, I am no longer fit to fight today. Hawkins Pirate Ship, Retreat Basil Hawkins started divination when Uchiha Tamaki appeared, and after reading the cards he drew, he still looked calm. Then he spoke directly and told people to run away. If he was just a bigman person, he thought he could give it a try. But now there is another enemy who has been in the limelight recently. Apart from the death of Whitebeard, this man is most famous in the war. Just through the projection of the film and television phone bug, Basil Hawkins knew that he could not defeat this man. So there is no shame in giving up, life is still important. The flame tanked pirates retreat. Captain Becky was smoking a cigar. After taking a deep breath, he also ordered. He didn't even have to think about it. In this situation, they were just small fishes and could be eaten at any time. Even if they join forces, it is estimated that Big Mom will work with the Shichibukai in a tacit understanding to sweep out newcomers like them. TCH, Dirty Fighting Even so, Cavendish also sheathed his western sword. The running speed is not slow. Those who died are all my subordinates. Orlan Booth gritted his teeth and stared at Achiha Tamaki. Apart from the tens of millions of small pirates who fished in troubled waters, his subordinates suffered the most casualties because he had the largest number of men. Nearly two-thirds of his fleet was destroyed, leaving less than three hundred men. How could he run away in such despair? He couldn't bear it. I want to fight. Everyone join me to defeat this guy and avenge everyone. Oran Booth raised his arms and shouted, hoping to get a response from his subordinates. It was just a sneak attack just now, and there are people from Bigmum here. It's a big deal that I don't want to lose the territory. Help the people of Big Mom defeat this arrogant Shichibukai. Um. Why is the ship listing? But Oran Booth suddenly realized that he saw the picture and began to tilt it. When he could see his body and realized that the whole world was turned upside down, he realized that it was his own neck that had been cut off. Impossible. Oran Booth's pupils dilated, and he lost consciousness just before he could say these words. There was no blood spurting out from his neck, because the wound was scorched by the electric current and the blood could not be flushed out at all. The first objector. Any more. The Chidori in Uchiha Yugen's right hand has not disappeared yet, and is beating continuously in his hand. Just now, I just used Sharingan to make the big guy lose his mind for a while, and then used Shunshin to appear next to him, and easily cut off his neck with Chidori. The whole process took less than a second, and Oran Booth's men were just about to send a response in support of their captain. Then he saw that his captain's head was missing, and a group of people were like ducks with their throat strangled, without making any sound. The other three supernovas had just boarded the ship, and they felt cold all over watching this scene, thinking that it would be better to leave this dangerous place as soon as possible. 
do you want to go against the Big Mom Pirates? This is the territory that the Four Emperors, Charlotte Lingling, is interested in. Before taking action, you must think clearly not to offend those who cannot be offended. Charlotte Smoothie looked at Uchiha Tamaki with a solemn expression. Naturally, she would not doubt this man's strength. However, she carries the glory of the Yonko Big Mom Pirates on her back, and she cannot retreat so easily. So even if you really can't win, you have to fight for a while and then retreat. You must never retreat. Are you done? After that, I'm going to take action. Uchiha Yugen raised his head and looked at the long legs, and arcs of electricity began to appear on his body. He didn't care about a few supernovas, but from the beginning, he was not ready to let go of Smoothie. Stop looking down on people. Hearing Uchiha Yugen's tone, Smoothie immediately became angry. He didn't take her seriously at all, as if he could kill her at any time. Wielding a sword more than ten meters long, he struck at the Uchiha Yushuan Tianling guy. But the sword suddenly stopped midway, and he immediately used his armor to harden his abdomen. Because of Uchiha Tamaki's extreme speed, Smoothie's attack couldn't hit her at all. Moreover, Uchiha Tamaki held a Chidori in his hand and jumped up at Smoothie's feet, preparing to use the Chidori to take out her kidney. No, this body is too slow. It would be too much of a disadvantage to fight against such a speedy enemy. Smoothie also immediately realized that his huge body limited his reaction speed. Puff. Smoothie immediately excreted the water in his body from around the pores of his body, and his body shrank rapidly. What was discharged from the body was not ordinary water, but hot steam, which instantly covered the surrounding area. The high temperature even melted the sand and gravel on the beach, and it felt like blood was boiling beyond its limits. This hot steam caused Uchiha Tamaki to give up attacking and use Susano bones to cover his body. But Susano was slowly corroded by the water vapor, but was quickly restored by chakra. But at this moment, a figure rushed out of the steam. Smoothie held a two-handed sword with arm domineering and slashed at Uchiha Tamaki. Two arms grew directly from Susano's bones and grabbed at Smoothie's slender body. Damn it, where does the danger come from? Smoothie is always warning. Gritting her teeth, she chose to confront him head-on instead of dodging. As long as it is touched by you, you can use the squeeze fruit to suck the moisture from the opponent's body. Susano's skeleton grabbed Smoothie with both hands, and Smoothie opened his palms at the same time, spraying dozens of sharp water jets from his palms, rushing towards Uchiha Tamaki. However, it was impossible to break through the defense of Susano's bones, leaving only a few small gaps. At the same time, Smoothie raised his sword with both hands, ready to cut open the strange palm that grabbed him, including his wrist. It's over. But at this time, another Uchiha Yugen appeared behind Smoothie, rubbing a ball with a diameter of one meter in his hand. At this time, Smoothie had just swung the long sword in his hand, and it was too late to react to the sudden appearance behind him. People take action. She could not confirm that the armored hockey hardening could block the opponent's attack. Drying hell. So Smoothie didn't dare to have any reservations. She wants to absorb all the water within a radius of 20 meters around her body. Even if there is no contact with her body within this range, she can still absorb the water in the other party's body. Within the range covered by the ability, it is like hell. Generally, there won't be a drop of moisture present. The seventh update, additional update for 200 monthly tickets. Chapter, 87. The activation speed is too slow. But Smoothie's ability, just activated, only extracted less than one meter of water from the surrounding area. She was stabbed in the body with the Chidori sharp spear by Uchiha Tamaki who captured her. Her body was instantly paralyzed and her abilities could not be activated smoothly. Because she was in a state of absorbing water at this time, the electric current spread in the air and was also sucked into the body, making it impossible to resist. But a strong person at the level of the four stars would not wait for death. The electric current of the Chidori spear would naturally not make Smoothie lose her combat effectiveness. It would only interrupt the use of her abilities, but her body could still move. But it was too late to break Susano's arm and dodge, so he had no choice but to resist. Buzz. 
armed domineering color covers Smoothie's body. She felt that at most she could be injured, and she would still have a chance to fight back. That black-red arc is not good. But Smoothie's pupils contracted violently, because she saw a black-red electric arc beating on the sphere that was emitting blue light and was rushing towards her. She immediately realized that this attack was an attack with an overlord-colored entanglement. She has seen a lot of overlord color, but there are really not many people who can use overlord color to wrap around her. Even her genius brother Katakuri can't do it. But there was no time for her to think too much. The huge ball, which was nearly one-third of her body, hit her chest hard and flattened her body. Smoothie felt her whole body being violently shaken. The first attack was the overlord color domineering energy wrapped around the outermost part. Coupled with the momentum of the spiral, it directly pressed her down on the beach. Wow! The overlord colored impact caused internal damage to Smoothie. He spit out blood from his mouth and felt dizzy at the same time. But what followed was the explosive power of the Raisingan, which exploded directly, pressing Smoothie almost into a paper figure, and kept squeezing toward the bottom of the beach. The chakra exploded and rubbed against her hardened body, making a metallic sound. The explosion lasted for two seconds, and a 10-meter diameter hole was opened in the surrounding ground directly by the impact. Smoothie was almost knocked unconscious from the beating, but subconsciously he still wanted to resist. Click. Helushi put the handcuffs on. Smoothie woke up quickly, but found that he could not exert any strength. Looking at the handcuffs on his wrists, he couldn't help but look desperate. Even if there is only a short-term prediction of the future fragment, the effect of using it is very good. It was also the first time that Achiha Tamaki used his ability to predict the future through sight and color in battle, and found that it was indeed useful. Let go of Master Smoothie. At this time, the men brought by Smoothie rushed forward regardless of their own safety. Then he was massacred by Achiha Tamaki's shadow clone. The first one to come out to attract attention was a shadow clone. As a ninja, this method is not dirty. This is how you should deal with people with devil fruit abilities. Uchiha Tamakin would not choose head-to-head -head confrontation or crushing with strength. There is no need. Smoothie looked at Uchiha Tamaki in confusion. Wasn't he a devil fruit user? Stop, Big Mom agrees to retreat. Smoothie looked at the men he was losing constantly and couldn't help it. He directly stopped him and asked Uchiha Tamaki to stop. But how could Uchiha Yugen listen to her words? The main body directly used steel wire to tie Smoothie to Art. At the same time, the Shadow Clone killed dozens of people brought by Smoothie. It only takes a few minutes. Several supernovae that had just set sail not far away and were only two kilometers away were looking at the situation here through telescopes. At this time, they couldn't help but feel a little scared. They were glad that they were running fast. If they encountered such a monster, they might not even be able to say a few words before falling down. Smoothie was furious. But at this time, she had no choice but to let the other party slaughter her. Doflamingo, come down and clean up the mess. Uchiha Tamaki raised his head, faced the white clouds about a kilometer away, and shouted directly. Doflamingo hesitated on the clouds for a moment, then came to the shore and jumped directly from the air. There's no point pretending not to hear, so just come down honestly. As expected of the man I recognize, he is indeed very strong. Doflamingo was laughing with a professional fake smile on his face. He had been observing Uchiha Yugen, trying to find this man's weakness, but he couldn't see it at all. This man strikes quickly, accurately and ruthlessly, with almost no wasted moves. His goal is basically to kill people without any mercy. The methods are extremely dirty. He felt that Uchiha Tamaki could clearly crush this Charlotte Smoothie with his absolute strength, but he had to use sea stone handcuffs to kill the opponent without giving Smoothie any chance. In just two or three minutes, the battle was over. Luffy and Luffy came up to Kaido and told him that he wanted to be the Pirate King, and then he was beaten with a stick to quit the king's addiction, and his nose and face were bruised and swollen. Kill her. But Uchiha Tamaki didn't smile playfully with Doflamingo, but looked at him coldly and said to him. Upon hearing this, the smile on Doflamingo's face suddenly froze. 
she is still valuable and can be traded with the Big Mom pirates in exchange for benefits. Doflamingo persuaded him. Smoothie's body was trembling slightly at this time. She felt that what the blood I said was not a lie, but that he really wanted to kill her. He doesn't dare to express his anger now, hoping that this guy Doflamingo can convince him. She doesn't want to die yet. No, her value can be reflected now. You killed her, offended the big mom pirates, and made me believe that you really wanted to follow me to the Yonko. But if you don't kill her, I will kill you and then take over Dressrosa. Uchiha Tamaki directly threatened Doflamingo. How could he believe a shady guy like Doflamingo just through the promise made by the phone bug? If it weren't for the fact that this guy had a certain ambition, Uchiha Tamaki would have planned to perform a magic spell on his heart. After all, people with domineering colors are not so easy to tame. So Uchiha Yugen was ready to cut off his escape route, just like Song Jiang led those heroes to Liangshan. At that time, the heroes had been forced to go up, and there was no other way to go. Hearing this, Doflamingo's face turned completely cold. Be cheated. You've been fooled. At this moment he only had this idea. He was plotting against Uchiha Tamaki, and Uchiha Tamaki was plotting against him. Although I was careful, I still got fooled. You are indeed not simple. Doflamingo looked at Uchiha Tamaki coldly and said helplessly. He felt that he was lacking in strength. If he had this strength, he would do things more ruthlessly than Uchiha Tamaki. In this sea, if you are not ruthless, you will not be able to stand at all. Regarding what Uchiha Tamaki said at this time, he didn't have any hatred, just a little angry. Angry about why I am not strong enough and I have to be forced by this kind of person. The current number of subscriptions for the first chapter is 1572, which is not far from 1600. It will definitely be reached, so I will update it first. 1600 subscriptions for additional updates. This data is less than I dreamed of, but it is similar to what I calculated. If you can subscribe, please subscribe to me. Thank you all. The monthly ticket will be 300 if you add 30 more tickets. Everyone works hard. I also try to code.